Hello and welcome to another episode of Virtual Legality. I'm your host, Richard Hogue, managing member of the Hogue Law Business Law Firm of Northville, Michigan. And wait, what's this I'm hearing? This is not this is not a virtual legality, or at least not a formal one. And people don't come to a live stream to just watch an avatar. Okay. I've already been on camera hundreds of hours in the past month. What am I doing here? I don't do that over on this channel. No? Okay. All right. Well. I guess if I'm supposed to do that, good morning, everybody, or at least good morning here on the East Coast, Eastern time zone. Michigan's not really on any coast except for Great Lakes. How are you doing this morning? I feel like I just got done streaming. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about where I've been. If you're more of a virtual legality regular than a Johnny Depp, Amber Heard regular and haven't noticed me flitting about the internet this past month, we're going to talk about that a little bit. And over on the streams that I've been participating on, Legal Bites with Alita, one of my best friends on YouTube. Uh, I have uh, been sharing with people my thoughts on the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, realistically, at very significant length, right? This is a meme that someone made uh, about us as Alita on the right as Maverick. This is me as Goose doing second chair responsibilities on her channel. I do have to say, uh, I don't know that I'm entirely comfortable with, spoiler alert, being framed as somebody that dies horribly to set the main character on the right path in the movie, uh, but it has been super, super fun. Uh, and if you haven't checked out Alita's channel, uh, I highly recommend you do so. She is fantastic. She's been fantastic th throughout all of this, but even before the trial, you might remember she did an interview on virtual legality uh, a little while back, maybe a, a year, two years ago. Uh, where she talked about how she came to YouTube. We talked about a few topics. If you are interested in this stuff, uh, you know, the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial has become something of a zeitgeist type event. Uh, and that's very, very cool. Uh, but it's not just about celebrity. It's not just about salaciousness. It's not just even uh, about the case at hand. Uh, what LawTube, the colloquial name for those of us that have been covering this and, and are in certain groups on YouTube, has hoped to do by covering trials that are otherwise of significant interest to the populace at large, is to talk about the legal process, to talk about rules of evidence, how litigation works, how justice is tried to be achieved, right? As human beings, it's always an imperfect condition when we try to do these things. But how we try uh, as human beings to achieve justice through a process that is, frankly, a little bit odd, a little bit uh, magic word oriented, uh, and hopefully we can help explain some of those things to you. I think I'm, I'm the only non-litigatory uh, attorney on the panel. Uh, and uh, yes, okay, so th that's a super chat already. Uh, a fair warning, right? So I, I put this in chat. Uh, if you haven't been in virtual legality a ton, uh, virtual legality is primarily video on demand, a channel that talks about the law and business of pop culture. So I do a lot of talking about video games because it's one of my personal hobby interests and, uh, I love it, but I find it to be a very useful way to have an entry point to talk about things. And, and Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard is the same, but the reason I started talking about it is because I'm not terribly used to, uh, live streams. I have done them in the past. I've used the format a little bit. Uh, but I am going to do my best on this, and hopefully Alita can pop on at some point in time uh, and, and just kind of guide me through uh, where even the buttons are on this stuff, because you guys are already so generous, and I don't even I, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do about that. So so please do bear with me. This is an experiment. Uh, there's a reason I'm doing it at 8 in the morning my time, and, and one of those reasons is because I woke up and said, ooh, I know how I want to do this. Uh, but the other reason is because I do want this to be kind of experimental. Uh, if you've ever released an app, or anything like that, you know, you put it in different geographies that maybe aren't North America, maybe aren't Europe, in order to get a little bit of testing done with a with a hardcore group of, of potential followers. So you guys are that for me on this. Uh, and if you want to leave comments to this video, if you want to DM me on Twitter about what you like, what you don't like, about what we're going to do today, the conversations we're going to have, this is designed to be relatively casual. Uh, we don't have a trial that we have to follow. We don't have any witnesses that we'd be talking over otherwise uh, and that chat would remind me about. And uh, I think that will hopefully make things a little easier. Uh, so yeah, I know I know Alita, I know Alita hits these buttons and and magic happens on the screen. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that uh, and 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 go from there. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be at least a little bit more distracted than I would otherwise like to be uh, as I try to figure out where the levers and buttons are. So I really appreciate you bearing with me uh, as I figure that out. But the overall thesis of this, as you can tell from the thumbnail I elected to use, is headlines. Um, in virtual legality, I talk about business and law, but I also talk about messaging. I talk about corporate messaging. Uh, I talk about uh, all different kinds of things uh, that really relate to shaping a narrative, right? Because as lawyers, we're very often in the business of talking to folks that are in crisis conditions about how to talk about what they're going through. Uh, and, and crisis conditions doesn't have to mean something like the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. It can also mean um, that the product that we released uh, hurts people or uh, the game that we released doesn't work properly. And how do we manage that? Or in the case of Activision, if you've been following that story over the last year, we've just been accused of really, really heinous stuff in our employment, in our company uh, for a long time now. Uh, and how do we handle that? And if you're Activision, you handle it very, very poorly uh, as they demonstrated. So um, I love looking at that as a concept. And a lot of folks were coming in over at Legal Bytes and saying, you know, Rick, you should do some more live streams. We want to hear from you on a more casual basis than just virtual legalities and, and video on demand. I said, okay, well, I'm not a trial attorney. I'm not a litigator. For those of you that don't know me as well, I'm, I'm, I'm a mergers and acquisitions, transactional attorney, venture capital, entrepreneurship. I help businesses get formed and grow. Um, and so I said, all right, well, let's take the messaging side of this, right? Because I've actually been ending some of those streams over at Legal Bytes with, hey, look at this headline look at this reporting. And that's realistically, that's where I'm very interested in. So today we're going to take a look at, I don't know what I've set up here, four or five uh, of these articles. And we're going to look at the headlines, of course, but that's just the name of this video series that may become a thing. Uh, if you all like it, and if you have other ways to improve it, always appreciative. Um, and uh, we're going to go through them and we're going to see what happens. Now, I do want to try to figure out the super chat buttons here because people have paid me, uh, which is just incredible. And you guys are oh so generous and I, and I really appreciate it. And I, I think if I hit this button, it'll pop up on screen. So if I break the whole thing, again, just bear with me. But oh my gosh, it did pop up on screen. Uh, you can see Ian Mack with a, I believe that's Australian, five Australian dollars with a hog super chat, which I like to imagine is someone scoring a goal in a, in a European football match, soccer to us Americans. Uh, if you've ever heard those, I, I always love it when they really yell goal. So thank you very much. Hogue, goal. I very much appreciate it. Uh, we got Don Lionheart with $2 Super Chat. Someone's got to get the Super Chat started. You guys you guys are way too generous. I very much appreciate it. Uh, Dana Wilson here with a $5 Super Sticker. Fantastic. Uh, Sergio Gorgon uh, with 50. I think that's Korean money. I apologize. Your commentary is awesome, on point, and fair. Appreciate your work with or without Avatar. Thank you. That was just my bit. So if you, if you do follow the rest of my channel, uh, one of the things I decided to do when I was starting virtual legality was to not use a camera. Uh, one, because I, I didn't know how to set it up. I mean, we have to be frank here. Uh, I'm gonna, I was a lawyer, not a tech person. And two, because um, I, I, I wanted people to focus on the information uh, and I didn't want it to have to be something else I had to think about, right? Some of the stuff I'm doing when I go through a virtual legality episode is, is really, really technical. Um, and it does take at least a small portion of your brain to go and say, okay, look at camera um, and you know, try not to look crazy when you're reading a document or, or have it scroll too far to the bottom so you look like you're falling asleep or, or those kinds of things. Nothing big, uh, but it's another layer. And so if you're reading through like three distinct Supreme Court opinions and trying to describe what they mean and how they work, you don't want a ton of kind of extra, <laughs> extra thought processes uh, going on. Um, and then, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't quite know how to auto capture these super chats. This is something I'm going to ask for Alita later on. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, the last one here is, uh, London Tess, you got this. Do your thing. We are here. Thumbs up. Y'all are going to have to let me get to the headlines. It's very, it's very nice of you. Uh, don't spelt it wrong. My bad. Hogue. No, I, Honestly, people spell uh, people spell my name H O E G H O A G H O G U E. Uh, occasionally, H O G. You know, you might have heard Vivo when we were on one of those channels say uh, effectively that. Um, so I, I appreciate it. Um, I'm never going to be able to find these chats again. So we're going to have to work on that. This is we're we're working through these issues together, folks. Here, Hogue, take my money. You don't. 
it's it's very generous of you. I, I thank you. Uh, Nicole, Christine, please promise me when trial is over, you'll listen to audio on scene in Australia, Kipper, Jerry, Debbie, Ben, Amber in the aftermath of the incident. Yeah, I think the plan, for those of you that don't know, we're going to go into like the overall trial story a little bit because I know I'm, I'm just moving in in virtual legality and explaining that to you right now. Uh, there's a series of audios that have been brought in that, um, that, that the public knows about, but that for one reason or another aren't being entered into court. And what I said at the top of my coverage is that I effect effectively wanted to be a juror. Now I've got a legal mind, like I've been trained in that. So I'm thinking of things a little bit differently than maybe the average juror, but I didn't want to uh, listen or watch or, or kind of get polluted with what the jury wouldn't have in front of them by the time we get to jury verdict deliberations and, and, and talking about what they might be thinking about, the evidence presented in front of them. So yes, uh, I believe this would be over on Legal Bites, this would be from Alita, uh, that it would make sense for us to do a post-mortem, here's what the jury didn't get to see or hear, uh, and, and experience that and see if it changes any of our analysis. We might even do that during verdict week once we've got put on the record for what we think the jury's going to do with the information they've been presented. But yeah, I, I would love to get that. Everybody has come into uh, that particular stream and said, Hogue, you're, you're, you're given too much credit. Uh, you didn't listen to this piece of audio and I can appreciate that. I'm not doing that right now, uh, but I would like to uh, certainly as part of this in the future. Anna Eaton, thank you so much. Good morning, fellow Michigander. I'm going to say go blue because I'm a, I'm a deeply held Wolverine. If you are something else, that is not a slight on you. I respect all the Michigan universities, uh, but go blue. So thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, what's the record for a Hoglaw live stream? Record for what? I think you guys have already passed the super chat record. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Um, but uh, I, I don't even know how many people are, are watching. 623? That's, that's, that's a record for the channel already. Uh, we have, we've never been more than a couple hundred people at once, uh, on one of these. So, you know, that's, that's fantastic, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, crazy. I, I see a question here, uh, which is, do firms like the ACLU? Um, I think that's probably law firms. Uh, law firms are always looking for, uh, pro bono initiatives and, and places that they can donate money. Some are political, some are not. Um, so I, do they like it as a monolith? I don't think so. I don't think law firms work as monolith, but I am sure that a number of firms do like the ACLU. A number of firms like various different bodies uh, that they donate to. I think the, the most common that I saw when I was working in big law uh, was the United Way, which is kind of obviously a, a consolidated uh, donative entity. And I think we're I think we're caught up. Yeah, this is, these are things I'm going to have to work through. If you guys are going to be this generous, I have to figure out how to get to actual substance in these videos. Uh, movie rights, JD played by Skeet Ulrich. <sighs> I think I just saw him in the new Scream movie. I don't, I don't know whether he looks appropriate uh, for the trial. It might need somebody either older or a little bit more weary. And we have our first guest here. Uh, I'm going to introduce all these people because I don't know that you know them. Hello, Nate. Good morning. Hey, what's going on, man? How's everything going this morning? Well, it's going great, except I can't actually figure out super chats or any of these buttons or anything else like that. So I'm I'm explaining to folks uh, as we go along that I don't have any idea what I'm doing at all. Um, but uh, but Nate, uh, mm -hmm. why don't you introduce yourself? Just tell people your area of law and a little bit about your channel, uh, and introduce yourself to virtual legality. Oh, amazing! Um, first, um. Thanks for having having me on. It's pretty Absolutely. early in the morning. It's pretty early in the morning. Um, it but sure I said, is. you know what? The one thing you, I got to give whole credit. Whenever we have anything, he comes to support. And I looked at my phone this morning. I got a message. It was like he's going live at what is it, six o'clock. And I said, you know what? <laughs> because it's Hogue, and because I know he would be there, I'm going to wake my behind up and drink some coffee and go. And we're going to go and have a great live stream this morning. So Hogue. This is for you. Let me take the sip of coffee. <laughs> Nate, that is very, very nice of mm. you. I honestly, I, you know, it, I, I explained just before you got on that I view this as like an app launch where you put it in other geographies. <laughs> where you're not quite sure where everything works. These are the hardcore fans. They're going to help me out, uh, get where these buttons are without too much damage, hopefully, uh, uh, on, on anything else. You know, you, you send the app to Canada. Sorry, Ian, maybe Ian will pop in. Uh, and, and you say, okay, how, how do they feel about it before you send it to the United States? 
Mm -hmm. uh, so eight in the morning on a Saturday, I figure you got to really be interested in coming and, and checking out. So I very much appreciate it, Nate. Nate's got his own channel. He's gone over so many cool things. I think you're at, uh, what are you, are you at 200,000? Subscribers? Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm like at a hundred and I think 180, 190, something like you that. Like but that? I'm, nah, nah, nah. No, I'm nowhere near that. I'm at 180. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, listen, you, you know, this YouTube game overnight, you, you know, it, it happens overnight. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things. I, I, I'm for the, for the crowd, for, for you guys, I kind of cover like a little bit of everything. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I, I was generally in, in criminal justice. Then YouTube said, well, we're not going to really monetize you going, you know, going over police shootings. So it kind of forced me to diversify my platform a little bit. Yeah. So I, yeah. I started talking about U.S. soccer. That was really good for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nate, if you didn't, you probably know this already. If you've been on YouTube for a little while, Nate had the absolute launching point uh, videos for understanding the women's soccer team's complaints uh, about equal pay in their contracts. And uh, I, I watched those videos really take off really good information there. And you should, you should check them out. Yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, I'm, I'm very concerned about not hitting people who have paid me money while also getting to substance <laughs> some kind in this, in this video and losing track of things. So bear with me. I'm going to, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, what I want to talk about on this video, which is uh, you've got see on your screen right now, mm -hmm. headlines, right? We're going to talk about yes. media and shaping narratives and, and what we're seeing out of this. Some of it's going to be about uh, the Depp Heard trial, because uh, that's very interesting in and of itself. It's going to be about their statements a little bit. Also, I've got a sequence here that's going to talk uh, kind of meta, uh, right? Because one thing okay, that's yeah. happening right now is that uh, LawTube and others and Twitch streamers and folks are realizing that there's a real interest in uh, talking about this and, and examining it. So we do have some articles that go into, uh, well, frankly, especially from the legacy media, why it's so bad that you might be following the trial on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, so we're going to be talking about those as well. But you can see there's there's all sorts of kinds of different approaches here. Uh, we've got kind of the, the, the neutral release dueling confidence statements. She's coming off looking good, says The Guardian. That one will probably pop up as we look at these. Uh, the week's craziest and most disturbing moments. Very Fox Newsy type headline. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Depp's old flame brand's relationship a bonfire amid Amber Heard allegations. It's very, you know. Very fantastic, almost a little bit like Heard's uh, testimony herself. <laughs> and, and then you get into you get into kind of the more analysis type thing. These are all Jennifer Gray. Uh, the, Amber Heard sparks debate about whether she's quoting movies in testimony. I love this particular sequence. Amber Heard apparently <laughs> stole plot line from the talented Mr. Ripley. What? No, Amber <laughs> Heard did. didn't quote. No, Amber Heard didn't quote lines from the talented Mr. Ripley. It's a it's a play in three acts, right? I mean, yeah. like. This is the state of things. I, and, and you get this stuff on Twitter. You get this stuff in Reddit or social media. And they just put up an image that says, like, it's a direct quote from Tell Miss Ripley. And Nate, it, remind me, I think you told me on one of the streams that you went and said, hey, I'm going to go check on that. And and you were one of the first that I think reported to me that uh, now that's not a thing, right? Yeah. Well, you, you know, for me, the, the media... Um, it's not really a trusted source, so I, I try to trust but verify. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, this would be a big story if it's line by line. So what I wanted to do is I went to her testimony because I didn't trust the, the meme. I went to her testimony and literally typed in some of the words and couldn't find it. Then I said, well, you know what? It, the transcript could be wrong. So then I listened to the whole transcript. I listened to her testimony and she didn't say it once. So I was like, you know what? This is this seems to be false. Maybe it might have been. Maybe I'm just not listening to the wrong section or maybe she's saying it the next because it, it was day two she was actually on the stand so i was thinking maybe she had just said it or something like that but no, it was not said in the way it was being portrayed so i'm actually surprised that they have a headline like that because <laughs> if you just did if, if just five just maybe like really honestly 10 10 seconds of research just trying to type in any of the words you could find that she didn't say it so you know well, again, you it's it's with leads you know the bleeds yeah leads. Well, it's page six and it's like i don't even know this one uh, you got a local news channel that at least got onto it, but like that's that's part of the story to me, right? Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. I, the, the videos I've done in virtual legality have a lot of headlines from games journalists and things getting getting things wrong about, say, the merger process or the yeah. acquisition process or something like that. And um, that's really what started to become like half of my channel. Realistically, was okay, so that's hyperbolic or that's wrong, and let's talk about what is happening here. Um, and yeah, you guys just heard it. Nate said, okay, I looked at the transcript. I listened to the video, came back and said, nah, it's not a thing. I, that's, that's part of the story. When we start talking about yes. the meta context of LawTube, 
that's that's what you're not getting from some of these outlets, right? Somebody just read this page six headline, right? Like, like that's the only information they ever got. Um, and now they're going around spreading like gospel. Oh, she's quoting the talented Mr. Ripley. Right, because that's interesting. Like if that's a thing, that the, the reason you research yeah. it, Nate, right, is because it's like, whoa, that would be a big deal. Oh, that would be a hot video. Yeah, I was, I was, I had script ready to go and everything. <laughs> you know, listen to this, listen to this. And, you know, I was hoping for a million views. Yeah. But this <laughs> you would have gotten this, that, I think. <laughs> but this is why we trust but verify. And that's why I think a lot of people, it, LawTube is trusted because we go that extra mile to make sure what we're putting out. And we, we get it wrong sometimes. But the fact that we do check and we do go that extra mile, I think gives people confidence that if, if we're telling you something, it's well researched. And if it is wrong, we're going to tell you it's wrong. And we're going to tell you how we got it wrong and try not to do it the next time. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the hope. That 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 is the hope. And, and to me, like I said, we're going to look at some articles that say, well, this is all explo exploitative. These are people making fun of this. And, and there's undoubtedly that, right? There, there's bad actors in any industry and in any concept that you could possibly think of. Uh, but there's good things coming out of that too, right? Because to me, coverage on these channels can be filling a hole that people just look at it and say, well, I'm not getting enough context if they're just watching a trial. So we can do that. Yeah, and, yeah. and also, I, I think that headline is too opinionated. I think that there's too much editorializing. I've, I've, got, a, I've got a New York Post opinion piece ready to go <laughs> as well to talk about assumptions and, and what happens when you, when you, when you go too far. Um, so I am... I, I've never I've never said this before in my life, but I am going to hit a few super chats uh, before Boom, we go on. Them, yeah, before Don't we go on about to, them, hit about them. <laughs> to the first article, the first thing we're going to be discussing is that the competing Johnny Depp and Amber Heard statements. Uh, when I, I take a look at some of your super chats, so you you teased uh, it to death, man. Now I want to see it. All right, let's yeah, go. we're gonna we're gonna look at those. We're gonna look at those. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did I, I did some radio stuff for a little while, and I, I just go, going going through the commercial. Uh, Don Lionheart, thank you so much. Hogue, thoughts on a YouTube channel named Sidebar, focusing on law, pop culture, and adult beverages. Good, bad <laughs> idea. Original, other thoughts. I think it's a fantastic idea. It's not an idea for me. Um, I, I think I've described yeah. it uh, in other places as I'm I'm not quite a teetotaler. Like I don't. I, there's no uh, condemnation or anything like that. Uh, but I'm also not I'm not really a drinker. Uh, so oh. it would it wouldn't work for me so well. Yeah, Nate. All right. Oh, you, all right. You're, so you're sharing them? No, because there's a lot of super chats coming in, and I was just saying you can star them so you can. I'm keep I'm them trying. Later. I, they, I like appreciate that, Nate. Help me out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. So I started. Now I'm in the star them. menu. I, we're we're gonna do our best, folks. <laughs> and, and honest to God, if you castigate me at the end of this, say you missed my super chat. I, I I'll just assume you're right, uh, and, and and I missed it. So we're gonna we're gonna go through this as best we can. Uh, Joey with the super chat. Great work on the trial so far. Looking forward to more. Thank you so much. I'm having Thank fun you, doing Joey. it and I'm getting informed as much as you are some days with, with really, really great takes uh, over at legal bites. Um, Rabber Umpenauer. What if any hoax says it's not an incantation? I did say that. I did say that. <laughs> you're following the trial over there. There's a tendency to try to get around a hearsay objection by just throwing in a what if any, and, yeah. and I might've made, I might've made a Wingardium Leviosa reference. Uh, when uh, when Depp, uh, when Herd's team tried tried to do that. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, nope, that's not the button I meant to hit. Working with me, people. Uh, Carlos Estrada to sidetrack you. Yes, that's what I needed. Uh, what type of release model is best for TV, movie, streaming services? Full binge release or weekly? Also, which do you prefer to watch? Well, so I have a limited amount of time. Like, I, actually, this month, I, I don't know that I've watched or played video games for longer than like a two hour sequence any time in there. Um, so oh I like God. binge watching. I, I, I like having everything available to me. But I'll be honest with you, I, at least for the things that are being released right now, I can go in and say, all right, if you're releasing weekly, I will, con I will consider you to have released the last week that you put up an episode and then I'll <laughs> binge watch it like that's when release was. Uh, it's like early access in video games or something. And I just put it off until I can control the timing. So that, that that's what I do. That's what I did with Moon Knight. Uh, so I have something to look forward to if I can find some Moon Knight time. Oh, yeah. Uh, Moon Knight. What is it? Six episodes, right? Yeah, it's six. Six episodes. Yeah, yeah. I love Oscar Isaac. I did actually watch the pilot to that one and said, hey, that's pretty interesting. So, you know, you guys can all leave me a super chat telling me it's awful or whatever. But I, I am looking forward <laughs> to checking that one out. Oh, my goodness. It's... It's the shadow star of, of Legal Bites Media. Uh, it's my dad, Tom. Ah. Hey, hey, dad. Up early this morning. This is really great. Yes, I'm his dad. 
<laughs> but he really does do a wonderful fair-minded commentary. So, you know, as we say when we're analyzing the trial, you got to get your biases down. Are I mean, you biased? What are, what are the relationships? <laughs> what do people care about? Dad is very, very biased, uh, but he's been such a support of this uh, and such a support over at Legal Bites channel as well. Uh, yes. But, but he's right, though. You know, from a, well, I'm a little biased, too, but he's right. This is great. We like each other. We're all biased. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Don Leinart with another super chat. Uh, Mr. Hogue Sr., when do we get a guest appearance? You know, honestly, Aww. my dad's the kind of guy that would my, mm. but, but maybe take you up on that. We'll see. We'll see what we can get going on. <laughs> get going on. We'll see. Uh, Carolina F., I appreciate you trying to be objective. Yeah. I mean, like, that's the thing on that channel. There's a lot that's hard to believe. Um, uh, realistically, when, when we started on both sides, it's just a crazy mm -hmm. kind of set of situations. we got private islands. we got drug boxes, potentially drug jars. we got all sorts of things uh, going on over there. Bloody writings on the wall. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of checks that Amber Heard just wrote and I'm interested to see if she can cash them. I, I, oh, yeah. I, oh, I want to, I want to stay open on that. Definitely. Um, Chris Gonzalez, give him hell, Hogue. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, Anna Eaton, there's only one color, Michigan blue. Okay. See, I, it's, it's so funny. People say Michigander and I, I, I instinctively go, go blue. And I'm like, well, we, we do have other universities here. Uh, uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a diehard Wolverine go blue. I appreciate it. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk about a headline since oh, it's, oh. it's almost eight 30, uh, and we haven't done any of that. So I'll get back to this and try to figure out how to star things and figure Ohio out where I state up. baby. Yeah. Uh, what did you say? Ohio. Oh, no. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> and that's how Law 2 broke up. That's how, that, that was the end of it. Nate just gets kicked off the channel. Uh, no, it's all good. All right. <laughs> you got to watch the 10 year war. That, that was a great documentary oh, about the 10 year war. Isn't yeah. It? All right. Now, I don't know how to get off. Uh, uh, turn that off. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Working through buttons here, folks. As I said, I appreciate it. And then we'll go and try to figure out, <laughs> figure out everything else. So, um, these were actually two statements that were released by the competing legal teams. And I still, you might've heard me on legal bites last night. I still don't believe that the Amber Heard PR team put out the statement that they put out. It doesn't make sense to me. It sounds childish, uh, but it's being reported on as truth on a bunch of places. Court wow. TV here, here people summarizes it. Um, so I still have my doubts, but I, I mean, there's, there's like dozens of articles that say it is true. Um, so we're going to go with that. And if it later comes out and turns out that it wasn't, uh, we'll look at that. So this headline, uh, people, just because they um, they summarized them well, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp issue statements after her explosive testimony. So where we are in the trial, no. Johnny. Oh, yeah. Hit me, Nate. No, no. I, I just want to say this. The fact that they're releasing statements mid-trial. Yeah. It's a little concerning because I would suspect the judge would be like, we shouldn't be making public statements until after the trial. So one of the things that they tell you to do during trial. So this may get a little admonishment from the judge, but since both sides are doing it, it you know, it may not be as, as hard as a hit, but generally we don't see this. That's why this is kind of a big deal. You know what I mean? I, yeah. You know, to me, I feel it kind of belittles the process a little bit. What you're going to see yeah. is like a very, I call it caddy. You know, that that's not a gendered term for me. It's literally caddy on this kind of stuff where they're sniping at each other in a very, teenage kind of way. Uh, and that's, that's, I mean, this is the justice system. There's $150 million on the line. This, the Commonwealth of Virginia is spending enormous amounts of resources to make this happen as our depth with his legal team and heard. And then like, it comes out and it, it belittles the, the process. I mean, it, it's hard. We're going to get to the meta articles. It's hard to look at this thing and say, well, people aren't taking it seriously enough when, when these are the statements that come out. Um, and I agree oh, yeah. with you. I think if anybody's going to get in trouble, it's probably going to be Depp. It, it seems like Depp's team issued a statement and, and Heard's team felt the need to respond. Okay. Um, so I, I think if anybody gets in trouble, it would be Depp. But we're, we're going to look at this. This is a totally neutral headline. Obviously, I, I don't have any issues with this. This is what happened. Um, and then this is really about talking about what these folks say. Uh, so this is the pertinent portion of uh, Depp's statement. And, and Nate, you know, you can jump in and, and tell me what you think about these things as we as we talk about them. As Mr. Depp's counsel correctly predicted in their opening statements last month, Ms. Heard did indeed deliver the performance of her life in her direct examination. While Ms. Heard's stories have continued to grow new and convenient details, Mr. Depp's recollections have remained exactly the same throughout the six painful years since her first allegations were made. 
His truth, the truth, is the, is the same no matter the environment in which it has been presented. So, now, yeah. Now, the, the the one thing about this is that first, I I think this has a, another another layer to it. Remember at the beginning when Amber Heard fired her PR team. This is what the PR team was supposed to be doing, right? Giving out statements, massaging the narrative to make Amber Heard seem more sympathetic. And they failed horribly at doing that. And mm -hmm. Johnny's PR team and his legal team did a great job of turning that because online, all the public opinion, I think they did the last poll, it's on like 80% of people believe Johnny Depp. But now I think with her testimony, they saw like this crack starting to happen. Like, okay, Amber Heard's story is getting out. And I think this is his PR team trying to jump ahead of the story instead instead of just kind of sitting there like Amber's PR team, because Amber's PR team had to sit there and eat Johnny's testimony. And they, we didn't hear any statements from their side. But I think right. this is them no, trying didn't. to be proactive and trying to and trying to keep the PR narrative because that's Johnny's. And, th and that to me, that shows me that that's why John, I think that's why this is Johnny's true win. His win is the PR battle. And this kind of tactic is, I think, to try to keep the PR on his side. Yeah, that makes sense to me, right? Because what we've talked about from the very beginning of this is that the defamation claim itself is at least, however you feel about what's happening in the courtroom, it's at least a bit dicey. Um, you know, there's not a clear allegation that Johnny Depp is a domestic abuser. We've gotten to a place where it's, it's implied enough that I can be satisfied with it as a defamation claim, I think. Um, but uh, there are other aspects of it that aren't so clear. And if you followed any of this, it's very easy to throw your hands up. It's very easy to look at it and say, okay, we got we got cocaine, we got MDMA, we got crazy things happening in Australia, all this stuff. They at very least seem to have a bad relationship and it's going to be difficult to parse for specifics. Like at the end of the day, there, it will be. Now, do I think that they, they can, the jury? Yes, I do think that, that there's a chance that it's a defamatory you got, statement. And you got Johnny some bots can... in, your, in your chat. I don't know if you want to boot them or if you have any. Yeah, so <laughs> <clears throat> things I've never had to worry about before in my life. Bots in my chat. <laughs> uh, that means you got. That means you got over five hundred people watching. How many people you got watching? Uh, two thousand two hundred forty-four. There you go. Anything so, over five hundred, the bots will show. <laughs> all right. Well, then, Nate, since you are here, do you have any idea where the button is? I know Alita turns on subscriber only to get rid of them. Do you know yes, where that um, button is? Oh, for subscriber only. Um, or if on. there's another way, I don't. I can't track it enough. Apologies. Welcome to the experiment, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hold on. Let me let me go into the chat and give me when I I'm gonna type something in the chat. Just give me mod control and oh, I'll kick. Oh, uh, yeah. Type type it in. I will. I'm gonna make you mod. Definitely, Nate. Um, All right. I'm here. Hold on. You mean I'm not supposed to be just mod free with with no control over my chat at like two thousand years? <laughs> Guys, this is this is not this is not what I do. Uh, All right. All right. And then we're gonna turn on subscriber mode to try to. So if they want to do it. All right. So that's me. I don't know if you see my little. Hey. I see you. Thank you. All right. And then the three little, if you go to my name, there's like I got, I got you. I think I, you. I think I gave you the power, Lucky Man. All right. O W E R. No, I don't have the power. There it is. Now I have the power. <laughs> bots. I'm going to go kill these bots. All right, bots. All right. I, I do appreciate it, Nate. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, is, I'm, uh... I'm getting rid of them forever. Okay. So those yeah. bots are gone. Boom. Do what you can. <laughs> All right. Now, can. for the, now you asked me about subscriber only mode. I don't even know how to do it if I had so to. So go, go to YouTube Studio. Okay. This is a tutorial on. Welcome. Welcome to this <laughs> tutorial on how to get rid of bots in your chat, folks. I'm your host, Richard Hogue. Uh, Nate's the expert. Uh, go, go to, go to uh, when you're in YouTube Studio, go to content. Yeah. It should be on the, on the left-hand side. I am right there. Then under channel content, you should see live stream. It should pick up the, the current live stream. Uh, Click yeah. on that current live stream and then okay. go to then that current live stream should come up and you should see customization and uh, in customization okay. you should see um chat and subscribe only chat okay let's see here live chat live chat replay here. oh subscribers all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do that for a very short duration uh see if we can head that off a little bit so it's not a subscriber right. drive folks i'm just trying to work with buttons um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I appreciate that, Nate. I don't think I ever would have found that. I, I, I looked for like 20 minutes just in case anything happened, but I was really expecting 50 to 80 <laughs> of you to join me this morning. Uh, so as always, you guys and your generosity and everything else is, is mind blowing on this stuff. Um, so I appreciate it. So, uh, Nate, 
what are your uh, outside of the reason why you would say this stuff? What do you feel about the content of this statement from the Dep team? Um, I, I, I think the content is kind of BS. I, all right. I, uh, the only thing they're saying for me, to me, is that she's putting on a performance, she's lying, um, and it's all convenient, right? They're, they're, they're questioning her testimony openly in the public. So, so to me, it seems like they're, they're fighting the, they are fighting the PO war, but they, they are, they're, they consider their jury the public. And that's what this story seems. This is this is them giving us their view of her testimony. Yeah, so, and that's, that's all I see. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I, I think there, there's interesting parts here, right? Like the, I highlighted and read his truth, the truth, because when you get out a, a pronoun truth or, or my truth, uh, I think it has a tendency, especially in certain quarters, to suggest that it's not the truth; it's a version yes. of the truth. Uh, and and so. What they're trying to do here, this is the kind of thing I really like when, when you're messaging, is you say his truth, you, you, you put that in your in your statement, and you say, okay, we all have we want to head off the past, any negative connotations there, and you get this, his truth, which is designed to differentiate it from Amber, and then mm -hmm. the truth, which rhetorically, I think, works, uh, because if it was just his truth is the same, I'd, I'd be like, well, that, that sounds like your story is the same more than you know, what is actually happening uh, behind the scenes. So I actually like that yeah. little bit. And again, this is this is the kind of rhetorical stuff that I look at a lot. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think that's a nice, I think that's a nice piece there. But yeah, yeah. I, I think, Nate, your point is probably better insofar as, you know, why does this come out right now? We haven't heard anything from anybody for four weeks. Uh, I, I think that they knew Amber Heard's testimony would be at least on its face in a vacuum horrifying. Right. I mean, it's heinous yeah, stuff yeah. that she's describing. And if we didn't have any other testimony, if we didn't have any other witnesses, if, if this was just, you know, someone sitting down across the table from you and telling you this, uh, your heart breaks to some extent. And we could, you know, you can talk about performance and things like that. But but as the story told, uh, it, it's terrible. I think they knew that. It, it seems like this was probably always a plan um, to, to, to get out, at least in the middle of Amber Heard's testimony and say, yeah, this is this is overwrought. Give her an Oscar. Uh, that kind of stuff. Um, but <laughs> I don't know that they knew that they'd get a return volley, at least not one uh, like this. Uh, oh, we have one more statement from Johnny Depp. The upcoming cross-examination from Mr. Depp's team will be most telling and will certainly highlight the many fallacies Ms. Hurd has now attempted to pass off as fact throughout her convoluted testimony. And I got to tell you, when I read this, the first thing I thought is, wow, you talk about writing checks. Oh, yeah, um, that's a big check they wrote right there. In the public opinion, you just said... Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna kill it, right? Now, LawTube does that itself. We we are always like, oh, <laughs> we just, this we cross just X is gonna be this cross X is gonna be awesome or whatever. But now you have Johnny Depp's team saying, "Don't worry about any of this. Don't don't think too hard about this testimony because we're gonna we're gonna kill her on cross." It's like, but all this, right. I but this I I think this kind of tells you this last part that you highlight. I think tells you why they put this out. They were afraid. They didn't want these things just to sit in a vacuum for two for a week and what is it, ten days or whatever, and yeah. come back and everybody was talking about you know her allegations. So I think that this was this was just to have something out for a counter narrative so you just didn't sit. And and I think um, Amber's team played it well in letting the last thing people see is here's some pictures of him being an abuse abuser. We'll see you in two weeks. That is that's tough, and it's tough for both the court of public opinion and it's tough for the people in that trial. But they can't change anything in the trial. They can change everything out here. So that's what this is about. Yeah, I, I think that's a great point. And uh, yeah, they they left us off at the tail end of 2015, where it, where she has a major incident uh, that that she tells a story about, um, and, and I, I mean that as that's you know that's the that's the narrative she gives. Uh, and we know if you're a juror that 2016 is where some real big fireworks happen. So you get those pictures and then it's 10 days and you're going to get, you know, uh, the end of the best of both worlds in, in Star Trek land, because I'm still a nerd folks. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Can't, can't wait for that to, 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 to start best of both. I mean, no, it's a strange new worlds for Star Trek. It's going to be great. Oh, that will be. Yeah. I, I'm hopeful. I, you know, God, Paramount, I, I, I wanted to love Picard. I don't love Picard. It's, it's... I, the first season wasn't horrible. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. And uh, yeah. Discovery, I, I can never just get past season one. When the Klingons looked looked so different, I was just like, "This is just <laughs> too much." Um, yeah. And then, and then you know, it's just it's like really they they changed it changed too much from Star Trek. It wasn't Star Trek anymore at that point. 
Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to give it a try. I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker for punishment. I give everything a try. But yeah, I'm, well, yeah. I'm hopeful for that one. Uh, it looks uh, looks like classic uh, classic track. Um, so Amber Heard's team responds to all this uh, with uh, what was at least delivered in social media circles is like uh, like a half word document with like you could still see the parser <laughs> and like where the grammar uh, checker wasn't very happy with what was said and everything else. Like it just didn't look. Uh, terribly professional. P people makes it look a little bit better here, but it's still really weird to me. And we'll talk about why when we get to the end of this. But in response, a spokesperson for the 36-year-old Aquaman actress tells people, as evidenced by the statement just released, Mr. Depp's defamation claim is falling apart so rapidly that his counsel are turning from prosecutor to persecutor. They boast that Mr. Depp's story has not changed. If so, since he lost the domestic violence restraining order and he resoundingly lost the libel case in the UK, perhaps he should consider a new strategy rather than the recycled approach of attacking the victim and refusing to take responsibility for his own conduct. If Mr. Depp was truly but, innocent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Before you go, you yeah. see Secret Squirrel in the chat? Um, Secret okay. Squirrel is a, is the Lord 2 moderator of moderator. She's Kurt's, <laughs> Kurt's moderator, my moderator. This is one of the best moderators on the platform. If you can mod Secret Squirrel, she'll take care of everything. All right, Secret McSquirrel. <laughs> on Nate's endorsement, on Nate's endorsement, I hand over the power. So yeah, no, I I would appreciate any help anybody could give me since uh, I'm I'm way out of my depth here, and we've got almost three thousand people uh, watching us talk about headlines and and depth versus heard, which is pretty cool. Um, so yes, that's the uh, that's the top of this. And so you already get some interesting notes. We're going to come back for this. I, I want to read the, the bulk of it. If Mr. Depp was truly innocent, why has he repeatedly apologized to Ms. Heard and promised to put the monster away for good? Heard spokesman says, adding that one of Heard's disappointments is the Pirates of the Caribbean actor's inability to distinguish fact from fiction, a malady which appears to have spread to his legal team. You're liars. <laughs> okay. That same team is so panicked they are fighting tooth and nail to prevent compelling evidence and photos from being introduced. Small wonder Mr. Depp does not have the fortitude or courage to even look at Ms. Heard at all throughout the proceedings as he could not in the UK trial, and instead he doodles and snickers. Mr. Depp's behavior in this trial has been as pitiful as it was in their marriage. Apparently they feel they must double down on their demonstrably losing two-part strategy, distract the jury, and demonize the victim. And then they give the summary of everything that we've seen in the mm -hmm. trial. So, Nate, I, I I tell you, maybe it was the parser, maybe it was the format I first saw this in. I said, no, 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 that's a Redditor. That's uh, that's somebody getting in uh, and, and trying to do these various things because there's so many weird, uh, oddly aggressive uh, turns of phrase here and accusations that go to both Depp and the legal team. Uh, I, I really did think that this didn't strike me as as true. Uh, what's your view on this just overall? And then we'll talk about some of the substance. Um, I, I, I think to be honest with you, her response, I think is appropriate for what came out. Okay. Right. So, 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 and uh, like his, his thing was ticky tacky. And then her response was like, I'm going to throw it out ticky tacky back. So it's, you know, we'll see. I, I expected this to come out from, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it's not expected. It's like, what else would she put out? Like, you know, what he's saying is, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of the way to combat it. And I and I, and I I do like the framing because it's it's kind of best for their client. Like, here's the way we're going to frame this to, to make it seem like they're scared. They, they're putting this out in kind of, you know, in this way. So it's, and, and it's true, right? He did have the, um, the TRO. He did have the, um, he did lose the other case. So it, it's a nice way of trying to, Throw in some facts, kind of like a testimony, right? Throwing some true facts with a lot of spin. Yeah, well, there's, yeah, I mean, they're spinning like a Harlem Globetrotter uh, on, on their <laughs> fingertip on this. So that, that's it interesting is. to me. You know, what I noted as someone who's watched the trial and is, um, was impressed by Johnny's case and um, is open-minded to Amber's case, but has some questions uh, about how she's portraying it, is that it, it does, it obviously comes from Zell's advocacy, it comes from the herd side, it doesn't appear to give much room to somebody who's kind of currently evaluating the, the state of affairs, right? Because the second paragraph here, 
to me rings weirdly when you say essentially you're, you're holding it against him that his story hasn't changed is, you know, that's spin, obviously, uh, because then you start talking about strategy, which is not what he talked about. It's 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 that my narrative hasn't changed. Uh, and, and for someone that's looked at this and said, ah, that's to me, that leans in on saying, well, you, maybe you should have changed your story uh, when that's an open question uh, about what Amber Heard's doing. Um, so that's, again, not taking sides. It it pushes you into a box if you're not Team Amber. Um, and I think from a messaging and rhetoric standpoint, you, you don't want to do that because this is all a public relations battle. This is yeah. illegal. Yeah. Um, and so you want to you want to bring people over to your side rather than push them away. So, I mean, like that's that's one of the things I feel that's subjective. Um, and then, you know, then I think that they get a little, you say, I think you said ticky tacky or, or, or something along those lines. Uh, they, they're using people's yeah. ignorance of the legal system against them. And ignorance there just means lack of information. It's, it's not a negative connotation. Uh, but, you know, what the, the, the why has he repeatedly apologized in some very uh, not terribly demonstrative evidence? Uh, and then why are they so panicked and fighting tooth and nail to prevent compelling evidence and photos from being introduced? It's like, OK, now, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, we've got, we've got real hearsay issues with what you tried to introduce like 16 times yesterday or, or, or Thursday. There, there are real photo metadata problems. There's real stuff that's happening. And, you know, it's, it's like, why are they even fighting us? It's like, uh, okay, so <laughs> it's an adversarial court system um, and you're not doing your job in terms of introducing some of this evidence the right way. So, you know, that's the lawyer in me. That's, that's, that's not the same kind of subjective but you you you're 100 percent right though because look 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 how they've done it it's it's essentially her it, it's almost like amber wrote this to be honest with you because it's like her testimony front loaded with a whole bunch of facts tro's this 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 and then there's one line of their panic because they're fighting tooth and nail that's all not only all spin it's just not happens not to be true they evidence they want in but it just has to it has to be it has to be you know be put in in the proper manner, right? So, what do you blame you? You make it seem like there's something they're afraid of that you put in. But yeah. some of those statements that they objected to, they were absolutely not afraid of. It was just like, well, let's just do it to make to to force them to jump through the pr appropriate hoops. So again, this is you know, it's a it's a nice little tactic, but it's a tactic for like you're saying, people who are uneducated about what's actually going on in a trial. It's it's for people who 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 are just looking at the headlines and just yeah. saying, oh my god, this is what Johnny Depp is doing. Yeah, so so panic. They're using the rules of evidence against us. It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh my oh, god. All right. And then the next one to me again, in terms of putting you in a box, um, like if if I'm not sure on this case, you this this saying he can't even look at her is like okay, but that seems a little mean spirited. If you know he can't look at her because he feels she's an abuser, <laughs> you know it's it, it's it's and I obviously their team doesn't have to go out with that, but but if I'm not fully team Amber. When this goes out, I look at it and say, mm, see, this this starts to look like a certain amount of bullying to me for what could be a legitimate grievance. I mean, at bare minimum, these two were bad for each other. There could be reasons to not look at each other that isn't, yeah, sure. you know, you're, you, if, if you if you had this, we, we do this a lot. But if you gender reverse this and, and, and said to a woman that was claiming to be battered, you don't have the fortitude or courage to look uh, at the other party. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this is full. Yeah. That's true. So true. So it's, you know, and, and I think you're right. I, I think you're putting it in the right framework, which is, um, yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's, it's an ordinary type response going back. But I do think both responses do what we've seen the lawyers do in this case, which is that Johnny Depp's team kind of takes Depp's chill approach uh, a little bit. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have written this check. Uh, I, I I wouldn't have. Um, well, but, I, I think you're setting up too much for if people aren't impressed by by I, Ms. Vasquez coming in. I, I, I gotta I gotta I gotta disagree with you a little bit. Okay. All right. I I think Johnny. This is the first time I think this this his um th this statement seemed emotional to me from Johnny Depp's team. This seemed like an emotional outburst. Like read it again. It seems Johnny Depp is kind of like oh you know it's everything's all cool. This seemed more emotional to me. It seemed like they were they. We got to get out because this is all BS. You, you know what I mean? I don't know. Did, 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 did I not, think it's it more emotional than Johnny. Team? Yeah, I think it's more emotional than Johnny is represented. It, it, maybe, it, maybe it's more of a spectrum type thing. Um, yeah, so yeah. I, I think I think this is emotional. This is a bit attacking. It's a performance of her life. And then Amber Heard's team comes in more attacking. 
um, is how I would frame it, which which mirrors at least some of the dynamic we've seen because, uh, in let, the courtroom. But you're right. Yeah, because let's say if he even said that, that was the performance of her life. We would say that was, you know, he's, he's getting a little emotional of it. You know, he's performance of her life. She continued to grow out of convenience and detail. There's really no facts. There's no, there's no hey, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, we're going to challenge all these statements. This is really emotion. And so, so that's what I'm saying. I, I think after hearing it, because let's just be honest with you. If I was sitting there, um, as Johnny Depp, hearing these things, which if they are lies, they are horrible lies, right? She's saying, I did all this stuff too. And if they're absolutely not true, you got to sit through all that for those two days. Horrible and now lies. the jury gets to go home. So yeah, so you tell them, you got to get something out there to show that this is not who I am. And this is what you get. That emotional response, him ordering them, <laughs> we got to get something out there, stop this. And then them putting something like this out, which I think if you do, if you read it as if somebody was saying it to you, it, you, you get that emotional flavor from it. And I think her response is that emotion being responded to. You make a great point. I, you know, I, I, I will concede this. Um, I still think it reflects poorly on the uh, judicial process uh, yeah, oh yeah, and, and oh yeah, the seriousness yeah. with which these things should be taken. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll concede that. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think, as you said, some of that sounds like it was written by Amber. I, I think that's what I was reacting to <laughs> when I first saw that statement. I was like, it's just Dude. so, uh, you know, and, and I, it, there's just pieces of that. Oh, they're panicking in the streets. So I'm like, oh. yeah, I thought so too. I, I was like, I was like, did Amber write? <laughs> I, you know, You're it's, so it's right. like, I, I've watched, I watched, uh, Council Vazquez <laughs> yesterday. I would not have described her as panicking, uh, at, at really any point. Uh, oh, during yeah. that testimony, so yeah, I just it, it, this is this is like the rule follower lawyer in me, which is like no, 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 you can't get, you can't get mad at the rules of evidence. That's designed to make sure things go smoothly. All right, well, let's um, so that's that's the first article I want to talk about. Let's do some super chats between the articles. Maybe that maybe that'll work uh, as yeah, a yeah, framework. You got to come in. You got to come in like fire, boy. My God, I this yeah, is I a good, don't. It's a good problem to have. Good people to have. are people are super super generous. I I could not be more thankful. I honestly wasn't expecting anything like this. I was like, we're gonna go, we're gonna go eight in the morning. We'll get some, we'll get some buddies. Uh, it'll be great. Um, so we got a super check uh, sticker from X uh, Come Here ZZZ. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got a super sticker from Mel Jones. Thank you so much. We've got Morning and Nate. You want to do that one? This is Maga Country. For That's context, the, the Justice Bowl I was gonna say for, <laughs> for context, people who don't know Nate, uh, that is famously part of Jesse Smollett's story uh, that he told. What was that? Uh, Chicago Police. Yeah, the Chicago, um, Chicago Police. <laughs> that the two Nigerians were screaming, "This is MAGA country." So, <laughs> which yeah, yeah, strain strains credibility. Uh, and, and, and and Nate has uh, Nate has uh, happily taken on as a as a mantra when he appears. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, wait, you, you get a double up there. Uh, okay. Mark Lease, thank you so much. What would you do if at the end of trial, Johnny and Amber hugged each other and said, fooled you all, this is the greatest movie we ever made. And they would be legends. I, they honestly, would be legends. I, you, you, I think at some point when thing you, you have to tip your cap at, at, at some levels for some of that stuff, right? If you, if you did that, uh, and then you'd face the sanctions, uh, for, the, court, yeah. for the resources that this, the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, just used on you, uh, and, and more, but I, you, I would tip my cap. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It and turned out it was just the greatest uh, Andy Kaufman uh, type uh, type sequence. Uh, absolutely, tip your cap. No, no. Oh question. yeah, I would, I'd be clapping. <laughs> I, that that would be the ultimate scam. Yeah, they got me. Oh, uh, you have a fan, Nate. Uh, Thomas, oh. <laughs> Dad, oh, Nate is in the house. You will love his down to earth analysis, and he's a really nice guy. Uh, thank, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Leslie Morris, thank you for the super chat headline. Amber Heard passed on for role of Amber Heard in made for TV movie about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard role awarded to Kristen Stewart. So she couldn't uh, even get the role of her, <laughs> the play Amber Heard. <laughs> she was too old. She was too old for the role when it came around. She overacted. The they like, she overacting. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, I, look, I, you know, you heard me say I keep an open mind. There is no question that at bare minimum, there's exaggerated performance happening in her testimony. Uh, whether or not that completely discounts it for you or not is really in the eye of the beholder. And we, as we say here, reasonable minds can differ, uh, but she is she's she's straining the reason part of reasonable minds. Certainly. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, on Bray. Thank you for the super chat. Reading those headlines reminds me of the Tombstone event. One newspaper took Wyatt's side. The other one said he was a murderer. 
Glad to see news hasn't changed in 150 years. Yeah, my hope is that with this kind of stuff, because I love talking about these kinds of things, we'll, we'll be able to see that and follow those contours a little bit more. Um, because headlines, especially in the world of Twitter and like just seeing headlines and, and having those pass around, are, are, are arguably more important than the articles themselves in some important respects. Um, and which we might find out as part of the Depp and Amber Heard trial, because there's a, there's a big salacious headline that would probably be the easiest thing for Johnny Depp's team to fight against that is currently being argued about who wrote and whether or not it was republished in a tweet, um, that would yeah. be part of this, part of this trial as well in a very, very interesting way. Gio Rio, hi, this is awesome having a live stream at a normal afternoon time for me in the EU. <laughs> I'll just be the EU guy. I'll crawl out of bed at 5.30 in the morning. We'll, we'll have some fun. Have you he's, he's got me here early in the morning, too, I, so I, I, I agree. I'm not in the UK. Nate, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you showing up and, and, and popping in at such a ridiculous early time. Oh, no, um, man, I, I love it, bro. And, and pl trust me, this is you don't have to even say anything. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm going inside it because you you are so selfless, bro. This is this is nothing. And matter of fact, I'm having a fantastic time. So, oh, I, I, it thank, means nothing. I thank you so much. Well, yeah, well, you know, and I'll, I, I will pop on your streams, of course. Uh, have you listened to the full audios from Australia, for example, in your thoughts? Thanks for all the insights. That's the my, that's my video game controller emoji that LawTube has decided is me. So <laughs> yes. if you don't know that, you can feel free to use that. Uh, I don't know how to get to emojis because I'm older than you think. Um, you and, booped uh, it out. <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll find it. It's so funny. People come into the comments at Legal Bites and elsewhere and are like, well, you're too young to understand. It's like, I, I'm looking at the panel. I'm like, I, I think I'm the oldest member of this panel. Are you? Are you positive? <laughs> so, uh, uh, but um, no, I, as I've said uh, in other places, uh, I'm not listening to anything that the jury hasn't listened to. And what I hope that we do at Legal Bites or elsewhere is a follow up after the fact. That's the you know the stuff they didn't want you to hear, uh, so that yeah. you can so that we can at least frame that out. And, and and you know the rules of evidence, the things people are keeping out are, are for reasons. Uh, we've got tapes that are almost certainly illegally recorded and you can't get consent from non-parties and they stipulate to agree that they, as long as it's Depp and heard, then it can come in. All sorts of stuff is happening behind the scenes, but obviously the public is getting more information and whether or not that's prejudicial more than it's helpful is something that has to be evaluated. And I can't do that until I hear it. See, uh, what, so not doing yeah, one, one thing I think um, just for the audience, so you guys understand like how powerful this is to keep things that the jury will not hear that we know is the fact, like, for instance, Amber Heard's previous domestic violence arrest. That's something the jury has not heard. Now, I'm suspecting if the jury hears that, that's going to change their opinion of this whole thing, that she's got a, in her previous relationship, the one right before this, she was arrested for a DV complaint, right, for hitting her partner. Yep. That is something that we as the public know, but the jury doesn't know. So that's when that's what we're talking about, the opinions. And that's why I think what Hoagie's saying is, so you know, he's just trying to do his analysis based on what's in the courtroom. But I think a lot of us on the outside and a lot of people in the chat, they've already heard some of the stuff that's not that the jury's not going to hear and are making, uh, I, I think, a more informed decision. But it's, you know, and a lot of times people are shocked when the jury comes back with a decision that they don't understand or they don't, they're not expecting because they believe the jury has heard the same information they've heard. And that's the same thing that heard that happened in Rittenhouse. People thought the jury was hearing the same information they were hearing, but then when you go to the Rittenhouse case, you're like, oh my God, it's totally different than what we've been hearing from the media and all this stuff. So, so we should be careful in trying to predict jury verdicts based on information that we know that's outside of their purview. Right, exactly, exactly. And that's, I'm trying to bring that to the table. I actually have more information than the jury because commenters like to be hoag. The Australian yeah, audio yeah. says blah, 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 um, which isn't quite as bad as hearing it in terms of, you know, prejudicial effect, because I would evaluate it for, uh, you know, how it sounds and things like that as well. Uh, but so I, I know a bit more, uh, but I, I have tried to keep track of what isn't in perhaps better than Elaine was. Uh, on, on <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, go, go Gidget with a $2, uh, donation. Uh, thank you. You can write something uh, to me. You don't have to, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, 
So Elite is much better at the names. I apologize. This, in advance. But this is amazing, man. So much love. Thank, listen, guys. Thank you guys so much. This is this is really amazing. At, at nine o'clock in the morning, this much love. Thank you guys. And we're gonna we're gonna get through them. So you know, please, you know, it, it, this is just really generous, guys. And and we're gonna and try to answer all your questions. So thank you so much. This is this is really amazing this morning. We really are. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm overwhelmed a little bit here. Uh, yeah, for the tease, we're gonna talk about the New York Post next. Uh, so you know, stay stay tuned. Oh. Uh, Daria Graluska Begley. Guys, this is potentially the best paid job of her life. No wonder she's overdoing it. Thanks for your analysis of this mess. Love from Ireland. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if Amber Heard were to win, it's a $100 million performance, right? I mean, like, that's oh, yeah, many, yeah. That's many pirate movies. Um, <laughs> so, yes, I mean, like, there, there's a reason to go into that. Of course, what you want to project first and foremost is sincerity. Uh, and you, you could argue on some of that, whether that that comes through. I, I, I'm trying to give benefit of the doubt. Uh, I have issues with the sincerity level. Um, uh, Rigatoni, is anyone else concerned about Amber Heard? Her reputation is done. She's desperate for attention, mentally ill, and needs to be seen as a victim, but everyone hates her. I'm afraid I see a grand finale coming. I really sincerely hope not. Um, you know, I, I, I certainly think from the testimony as presented, full benefit of the doubt, uh, she sees the world differently. Um, she's, she's exaggerative in her descriptions. They're flowery. Uh, they're magical. You heard phrases like velvety love and and things that do sound enough like movies that you can have those kinds of uh, Twitter and, and and Reddit things come out and you 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 believe them enough to research them, right, Nate? It's like we you yeah, you heard yeah. you heard script type things coming out and you say, yeah, it could have been, uh, could have been. Uh, and so yeah, I mean, I think you've seen psychologists on YouTube. You've seen them pop up on Legal Bites um, that say, yeah, these people both really seem to have uh you know, you know mental issues that we all hope i think get corrected get 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 treated um and and find themselves in a better place outside the spheres of each other uh thank you for the super chat i have not quite gotten the button order yet right folks uh, dana wilson similar to you hog i went into this trial knowing virtually nothing therefore when she mentioned kate moss i did not understand the reference assuming the jurors don't either will they have to explain the reference I, as i understand it and i don't know any more than you do um, there is anticipated to be available testimony from that individual saying that that story didn't go quite as it was described by Amber Heard and or revealing certain things about bringing in the past. Um, so I, I don't think it's a reference that you had to understand other than following the story, which sometimes was a bit trying, I will grant you, uh, and then seeing what might come up in rebuttal. Um, I think that's where we're at on that. Is that what you, is that what you gathered, Nate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, and I'm, I'm I'm thinking they may have Kate Moss come on as a um, what's it called as a rebuttal witness because the way um, what's his name the way he gave that little fist bump is like ah uh, you know some something happened there where I I think either a door was opened or they have a good rebuttal to something that she said. Yeah, for those of you that saw the thumbnail as you came in, that's a that's a screenshot from when Ben Chu, the lead counsel for Johnny Depp, effectively heard the name Kate Moss. Uh, in Amber Heard's testimony, that that uh, that excited look, uh, which is not normal uh, for counsel Chu, uh, uh, is a, a big moment for the Depp team. That we'll see how it comes to fruition. Yeah. Uh, just a couple, just a couple more here. Electron star collapse. The sensation made by public opinion makes me think of the Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle case. Now, I only know that in in lore, um, but I, I think whenever you've got celebrities involved. And it is salacious. And there are facts um, that uh, people are interested in. If it weren't celebrities and you add celebrities into the mix, you add what is really a kind of modern media environment with Twitch streamers and Facebook gaming and YouTubers, uh, you, you, you can see these kind of cultural shifts. And when we get a little bit later on, if we ever get there, because you guys are too generous, um, I'm, we're going to look at how some of the mainstream media, ironically enough, the Washington Post, is, is handling people covering this uh, and some of the slights they're using to talk about, not, not law to, they're focused on other aspects of, of media for the most part. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's super interesting because however you might feel about us, however you might feel about Twitch, however you might feel about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, we are in a media shifting moment and that's becoming ever, ever clearer uh, as, as this trial goes on. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, let's see if I can hit these buttons correctly. I did it right that time. Uh, Valo Thiel. Apologies if I butchered that to within an inch of its life. Hogue live stream. 
Party time. Everyone read Factfulness by Rosling. Learn about facts, biases, and how you and the media are influenced by them. Go Hogue. Party time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and let's let's go back to articles. So one of the things that was made apparent to me is I, I, I follow the New York Post because they, they often have salacious uh, headlines. Uh, some people call it a rag. It's, I think it's between kind of a, a rag tabloid yeah. uh, and, like and, and a newspaper. They have some good stuff. They have some bad stuff. They, they, they ride that line. Um, but one thing that was made apparent to me when I was covering this uh, is the nature of a company called News Corp, which you might recognize. This is uh, Rupert Murdoch's uh, enterprise, or at least old enterprise. Uh, News Corp, as described by Wikipedia, which I don't recommend for overly political things, uh, but in terms of just raw information, uh, feel free to use as a resource. Uh, News Corp is an American media and publishing company operating across digital real estate, information, news media, book publishing, and cable television. Its notable assets include News UK, which is the publisher of The Sun and The Times. And the reason I highlighted that is if you aren't familiar with the case at all, The Sun is where Johnny Depp originally focused his defamation angst. Uh, he launched a lawsuit in the middle of 2018 that, because the law is slow. Uh, it took a couple of years uh, to, to get going, and he ultimately lost. Uh, but in doing so, he, he angered the sun uh, and the New York Post, it would seem, which, if we go to the highlights, is owned by News Corp as well. So the New York Post, the sun, they, they maintain a similar ownership structure, and that's one of the reasons, I think, uh, that their articles are often, uh, let's see, let's call it uh, Amber Heard favoring. <laughs> um, now, they do report on a bunch of the other stuff that comes out here, uh, but I wanted to grab one in particular uh, that's described as an opinion piece that says some stuff that's very interesting in terms of shaping narrative and, 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 and what you might otherwise get from it. And this was prominently, the article I'm about to pull is, was prominently on their front page for a full 24-hour cycle. Uh, after Amber Heard started testifying. So this is an opinion uh, by an author uh, by the name of Maureen Callahan, and it's titled, Amber Heard's Riveting Testimony Took Apart the Johnny Depp Myth. This is mm. their this is their headline item uh, on the day. And now New York Post's website kills me because they, they only put the day that it actually is. This is not helpful to me. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the day that it was written is down here. Um, so it's, it's May 4th, it's 8 35 PM. It's after that day's testimony, Amber Heard's first day where she's giving her background and she gives a few of the stories that she started into. And I want to pull out a few lines here and, and talk about how I think this is, uh, even as an opinion piece, it's, it's, it's pretty irresponsible for someone that's trying to come in with a reasonable minds can differ concept about what we saw from Amber Heard's testimony, which again, we're keeping an open mind. We want to see if they can cash those checks. But you don't have to assume anything either way when, when anybody's testimony happens, including Johnny Depp's. And she says, after days of smirking, joking, and self-indulgent testimony, Johnny Depp is laughing no more. Oh, excuse me. There was that incredible moment he was caught smirking on camera. His ex-wife Amber Heard recounted the moment Depp cornered her in a trailer. Which we're not going to go into too depthfully here. The rest of us recoiled, and Johnny Depp smirked, and that tells you everything you need to know. So, I mean, this author is not hiding the premises that she's using to write this. Uh, but as a person that really does try to come in on a rational basis, look at the facts presented, you know, a smirk can never tell you everything you need to know, folks, right? So so probably if you're at all like me, you kick out of the article right here. If you're not though, you're gonna get you're gonna get a little bit worse here. Whether you think Heard engaged in mind games and physical violence too, and I do. So that's that's kind of your acknowledgement. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, that, that's your acknowledgement in this article. I, to me, that's your 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 presenting. I'm a neutral, I'm a neutral source, uh, right? I acknowledge some things went down. It's like, well, okay. Today's testimony was beyond damning. Now I know I wouldn't describe Amber Heard's first day of testimonies beyond damning. Nate, do you, do you, would, would you describe it that way? Um, the to be honest with the first part. I thought that she was was painting an interesting, a good picture. I think the the la in other words, I think day one was more damaging than day two. Day one was damaging, but then day two was like exposed. You, you know what I mean? So I, I can see how you can characterize day one as damaging, not as damaging as they're, they're trying to make it seem. But it, it wasn't, in other words, it wasn't just an overall, she's just making it up. Day two was like, yeah, she's just making it up. Yeah, no, I didn't get she's just making it up on day one. That's right. And that's the early that's the early days of their relationship. You get a lot of that um, kind of whirlwind romance uh, type uh, 
type talk. And yeah, I, I caught more flowery uh, and fanciful language than than falsity uh, there. And I, I actually think if if day two weren't quite as trying, um, then it would have been a good way to establish her baseline. Like this is just the way she yes. talks. This is just the yes. exaggerative style she uses because Johnny Depp did that, right? I remember when Johnny Depp takes the stand and I'm like, what? what even is this? Cause it's all cut apart. It's all kind of half sentences. Um, and it took a while to get used to. And then once you did, I don't know, you kind of, you kind of feel like you got his vibe and you understand yeah. how he's talking. Um, so yeah, I, again, it's, it's just framing these things. This, so this assumes this is, there's a certain assumption of truth here, which anybody can have. Um, but you're already seeing where this is going. Uh, she gave numerous detailed examples of Depp's abuse, scenarios in which she placed eye or ear witnesses, making her testimony all the more credible. Why tell stories that could so easily be refuted? And this is actually why this article jumped out at me. The, yeah, uh, this, is, this is this is problematic. Yeah. So, I mean, Nate, I've talked about this before, but one of the things that I, I, I am keeping an open mind about is that she's writing checks all over the place. That's what I mean when I say that, right? There's any number of these stories that should be verifiable. Um, but that, the fact that they are verifiable can't be treated as well. Only a crazy person would, would go forth with, with so much detail and with so many things that could be refuted. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, you know, we used to call this the tell with no show, like, you know, show and tell, you gotta have both, right. You tell, and then you have the show, but this is all tell, but no show. And that's what's happening with her testimony. She's telling us a whole bunch of things, but showing us nothing. So, you know, the, the person here is trying to spin it. Like, yeah, she's telling us all this stuff and she's showing us things to back them up. But we haven't heard from any stewardess. We haven't heard, like, all the people who she says, well, it's even worse than than, than I'm portraying it right now, to be honest with you. Yeah. Simply put, everyone who was there, security, doctors, lawyers, goddamn the police, everybody says that what she's saying happened didn't happen. The only person that's saying what happened is her. So it's Amber Heard versus everybody. And what she's saying about everyone else is that they're all lying and she's telling the truth because they're trying to protect him. He's the, and that's what this is. This And this is trying to make it seem like that's not the case, but that's exactly what is going on in this trial. As of right now, it could change next week when she, she puts on some evidence, some cooperation, but as of right now, that's essentially what we got. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about that. Right. Because um, I think I think it was Ian, one of our fellow panelists uh, in law to where we're discussing these things, said, if this is your story, if you're going to go directly against Johnny Depp, who's put on police officers and put on these various things, um, you know, might it make more sense to to set up your corroborating witnesses before you give Amber Heard her narrative? You're a litigator. You know, I'm not. I, would you uh, advise that strategy? Would you've gone a different direction in order here, or or is this is this solid to get her story out first? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I haven't been in a court, I haven't, I haven't litigated anything in a, in a couple of years now, so I'm I, w- I want to make sure people don't know I, I'm just walking out the courtroom. <laughs> but um, but uh, my it it would good it would be good to have those witnesses come up to bolster. But if you if you if you go back to Depp's testimony, remember he went on pretty early. He had the character. He had the witnesses. Um, the character witnesses. His sister, he had his sister his first, best friend, right? And those character witnesses were sent, we were trying to explain his um the way he spoke and the way the type of person he was. So then when he got to the stand, people weren't surprised when he started being as eccentric as he was. And we were like, oh, that's just Johnny. It was the Johnny we heard about from the best friend, from this person, from that person. And then he buttressed it within the security team. Hey, we were there, we just, we saw nothing. The police, so all those came after him to help say, okay, here's his story. Here's who can verify the story. I'm not sure what Amber, Amber Heard's team is doing a little different job. So they just, they instead they put the doctor on to explain, you know, that she's not, the psycho that Johnny Depp's team is made around to be. And then right. they put her on right behind it. Now, I'm assuming if you're going to put her on so early, their next five or six witnesses have to be witnesses that can corroborate things in her story. I don't believe they're going to corroborate the whole thing, but they're going to be trying to say, we can corroborate this one event. And if we can corroborate this one event and you believe it, then she wins. That's That, uh, I think, is a strategy going forward for the, for the her team. I agree. I, w- I was thinking about that. It's like, all right, so if you just hurled all of your resources at trying to, I, I've, I've said it elsewhere, you know, muddy middle goes to Amber. If you just flat out can't decide 
uh, then Johnny Depp probably hasn't met his burden of proof for showing that he didn't abuse her. Um, so if you just throw all your resources at one event uh, and, and try to say, well, you know, this is, this is, we can show this. We've got somebody that's saying uh, the makeup artist says, yeah, I did see bruises or, or Whitney comes in and says, yeah, it happened that way. Give or take, um, you know, you really have to put a question mark down for the legal issue, even if, you know, Amber Heard's reputation is otherwise really strongly uh, affected by this. But I'm, I'm always curious about strategy there. Uh, because it does seem just just odd because I find myself with that foundational hole, uh, right? You've you've, <laughs> you, you've you've said all these things. They're exactly the opposite world that Johnny Depp just presented for three weeks. You know, what do I do with that? And I don't want to be just saying, well, you're lying. But like, that's your initial instinct, right? Because you, you've got all this other stuff. So, well, that's not, that doesn't match what I know. <laughs> yeah, see, see, they, they were they were essentially trying to use their their expert to bolster her character before you got to her where Johnny just kind of had his sister and his best friend, like people who are around him bolster his character. So, so he was the person, you know, and it's, it's, it's a different, it's a different way of doing it because I think if you don't believe the doctor, then you're not going to believe Amber. So it's, so it's a little more risky in that sense. And it's a little more risky only, only pinging it to one witness, right? If you throw on her sister or somebody, well, her sister can't because, but if you throw on another one of her friends right before Amber, she is always a good person. She does this, you know, she did this for me, you know, yes. Just like Johnny, right? He, he, he paid for my apartment. I had no money. He helped me out. That type of, that would give you that impression that when she gets on the stand, you're thinking of, hey, this monster we were told about gave money to her sister, did this, did that. Really, really giving giving her, uh, I think, a cushion for when she does testify. Then we have a different understanding of why she's doing all this stuff. And I think we also have a different perspective of who this person is. Now, I think it's just all gone to crap. Yeah, it sounds like it, right? And I, this is I, I, this is what I've I've said on this. Like, I I, I don't believe you, and I, I want to give you the chance. I, and I, I will say this, you know, the strategic person in, in me says, I think that does make more sense as a strategy and does that, this is unfair. This would be unfair if I wrote it in the New York Post or anywhere else. But but does that mean you don't have, you don't really have anything? Uh, you, you don't have anybody that can talk about their, her character. You don't have anybody that can bolster in that particular fashion. Uh, and and this, is, this is what you think is the strongest thing that you can do. Because the lawyers have looked at what they've got. And they've decided on what they think is their strongest strategy. And it might well be if you, if you can't quite get people to say those things, that you just put her out there and try to just reset the framework entirely, right? And like that you just go bullying right through Johnny Depp's case and, and say, this this is how the world is. Um, because you might win. Uh, yeah. and, and, and so, uh, yeah, I, I am, I'm honestly very eager to see cross-examination and I'm very eager to see what the rest of their plan is. Um, because I do think people come into the comments and say, are Herd's lawyers just terrible? I really don't think they are. I have oh, no. watched trials that have bad attorneys. Uh, and, and I think you can, you can get on a lane for responding to objections poorly. Uh, but otherwise I think she's doing direct pretty well. Uh, she leads the witness a little bit. Eh. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, uh, Rottenborn is a good attorney. Uh, so I'm interested to see what, what plan they've put together. Um, yeah. I, I, I think people too are a little too hard on her attorneys because, you know, no matter what the case is. These are highly trained professional attorneys who probably had hundreds of cases. And the one thing, it, it's it's like what Mike Tyson says. It's easy to have a plan until you get punched in the face. And that's what you see sometimes with Elaine. She has a, a great plan and then objection comes that punches her in the face and she has to think on her feet. And maybe she's not used to such technical objections because a lot of times you're practicing, you know everyone else, you know, they, the judges kind of know how the flavor is. So you don't really get this whole objection, objection, objection on everything. Um, and I think that that kind of threw, threw a lane off. But um, just so everybody understands, these lawyers are doing a great job with the information they got. Because if you are, think about it this way, if you are Amber Heard's attorney, right? If you are Johnny Depp's attorney, what would you be doing differently? And I, I don't really think, you know, we can, we can, we can talk about, so oh, this cross wasn't that great. This thing wasn't that great. But overall, I think they've, they've taken the evidence that they've got and are trying to run the narrative to, to help their client. And, you know, for, 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 for bad or worse, Amber Heard can still win this case. I want people to really understand that Absolutely. Amber Heard can still win this case. It is not over. And her lawyers or you know, and her, and and don't underestimate her lawyers because if that if you do, then you could be unpleasantly surprised. Yeah, no, I agree completely. And I, I do think people start to think chances are better one way or the other 
than they than they really are. This is a very muddy case. I honestly, a hung jury wouldn't surprise me on this. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, we'll, we'll we will see we will see where it goes. Um, this next part also, <laughs> I, I flagged. I think I actually flagged it on the stream because I said this is not the way you should write. <laughs> uh, there's no off button with Johnny. Heard said that was in her testimony. Depp, ostensibly sober, had been drinking in front of her and his children, sneaking booze into his coffee cup. Surely I'm not alone in suspecting Depp's ever-present silver mug, which he does have all the time, from which he gulped during Heard's testimony contains something stronger than caffeine. His own testimony in the most riveting celebrity court case since OJ makes that a given. Wow. <laughs> I don't, I, you want to talk about uh, objection speculative, uh, right? Uh, it, that, it's like... <laughs> that could even be if he wasn't a public figure that could even be defamatory i, I think so well so that, on, that so, makes it a given i was thinking about this i was extra. like is it a given that others could be thinking that there's something stronger than caffeine i'm like are you going to try to get that all the way back to just the thought alone because i the initial reading i had is oh that's an accusation <laughs> yeah 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 that seems and you to can, be an accusation you can't write you can't just write opinion piece uh and just and just throw down stuff um, so yeah, yeah. And so you do see, right. I, I said, this is headlines. This is, this is media shaping. New York Post, <laughs> New York Post is biased. That's fine. Some shade. I, yeah. This is just like my, he, he's probably getting drunk up there now. Maybe I, I couldn't find it, but maybe there's some kind of reverse New York Post that is just making comments about the way that Amber Heard blew her nose or did more. Oh yeah. Uh, and yeah, yes, I, I see you all in DMS. Uh, <laughs> and look at the and, cocaine. Yeah, and is and is saying, well, that's that that is that is much worse than it otherwise is. And then she, I think she tries to buttress this kind of concept with, who can forget Depp asking, isn't happy hour anytime after admitting to using drugs with his good friend Marilyn Manson? You know, Manson, the guy with multiple accusations of sexual assault, who bragged to at least one other celebrity about having an R room in his house. Hey, you are the company you keep. And I wanted to use this as a jumping ah. off point for explaining. Probative versus prejudicial. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. when you when you look at those statements that the other attorneys made, when you look at the rules of evidence, uh, this is a way a person could think that 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 uh, you know associating with someone makes you more likely to have done X, Y, and Z. This is why Amber Heard's previous arrest isn't in the court case yet, because on its face, a reasonable human being would say, "Oh, that made it much more likely that she did stuff to Johnny Depp." Yeah. And and it isn't really like, right. It, it, it doesn't really make that case, but it feels like it does. And so it can only come in for effectively other reasons than uh, what's the word you use, Nate? Uh, propensity. Yeah. It can't, can't come in for propensity, it can come in for something else. Yeah. So you, you can't do that, <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. You, can, you can impeach other people's testimony and that kind of thing. So it's, uh, you can see it writ large here. This is why the court system is the way it is, because this doesn't, not make sense on a certain kind of gut basis. It also isn't fair uh, to to the to the plaintiff or a party in, in the case, and so that that's why I wanted to highlight that because uh, you know yeah, it's it's essentially saying because his friend has not even been definitively said to be doing these things because his friend is accused and now like, you are the company you keep. So that that's guilty by associate guilt by association which is obviously a no-no in any courtroom in it, around the world that's that's it's just wrong yeah no it, it can't be the right way to do things right so um yes yeah, so i can see i've already kind of lost track of the super chats i'm doing my best guys <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all right hogan's new to this people but the, hey they, they they love you regardless baby we, we'll get them all no, I I appreciate it. I'm it, it's um I have it it auto scrolls for me, and I'm trying to keep my place and just starring them, and uh, it is becoming a thing. So, <laughs> um, I know I see I see you got fifty. Well, for me, since you got fifty nine in the queue, you those are the ones I've starred. <laughs> I you know I can't believe you people. You're you you guys are great. Three thousand folks. If you haven't checked out Nate's channel, go check it out. Like and subscribe. You're gonna get this great kind of friendly analysis. Uh, all the time. If you like virtual reality, if you like it here, you're going to like Nate's stuff. You might not always agree with him, but reasonable minds can differ. And that's that's how we grow. That's the fun of all of this. 
Um, so please do check out his channel. He deserves it. He deserves it for getting up with me at the at the <laughs> crack of dawn here. Um, so uh, I, I very much appreciate it. I think this might be the last quote I had from this, but you, you can see how the post is trying to do this. Again, this was the headline, yeah. right? It wasn't their news item, which is actually more neutral, which is like, this is what happened in testimony. This is what they put on the front page for like a 24 hour cycle. Uh, so, and, and she's describing it. She sounded very much like an abused woman. Obviously, opinion, totally fine. Not wanting to leave Depp despite the abuse, but wanting to want to leave. Sure. She talked about Depp love bombing her in the beginning, buying her expensive rare books, guitars, a horse, telling her she saved his life. And this was a phrase I wasn't familiar with, love bombing. Uh, mm -hmm. But it appears to be describing, um, I, I guess, gift giving um, and, and like overly effusive um, uh, early relationship stuff uh, in this particular case. And what's interesting about that, and there's nothing wrong with this particular bit of the opinion is how much you can associate that with at least what Depp described and you don't have to believe it yeah. in his testimony about her. Um, and, and so the weird thing about this case to me is you, you can effectively look at it as like two mirror images of what they're accusing each other of outside of the severe violence that Amber Heard accuses uh, Johnny Depp of. Uh, and that that's wild to me. And for full context, I'd probably like to see that kind of notion here, but that's that I don't, ask anyone that's writing an op-ed uh, to, you know, to, to, to be neutral. Uh, it, it's just, <laughs> it's just it, it was interesting. And then you get a little bit more from the story. I think that's all I wanted to pull from this article. Oh, I guess, except the final line. You got to have a big slug line right at the end of your, of your editorial uh, where she says, goodbye to Johnny Depp. Once Gen X is most romantic hero, a better actor than we even knew. So, oh, shit. I know. Right. And, and it's so interesting because somebody somewhere is writing this line in reverse. <laughs> um, and, and it's and that's just really interesting to me. Um, but so, there, there, yeah. there, there are people who believe Amber Heard's story. And you know, this person may believe her story because it's it's weird because the post is really right leaning generally, and they're they're anti-woke, anti-me too, you know, ruby red. So for the for them to kind of take this reverse me too position on this story again it shows you that that financial bias and that ties with the sun you know th that even they're going against their own political grain to kind of throw these jabs at johnny yeah if you sue one of us for defamation you can expect these kinds of articles certainly seems yeah. to be the message i'm i'm picking up from this kind of treatment of things uh so it, it, it's interesting right and this is the stuff i'm interested in uh in 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 following here you know if, if we do keep this up and if you guys are, you know, this generous, we're, we're going to be keeping this up. I mean, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> but um, it's uh, it, it's super, super interesting to me to watch it kind of flow through because I, I would expect if public opinion really does massively shift from this, and it might, we've got about half the case left to go. You'll start to see the media shift as well. And we, we do a, you know, we do one of these part eight or whatever uh, on Depp versus <laughs> Heard that, that talks about that shift. I mean, this is kind of the first data point uh, that we're using on this. Uh, but I love to track that stuff. Now, I have like 70 super chats. I'm, I'm going to do maybe a dozen or two. And then we're going to talk about Washington Post covering the way Twitch is covering this case, as well as Kotaku, which I actually got some quotes in that I want to talk about with respect to LawTube. Nate, I do not want to take up your entire Saturday morning. Um, so you have been fantastic. You can feel free to opt out whenever you're comfortable to do so. You're welcome to stay here as long as I'm here, but I, I wanted you to know that because it, you, you've been great. You've done more than enough already. Um, so oh, yeah, so, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a hostage thing guy. Okay. I'm, no. I'm actually about to go cook some cook some morning biscuits for the kids because that's what they keep coming over. Cook some biscuits, cook some biscuits. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. That's why I'm putting in my um my thing. But no, no. If if you but but you know if if you need me to get out of here, no, know, not at all. I know. You know. See, I'm okay this is with that. this is the politeness you can expect from LawTube. <laughs> this is this is me saying, look, you showed up. That is awesome. But I, I know for me personally, I don't like to be the last person to just abandon the streamer. Uh, and, 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 and so I, I want you to know this is this has been fantastic and that you are not a hostage. Uh, you are not trapped in an Australian house uh, with an infinity pool. Uh, so, all right, we're, we're going to do we're going to do some super chats. Uh, so all right, cool. I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm gonna go put, yeah. I'm just putting some muff, some biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. My daughter's looking at me, muffins, biscuits in the stove. I, I mean, absolutely great. Oh, while Nate's putting biscuits in the stove, we have a special guest, folks. I don't know. Don't you ever sleep, Alita? Sometimes. <laughs> She was so funny. Alita got my got my DM on this. 
uh, and, and was like, I'm in. This is awesome. You're going to do a live stream. And then she's like, wait, that's like in an hour. <laughs> and I was like, ah, yeah, you don't, you don't have to come on. Um, but uh, folks who don't know you, Alita, I've already, I've already introduced you a little bit. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, but why don't so you good. tell people what you're doing, uh, why you are the queen of law tube uh, at this point in time uh, and uh, a little bit more about your channel. Oh, Alita you. came in. Alita, I, I've got to cook biscuits. I, just, I heard Alita on the Bluetooth. I got to say, yeah. hi, I'm cooking my biscuits. So I'll Nate be is back. cooking biscuits. Chad is going super crazy and is oh, man. ridiculous generous. Oh, thanks, guys. Those blue hearts are super sweet. Um, uh, so, yes, yeah, so my name is Alita. I run the YouTube channel, Legal Bites. We have been, uh, Rick has been, as that meme properly shows, he's basically been the goose to my maverick throughout this trial. He's been there every single day with me. Um, probably longer than uh, really anybody else that's been on there. Although we've had quite a few folks that have been, you know, showing up every single day, and uh, yeah. and it's been it's been great. So with the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, uh, live streaming Monday through Thursday, and then doing some daily recaps um, on top of that. So it's been it's been great. It's been great seeing a lot of growth, a lot of interest, and I'm super happy. Yes, please do go check out Legal Bites. You know, before she gets too big, uh, <laughs> you you can be a part of the first two hundred thousand subscribers to the channel, which is a number I didn't think I'd be using. Alita, I have to be frank. Uh, so it's uh, it, it's been fantastic to see her grow, uh, and I committed from day one that this was a person that was adding good to YouTube and the oh, world. And you. by God, I was going to help if I could. Um, so if you like virtually God, if you like anything I have to say here and you aren't already liking and subscribing over at legal bites, you should, uh, because one, I'm positive. We're going to be collaborating after the trial. Uh, and so you, if you just have to follow me around, uh, yep. I, I will be, I will be in multiple places. Uh, so if you like me do that, but more importantly, if you like Alita and you, <laughs> well, uh, also if you are, if you're watching and you have not already liked the video, I mean, I do see that there are 3000 folks watching now and only only 1.6k likes if that's correct or is that or is that maybe or is that maybe outdated maybe i should refresh this I, I honestly don't know i've never I, if people ask me are we setting records i was like guys <laughs> the record for a live stream on this channel i think was 200 concurrent uh so you know yeah so uh so yeah but i i highly recommend oh i see it's it's a 1.7 1.7 i feel like we could get to like 2.5 that would be awesome because uh this is a return yeah. volley right I here. I feel like I feel like this is uh <laughs> this is necessary. It's necessary because and and the thing is the the reason why we like to push that like button is because it is the easiest way to to feed that algorithm so that uh, YouTube puts the video in front of more people so that they can find it, they come across it naturally, um, and then hopefully they they click on it. But also, I'm super stoked that you're at 77.1k subscribers. We're gonna get you to over. We're gonna get you a silver play button by the end of this trial. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. I don't know. This is this has already been crazy, but I know I I, uh, I appreciated Alita, and you just missed us talking. We went we went over the statements um, as they've been described in the media from both the Depp team and the Herd team. I don't know if you got a chance to see those or if you have any thoughts on them. I I have. I saw them kind of quickly when when uh, when Emily D Baker posted okay. about them on Twitter. Um, just enough to get the the essence of them. Basically. Um, Amber Heard's team saying he's foul and he he doesn't have you know a sense of a good sense of reality or something like that. Um, similar style, sim similar gaslighting style that we have seen all the way around from her side. Um, yeah, it's and, a very uh, Amber Heard type statement. I mean, if, if it is a yeah. PR team, it, it, they fit their client. It yeah, and uh, you know, and then on his side, it also likewise fits the tone that we've seen throughout this trial. Basically saying, you know. She can't prove her case. We can prove our case and we're going to win. <laughs> you know, like pretty basic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and, and, and yeah. And I, I drew out a couple of things earlier. I, I mean, I don't I don't love like the they're fighting tooth and nail to prevent compelling evidence from being introduced by like using the rules of evidence and, and, and whatnot. I, although, um, yeah, they kind of are, <laughs> in my opinion. That's just my opinion. It, it, it's the, the whole the whole the, the motion for sanctions on the metadata issue just okay. was very, very sus in my opinion <laughs> i've never actually heard that analysis uh from you on that i only knew it after it happened when i when i rolled in to start the trial so you, th you yeah. think that they, they shouldn't have actually had any success on that yeah yeah okay. i think i think that i think that the herd team there was there was some monkey business going on either some some gross incompetence or some actual like intentional error <laughs> right. happening okay. so all right so i mean yeah so we, we went over that we also uh talked a little bit about um 
this New York Post uh, article, and we did talk about the, uh, the ownership of the New York Post uh, as well, matching up with the Sun. And I, I don't know if you've read this one, uh, but there there are there are some really interesting things here that you know she gives credit <laughs> she gives credit to Amber Heard for essentially uh, her t- her testimony being uh, very much verifiable by eye or ear witnesses. So why would she lie? Uh, which yeah, there's <laughs> there's some stingers in this. <laughs> verifiable is one thing, but like, are they actually putting forth the steps to verify it is the thing. Like if you could also say, oh, it's totally verifiable because there was that one lady that was on the flight, on the Moscow flight who did MDMA as a you know flight attendant. Well, where go is get she? Her. Yeah, where go is get she? Her. <laughs> Same thing with this with this this Kelly Sue gal who supposedly had her wrist almost snapped in half by by the Hulk Johnny Depp. <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely. And then and, and then we 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 had a line from her that basically says uh uh, surely I'm not alone in suspecting Depp's ever-present silver mug it has something stronger than caffeine. Uh, his own testimony in the most riveting celebrity court case since OJ makes that a given. I'm sorry, but you're allowed to have an ever-present <laughs> mug of something and have it not be alcohol. Pepsis. I have an ever-present glass of this, and it is fizzy water. <laughs> I well, also typically have testimony. a cup of coffee here, too. So it's like, okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> It, These this, are long this, days in trial for him. Uh, they so are. And especially oh. sitting in front of Amber Heard, right? I mean, like that, that's that's 14 hours of a, a person telling the world that you are not just not just a bad person, but like a monster uh, that uh, the world has nearly seen. Yeah. Uh, so it's, you know, it's interesting. And, and, and again, I, I said it when I was looking at it. I don't begrudge opinion writers their their angles, but it's, it is worth following, um, you know, how these things go. And then yeah. actually... Even though I'm much worse at it than you, and I'm just slowly figuring out where buttons are to keep up with all these ridiculously generous super chats, um, I was going to do a few super chats. Nate was going to do biscuits, uh, and yeah. I was going to do super chats. Are the biscuits go, in the oven, Nate? Let's do it. Biscuits are chats. in the oven. Matter of fact, I'm going to step off because now the kids are. We're going to wrestle with them for a little bit because it's nine o'clock in the morning, so they want to play a little bit. So, Nate, you've been I, how, how long? How long are you going to be up? How long are you gonna be I on? honestly don't know. So I, I didn't know how much to set up here. Uh, so I, I've got uh, I've got basically well, you four got, more articles. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of super chats to me. So I think you're going to be here for a while. And then when those start coming in, more is going to come in. So you're going to be here for a while. <laughs> I, I set up. I set I, 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 I was, I I was chuckling backstage when I was listening to you guys for like the last like five or ten minutes before I came on. And I was like, I know that. I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm trying to get them all. They keep showing up. And I'm like, yeah, why well, did so so here, here are things that I didn't know. As best I could tell, you have to manually nail these things as they fly in. And, and I'm like, okay. Uh, I didn't realize uh, Alita was doing that in the background. So one, <laughs> massive respect to you, Alita. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for being able to hold a conversation at all. Um, and then two, I'm I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my darndest because this is just super cool of everybody. And yes, I scheduled this for 8 a.m. on a Saturday because it was supposed <laughs> to be strictly an experiment with 60 people. Um, we showed so up. We this showed is very up very for cool, you, brother. Nate. Boom. Go check out Nate the lawyer. Go like and subscribe to his channel. He's got so much good stuff. You will see more of him on Legal Bites channel. Definitely, hopefully in this space. He's amazing. Uh, this is Law Tube, folks. Uh, and go enjoy your kids. I. I Nate, I'm, I'm going to send you like, I don't know. I, you, you tell me what you want. Chocolates, roses, whatever. I really yeah. appreciate you joining me. Like, $100 million. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, you can get he wants, he wants Amber Heard's sell, uh, 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 yeah, not settlement money, but uh, verdict money. <laughs> verdict yeah. money, verdict money. There no, 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 no. Listen, listen the, so the, much, the one great thing about, about LawTube is meeting everyone here. And th- honestly, I, I think you guys, you know, where else can you find attorneys who will be willing to give you their time to help you grow your channel? And that's the sense of what we have here. Alita gives her time to me. Hope gives his time to me. I give my time. And we do mm-hmm. this not because, you know, it's, it's, it's more for me, it's more than just people to try to grow channels. These are friends of mine. I'm going to go to Alita's wedding. We've met in person, you know, I'm meeting Kurt. And, you know, so, so it's more than that. And I, and I think, it's it's like I always say, if the more genuine you are with your friends, the more other people will see that and want to also be a part of that. And, that, and that's what we really have here. So, you know, I love these guys. 
thank you again for and thank you for the people who've come in sh and showed up and thank you for the, for the especially being so generous to my own channel to elitist channel and to hulk's channel this this is amazing for us all and we really appreciate you and with that said let me go cook these biscuits before i get beat up by these kids go check it see out you guys on the other side <laughs> thank you so see much you, <laughs> come for the law stay for the warm feelings uh i like to think we're putting something good out into the world and that's the that's the kind of reason why um so very very cool stuff uh and yeah i gotta i gotta do some super chats or i'm gonna die uh, so, so let's see if yeah, i got do it present here and then we'll, we'll yeah we'll jump in on some stuff here and i haven't gotten i haven't got my order of buttons right yet so uh forever cuber thank you so much hey rick and nate perfect i feel like alita this is uh this is this is great somebody will ask nate a question soon andrew yep. from legal mindset put out a video may 5th if you go to a specific time in his video he compares amber heard's testimony in the script from the talent of mr ripley Keep up the great work. I, I will check that out. I, I I don't. I think it's it's a false rumor because nobody can line it up exactly. I have no doubts that concepts con conceptually there are matches to things that appear in movies or books mm -hmm. or music or poetry. That that is again benefit of the doubt. That clearly is her personality. Um, you know, uh, the art student you knew in high school that just liked to refer to things with Tennyson and T. S. Eliot. Um, and, and yeah, she puts that in her own shoes a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, uh, but I, I will check it out. Andrew's great. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Nice. Uh, let's see if I can hit these buttons in the right order. Brooklyn pile, deep dive.net. Great for the panel to look at evidence. Yeah. I, to me, I think that's something I'm going to look into, um, after the trial. I, I can actually, you know, I can put a link in the, in the chat because oh, I, I have to give you mod powers. Yeah. 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 That would be, that would see be if great. I can, if you see could if do, I can that. do that. This is uh, here. I, I had bots. I had bots in like an hour, and Nate's that Nate. You you missed our tech tutorial where Nate explains to me how to make it subscriber chat. There you are, subscriber and only. Uh, <laughs> and then how to uh, how to make mods. I'm I'm way behind uh, on all this stuff. Like I said, I've never had a stream that did anything like this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. so I will. Eight in the morning. Uh, eight in the morning. I, I did know, get a right? super chat that was very nice. It was like finally someone who's broadcasting properly in Europe. It's like oh maybe I'll just maybe I'll just take the Europe slot. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I no, mean, very... yeah. If if folks, I mean, if if there's if there's enough, um, uh, you know, interest in in having it a little bit earlier in the day, that is beneficial to me as well to have like a like a morning stream. <laughs> if there will be, be viewers the, for it, <laughs> will be your you will be your drive time in pandemic land. Uh, uh, opening opening gambit. Welcome yeah. everybody. Good morning. Yeah. Grab your coffee or your tea or your diet Pepsi or your yeah. Coke. And by that I mean the drink. <laughs> and, and we'll and we'll go forward. Or as some have speculated in the chat, vodka. It's not vodka. Now that you're here, Alita, maybe you could help me with some of these. Mm -hmm. uh, you got you got a notion on this? Oh, one? ooh, uh, on the name? Yeah. Oh, okay. So so check check is a little bit more difficult for me. Okay. Mudri Mudri Kapus Kapusnak maybe. Oh, and I, okay, and I see the chat was try to read my name, so I'll give it a shot as well. <laughs> uh, I, I would have probably gone with Maudri Maudri Kapusnak. Um, and that probably would have been horrible. <laughs> thank you for thank you for asking me to give it a try. Love from the Czech Republic. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Vincent Jacobs, really appreciating the vibe and humor you both bring to these videos. You guys are uh, hilarious, of yes. course. We uh, we have good rapport. Um, yes, and we have we have a lot of fun. Uh, Claudia Tev, thanks so much. Please help where I live. If I'm beaten or tortured, I go to the ER where doctors shall report to the cops. Public ERs have cops. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's reporting responsibilities in various jurisdictions. Uh, so I don't know that that sounds that sounds bad. Um, unfortunately, I don't know that I can help directly. So hopefully, you can find some some place where you can feel comfortable with talking to doctors and, and not have to worry about such things. But I very much appreciate the super chat. I hit the wrong button again, so <laughs> we're making it through. Uh, here's Dad again. Aww. This is uh, this is Dad. Uh, I think I super chat it. number three or four. Uh, <laughs> uh, just let Nate help you with how this works. It's wonderful <laughs> to see a real community on YouTube. I think we're back in time when we just did a tech tutorial. I should clip it out and be like, "So you've got issues with your chat." Uh, <laughs> Nate explains to Rick how to do things live. Uh, so that was fun. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Fifi Ramon, Hogan Nate, a couple of legends from London, UK. Kisses. Of course. Thank you so much. Phil Jones, Hogue, didn't know how else to hit you up. Left a comment in the Sony versus Bungie video, read Doctor Strange. Yes. 
Eight out of 10 for me. Check out the Scarlet Witch thing. Okay. Mm. I will. I did see that comment uh, came in late last night. And so I'll check that out more. Uh, we, we got an early review uh, last night from someone I had seen uh, Dr. Strange that didn't like it. He said, I'm going, I'm chaperoning uh, for my daughter's school event. Uh, they rented out a theater. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and I hope I like it. Uh, so that this is someone saying that they did. Very cool. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, next. Thank you. You super chatted me. I thank you. <laughs> Claudia Tev, congrats to your great work. Greetings from Rio de Janeiro. I love all these like exotic climbs and places that we're, we're getting super chats from. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sammy Jordan, what do you make of the tissue sniffing clip? Something to help her cry, maybe. Have seen a lot of discussions about that. Okay. So I, I looked at this because 7,000 people sent me the clip. And uh, I think I'm just anti-conspiratorial. I, I think it could be any of those things. I see a person that's holding a nostril shut to uh, knock out a booger into her tissue. Um, <laughs> that That's what I observed. And I think she was good at it. You want to be when you're doing that kind of thing. Uh, but but that's, that's currently where I rest on that. You could tell me I'm an idiot. You could tell me she's doing <laughs> something else. Uh, I, if, it if you told me it was ammonia, if we could prove it after the fact or something else to help her with um, uh, crying and emotionality, I would believe yeah. it. But I, yeah. I saw somebody that's trying to deal with a nose issue in a in a good way. Yeah, I try not to think too much about all of those things, too, because I, I know at first people were talking about cocaine. Uh, realistically, she's not going to do that when she knows she's under a microscope. Um, you know, and, and there's, there's, there are fewer, fewer places that are more microscopic <laughs> than being in, uh, on the witness stand at that time, uh, in this kind of a case. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Why would I mute when I just, all right, well, we're going to figure out to me button. before where it just like automatically muted on myself. And I was like, oh, okay. Now, now I look dumb. I don't want to <laughs> tell you how to do dumb. your job. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, StreamYard, but I don't want to be muted when I change the pictures. Around. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, let's see if this works over here. Great, uh, Courtney Green. Love how you are a great hype man. Agreed. I love hyping others. I love yep. hyping things I believe in. I love pushing for more goodness on earth. So it's very easy for me to do that. Harder for me to do it for myself a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, hard, right. Very easy. It's for me always to do. it's always easier to do it for other people too. Yeah. Claudia Tev, super sticker. Thank you so much. Wrong buttons. I'm slower than Alita. Uh, Dad, lost people will replace mainstream media. <laughs> Your panels are far more insightful. Dad has big dreams, folks. I love it. I Dad, love it. Dad, hey, why not? <laughs> Dad has big dreams. Thank you, Dad. Uh, Carolina F, support this channel by liking this video. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, agreed. Man, so We're at 2.3K. I, I, I feel like we could get to 2.5. I feel okay. like it's possible. Sure, sure. <laughs> Let's this man do it, guys. Is supported other channels. He deserves all the love. It is very nice of you to say, Carolina. Thank Agreed. you. Agreed. Thank you so much. You're gonna, I'm, you're gonna look. Uh, Sunrise on seven seven news. Depp heard Australian news interviewing Cooper Lawrence, longtime female New York news podcast. At the end, says I believe women always, but then there's Amber Heard. Much mm. worse. Excuse me. Yeah, it's um that's interesting. I still don't I still don't like the 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 phrase believe all women or believe women always because of the fact that um it's it still has it still I feel like that's how we got here with with the Amber Heard case. That's that's my that's my problem with that is, you know, I, I still I still very much prefer the listen and investigate rather than listen and believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I'm personally doing with Amber Heard's testimony. It's like, I'm listening. You're starting to strain credibility. I'm looking forward to seeing if you can cash those checks you wrote, uh, but I'm listening. I'm not, I'm not writing you off, but it seems, yeah. it seems a tall mountain to climb. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Um, let's do a few more of these before we go to the next article because I'm way behind. <laughs> uh, Keen Grisdale, if and what extent is 2013 your favorite year? <laughs> <laughs> Objection <laughs> leading. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, what if gotta, any year? What if any year was your favorite in 2013? <laughs> out of out of the set, 2013. What was your favorite year? 
Um, yeah, so now we'll get back to 2013. We'll get to 2013 and cross, I'm sure. That's actually where the 2013 kind of quasi meme came to be for me was that uh, it was, I think it was Rottenborn that kept going back to 2013 from, from various points in the timeline. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it is it not was my the favorite. multiverse of madness. It is a multiverse of madness, uh, but I'm, I'm ready to see it again, maybe for the last time. Sierra Morris, good morning. Cross is going to be the most important factor for me. If it's yes. good, I'm sold. If JD's team blows it, I'll create too many doubts, I think. What do you think, Alita? I, I do agree. I think I think that there's a lot that is hinging on her cross-examination. Um, perhaps also, like, I'm still willing to open the door for, or leave the door a little open for other witnesses. But, like, if they are able to dismantle her direct on cross-examination, I think that's going to be it for her. Yeah, I, I agree. I think this is the linchpin of the trial, uh, honestly. And I, I don't know if it necessarily tips fully one way or the other. I think you could have a good cross that still leaves you the opportunity to maybe corroborate some stuff uh, yeah. on the herd side. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think this is a very, very important moment. There's, yeah, it's, it's a very, very important moment. Like you said, great opportunity for Johnny's team. Ginver, just because you have been such a great support to Alita. Yes. Thank you. Agreed. Paint, paint it forward. <laughs> Hogue, thank you for being a reasonable voice in an unreasonable world. Yes. Honestly, that's when I'm when I'm waxing philosophic about virtual legality and, and Hogue Law YouTube channel and everything else. Like that's that's what I want to do. I want to I want to put more and better information out there. Um, super chats are awesome. Obviously, it's you're going to keep the lights on for a month at this rate. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, uh, but yeah, that's I want to feel good about what I'm putting out there. There, there are ways to do YouTube where you do more outrage, you can do more clickbait, and you do more yeah. red arrows and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I am very happy uh, to be supporting Alita and Legal Bites and LawTube and, and Virtual Legality and Hoglaw to hopefully do more than yeah. than just that. I that was that reminds me of some of the the conversations that I had with people when I was first starting my channel, and I was talking about how I wanted to be kind of maybe a bit of a, a voice of reason kind of looking at both sides of things and, and that kind of thing. And I, I had people that told me that said, you will never grow because of that. Yeah. Like, like you will, you, you, you kind of need to pick one side or another and take it to an extreme and then you'll grow. And I was like, I think there's a market for it. I, th I think there's an increasing market for it because there, it, it, there's an oversaturation of outrage on one side and the other. And so so far, I think I'm winning. <laughs> you are winning. You are winning. I'm happy. I am happy that you're winning. I, I think I'm winning. I, I think that yes, it is out there. I do think it's a it's it's a slower road. I mean, I, I you could I, I don't know about you. You could you could see the ways you could have grabbed the algorithm more or, or the bots more, and you knew yeah. I you know how to write this to do it in a specific way and, and these kinds of things. You just say uh, no. I'd rather I'd rather go slow. I'd rather build the community that I want to feel proud of and to talk with if they're going to yeah. be commenting on my videos. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I couldn't be happier for everything that's going on on right now. And and I'm very hopeful that this is, you know, something that lasts for a long time to come. Not, not virtually Gaudi, not me, uh, but, but everybody, uh, but especially you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I think I might've killed one there. Oh no. Uh, we'll work on that. I'll, I'll swing back around. If, if, if I did kill one there, I apologize. Uh, Vanessa Mercado, isn't that the premise of this trial? An article with a headline and an article that wasn't true. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we're looking at all of that it, when we're looking at media. We're looking at things that are stated that are too strong. Not defamation necessarily, uh, but how things really shape the way we, we see these stories. Um, and I think I, I said I said at the end of your streams, I'm very often bringing these things up because it's it's one of the things that really interests me. Yep. Yep. Sunshine's Nana as a survivor, her entire testimony is an insult. I have, I have heard those voices say that uh, it rings very false uh, for a number of people. So I, yep. I do hear that. Absolutely. Brooklyn Pyle in retrospect, Amber's note taking seems she was trying to fit convenient lies into her testimony to make all of Johnny's witnesses unreliable. I, I don't think she was sitting there writing a script, probably, um, but she was almost certainly preparing for what would be one of the biggest moments in this trial, if not her life. Yeah. Keep um, in mind, she's also done multiple, she's made multiple statements in the in the case. She's She sat down for depositions. She gave testimony in the UK trial. And all of that can be brought up for impeachment 
in her current testimony. So if she has any kind of changes from those, from her testimony in any of those, that is ripe territory to be brought up on impeachment. And you absolutely better believe that, that Camille is going to bring up those inconsistencies on a cross-examination. So the idea that, that she's, that she's trying to work things in with new information to change her story is not going to help her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's the thing. This is years long. So it's, it's, if you are lying about any of this, can you remember everything that you told everybody and like, what, what does that look like? So I, with a little luck, if there are those kinds of inconsistencies out there, you know, they'll, they'll be exposed on a cross-examination. I'm certainly interested in seeing if they are. Sardinisms, thank you for the super chat. I woke up at my weekday time, poked around on YouTube, and was delighted to see you'd be live. Listening through Saturday chores? Hey. P.S. Nate doesn't have a specialty. He's a time lord. He has all of them. <laughs> Nate, if you're still listening, you're a time lord, buddy. Uh, so thank you for the super chat. Uh, let's let's look at an article. I know I'm way behind, but sounds good. I'm trying to, I'm trying also, to I saw out. I saw Rob in, in the chat. Hey Rob. Rob. Rob, I'll go, I'll give you a woodworking corner. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna be on the stream, you can you can. Yeah. Pop do you on. have Do you have his contact info? If not, I can send him the link that you sent uh, me. He's not in the DMs. Yes, please do that. Sure. Okay. I, I will. I will do that. I just invited someone to pop on who has no way of getting on. And uh, and 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 we should talk to him about having a a uh, a public facing uh, Twitter account so that he can he can uh, interact with all of us on on LawTube and uh, interact with everyone else on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can, yeah, you can get an account that is even just his name. It's uh, did he finalize Law and Lumber? Well, I don't in know. any event. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Rob, I just sent it to you. It's in your DMs. Sorry about that, Rob. Nothing meaner <laughs> than inviting someone to come on who couldn't possibly do it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we were looking at these, and I, I'm still working through my buttons, everybody. So bear with me. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to talk, you came just in time to hear me talk about the Kotaku article again. Uh, I want to talk about <laughs> the meta approach that is happening in some places. So May 5th, and you see a lot of these coming around that time, because this is when Amber kind of takes off with her case. Uh, May 5th, the Washington Post, which is at the heart of this thing, this is where the op-ed that we're discussing from the end of 2018 was published, decides to take a swing at how various po folks on the internet are covering this. Now, what's interesting about this is multifaceted. The first of which is, as I said, Washington Post is one of the star participants in this story. The other is that, as you might gather from uh, the kind of theming uh, of today, we've got an ownership issue, just like we had with the New York Post and The Sun and Johnny Depp suing The Sun and Rupert Murdoch and News Corp and all that good stuff. The Washington Post is owned by Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos also owns Amazon and Twitch, which is, as you can see on the headline, what's being discussed here. And it's really, really interesting because we just talked about how I want to add good to the world. LawTube, I think, is doing that. You get the warm fuzzies from, from Nate's departure there, et cetera. <laughs> and then you get the other take on this, right? That the, the media is looking at this and seeing exploitation or at least wanting to frame it that way. Uh, so you get folks talking about XQC, who you may have seen me do videos on. I think I talked about him just, I think it's XQC. Uh, flouting the rules about broadcasting the Olympics and getting into a DMCA fight. If you're interested in that, I believe there's a virtual legality episode on it. Uh, but they they frame it as over 100,000 viewers watch with him on his stream as Amber Heard's legal team argues that much of Johnny Depp's evidence should be dismissed because he, in their view, view has admitted to abuse. Now, there's a couple of reasons I highlighted this sentence, one of which is I had to really think about what the Washington Post was talking about when they described this sequence this way, about throwing out evidence, dismissing evidence. <laughs> I believe what they're mentioning here is the motion to strike slash dismiss and the opposition to that. Is that Alita? Is that is that your best guess at what they're describing here in terms of this? I th I, th I think so because th that's the only time that we've heard of of his evidence being potentially dismissed. Okay. In this case, so so far. I, so one I wanted to point out right. So you're doing an article about how other people are getting misinformation or otherwise not treating things properly, and the opening paragraph. I really had to struggle to be like, what are you describing here that matches up with what I have seen uh, over the past four weeks? So that's, you know, that's just, it's a little shade. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then they, they want to get into the business here, right? So if you aren't familiar with Twitch, uh, it's a little bit like YouTube, a little bit like Facebook gaming. Uh, it's me, me, right? It's, um, it's zany. It's entertainment first. LawTube is not that. Uh, but you get the Washington Post describing 
then they put up a clip from the 2013, God help me, it is 2013, action video <laughs> game Metal Gear Rising Revengeance in which the main character Raiden asks a corrupt senator, senator to back up something he said with a source. My source is that I made it the F up. And it's like, okay, yeah, I can see how that would be funny in the context of some of this stuff, obviously taking more of a strong, strongly worded position uh, than I am. But you can see the framework that this is starting to use, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, serious thing. We're talking about abuse. We've set it up where this is, uh, this is very important. Wrapped silence, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then, okay, now they're bringing up video game memes. Is that appropriate? The next paragraph, this sort of tonal ping-ponging is characteristic of many Twitch streams of the ongoing trial, and the trial is played out in the public eye thanks to a freely available YouTube stream of the proceedings as well as ample press coverage. <clears throat> so we start out with this really setting the framework for this is going to be something like a hit piece. And I apologize, my, my voice is going. Alita, what do you what do you think as our YouTube star now <laughs> when you see something like this put forth in the press? I mean, it's it's already starting to look like people are using this for their entertainment value and and you know, serious subject. People are ha making jokes, having fun. Um, and it's gonna be like, oh, let's talk about how these people are all terrible and and using this for for cheap entertainment. I I agree. The vibe I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And and the, the, the tough part about an article like this is like that's a good example of a problem some reasonable person might have with it. I have no doubt, having watched Twitch. There are undoubtedly people that aren't treating it with anything remotely like what I would consider the proper decorum. <laughs> yes. Right. And we and we make jokes we, uh, we on do. your stream and, and we, we do, you know, I, we 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 react to things as they happen. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, I, I, I think ultimately, end of the day, everybody that's streaming this is going to get lumped into this particular position because this is this is, in fact, competitive to what these various publications are, are doing. And they want that kind of status is this is the way that you should have these news well, events interpreted, right? And it's interesting that this is coming from the Washington Post because they're kind of in an awkward position <laughs> throughout this entire trial too. So they're like, they're trying to be like, oh, this is a very serious subject. And, you know, that article was very serious and we put it out because we knew it was very serious. And, you know, and like, you know, oh, but they're they're just trying to make light of it and make jokes of it. Okay, Washington Post. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, because they're in a position to say, you know, we should be the we should be the guard posts of this, and uh, we don't feel like they are doing it right. And to some extent, there's some accuracy there. I would I would say, yeah. But I at the same time, you know, we also fundamentally have a belief that that the public is is able to come in and witness their judicial system. And people are free to comment on the judicial system. It is not up to the Washington Post to decide what people should think about our judicial system. You know, I don't disagree. Um, and that's, they, they actually do give voice to one of the Twitch streamers here. It says people are trying to learn more context about witnesses and statements as the, and the American justice system in general, mm -hmm. which I think is entirely fair. I might not go to uh, my favorite personality-driven Twitch streamer first. I might go to Alita and Legal Bites first <laughs> on that kind of thing. But, you know, people find each other where they live. Um, and, and then you do get, you know, other references from this very same voice. It says, you know, we are actually joking about what you would expect, Amber Heard's dress and things like that, but also drug addiction and other serious topics. And that can rub people the wrong way. They sure. do get another voice that says, hey, I use comedy and fast-paced conversations to diffuse tension and make Gen Z audiences and those with shorter attention spans pay attention to serious issues because otherwise when it gets too serious, some people don't listen and they need to, maybe. Um, and, and I, I want to give the Washington Post credit here because I framed it as a hit piece. It stays that way for the most part, but they do actually have multiple interviews that are talking about why they're doing what they're doing and they don't sound, yeah. they don't sound insane. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. When you, well, and you, also, yeah. and also, I mean, it's, it's the other part of it too is, you know, I've gotten some flack from folks about, you know, using, using humorous meme merch on some stuff, you know, like all, all, there are some people that just don't like the idea of selling meme merch at all. Um, part of it because it's, you know, we've got, we've got jokes that are, that are involved in it. And people think, you know, this is a very serious case. How dare you? But at the same That's time, at the, at the same time, you know, like we also need to be able to let off some steam while we are talking about these serious subjects. It's just, you have to do it in the, in a way that's, that's hopefully appropriate and hopefully doesn't rub too many people the wrong way. But 
I mean, you talk to anyone who is a combat soldier that has been through all kinds of craziness. They come back and they've got a lot of humor about their their situation very often. And I and I think that you'll find that with a lot of people that have been to hell and back. Um, and and you know, so the, we are all experiencing this trial together, one way or another, regardless of whether people have come from DV history environments or not. We are all experiencing this trial together. And so there are parts of it that are that are horrifying. There are parts of it that are hilarious. And we're going through the whole thing together. So, you know, the fact that we can that we can also make jokes together, I think, is a good thing because it means that we are able to wrap our brains around the insanity that is some parts of this trial. Yeah. You know, honestly, Alita, I didn't know that you ever got any uh, crap for like, you, you know, havoc or whatever. Eh. I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just well for the for the first for the first trial only a little bit just a couple a couple people but but for this trial some people were were talking about like oh you're profiting off of off of you know domestic violence and all of that kind of thing but that's not my that's not the way that I see it I I see it as we are all experiencing something together and in the same way that we share memes with one another to communicate our common experience you can do that also but with something tangible and some people want that so people have asked for it so i've provided it yeah not to get not to get too far down the hole of like defending my merch but it's just it's been an interesting kind of twist in the conversation and i've really kind of thought quite a bit about it um since then because of some of the commentary uh yeah i, I literally didn't know it so that is very interesting to me i i, I can i mean i can see how somebody might come across it and, and be that way but i think you're right it's the nature of it's a community um and hopefully we're, we're learning and educating and entertaining at the same time because i you know I, I might not go as far as putting metal gear rising uh clips anywhere uh but yeah you you keep more you keep, you keep more attention with some of that entertaining quality and i've said this in virtually together i've gotten i guess similar kind of concepts predominantly when i go on other channels like how could you talk to that person how could you have this conversation and i say well look if you think that this message is good. If you think I'm good at talking about it, if you think that law tube's a good thing, if you think understanding trials is a good thing, there is value in communicating with folks that might not realize that or with for merch, providing a sense of community for what you think is good information going out there and, and you know, make, making people understand things better. So it, it, that, that's interesting to me just because I didn't know it. So yeah, thank you for yeah. sharing it with me. I, 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 yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> um, so that's the Washington Post article as I try to click on more of the 6,000 super chats that you guys have sent. And I, I, you guys are so, so generous. Uh, please do go like and subscribe to Alita. You, you might already know her if you find yourself here. Uh, but, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're on 10 days of hiatus. I'll probably be doing a couple more headline streams, uh, which you are not obligated to join. You need rest. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, if I can, uh, I will be here. Yeah, that's very nice of you. Uh, and, um, um, uh, otherwise, yeah, you got to 2.5 thousand likes and more, uh, already. Uh, so I, I, I'm so, so thankful. And then the Washington post article led into other people starting to report on it. So I mentioned this on your stream yesterday, Alita, uh, but there were a number of folks that reached out to me primarily through my video game context, uh, and said, you know, what, what can you talk to you about this? Right. Cause Twitch is primarily a, a video gaming platform, uh, and, can you speak to this? And the funny part was they asked me for this interview based on other contexts. I said, can I speak to the nature of streaming the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got a lot of experience with that. <laughs> well, I actually offered to this. I said, just so you know, I, I'm probably too close to this to strictly speaking, you know, I'd be a neutral source. So if you don't want me for that, that's fine. They said, no, that's better. Said, okay, <laughs> great. Let's talk about it then. And uh, so I gave quotes to Kotaku always hates loading. Kotaku, which if you're not familiar with them, uh, is a video game kind of news-based blog thing, and they they put their they put their money right there on the table. Top Twitch streamers capitalizing on debt versus herd trial trauma. So you know which way this is directed to go. Yep. Uh, and they talk about some of the similar things to the Washington Post, but ultimately. Uh, we do get a few acknowledgments. There are elements of humor to the case, I think is a good acknowledgement here, even if they're trying mm -hmm. to talk about why they might not like it. Um, and they talk about streamers that attract folks to watch the trial with them. It risks becoming one big watch party full of laughs and memes at trauma's expense. So this is the framework that they give when they ask me to talk about it. And 
Um, I guess I'm just advertising on my own channel for my channel now. <laughs> <clears throat> this is this is what I said, and I feel strongly about this, really. Uh, Richard Hogue, me, you don't need all this. Uh, almost everyone knows Johnny Depp either from his more avant-garde work or from his late career Disney renaissance. Hogue said, who's been streaming the trial himself with fellow YouTubers like California-based attorney Alita? I don't actually know how to pronounce your last name, Alita. Uh, Majeka. Majeka. Of Legal Bites as part of a collective. I love it. I don't think, have we ever referred to ourselves as a collective? I, I, I... I guess. I mean, that that is, it's not inaccurate. <laughs> We're a loosely organized uh, group of independent nations. A ragtag group of <laughs> random lawyers on the internet who like to talk in electronic boxes. <laughs> Known as Law Tube. Every time I give a quote that uses Law Tube, I think of Nick saying, God damn it. <laughs> uh, from there, the actual details involved are themselves more salacious than normal. Some people in the comments call me on that. It's like, oh, there's a lot of domestic cases that are this bad. I was like, maybe? I don't know. There's blood on the walls in writing here, people. Uh, yeah. and even for a case of this type with cocaine, MDMA, alcohol, severed fingers, bloody writing on walls, hours upon hours of audio clips, and two mutually exclusive descriptions of the world. And what I care about here <laughs> is while I think there's always a fear that people covering a news story could be doing it in a way that reduces the level of good information out there rather than improves upon it, it's why virtual legality and legal bites work so hard to inform from the position of legal expertise, expertise as well as to entertain. And I also think there's a risk from some quarters in terms of decorum. This is a real case with very serious allegations by both sides. And there can be a tendency by some to treat it more like a soap opera or sporting event than a legal trial. I think you might have seen me do this at some points, either in your streams or in the earlier streams that you might have seen me participate in here with LawTube. I do have a tendency to try to back people off a little bit from full-on sports commentating. Um, I, what, what are your thoughts on that aspect of streaming a trial like this one, super serious stuff, trauma is involved, but you're, you know, you're running the ship, you're running a channel yeah. like this. How, how do you balance that? Um, I mean, we, being in the practice of, of using devil's advocacy for all of us, I think really helps to kind of back you off the ledge a little bit, because it is, it is pretty easy to like, to get, to get carried away with it. Right. I mean, it was like the, during the Rittenhouse trial, I remember there, there were comments from people saying, Oh my God, this is so great. I feel like, I feel like I'm watching like a UFC fight commentary, you know, and it's in a, in a, it wasn't meant in a derogatory way. In fact, it was meant in a very positive kind of way because it makes this very um, exciting for a lot of people where, you know, if you just watch the normal law and crime court TV version of it, you may not really understand what's going on. You may not understand the real drama that's happening in front of you that's kind of unfolding. And so having that kind of commentary can really help with that. Um, and, and, you know, of course having lawyers get excited over an objection <laughs> can really help with that. Um, but at the same time, like, yeah, I, I, I do understand that like you want to try to, you know, as much as, as we can get very excited about very various things, um, you know, we do try at least to kind of keep it within the realm of, of what should be professionally, um, I guess, responsible in one way or another, um, without turning it into something that is, that is cheap entertainment. Um, but there is a lot of drama involved in it. And there is a lot of, of excitement, you know, just coming out of this trial, um, that I think oftentimes just naturally gets captured just by having some, some folks that understand what to look for and talking about it and, and kind of translating it for people. Yeah. You get invested in it, don't you? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if, if you're, if you're, if you're in it for four straight weeks, I mean, if you, Alita, you're, you, you gotta be basically going to sleep, waking up and doing it again for like the length of this thing. Basically, oh. basically. <laughs> I, it's easy to get invested in it. I think you, I, I think your best point there is it's not quite as easy to see uh, when a goal is scored or when somebody hits somebody else in a UFC match. Uh, and so, you know, I think that that the, the clips that started this out really where it's like, oh, that means everything for the particular case. And so that's why Alita's making that face. And, and you can actually, that's a big deal. And then you go from there and say, why is it a big deal? And, and, and that's the educational component of that at the same time. That's why I think this works so much. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you can probably tell I'm, I'm a more traditionalist than some of the members of law tube. So I, you know, I'm, I'm chilling out when somebody goes on a riff, uh, of, of some kind. And that's to me, that's one of the best parts of law tube is that we are not remotely the same 
Um, right. And we've got a lot of diverse voices in law too. We too. do. We really, so, really do. So that's why it's really, really interesting when you start to see all of us agree on something. Yeah. Uh, I think more than anything, because we, we often don't, we often have disagreements and you've seen those on throughout the, this live stream, you know, starting from the beginning. Um, Nate is more than happy to call me out and I'm thankful for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, but we all, we all do that for, for one another. And, and sometimes, you know, I've, I've, I've given my thoughts on something and then been like, Hmm, actually maybe so-and-so is right. You know, like all of us had our thoughts on, um, on Mr. Dennison's cross-examination of Dr. Hughes. And we were like, oh, this is terrible. This is the worst thing. This is awful, God awful. How did we get here? And then Emily D. Baker comes on and she says, actually, I thought it was pretty good. And we're it like, wait, fine. what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Tell, tell us, tell us. Emily's Come always here, dragging thoughts. me back to earth. Emily's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's just, but it's, it's for me, it's actually even, it's more fascinating to get a completely contradictory t take like that because it, it makes me re-examine like, okay, what am I missing here? Like, what can yeah. I re-examine here for next time? Um, and it's great. It's great. I love it. I love how it. we grow reason, disagreement, how we grow. I love, I love every bit of that. That's why it's so fun, right? It's hours and hours and hours and hours of this. There's, you know, three hour depositions about watching surveillance videos and buildings. It's not always Amber Heard day folks. Uh, and, uh, and it's still intelligent and interesting and such a fun thing to do. If, if that sounds interesting to you, and you're just not even interested in debit her and versus heard at like a foundational level. I think you're still going to enjoy it if you go and check it out. Legal Bites and Alita's channel, liking Aww. and subscribing. Now I can't. I, she she links it as it goes. I have so many things open. I'm worried that I will accidentally end the broadcast uh, or, or or something like that. So I will I will try to figure out that piece of it, and I'll I'll just ping Alita for like, what are you? What are the 600 buttons I didn't realize you were hitting uh, <laughs> behind the scenes? Uh, but do go check it out. Such fantastic stuff. And yeah, that's. That's that's what this is about, right? Because I say I finish this off and I say, with that risk, right? Misinformation, not lack of decorum, whatever that might even rub me the wrong way. Not yeah. just one of these article writers comes opportunity. It's not just opportunity for super chats. Thank you guys. You guys are generous and awesome. Uh, it's opportunity to have more voices out there saying more things, unfiltered, yeah. hopefully educating and informing. Uh, and I'm just never going to be against more people being interested in something and hopefully getting more information out of it, even if. It's not necessarily getting that. Someday they might find law tube. Someday they might come over here, uh, and that's that's just that's just really yeah. great. I, I don't mean to wax philosophic on this stuff, but I, it, is, I love it, it is important to me. No, it it absolutely is important, and I think and I think that 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 is going to be probably one of the best things about the ultimate growth of law tube is going to be the the ability for people to access commentary from lawyers on these kinds of things so that people can understand for themselves in a way that they don't have to trust a a, a two-second headline from uh from a publication that is intended just to attract attention yeah. you know what i mean like it's it's the internet is a place where trust is very hard to find and so if if people if we can find a way to build up that trust from people so that they can understand what they're getting from us when we give our commentary on stuff I think that that has a potential to be very powerful in a in a in a time where, like I said, a headline a headline is it can be so misleading an entire and an entire article for that matter, you know. Yeah, I'm constantly asking for primary source material when, when I read things, right? People summarizing legal uh, documents or SEC filings, or yeah, I'm, I'm mostly yeah. doing business and and video game and transactional stuff, and I. Man, I, I really honestly just want to help. I give quotes for free. I do it to a bunch of different outlets. I just want to be like, just don't write that headline. I'm not charging you. Just let me say, oh, actually, that SEC filing has nothing to do with what you were about to report on for 3,000 words. Okay? Let me let me do it before I make the virtual legality and then you don't like me. Okay? That's not my goal. <laughs> I want to have better information out there. So, yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, we're going to do some more Super Chats. Alita, by the way. I know you need to, to rest. You are not. Please don't feel like a hostage on any of this stuff. I'm doing super no. chats between the articles. Next article we're going to do after we do some super chats is an Entertainment Weekly article that drags in experts and has their own thoughts. We're actually going to look at what they chose to pick, how they say it, um, and see what I think and, and Alita thinks about uh, what they have to say. But first, uh, we have 120. So we're going to try to cut into that a little bit. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Sardinisms. I woke up at weekday at my weekday time. Oh no, we got Time Lord. Did that one. Fantastic. Uh, Mysterica Nor, new PR team is looking to look strong for Amber. 
Seems like. Se- seems like they're getting out there a little bit more actively. Although I would say with respect to the statements, uh, it looks like that was precipitated by Johnny Depp's team. That uh, that Johnny Depp took a volley um, for whatever reason. You know, when Nate was on here, he suggested that part of that was we got the 10-day break. They just finished off her testimony with pictures of abuse or what they you know claim show abuse. Uh, and so they wanted to get out there and say, don't believe any of this. We're going to kill her on cross, give or take. Um, so it's interesting. It's interesting to follow. Billy Reynolds with the five pound super chat watched four body language experts, which I'm not. Every one of them have said Heard is being dishonest while Depp has not, but has shown nerves with some subjects. You know, I, I'm not an expert. I can't claim expertise on this, but I can say the vibe I get is that Johnny wasn't hiding as much as Amber um, and that, that that Amber is exaggerative. So, I mean, that's that's just the human experience kind of vibe that I have uh, for yep. what we're seeing so far. Yep. Just because uh, fist pump by Chu with A.H. Benjamin Moss. Yeah, it's the thumbnail. That's, that's the thumbnail <laughs> I used for this was Ben Chu looking super pumped uh about yep. what we know not yet uh I have my thoughts you. of course <laughs> yes well hey what do you think well yeah no i i really think that they that the intent is to bring in kate moss as a rebuttal witness for johnny i think that would be a fantastic way to close out this case for johnny just to bring in one of his former uh former partners and and have her talk about her experiences with him because her name has been invoked by the defendant as in as in a an implied example of him mistreating a former partner and the in the anticipation is that she would say none of that happened johnny's great yes all right interesting uh marion patera too much focus on metadata in my opinion fake scars and bruises are 101 of prosthetic film makeup bad light and low res phone picture help hide imperfections and they can point out all of those things yeah at the same time along with the metadata issues yeah. Well, I mean, for those for those kinds of stories, you say I would have expected to see more. And that I try to avoid that. That doesn't sound strictly fair to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I I definitely want to hear more about the how the photos were created, their origin, uh, etc. So well, thank you for the super chat. I mean, because remember, like, you know, we've 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 had this happen in this trial where certain expectations were built up and we thought, oh, okay, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then what comes out is like, okay. Like there was, I can't remember exactly what it was on Johnny's side, but there was something that was a little bit less than, than what we were. Oh, it was, it was one of, one of the bruise photos that Sean Bett introduced. Oh yeah. It was, there was, there was one of those where it was like, okay, like we thought that there was going to be something like really more to this, but it was like kind of a bruise or something like that. Like maybe there was something there, but it wasn't as spicy as we were thinking it was going to be based on how it was, how things were described. And exactly here right. with Amber Heard, you have that times 10 because she's talking about some serious, serious violent allegations about things that he did to her, pulling her by her hair from room to room, st- sticking things in all kinds of places, you know, with yeah. so much punching her, beating her down, breaking a bed by doing it. Walking so on like, glass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like the, the things that she alleged you would think that there would be some evidence showing, you know, some kind of photos showing some of these things. And it's not to say that, that, you know, the absence of photos, the absence of, you know, this other kind of evidence means that no DV happened. Of course, we're not saying that, but right. here she's saying, I have photos from this thing. And the photo that she shows is, is not a, a photo of her busted lip from being backhanded with rings, but a photo of a bruise on her arm. It's just, things are not lining up in the way that it feels like they should because of the way that she is building things up through her testimony. And she has control over her testimony is the thing. She knows what photos are there. She knows what photos, you know, that, that depict various things. She can describe things in a way that makes those photos look damning, but she hasn't the way that she's described them or described the, the incidents that led to those, those photos, assuming that those even are real, (laughs) <laughs> that they're not makeup, that they're not, you know, somehow photoshopped. Assuming that all of that is true, she can describe the incidents in a way that makes that look like, okay, yes, she has been abused by him. That's the interesting thing, right? And, and the one thing I think about that that I'm always careful of is just like, yeah, they don't line up. And it seems like you could. 
if, if you take that one story that maybe has a style, maybe has a black eye, and and you just say, we got into a fight and Johnny hauled off and punched me, I'd say, maybe. That could that could be that could be a DV a DV uh, situation could very yeah, well be. And the only thing I I'm, I worry about there is it's like well, let's it's so hard to believe so many aspects of the story. But let's say that this is just the way it went down. What we're actually describing when I talk about strategy there is how I would lie, like like how I would make it match up more with what I actually had. Um, yeah. So if it were true and it and everything looked like that, I would just feel bad about well, it just doesn't look like it. Um, but I mean, I think if you, I think you have to take that under advisement. I think you have yeah. to say it really doesn't look like it. Yeah. So. And, and I see Amber Jack in the chat says, if he slapped her, not leaving a mark, is that abuse? Number one, the definition of abuse in this case is up to the jury, but number two, that could be, but that's not what she's describing here. And that's, that's kind of the issue with it is that the, the things that she's describing are, are actions that should reasonably lead to injuries that are more than just a slap that would maybe leave some, some redness that would go away. Right. Right. And that, I mean, and that's, and, and that's the issue is, is, you know, she references, she has photos. She doesn't show them. She brings up photos that say I got slapped in the face and it's a thing on the arm. And you're like, I don't know how to read all this stuff together. Yeah. Yep. LM, if I was the PR firm that HR fired, I'd be relieved. <laughs> you always, what, what, what do you say later? Biller's got a bill. Oh, um, got a bill. <laughs> Biller's got a bill, but also some clients are not worth, uh, not worth the money. <laughs> Yeah. I, well, I mean, the one thing I definitely did notice in the testimonies, it did not seem that she was, she was following with exactly what Elaine wanted uh, every, every time. So she, she does seem to be a, a strong willed client quotes. Uh, like, like I think we all know when we practice law uh, and that's, that's its own challenge. doesn't mean she's lying. It doesn't mean if that's not what it means. It just means that she's going to go her own direction. There are, there are some clients that you can advise them all you want and they won't necessarily trust you because either they don't trust lawyers or because they are less trusting of people in general, or they just have a hard time giving up control to someone else in a situation there. I mean, there are all kinds of reasons why people will be like that, uh, for various things. Hey, how's it going? Rob. Hey guys. <laughs> Sorry. I said, come on in when you didn't have a link. <laughs> <laughs> so early you guys hog were you up at what time did you start this live stream uh, this started at 8 a.m eastern i got up at five uh to uh to prep various things um you to, are committed uh, man that, that is that the, is that the is truth something. is i woke up and i was like oh i know how i want to do this and i then i said okay it's saturday i wanted to do it as an experimental stream that was going to be you know like 50 people uh saturday eight in the morning <laughs> And uh, that didn't, it didn't go down that way, Rob. 3,500 people later. <laughs> yeah. 3,500 people that's watching a, right now. Well, yeah. That's uh, awesome. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's super, super cool. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting, see, I'm going to be far more respectful. I think I was respectful anyway. I'm going to be far more respectful uh, next time I'm over on Legal Bites, uh, being like, stop, st stop, stop. You got to let her hit, you got to let her hit the super chat. She's got a lot of <laughs> buttons to hit uh there's a lot of stuff going on in the background here yeah you, you uh, now feel you're now feeling the pain from from like her end I guess, <laughs> um it's significantly more complicated i feel like there's a better streamlined way of doing this somehow significantly yeah. more complicated in terms of like the like the six buttons you have to rotate between yeah uh, than i thought it was this is um, like retaliation we can just make this the song that never ends like when a movie <laughs> gets close to the end of her streams you can just physically see how tired she is and then we start talking and she goes <sighs> <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's one Alita face that I really like because she's really good about it. And it's, it, I don't know, it's kind of just like looking to the side. And, it, and it's when Ian starts or when I start or when Nate starts. <laughs> uh, it is played on. And it's just this kind of like, I'm not, I'm not sure that chat needed a four paragraph yeah. answer. Yeah. Uh, I'm so hungry. I'm so sleepy. I want to rest. Why? She, she tried to keep us out of a 10 hour stream yesterday by doing the first two hours herself. It did, not, it did not work. It didn't work. There were too many, too many chats to begin with. See, this community is so great and so generous. And uh, yeah, nice. it's, it's, it's really awesome. Rob, um, I'm having everybody intro virtual legality because you haven't been here before. 
Who are you? What kind of law do you do? What is your channel about? I'm actually really interested in that. One. <laughs> we all well, want to know. Last, what your let's the last about. question. Hey, yeah. Hmm. Um, so I'm a domestic relations a litigation attorney. I've been practicing in Fairfax County. I've been practicing uh, basically a trial attorney since for the last 11 years. Um, and I also do some complex personal bankruptcy issues. So uh, personal restructuring. Um, yeah. And then as far as this channel, uh, we're going to figure it out. But I did figure out the first video that I'm going to put out. Fantastic. What are you um, doing? We are going to debunk the Amber Heard bet allegation. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that'll go viral. That'll be, yep. you'll get your first 4,000 working hours or, or watch time hours. You'll, you'll get, you'll get monetized in a minute. Well, first of all, we're going to, we're going to retweet it for you. Uh, we're yep. we're going to send it out for you. That is such a great idea. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to actually explain how the grain structure in the wood actually would make that break or how it would break. Um, we're going to build the bed or build a little replica bed in the background and then we're going to break it. You're going to oh build a gosh. replica bed. Eh, small scale. Okay. All right. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how much of a myth buster you're supposed to. You know, the one you're going to, you're going to get, you're going to have your name be law and lumber and you're going to have this and it's going to be very popular. I, I, I have faith in that. People are going to think that you literally only do like lumber based fact finding law. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll figure out where to take it from there. But I figure I, you know, I couldn't go to bed last night after thinking about after just doing that and then watching it myself, like actually just breaking that stupid piece of wood right here. Yeah. And then just thinking like, how has no one put that together? How has no one explained it that way? This is yes. ridiculous. How is yes. that allowed it's, to it's, be? It in? will go in, it will instantly go viral. It will. You are such a, you are such a YouTuber, Rob now. So keep an eye out. I'll <laughs> see if I can put it together and no, I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're just going to do it that way. There you go. I, that is such a great idea. So folks, Again, I, I don't have the links down yet. I'll figure it out. Uh, but Rob is Law and Lumber. Uh, maybe we can get him in chat somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, to go like and subscribe. He hasn't actually made a video yet. That's why I joked about what his channel was going to be about. <laughs> uh, but I do believe what, what you got like 5,000 subscribers now. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I don't even know. I woke up this morning and just. Uh, no, 3.81. There you go, folks. You can get in early days for Rob's Law and Lumber channel. Is that solid? Is the name, by the way? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of sticking with it. Okay. I think so. You're going to get but locked in, a, so get solid. I have <laughs> another collaboration idea for all of LawTube that's going to be okay. kind of fun. Like a right. before, it's we're going to call it before the bench, and we're going to break off into teams, and we're going to argue, argue, <clears throat> argue points that are raised by super chats. Okay. Ooh. All right, that can work. Interesting. Interesting. That could okay. work. Um, and I, I just put his link in the in the chat to uh to Law and Lumber, the the channel. So we can we can get him over four thousand today. <laughs> this is great. I'm glad you're here, Alita. You're so much better. If, at me I mean, if you hit the other. notification, if you hit the notification button, then you'll get the notification of the first video. Exactly. You'll be there. You will be on the ground level, <sighs> folks. Ground level. Oh, oh. My initial thought was, oh, no, he's not quite a YouTuber yet. That is touch and go on whether the notifications send anything out. Uh <laughs> I know. It's like it, it is actually. Yeah. I mean, I still ask for people to, to hit the notification bell, but um, absolutely, people don't always get them, unfortunately, which is right. I don't understand why YouTube is like that. Why? YouTube why it's weird stuff. I get unsubscribes and people don't know why they unsubscribe to the channel. Any event. Yeah. Yeah. That is Rob. We're still going to do a couple super chats. Then we're going to go to an Entertainment Weekly article. Uh, so, so bear with me a little bit longer. Um, I'm I, I am supposed to go to Comic Book Day with my family. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, Heather, so happy you're here this morning. Was her mention of Kate Moss important for bringing in the past? Certainly, LawTube thinks so. I don't actually know like the Kate Moss story other than what Amber Heard just said. Um, so. Uh, Certainly Ben Chu thinks it's very important and I would, you know, think that that is a good indicator that it probably is. Luis McDade, thank you so much for your super chat. A-Train, just want to say you're doing fantastic work even for a no I am Michigan guy, <laughs> O-H. I respect our neighbors to the south. I love the Toledo Zoo. I don't really... <laughs> I don't really find myself in Columbus too often, but thank you very much. I know that that took a lot of strength to put that super chat down as it would for me giving to an Ohio State fan. So I very much appreciate it. <laughs> LM, I'm sure AH understands people don't believe her, but her ego loves the Oscar goes to best actress comments because she is detached from reality. 
I, I, I don't know whether people know whether whether she thinks that people believe her or not. Um, it's an interesting concept. Uh, I have to work on my hot huh, interesting and uh, what <laughs> maybe could be could be maybe. Yeah. I have to work on that. Uh, wrong button. Lauren B. Question Nate. There it is. That's my first one of those. Yeah. Can they bring in the AU tapes since EB? A-H about accuracy. Since E-B questioned, Elaine oh, Elaine Bredehoff Bredehoff asked questioned Amber, Amber Heard about the accuracy. I mean, it seemed like they were going to bring that in based on the the dialogue on that, right? But they, I didn't but they, know they, what they didn't happened there. Wasn't that, wasn't that a weird section where she like asked about the tape and then like there was no tape? Yeah, it just the, the entire question section just didn't make sense. <clears throat> and I don't know where she was going with it. I, I honestly think it was probably she had a series of questions she wanted to get to and she just couldn't get this. She couldn't get started and far enough to get into it. Yeah, could be. I, and we could, you know, they could correct that later on. I mean, we don't know. The last time we gave them a break, you know, that that's when we started bouncing around the timeline. So they'll, they'll go yeah. back and correct if they think they need to. Let me take um, you back to 2013. You know they will. They're going to open up. We're going to be 10 days off and said, well, before we get continue on with 2016, I want to take you back to 2013. Hogue, that's, your, just, Hogue, that's, your, that's your merch. You, need a, you, need, you need a t-shirt that says virtual legality. Let me take you back to 2013. Let me yep. take you back to 2013. I will, I, yeah. I, will, uh, I will keep it in mind. I will definitely keep it in mind. <laughs> Mr. Squiggles, if he wins, I want him to grab the judge's mic. And while looking at her, said, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, Y'all have very dramatic endings for this court case. <laughs> yeah, I've also heard the, the uh, uh, and today's the day you will all remember that you almost got Captain Jack Sparrow. Or you know what? Just to see that little glint where he does the one lip raise and like wink a little bit. Yeah, that would, that'd kill me. I'd love that. Looks right in the camera. Yeah. 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 You never know. You never know. Blue Run Vegan, her testimony is too hyper for me to watch. Have you managed to watch it all? We did. I, I, will, I will say what I said on the stream, which is it was it was so similar in dramatic tone. Um, it really was blending together, and I was tuning out a little bit towards the end of the long day, the, the, the Thursday testimony. There's no question there. Still haven't gotten – one day I'm going to get this button order right, I swear. <laughs> uh, Surreal Kit, been loving you guys on the streams. Have either of you looked at the updated trial exhibit files on the Fairfax County website? This was to me and Nate, but – I have not. Rob, are you following that at all? No, I'm, but I'm curious because the full audio is in there, right? They introduced the full audio. It seemed like it, but we don't know. Yeah, I have. Let's see. When when was the updated? Um, plaintiff's opposition to motion. No. Um, let's see here. Eh. Yeah, it's it's there. It's there. There's, there's, a, there's a supplemented list of exhibits for Amber Heard that came in like, right around trial time. Yeah, okay. I might throw the full audio on in the background while I'm working the shop today, see if there's anything in there. All right. Okay. Yeah, you can let us know your thoughts on that because I'm yeah. saying I, that, that's admitted to the jury. So that's interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to what's like presented in front of them. So it's interesting. Uh, yeah. Cheryl Cantwell, thank you so much for the super chat. Glory Lights question, why do you think Chew fist pumped after Amber Heard mentioned Kate Moss? We think it's because it's going to bring in either her as rebuttal or some past testimony. will be interesting to see. It was also a really cool signal to the jury because you know the juror, at least one juror saw that. It was yeah. impermissible. He shouldn't have done it, but you know at least one juror saw that. So one juror is waiting for the Kate Moss question. <laughs> well, it was it was fast. Uh, yeah, I think it was one of those things where I was like, oh, I wonder if that gets an admonition. You're not <laughs> – he didn't look like he could control it when it first happened. It yeah, was, yeah. Uh, I think I think it was it was subtle enough that he he could get away with it. If it was if it was like <gasps> you know, then of course that's <laughs> that would be something that would definitely warrant warrant an admonition. But uh, maybe the judge stuff. didn't catch it. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, Vishnu Hedemark, since Amber Heard mentioned Kate Moss yesterday, can Depp's team bring in Amber Heard's previous DV case against her previous ex Tasha Van Ree? We don't know. Alita thinks no. I think yes. So there you lawyers go. Dis lawyers disagree. And then yeah. I will take, I don't know. So we hit the, we hit the lawyer trifecta. So <laughs> there you go. Rami Max, thanks, Hogue. Learning heaps about law and monsters. There you go. Mary Reinert, Hogue, thank you for your honest opinions on this trial. That's all I can give. Mm -hmm. I have watched you on Legal Bites and it's been fun. Hasn't it? What an awesome time. Yeah. 
Uh, Byron Cadam, hey guys, watching all the way from Malaysia. I love this. Nice. Stuff. Can't wait for Camille to do cross. It's gonna be good. Fascinating um, to see how Amber Heard responds after all of her hyperbolics. I'm fascinated too. Immediately combative, emotional, both. It's it's gonna be really, really interesting to watch. 100 yeah. percent Rami Max, can you explain what it means to impeach? I'm lost. I feel like Alita. This is fantastic. All right. So impeach just basically means give you a reason to doubt the testimony you just heard, right? The contradiction is the most normal way. This is when you saw Rottenborn say, uh, what did you, you just answered this in your testimony. Yes. Let's go to the UK transcript. And then sometimes it says the exact same thing and Rottenborn doesn't look great, but sometimes it says the exact opposite. And, you, and, and then you force the witness to say, yes, I said that. And then you just kind of leave it and the jury's like, wait, oh, okay. So it just means to impeach, give you a reason to say what they just said might not be true or isn't true. Yeah. Um, that's what it is. Yep. Mrs. Popo Camerudin, TQ Hogue, I think that's thank you. You remind me so much of one of my best friends that haven't seen for a long time since COVID. Fantastic. Aww. Come on, let's all like this live. Agreed. That's very nice of you to say. I, yeah. I got to be honest with you, th you know, 3,600 watching, 3,100 likes is, is a good ratio, folks. You guys are fantastic. Babylonia Rising. Hello, fellow gamers. Hey. Hello. I'm gonna give I'm gonna game some this weekend, I think. Hopefully. I haven't played a game. I haven't got I haven't played a game since I started being on Legal Bites, I don't think. Uh, not anything <laughs> long. Not anything hopefully, long. Hopefully I'll have some time to backseat game with Mr. Bites. There Basically, you go. where where he's he's playing and I'm just telling him where to throw the Molotov cocktails. <laughs> well, well. Call of Duty, I hope. Not Sim City. All right. Just a name. <laughs> he's so drugged out, yet he's conscious enough to hide in seven different rooms and also film Pirate 5. The house story does get around the geography, doesn't it? Yeah. But I did just get a visual of Jack Sparrow running through her house and hiding in five different rooms like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I, if I remember the, the, the finger story correctly, he talks about his, his hands are in the dirt. From the like the the movie dirt they had put on for him to be Jack Sparrow, it's unclear exactly how much he looked like Jack Sparrow during this fight. I don't know. Then he's just yelling, yeah, "Ring, I have a jar. I have a jar." I have a jar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to figure out why this jar of dirt scene is the one people remember so much. <laughs> it's funny. It. It's a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> Smurf monster. Any word from someone who was in the court as to how the jury seemed responded during her evidence? Can you guys take this for just a second? I have to talk to my sure. children. One second. Yeah. Uh, from someone answer. who was in the court as to how the jury seemed. So we, we haven't gotten too much from folks. I did get an email from someone who was super chatting yesterday. I haven't had a chance to respond yet. Um, but uh, the uh, someone was saying that they were trying to avoid eye contact with her when she was on the stand, which was very, very interesting because if they are not making eye, they're not returning her eye contact that she is searching for. By the way, you got a, a, a number of super chats that flew by when you when you got up. <laughs> Don't know if you caught them. <laughs> I haven't caught any. I, I, I'm doing this the wrong way, but I have not gotten my methods right yet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you. You kind of have to master the. I'm talking about this, and I know what I'm saying while I'm also scrolling and just kind of scanning for color and like just tap tapping. It's it is it is kind of a lot to sort of like work your brain mode on. I have um, such I, a massive more amount of respect for you. And I was, it was, start, <laughs> I was starting pretty high, Alita. Oh, thank you. Um, I just, I, I, I tell myself it's like, I'm training for when I need to have like, like multiple attention points on like things for, for children eventually one of these days. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, but to, yeah, to answer this question, it was very interesting to hear that apparently the uh, jury was not meeting, meeting her eye contact, which I think it was telling. Because they were paying attention, but not responding uh, emotionally to what she was saying. Yeah, that is interesting. Which is a stark contrast to how we heard reports of Johnny Depp's testimony. Yes. People were just completely glued to him, <clears throat> is what they said. How could you not be? It was like rapt attention. I remember those days. It was, uh, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I've seen Alita elevate these because these are crazy. Uh, yes. Russell Hogue, hundred dollars. Oh, that is the crazy. wilderness must be explored. Kaka, roar, kaka, roar. Oh, yes. Love it. That's right. <laughs> I'm surprised. Is that your dad? No, no. This is just somebody that thinks I look like Russell from Up, which I can't really <laughs> deny. So well, you know, your your parents are watching this channel and not Joe's right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents are watching this channel because my dad keeps coming in and saying how awesome Nate is. Uh, he might have gotten off because he would have said how awesome Alita is already. And I, well, I, I did you know see what? a super honestly, chat saying that. <laughs> I was, honestly, I'm we have, you, you haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought that. So thank you so much for that generous super chat, uh, uh, Russell Hogue, whoever you are. Uh, it is uh, it is very very generous. Um, and I'm trying to do these all at once. And I, I didn't expect to have to learn this skill at this rapidity. Uh, I love seeing so. the panic, the panic hog face. It's, <laughs> it's, it is so, it's so different than what we've seen on Alita's channel. And it's I the best show. comeback ever. She's doing all the work. <laughs> uh, it is a lot easier when you're not the one hosting. Like you can get up and be like, all right, I'm just going to step away for a second. Like turn off your camera, go right. and like get a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see me put the logo up and it's, it's usually when I'm, you know, I, I had an empanada yesterday, you know, we're having a grand old time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, will, this one, right? I will say for that for mine. Yeah. Um, I will say that, that for mine, you know, at this point, I also have someone that is helping me on the back end too. So inputting the links for people that show up, you know, in the description and like helping to do the the speed of the chat and the sub only mode and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's it's at, at that level, I, I, I would be struggling much harder if I didn't have someone kind of helping out. Well, uh, because of you end. guys in chat who are awesome, I went right to the deep end, right? I, I had done, <laughs> I had done the occasional super chat. I had, I had done the, oh. Fantastic. Wonderful. I have never done this. Uh, <laughs> Luffy Ace, question. Couldn't the JD lawyers prep witness to plead fifth until they are allowed to answer without interruption from Amber Heard's team? No. Uh, I don't think there's criminal liability in play and they're on the stand. I mean, they've, they've, well, they've decided to. And also, even, even if someone were in a situation where they could invoke their Fifth Amendment right, it's a right not to testify. So as soon as you get up there on the witness stand, you waive that right. Um, mm -hmm. And there's there's a, there's typically, you know, a conversation that's had, at least in criminal cases, you know, there's, there's a conversation that's had between them and the judge saying, you understand what's going on here. Right. Um, I mean, if it's just a general witness in a civil case, maybe not so much, but there's a, there's a good argument that you, you've already waived that once you've gone in and, and had a full direct examination. And then just to say, oh, cross-examination. Oh no. Fifth amendment. <laughs> Yeah, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't seem very fair, I don't think. Uh, so, yeah. The Lost Penguin, did you read the statement of the Amber Heard makeup artist? No, because I don't think that's been introduced in court uh, yet. So not not in this one anyway. UK trial, yes. Who's in the sun? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. James Morris, do you think they will bring up all the films she did while the JD she did so many goes against about him stopping her about the ref form? Yes, was Buffy. I think I said those words in the order that they were presented in that chat. You, do, you did. Uh, now you understand my my pain. Do you think they will bring up all the all the films she did while well, with, with JD? JD. She uh, did she so did many. So many. It goes against <laughs> about him stopping her. Also, the reference form yesterday was Buffy. Oh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There was a reference yesterday about the bunnies. I think. Um, uh, yes, I said because Ian says I have I, I've got a theory, and I say it could be bunnies. Um, uh, yes. So it was Buffy. And thank you for helping me, Ron Burgundy, through that. <laughs> You're I really welcome. feel like I'm and getting the reverse experience. Yeah, and the, the first I'm point, Richard Hogue. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and the, the the thing the thing about that too is that so the the first part of that also is is a very notable point, being that she was never at her at her busier time than when she was married to Johnny Depp. She, yeah. I mean, and they, that will absolutely come out on cross examination to say, let's take a look at your IMDb profile. <laughs> let's look at right. all of these movies that came out during 2015, 16, uh, and whatever, because you you filmed these during that time. Well, because she's testifying to her him holding her back, right? Yeah. I mean, like, there's all sorts of weird bits there. You're jealous of Clive Barker, and then apparently your own doctor sent your wife a nightgown. I don't. It all. It also brings up backdoor. It also brings up rebuttal because remember Johnny Depp testified at least a little bit to him helping her get roles. If there's more of that testimony, that's coming in in a rebuttal. I would believe it. I would believe it. Phil Avesi sending love from Western Australia. One of the stars of the Depp Heard trial. Thank you so much. Will, if JD wins, do you think that the UCLA slash Washington Post, I'm betting that's ACLU, ACLU, may possibly issue a statement regarding the op-ed which they were contributors to, maybe apologize? I would expect nope. it to come down and to be memory hold. That would be my guess. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. No apologies given. Boss fan eight. Hi from England. Lovely to see you both on here. Someone posted a clip on Twitter of Amber Heard sniffing something up from her own tissue uh, to make her cry. Could be to make her cry. I've seen other people hypothesize drugs. I think booger could go many different directions. <laughs> hashtag team booger. <laughs> team book. I'm not hashtagging team booger. That's circling that's back. Another, that's right. another t-shirt. Could be to make her cry. Could be sniffing coke. Could be a booger. <laughs> Cry Coke, or we gotta get a keyword for something. Burger. Tells me someone's gonna have a complaint about that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, Nate, do you think? Uh, oh, Jill, uh, thank you for the super chat. Nate, do you think Megan K postponed your spot because you wouldn't have fit her narrative that day? I feel she didn't do enough research. So Megan Kelly, Nate, the lawyer, was supposed to be on Megan Kelly. Uh, got bumped. That does happen. I've never been on offered anything as big as Megan Kelly, but it does happen. Yeah. And apparently, she was gonna go out with I believe Amber Heard. So you never know what happens behind the scenes because Nate was very likely not going to be at least fully in that camp. Um, but he also, I think Alita, you said he, he, he was anticipated to talk about Dobbs. Uh, I think the, so. The, the I, I, I think he said he was going on to talk about the Supreme Court because what happened was he was on, he was on Viva and Barnes channel. And I guess one of her producers or someone saw him on there and oh. reached out through that. I didn't know the origin story there. Well, either way, he got bumped. Uh, yeah. But they did say he would be back on there, so he he might well be uh, you know in in a short short period of time. Rebecca Smalley, I have loved your perspective on the trial. The real question is, what video games are you playing these days? These particular days, I don't know what a video game is. Um, <laughs> uh, outside no. of that, outside of that, my favorite thing that I've been playing with my daughters, who are eagerly awaiting playing it this weekend with me. Uh, is Nintendo Switch Sports, which is essentially a revamp of the old Wii Sports game that took the world by storm. Bowling, tennis, badminton, uh, sword fighting, which they love, uh, and uh, volleyball and soccer, uh, which is like Rocket League, if you know Rocket League. Uh, I think I gave a one-sentence review of It's Rad. It is rad. Um, so if you have a Nintendo Switch, uh, and especially if you have kids that love that kind of stuff, check it out. Love that one. Um Otherwise, I'm not playing anything too terribly fulsomely because I don't I don't have the capacity. I think I joked with Alita yesterday. She said, oh, well, she taught me I can still do big law uh, <laughs> times because uh, I'm, I'm basically doing my law firm stuff and my own channel stuff like on the outsides of, of the streams. And uh, it's that's, fun. that's the hard part of being one of the guests on one of these these trial streams, because then then you go back and you're like, oh, I get all these great subscribers. Now I need to put some content on my channel. <laughs> well, I got I was getting complaints. So I think it was the first week where it's like, um. Are you okay, Rick? Did you Hi. die? <laughs> We're here too. We need yeah. some love. <laughs> yeah. So I so I started doing the videos as early as I could and getting them out by like that 9:30 opening or trying to within that yeah. window, and which was working. And then the judge says we're starting at nine now, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can make that math work. We're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure something out. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to have you just kind of dip out for a few hours at a time and then just come back later. I think I will. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to pick whatever looks the most like the the Eastern Columbia deposition. Uh, yeah. and Rick, Rick, you and I both own our own law firms, so the ad the administrative stuff still needs to keep going. And when I'm when I'm on the stream and you don't see my face there and I'm muted, that is me doing actual work and trying <laughs> to like use my ADHD brain to hear the trial stuff at the same time. Well, there's yeah. different levels of work, right? So I've done a little bit of that and I've done it with the logo on and then I've done that. I have to go. I need, you know, we need to, we need to concentrate. Um, so yeah. And we crossed a month end, right? Like the, th the thing that I, I don't, I don't even think I realized when I was working at big law, but it was like, that's, that's a big deal. Like I, I gotta, I gotta clear all my uh, financials. I gotta balance everything. I gotta move the, the checks around and everything else. Uh, so that was crossing the month end was probably the hardest time for me doing all this. Uh, but yeah, Nintendo Switch yeah. Sports got on a tangent there. I can see how you can wind up with an 11 hour stream, Alita. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we'll do like a couple more and then we'll do the article. Uh, James Morris, but surely if they spend another eight hours in direct on Amber Heard, they will be short of time and could run out mid witness. I got to believe they're tracking it sufficient to what they want to present as their case. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I, I do think Amber Heard feels like another full day. Yeah. Because um, 2016 is a thick is a thick year there's yeah, like four is, events that you want to cover pretty good <laughs> and if i'm johnny depp's team i'm ready for two at least two days across you think so yeah i i am yeah it's going to take that long it, the the challenge that johnny depp's team has is the challenge that every person has in a in one of these tv cases is how do you prove a negative and you yeah. have to go through so much to do that because any any muddy middle on one of these should technically go to amber and it might come out as how you emotionally feel about these people 
uh, but you've got to try to disarm everything, right? Yep. Yep. Lisa, you thoughts on Dr. Kipper giving Amber Heard the nightgown? It's weird. It's Johnny weird. allegedly destroyed plus steps Kipper text to stop working together. I I never if if those go together, I never picked on the notion that that was that was what was happening in those texts. Um, so you, I, you, what the, the notions I got were increasing tension between Kipper and Johnny and a lot because of the recommendation of Cowan. Um, I got a lot of that. Um, Johnny Depp really did not like psychologist Cowan. Uh, but I, I, you would think that this would have been mentioned as part of the narrative in something. Uh, so that was, that was weird. Although, you know, in a different context, I would tell you that that sounded weird enough to be true. <laughs> Like, that's just such a weird thing to say. Uh, obviously, a weird thing to do that I wouldn't expect you're lying on that. But again, if you've been on Legal Bites, I think what I've said is Dr. Kipper gives me bad vibes, man. Um, he does. He does. Jim Satala, you should pull up the audio from Australia. I will make it. We will we'll do what the jury didn't get to hear if we don't get to hear it. It's on the YouTube channel. Incredibly average, 30 minutes long, recorded by Amber. She lied about everything. People have told me this. It's not in my headspace yet. I will check these things out after the trial if they don't otherwise come in. Living sweetly, this was and still is a toxic situation, isn't it? Like it is. It's a bad relationship. Her story keeps changing and her behavior during deposition isn't consistent with that of victims of DV and SV. Where are the supporting medical reports, pictures, witnesses, et cetera? I mean, I think that's what we're all asking. I do want to give her the chance to present her case, but it seems like some of this stuff should have some corroborative evidence. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about an article. <clears throat> I, you know, yeah. I, got it, I got it down to 115. It's actually probably more than that because I wasn't trying oh to get my answer to these. <laughs> I, I don't, you guys are amazing. Um, and we're going to be at 4,000 watching pretty soon. I, it's, it's, all, it's all crazy. I'll, I don't know. It's all crazy. You guys are fantastic. I have to hide the current comment. Um, and so I, I, I want to talk about this Entertainment Weekly article. So we've covered the statements that were made in a neutral way in people. We covered... Uh, the way the New York Post is kind of using opinions and headline space and front pages to contour feelings about things, even while they're simultaneously, you saw the list I brought up when I was in that section, they're simultaneously actually reporting on the the, the trial itself somewhat neutrally, like it, like this is what happened. Um, and But the headline items at that place are, are, are getting the opinions that say things like, you know, the dream of Johnny Depp is dead. Uh, and whatnot. We talked about the meta context. We talked about Washington Post and Kotaku. Now I want to talk about a little bit about how they're presenting experts and um, people that primarily have psychological expertise uh, to uh, give you hints at the ways you should be thinking about this. I actually think this is a pretty good article. Um, it doesn't go too far in editorializing what these people say, but I'd be interested in taking um, your all's thoughts on, on some of the things that come out here. So you get this summary. We know this already. According to Dr. Jill Huntley-Taylor, a legal analyst and the CEO of Taylor Trial Consulting. So, hmm. A, Rob, I got a question. Um, they say this is a trial strategy and jury consulting firm for civil and criminal cases. Do you have any notion of what a body like this does in practice? Honestly, they probably do a bunch of jury polling. They do uh, public polling for uh, to try and create their narrative. And they probably have somebody in, who observes a lot of court time who okay. can give you reports on how juries like to hear testimony or how juries process testimony based on the, well, based on the metrics, based on how the jury is composed. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Cause I, I saw that and I said, well, I wonder, I wonder how that looks, uh, but that makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's PR specifically for a trial scenario and setting up how their, your messages are going to be received uh, from the, from the sounds of things. The first and most obvious truth, jurors must be convinced whether Depp abused hurt. Yes. Uh, and I thought there's something interesting here, though. If jurors conclude that this was a mutually abusive relationship, which I know chat doesn't like as a term, we're going to talk about that as part of this article. Some may see her op-ed as technically correct. So sure. it's combative, it's toxic, mutual abuse. Yes, I was a domestic violence victim, if even if I gave as good as I got, which you know Johnny still has out there. However, other jurors may believe, and I've never thought this, this is one of the things I really like, what Heard wrote was a half truth and therefore, you know, brackets, deceptive. sufficiently yep. deceptive for legal purposes, right? Yep. What do you think of that? Yep. I'm in the second, I'm in the second paragraph. <clears throat> the funny thing is, or the second sentence, the funny thing about it is if this trial started all over again and Amber Heard didn't take the stand, 
um, then I'm in the first sentence that you can get jurors that say this was mutually abusive, but Amber wasn't technically incorrect. However, Amber took the stand. And when she did that and she gave that massive recitation of how significant this is, if if I come to the conclusion that was mutually abusive, I'm looking at her and I'm saying that what you put in that op-ed based on what you just said is not true. Okay. Yeah. That's an interesting counterfactual. The defense just stands up and says, you know what? We're so confident that this just represents a toxic relationship. We're, we're resting. <clears throat> and that's, that's one Without of the biggest, case. that's why, that's why probably one of her biggest missteps was actually filing the counterclaims. Hmm. She, she would not have had any, any kind of legal burden. She could have, her legal team could have just said, he's on the attack here and we don't have to prove anything. And just basically done a lot of like, like soft defending to make make this more into a muddy middle but by counter suing she created all kinds of problems and she put all kinds of burdens on herself that's very interesting mm -hmm. see i hadn't thought about that either this is this is why it's so fun in, in yeah why we, we like having multiple voices on these <laughs> uh the second challenge as described by this particular person is the focus of the lawsuit the op-ed itself to prevail in court depp has to prove malice on herd's part the testimony that she initially wanted his name included in the op-ed may suggest malice. So that, if you recall, is the ACLU deposition that talks about the process here and says, essentially, I want I want it to talk more about Johnny Depp. And the ACLU joins in on that by basically saying, well, the soft version, we're not going to get into a big paper, give or take. But the second part of this is also what I found interesting. But the timing prior to her movie release may suggest her real motive was to benefit herself. I have never thought of the Aquaman uh, uh, recency as being essentially proof or evidence that it was it was solely marketing and that should mean that you weren't you didn't have malice against Johnny Depp. Have you have you ever thought this uh, looking at the evidence in the case? I mean, the the timing of it was was definitely something that was brought up in the case, and I think that it was it was noted properly for that that purpose because it all does kind of feed into. You know, the, the, this idea that she has the motivation, the incentive to to create this whole hoax about the about the DV and and the 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 back the, the back and forth and the redlining of the actual article itself showed she also had the ambition and the 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 will to make that happen. So not just the incentive, but the um, the the will, and she was actually pushing for that particular result so that it could benefit her along with the Aquaman release and everything else she knew that the cameras were on her for a period of time how long can you extend that wave use politics yeah and, and I, I i think that reads like i did which i only ever assumed that that the closeness and proximity to the release is essentially damning that it's it's showing what would be the equivalent of like motive uh for, for doing it in this particular way this seems to me like it, they this person thinks that you could read it as um absolving in some respect that i didn't really have malice i was just out for myself <laughs> It's like uh, it was just to benefit herself. But how is that? How does that go against actual malice? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it that does. Doesn't, yeah. No, you're right. The, the logic, the logic there does not does not cut out. Yeah, it's just it's fascinating stuff because like, again, this is going out in an article this is what you say. And you say, I mean, I guess I could contort myself into into that. But that is not my intuitive read of, of what was presented there. And I don't think the lawyers have presented that now. People talk about this at, uh, in our chats on Legal Bites all the time. The mutual abuse claim has proven controversial. Yep. Some experts say that mutual abuse is a myth. We've heard that in our chats. And that Depp and Heard's dynamic was one of reactive abuse. We heard that from Dr. Hughes with power imbalances in which Depp had the upper hand. And I don't, you know, I'm not reading whole articles here. I Usually I say I'll link it in the description. I guess I will. I'll go back and link these in the description because I think it's useful. Uh, but we get we get differences of opinion here that kind of run the gambit, which I think is good reporting. I, you know, it, it's funny. Entertainment Weekly, I don't usually think of as bastion of reporting. This might be my favorite kind of handling of multiple factors here. Mm -hmm. Say both partners were egregious in their behaviors and neither seems to realize their culpability, which is a really interesting take on what we've seen, which is like not only are we not getting uh, accuracy necessarily, we're also not getting psychological kind of accuracy from either side and that. This is, I think, the version that gets you to the jury, throws its hands up in the air uh, and says, I'm not awarding anything to anybody. Um, a different doctor says power has objective and subjective components. A relationship can be mutually abusive, 
and that each partner may be emotionally or physically abusive to the other. But if there is a power imbalance in the relationship due to strength, wealth, status, intelligence, and so on, the more powerful person may be the abuser, but not necessarily so. And I wanted to frame this one for a couple of reasons. One, that sentence actually doesn't say anything at all. Like that, that's a, that's, that is the lawyerist of lawyer quotes ever. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, Rob. That sentence is also the most accurate. It's the most correct because it, you know, from a divorce attorney's perspective, everyone goes in and alleges that their spouse is committing some act of abuse. And we try these cases back and forth. And every, every single relationship is so case specific that you yeah. can't just create some generalized term and say that it does or doesn't exist. That's, that's the thing about this trial that's so unique. This, this trial takes a relationship and shows you the intricacies of divorce law on a grand scale and it shows you and the lesson you should take away that the media is missing as judged kind of by this article where some people are trying to pick whether something does or doesn't exist yeah is that every relationship is different they're all different yeah yeah, yeah. and you can have someone that that comes from a certain level of of power and wealth and whatnot that the other one doesn't but that other person can also find ways of of manipulating that and and wielding other forms of power you know, you can you can have different forms of power that can that can either counteract or or over overshadow one another. Yeah, I, and I think that's what I was missing in the testimony. I still am missing in the testimony. Is like you get this testimony that says something like an unfounded allegation of infidelity can be abuse, right? And I don't think that's wrong, but I also think that it has to be you know certain qualities that are not just hey, one time I accuse somebody of stepping out on me like that that is not in and of itself abusive it's 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 repeated it's you know it's it's the way it's done and and i the psychologist only can go so far which is why i think when we discuss it is there abuse here on both sides that kind of thing um it, it gets interesting because just nakedly yes johnny depp uses some bad words johnny depp says a bunch of things amber heard is uh, on tape saying i threw pots and pans and i hit you and these various things and and what is abusive and what is reactionary and all this stuff i think rob i mean i don't think i can say it better than you uh, which is that like you, you have to parse this stuff out, the psychologists and the generalities and the statistics and this kind of stuff can only go so far. But it does come across in this kind of context as, OK, so that that doesn't commit to anything, uh, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> but but that's that's the lawyer. By the time you get to but not necessarily so, it's like, but everything I just said, it may not apply. Um, then we get some Me Too stuff with more voices calling out pervasive harassment and abuse in Hollywood and beyond. Jurors have shown a greater tendency to defer to women who allege to be victims of abuse. Yep. And I highlighted this because, <clears throat> yeah, I can tell you my tendency, I can feel it in me, is to not want to say you're lying. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that exists. I don't know that that's me too. It's just like the person I am. But I can, I can tell you that that exists in me. And, um, you know, and I, I think that's I think that's a trend that has been really reinforced in recent years. Yeah. So I think that that there were there, of course, were those that already felt that way. But that also is a, is a trend that has been very much strengthened in, in the past few years. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. And I should have highlighted this. Depp's case is built around the same narrative as Heard's, Taylor contends. He's not, the one, he's not only disputing her public claims to be the victim of abuse, but he's claiming to be the victim of abuse himself. Right, which is one of the more interesting aspects of this is, is big chunks of his case were establishing himself as a victim of abuse. Um, he is, in essence, making his own Me Too claim are jurors willing to let him make an abuse claim too, or do they see it as victim blaming? This will come down to both credibility and evidence. And I think that's a perfect description of what we have seen because I started out here saying it'll be muddy middle. Um, and I think Amber Heard's testimony and Johnny's testimony is it, you, you the, the two sides, rightly or wrongly, have put you in a place where you you straight up have to pick a winner. You, you straight up have there to- There is no muddy yeah. middle. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's a great- in terms of strategy, in terms of actually having a chance to win the case, I think that is a great win for Johnny Depp's team. That's not, I'm not saying winning the case. I'm just saying like that's the only way he could. You know what makes me mad about how this article is written is the yeah. this these last two paragraphs where yeah. they kind of they shift the blame on jurors. They yeah. have they have now taken jurors and they have said if the juror decides something, the juror is not is deciding it based on something other than the facts and the evidence. That's the suggestion by these last two paragraphs. Jurors are the ones that are the fact finders. They are the ones that have the ability to process all of the information that's given to them, and they are deciding what is or is not factually true. Your opinions on why they did that are your opinions. You are not them. They are the ones who've heard it. They are the ones who did it. It's a terrible position to be in. Stop blaming them before they've even decided. 
I think that is a totally fine critique. And yeah, you can see this is the consultant, right? Uh, you see a certain view of jurors as uh, particularly random computer generating outputs, right? Like, like, like that it's, you know, it's, 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 it, all they are is a thing that you put data in and uh, something pops up. And if it's not what you wanted, well, then maybe they're not accepting uh, uh, his, his claim because they see it as victim blaming, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a, it's a great point, Rob. Absolutely. Um, Taylor expects the volatile audio recordings between Depp and Heard to feature in Depp's team's closing argument. One point I expect to hear from the Depp team in closing is that with it, the hours and hours of secret recordings, there are no recordings of abuse. And jurors have also heard Amber Heard admit to some level of abuse herself. Um, I tend to agree with that, but I think I think it was you, Rob, that points out. I mean, like this is the evidence of absence. Uh, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, kind of mm -hmm. kind of scenario, right? So, yeah, I, I expect them to say, "Hey, you document everything," and you know, with Australia as described, I think we had other panelists talk about this. How could you just take pictures of the furniture and not yourself? And here with audio that goes for what is there actually like eight hours of audio? Something like that. We don't, we don't have, we don't have that. Johnny Depp hauls off and, and hits you, um, and I, I think that's, I think that's worth noting, even though it seems, it seems hard to. to and the, and the thing is, the thing is that, like you know, like you mentioned, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. However, when you frame things in such a way to suggest that you have evidence to show it, then the absence of evidence does become evidence or. Evidence of absence. You have to, I always have to think of that one through too. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Well, and Rick, that's that's your own words. I mean, when when she was testifying, and she was saying, and I remember I took a photo of this one, and your immediate analysis was, well, you didn't show me the photo of that. You're a liar. Like that's that one goes out. Yeah, I did. I said that story. I'm not. I can't count that story. Yeah. You took a photo. It was in your control. You you and and then it doesn't pop in. Okay, that one's out. It's because I, it's because it, it seems like her suggestion about having a photo is then deceptive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't believe you about this entire sequence of events because she says it's and, a good photo, right? She, I mean, I like mean, I can't remember the language. It's like, oh, this one really showed it. The other cool observation of this one is how strategically Johnny Depp's team played this, and they did it fantastically. So she she is notorious for these self bolstering statements. She mm -hmm. will put an email to her mother or a text message to her friend and say, oh, my gosh, this is horrible. And then she will try to then reintroduce that while she's testifying about it to make it more credible. Same thing with the whole, I took a photo of this. And, yeah, I remember I took a photo, but then not produced a photo. And Johnny Depp's team has kept have kept out all of those secondary statements, whether it's the photo, whether it's the text message, all these self-serving statements. So now Amber Heard is left to sink or swim based on her testimony given one time and we see how that's going. It's just not, it's just not playing. Well, and you can see how that kind of bolstering would have worked in practice because <clears throat> you've already set up from Johnny Depp's side with not just him and his team, that there was a certain amount, at least as described by Johnny Depp, we hold everybody with the, you know, the same, uh, you know, the cynicism, at least looking at the evidence is that uh, they were engaged in placating behavior throughout the relationship. Um, and so you can see how if you have an email or a text and you're and you'd just be trying to assuage someone uh, that you could potentially create an evidence chain there uh, that may or may not line up with reality. Uh, right. And so I don't know what you're like, what is out there. I don't know what text messages or emails because I haven't seen them, as you rightly say. Uh, but I could see how that would work in practice. And what we did get in is an audio that basically says she's doing that. Right. Like there's an audio that says, you know, I've been I got emails, I got texts and who's going to believe you. And it's like, OK, all right. Now, I, I think I still think that that's the last thing you hear. I mean, give or take in the closing statements. I think you get. Um, yeah. Who's going to believe you? And, yeah. you know, see if the jury what you, what, believes you. What do you think, mm -hmm. jury? Do you believe her? <laughs> you know, and 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 drop the mic and, and walk out. Yeah, um, crank that volume up. See if the jury believe. Oh yeah, that's so cool. You end with that. That is the ultimate mic drop. See if for, the jury for their closing, especially yeah. especially if it's on rebuttal. I just I, I I I that one was eye opening. There's a number of moments that are eye opening for me in this, and that one was like I can't believe you said that. And then in, in like in like kind of the dramatic way, I can't believe they caught that on tape. I mean, like that's just even if somebody said that, the the, the sequence of events to actually have that go that way is is incredible. Um, so that's entertainment weekly. I actually only have prepped one more article cause I really didn't, 
this was this is gonna be a short stream, folks. <laughs> uh, um, so I'm gonna do some more super chats. Uh, Rob, Alita, both of you, uh, you're under no obligation to say we're gonna talk to a few. I'm gonna folks. stick around. And then we're gonna talk about we're gonna go across the pond, uh, as some people say, and and see how the Guardian is handling what they are seeing in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial as our as our last article. Probably not the end of the stream if you guys uh, keep adding super chat. <laughs> so we're going to talk about them a little bit because uh, I lost I lost pace by fifty uh, just then on reading through oh, that. Um, so <laughs> that's what keeps happening. With it. yesterday, when I as soon as I opened up super chats and like within like three to five minutes, I had over fifty super chats. I was like, oh no, what did I do? Them. I gotta get them small. I don't want to uh, move people around. Yeah. Yeah, Somehow. unfortunately, it's yeah. These, some of these they get. We'll get at, we'll get. Rob is in that bottom frame. You just can't see him. We'll we'll, we'll work <laughs> on the logistics in the future. Living sweetly, this was and still is a toxic situation. Her story keeps changing. We got that one. I forget to do that last one every time. Thank you for thanking you for bearing with me, everybody. Uh, James Morris, like Mike Tyson, Vasquez hits on point. Yes, she, she was she was on point, no doubt. Thomas Hogue, hey dad. Uh, I, I just have this image of dad just sitting at the house, putting in super chats every hour. Uh, creepy <laughs> thing is that gift of the nightgown by her doctor. What is happening? I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, I, like how for, I, I edited it for your channel. Yeah, I know you did. I know you did. That's what I was pointing out. I was going to say, do you, do you just take that off for the night stream? <laughs> uh, it was, it was edited. And I don't even think you got my notes, Rob, uh, necessarily, but I think in the, in the law too, when he I was just, like, oh. he just understood what your, what your vibe is. Uh, you try I, to be family friendly. A, yeah. a stream that starts at 8 a.m. Eastern is, is a family friendly vibe. <laughs> uh, outside of the subject matter of the trial. Yes. Uh, Rachel Henson. Good morning. I hope you are well and staying hydrated. Yeah. I'm going to have to get another one of these, um, but yep. Uh, yep. yeah, absolutely. Yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> Living sweetly, it's essential to know that men can be DV victims too. Absolutely. Women can be the perpetrator, and at times, perpetrators use the legal system to continue the abuse. Absolutely. They behaved appallingly towards each other, yet the severity of her claims is questionable. I find myself agreeing with all of your statements. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Martina Peluso, what does JD need to do to win? Is Amber Heard winning? I, I really think JD needs to punch a hole in a couple of her stories. And I think, I think the way forward is, is obvious. I, I shouldn't use punch to describe what he has to do to her stories. No. <laughs> uh, Maybe not so think? violently. Yeah. Well, I'm, see, I see. Expose, expose them. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Rob? Undermine the foundation. Sure. Yeah. Basically dis take, dismantle. Take a couple of bricks out and the wall will fall. Yeah. And just dismantle her her direct through the cross examination. I think I think I think there's there's so much material for it. There really is, and that's I, that's the thing about when you when you try to when you really try to oversell some direct examination, you see it come tumbling down, and it's even more dramatic. The bigger the yeah. the expansion, the bigger the pop of the balloon. Well, think about what she said, right? If that's not true, that's a big balloon. Yeah, I wish I wish that camera in the courtroom was pointed at Vasquez in her seat because if if it was, you would have seen someone just doing this, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, come like on, okay, come on, come on. all right, all right. I, yep, you're you're giving me stuff. You're giving me stuff. <laughs> well, she has a veritable <laughs> banquet of things to to go ask questions about. I, I honestly, I was thinking about. I think we got a question. that was like, what would you do first? I was like, God, I don't know at all. I don't I don't know what I would do first. Which of these presents do I want to open or the tree first? <laughs> Like, do I start with a small one that could be really expensive and nice and pretty, or do I go with the big one that could be something that I want to play with immediately? Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, it's it's the truth. It's the truth. There Lawyers seems to be a lot Christmas. of <laughs> uh, Okay, so I know I hit that one wrong, but we're doing. We're getting better. Uh, JD Peugeot super sticker. Thank you. I and I, that's a French name, so I know I got it wrong. <laughs> uh, Mohammed Al Kabir, I understand the guilty by association idea isn't right. However, her history of abuse should be presented just like his old case is used against him. That's propensity that we were talking about earlier. I, I, I totally get that. We've talked in the article about the New York Post about how a human being and her human experience wants to tie these things together. And we want to tie them together because it's probably actually useful, but it doesn't prove what we need it to prove in a court of law. 
Uh, so we got to be careful with those things. I think it should have gotten in when the expert said she's never done anything ever before. Johnny Depp. Uh, yeah. But, um, that's, that's the one thing that makes me think that the Kate Moss statement won't come in for, for Tasha testimony. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I, that was, it seemed pretty wide to me. I cannot identify these things as well as the rest of my fellow panelists uh, in LawTube and I saw it. Uh, so that's pretty big. That's a pretty wide door. Uh, when I, when I say it, I, say, I got one that happened right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So Steph, Jack UK, how is it okay for mainstream publications to come down so heavily on one side over the other while the case is still going on? Uh, well, here in America, I can't speak for everybody. Uh, First Amendment. I mean, you, you go with your opinion, right? If, if somebody goes out there and says, I fully believe Amber Heard, I think it's wrong for you to not believe her. And I don't like Johnny Depp. And I think he's an alcoholic monster and abuser. That's your opinion. Uh, in general, uh, we like having opinions out there. I do this stuff with headlines and media so that we can see how they might be uh, not fair, or they might be trying to smooth the image or do various things because I find that very interesting because that does happen. But overall, we want the battle of ideas. We want to be able to go into that New York Post article and say, and say, okay, so this is a logic leap. That's not fair. This isn't fair. And, and, to, and to hopefully all of us be able to read articles better uh, and know where somebody's coming from and have mm -hmm. that conversation. That's my opinion on this kind of stuff. Yep. Agreed. Deborah Bradeen, nobody talks about his devotion to Hunter Thompson and how vulnerable men are to the dream. Yeah, I mean, he kind of got into that a little bit with the casting of Amber Heard in Rum Diaries, which I can't decide whether it's one diary or multiple diaries because they use both titles. Uh, I think on IMDb, uh, it's it's a single diary. It's a diary. Yeah, I, I was I was going back and forth on that too before, but I, I had I swear to they just use go, both names. Finally, finally, I was like, all right, you know what? Let's settle this. Let's go to IMDb. <laughs> I I've swear they watched use it. Both Is it a names. good watch? I've never seen it, but it's on my list now. I want to watch this weekend. I want to watch Gone Girl and I want to watch Rum Diary. Oh my gosh, Gone Girl. You're no, I I don't know if you should watch that. Like it's gonna freak you out. Um <laughs> I I I asked Mr. Bites. I asked Mr. Bites if he wanted to watch, and he's like, I have no desire to watch that. And I was like, Well, okay, then I'll watch it by myself. Yeah, it's Mr. Bites Gone Girl is pretty good. And then he was like, he was like, wait, is that like is that like a scary movie? I was like, yeah, it's a thriller. He's like, Okay, I'll watch it with you. And I was like, "Why?" I was like, "Why?" He's like, "Well, because I don't want you to watch it alone." I was like, "Aw." I mean, is that <laughs> Alita? Alita, just bring your notepad, whatever notepad you've had for Amber Heard's direct testimony. Bring it and just sit it right next to you while you're watching. And I take notes because I guarantee page and line you, number. <laughs> you, it, this it is it is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's Tyler Perry in that movie that winds up being like the TV lawyer. Uh, yeah, who, who, one of my favorite characters in that movie. Yep. And several of his reactions are kind of like the reactions I've had in this trial where I've seen damn near everything or darn near everything. Um, but this trial is. <laughs> you don't need to correct damn. Say, OK, Rob. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're, uh, we're we're like primetime TV. Um, is that Holmes? I get that. I get that yep, this is time. Holmes. He has something to say. Hey, Holmes. <laughs> Holmesy. Jessica McNulty, does her reference to his past partner, Kate Moss, allow them to bring up her past partners too? An Australian attorney claims that's why Ben celebrated. Could be. I, I It could be. We're, we're going to see. He celebrated for a reason. He thinks something opened up, and it wouldn't surprise me if that's on a direct kind of sidebar type thing. He seemed very certain something opened up. So we'll we'll see what happens. Shinobi Assault. I like it. Hey bites. I hey. tweeted. I tweeted you the Australia tape with it transcribed. Oh, okay. Please do a breakdown. I'd like to have your thoughts on it. Also by listening to it, I think also the panel might have been harsh on Dr. Kipper. He seemed really concerned. Please, I, hmm. it's just a vibe. His testimony was fine. I, I, I just, I just have a vibe. The, yeah. The the thing the thing that really that really got me was was that the 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 pajamas or the the lingerie or whatever that was. I, I it it as someone who has started to receive wedding gifts and bridal shower gifts and that that's the kind of gift that you get from women at your bridal shower not from your male doctor who's also giving you drugs and stuff like that <laughs> seems seems odd oh the way you said also giving you drugs uncomfortable <laughs> he, he, right <laughs> moving right a lot along there <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mega Lone Wolf 20, love law tube and how y'all interact. My biggest problem is finding the time to catch up on all of the content. Yeah. yeah there's we've a been lot putting, of we've been there. putting work in. We sound <laughs> even funnier in 2X speed. <laughs> we do. We do. 
Uh, Leanne Gudzinovich. Yeah, what do we think? Gudzinovich. Good. All right. We'll go with the leader's pronunciation. <laughs> Love how supportive of you guys are of each other. We need some of people being good to each other in the middle of this trial specifically. D don't I know it? I, I will. I will tell you. Like after some of the first early days, I, I went to my wife and I was like, I, I don't. I actually don't know if I could do this because like it's just so many kind of brokenish people doing bad things to one another. Uh, it's like, man, like Rob, I couldn't do what you do, man. I couldn't there's, do it. Well, like I said, there's a reason why I'm in my shop right now. This is the hap This is a place where I can control how something comes out and I can make something pretty and I can yep. decompress. Yeah. I love it. I love I, it. I have, I have fur babies that are with me the whole way through. And then I, I go out and he's getting up and I'm going to bed and I, I have a chance to give him a hug in between. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. Library of Maury question. Could I be sued for writing either nonfiction or fiction novel about this trial? Do Amber Heard or Johnny Depp own the copyright on their story? Love your insights. Thank you. No. Uh, we'd have to get deep into copyright law. This is not legal advice. Do not take this as legal advice for your novel writing. Uh, but in general, you can write unofficial versions of things that happen in real life. That's that's just what happened in context. You want more stuff? You want more access? You want to see receipts? You want interviews? You go with the official version. And then if you start using pictures and likenesses, you can get into a different area that isn't copyright. That's technically image and likeness rights uh, that can pop up as well. Broadly, Famous. though, you can write about things that happen. Yeah. Famous example is John Grisham. Um, several of his novels are based on real life trials. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, see? Mm. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Nate versus Hogue, streaming Mario Kart or Party When, Alex the Bird. Well, we're drawing headlines first, uh, and then I'm going to see if I can. I want to join in on that. I okay. Also, maybe maybe a Super Smash Brothers stream. Right. I will join the live stream just to just to drink and egg on everybody and make wagers <laughs> on the side. I've said this on a couple <laughs> streams, but I think virtual legality and my channel is the right way to 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 host lawyers play games of some kind. Uh, yes. So looking into that a little bit. Um, if you like Let's that idea, it. let me know in the comments. Um, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, even you, trivia games, Nintendo games. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Sammy Jordan on an oil and gas platform in the North Sea get 300 megabytes downloaded on Wi-Fi a day using it on this. I would be blocked before the end of this. Oh no! There you go. VPN commercials. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good luck to you. I hope you don't get blocked. Uh, and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you for, for using your 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 small ration of internet for this stream. I, yeah, I hope, that says I, quite a lot. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Jones, I'll bet JD keeps head down to keep idiots like the New York Post from saying he's trying to intimidate lawyer advised. Uh, possibility. I mean, I, it, it could be sincere. He could not want to face Amber Heard. He doesn't like looking at her. It could also be to try to avoid pictures that look like you're staring her down. Of course, the New York Post is just going to say what you did was wrong. I mean, of we course. know that, right? Regardless, either <laughs> either you're you're staring her down and you're being too aggressive, or you you have no interest. You're being callous. You're being cold, or you're just standing in front of me while I'm trying to talk. Yeah, um, <laughs> literally the title of the New York Post. They said he was staring at his desk while Amber Heard testified to abuse. I'm going, well, yeah. yeah what else is he going to do? Right. Well, right. and then his, her, and then her PR team comes and says, "What? What? You're not even strong enough to look at her? Something along those lines?" Yes. Right. Just, so like, just, re just repeating all that bull crap that she talked about, you know, before in her, in her, in her videotapes, where she's accusing him of, of being weak, of not being a man, of being, you know, running away. They're well, not I, helping her case by continuing with that vibe. I don't think so either. I, I, I said this today. We were the ones on when we were talking about that article in particular. But it was to me, it puts you in a box. If you're not already on Team Amber, then you've, you've now framed this as you're pushing me away. Because you're 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 accusing him of not being strong enough to look at her. And I'm like, well, if he, we're now in abuser or abused land. Like that's that's what that's what happened in this case. If he if he's the abused for the most part, like you would never ever ever tell the woman in an abusive relationship that she's she's not strong enough to look at at her husband as she testifies as he testifies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and she she did a couple of those stare downs that looked like they were pointed at his desk, and that's a. That's a dangerous move for her too. Like the right in front of the jury when they are watching her. Yeah. So I mean that's media. I mean that's that that that's reporting, but you could very well be right, Phil. Absolutely. Thank you for the super chat. Law 266. What do you think her emphasis with T was about? 
I think Rob says it all there. With his, with his no name. clue. And why it needed to be repeated four times. I really did think it was going to be about slipping, slipping alcohol, but I didn't. If that was somewhere in there, I didn't hear it. No tax, good tax. From her testimony, if he was drinking, wouldn't he have already jumped across the table and attacked her? Well, I mean, her premise is that he becomes a monster, uh, but presumably not every time. Um, so I, I, I hear what you're saying. And that's the New York Post saying that effectively Johnny Depp is drinking uh, while he's sitting at the table, which is not the New York Post's finest hour. Ted Scrov, uh, Skovranik the second. Hughes will say H, uh, AH testimony shows clear trauma, verifying her claim that she is truthful. Her rambling is signs her brain is trying to fill in gaps in memory, so the outrageous claims are signs of her creativity. I, if they go that direction, that would be super interesting. I, I don't know that they can commit in that direction with what they've given us from Hughes, but we will see. Uh, Jurgo Paholo, awesome coverage in community. Cheers from Hungary. All these great countries. Um, Nate is trapped in the back. Let Nate back in. Let Nate, let Nate no. free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have, have you guys seen um what's 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 been um what what happened? You have you guys seen the new the new um the new stuff that's dropped? I have I've no. been in here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's, it's like it's like Nate, it's like Nate comes in with the news. Yes, okay. it's the bomb. Spill the tea. News. Spill the D. Yeah, All what's right. happening? So some of you internet sleuths, which I hate because I know you guys look at every single effing thing. I love it though. I love it. Oh my it. god. So you remember Amber Heard gave recounting of the Australia incident. Yes. Now 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 how much do you want this this <laughs> how much do you want this well is this stream going to stay monetized or have we been talking about stuff that is uh I've been I've been cutting out all direct references. Can okay. can you can you do that? With I your will story? do that. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just wanted to make sure because yeah. Alita plays it the raw stream, so I know I can say whatever I want, but you I've know. been cutting out <laughs> I know I can't I can't get away get around yeah. it with the yeah, yeah, trial I edited stream. my sign. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the edited version. Edit it. So one of the people in this story whose name starts with Blamber Bird. Um <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to add it Amber's name. <laughs> but it, so, so, so she gave an accounting of the Australia incident that we all okay. heard um, yesterday. Okay. And in that accounting, before the cut finger, she said that there was a uh, serious incident of abuse in which, you know, Johnny did X, Y, and Z. Bottles were thrown. Glass was thrown. She was hit, you know. X amount of times and a whole bunch of injuries and stuff. And one of the 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 biggest parts of the story is that I don't, I don't know if you guys remember the nightgown was ripped off and yes, you know, the person didn't have any clothes on. Yes. Yeah. Well, this person who was telling the story forgot that there was a secret recording that she made and leaked to the press oh. right after that incident. Oh. And guess what? That recording shows she's wearing clothes. Not well, it's his recording, so you can't see the clothes. Oh, but okay. I was I was thinking maybe it was a these video. Clothes feel so well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what it does show is that after the incident, where she supposedly totally beat up and in the nude, the recording, you can hear everybody come in, the doctor, the security people, everybody's looking for Johnny, and she's even on the on the recording. Now, she's supposedly in this room, beat up with no clothes on. And all these people rush into the room. They ask her, is she okay? She's totally fine. They're looking for Johnny's finger. At no time does anybody even say anything about her condition. Because, again, she's beat up. She's supposed to be beat up and naked. She's mm -hmm. fine. She's fully clothed, allegedly, in the audio. But it doesn't. But it's like she didn't remember this audio was out there. And that she leaked this same audio. So I, I actually have the audio to play right after she didn't, she tells us that she's naked and she's in this. There's the audio of in a room full of people. Now, so and this nobody is, mentioned this is probably the Australia audio, audio that, that folks have been referencing. Yes. And nowhere in the audio does anyone, the doctor, because Dr. Kipper was there, the security, no one in the audio. And you can even hear Amber in the audio. No one references she's naked, she has any bruises. They're all talking about Johnny and his bruises. So there's no way that her story of being violently abused right before that incident. And then hearing the audio of right after the incident makes any possible sense. Now I would play you the audio, but I don't want you to be demonetized. But so, but again, it's it's 
clear as day that that audio does not match the story that she's telling at all. Well, even separate from that, what, what, what jumps out at me is the timeline of events, right? Because they, they, they have this big giant drag out fight. She goes to sleep. She takes a bunch of sleeping pills. And then she's she's with Johnny the next morning with the severed finger. And, I, and, and I'm trying to figure out like how that even all works together. Offering to make him coffee. Yeah, the coffee is the one that jumps out at me. Matter of fact, she's even helping look for the finger. Because she's like, and she's telling the people it's not in the trash. Like, like, here, let me, let me share. I'll share some of the audio. How can so someone be no, no. so stupid? No, no, no not, Rick's, the, not, Rick's... not the, not the audio. This is the, they, they, it's not, you're not going to hear anything. It's like, it's written out and it's censored. So you're not going to have any issues with that. I don't understand how someone can be so stupid. I don't understand. Ostensibly, they, they have been over this evidence time and again. Yes. So this is Dr. Kipper. And if you notice too, something else I do. Oh, this realize. is from Totally Average, isn't it? Is this Totally yes. Average's channel? Yeah. Yeah. But I actually looked it up and I was like, oh, he's actually right. And something else actually happened. If you notice, she keeps, Amber Heard keeps referencing the one security person who's dead. So on the plane, yeah. Jerry, Jerry asked me, is he all right? Here, Jerry said this. So she's only referencing Because he the can't one come person. back and testify otherwise. Exactly. So that, that was another thing that, that that everybody's picking up on. But here it is. So this is them looking for the finger. This is Dr. Kipper. He's talking to Jerry. All right, Jerry. And she puts, she's looking for it. It's not in the trash or in the interest. Now, mind you, at this point in time, she said she's nude and totally beaten and bruised. So, and she's now looking for the finger herself. And Dr. Kipper is not saying anything to her about, you know, you have no clothes on. You know, you're, you're all beat up. You know, you have all these glasses you know thrashed your skin as as she's as she's reported so this tape that she leaked essentially destroys her whole her whole narrative about australia this is i don't i don't it's 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 weird because how did how didn't she realize she, it, it's two things she leaked this audio. It wasn't even Johnny Depp's team. So how didn't she realize that that people would eventually put two and two together? Or is this audio? But this audio has the audio from Australia been played in court, or is it? Is I think it there not? have been tidbits of of yeah clips that have been played from Australia in court. But um, uh, the fact that there are other voices on there, I think, is going to keep it out. That's what's Let's been see. stipulated. Yeah, from yeah. what it sounds like. Yeah, it, maybe they could cut around some stuff, but as long as it's a two-person conversation, I think that's not going to go in. No, because it uh, has the doctor on it. It has the the dead. I think Ben King is on there. On it, ben King yeah. is on there. But it definitely shows that no one, you know, no one is, you know, a woman who's just been brutally attacked like that. No one's going to be. She, she's not going to be helping us look for the finger, and you know what I'm saying. Let's go I'm so ready on. for her to like to say to rebut that though to say like, well, obviously they're all in the payroll, so they didn't even care about me. <laughs> Except for Jerry. Jerry did care, but he can't come in and, and testify to it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, here's the here's the thing that bothers me, right? I think this bothers people that, that aren't lawyers, especially, is that if if the reality of the situation is that, and it's it's an illegal recording, and it can't get in. But like something is is so clearly against the reality of the situation, it's very hard for somebody to look at the court process as terribly useful, right? I mean, in terms of um, jury doesn't get to hear that because of reasons, uh, but they're going to make a decision based on not knowing that that's the situation immediately after Amber Heard's narrative would conclude. Um, so they're not getting all the they're not getting all the facts. Side note, Alita, did you know that Death Dive now has you listed as covering the trial? Oh, ah. that's so cool. I didn't realize that. <laughs> they have a new they have a new they have a new page that says uh social media channels covering the trial. Oh. And they list uh, oh. a bunch of YouTube and they say YouTube channels live streaming with commentary and Emily nice. D. Baker, lawyer you know, and legal bites right there. Awesome. Oh, legal bites. Really cool. A lawyer Love you know it. streaming it too? I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah he's oh. he started to in the last in the last few days, I think. Well, if you like that kind of conversation, you got Nate, you got Alita, you got Rob. Rob's going to be breaking beds. Alita's going to be doing what she's doing on trial. Subscribe for the bed breaking. <laughs> Subscribe. You want to see beds broken? I'm sorry, you Rob. See beds I'm broken sorry. By Rob. These jokes just write themselves. They, they kind of do. Yeah. Yeah. You're crazy.
Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Tavi. Hogue, if Amber Heard's team calls a hostile witness to testify, he saw Johnny Depp kick Amber Heard on a flight and text showing he had to remind Johnny Depp about the tick. Would you change your mind? Uh, well, I, I would certainly think it's more likely that it happened than what we've currently been presented on that flight. Um, uh, but you, I, I mean, it's a, it's a hypothetical. I'd have to see the context. I'd have to see exactly what that communication looked like and what that witness actually had to say. Uh, but yeah, that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for Amber Heard's team to do, uh, is to establish some of these events that are outside of Amber Heard's perspective. Um, and somebody else saying at least something like what she said happened, because there's no question that what she is saying is embellished. Um, but I'm not willing to just throw it all out. Uh, if there's if there's kernels of truth there, and and some people would yeah. be, and and that's I actually think that's a totally appropriate response. If you can't tell, it's not my job to sift through your embellishment, uh, but I do want to at least try to try to look at that critically. So yeah, I'd be I'd be interested in that kind of thing. Absolutely. Thank you for your super chat, Shaw's doing some math. Amber Heard's team has 22 hours left. If we say approximately eight hours on Amber Heard and two for closing arguments, I don't think closing arguments were counted in that count, but I, I, I'll, I'll ask the panel. That's 12 hours for the rest of her witnesses. That's not a lot. Will it have a negative effect on her case? I think that uh, I think that Amber is the star of their case. So I don't know how many other corroborating kind of witnesses they have for that they are going to be introducing. Like maybe a couple of the friends. I think they ne we need to hear from Rocky and Io. Those will all be by video deposition, which is also telling. But um, it also, I mean, it, it at least says some things. <laughs> Um, especially since I believe Io is still living in New York, not in California. So mm -hmm. not too far from Virginia. Um, it's a flight, but I've done it. <laughs> sure. Um, it's a, it's a short flight between the two. Um, uh, yeah. Anyhow, but, eh, yeah, Maybe there's, I'll, there's, I'll... there's time, I think. Nate. Oh. Did he... Yeah. I, I think you guys also also think about that a little differently. Okay. Sorry, I was cut. I was, yeah, I was chopped. I was chopped up a little bit. I think people also have to realize. Think about um right now at the end of we're halfway through. They essentially have the same amount of time, and Johnny Depp's team put on all those witnesses and put on their full case within that amount of time. So if you think about it in that way, we're pretty much halfway through the trial. Both teams have essentially half the time remaining, and Johnny Depp's team put on that entire case, and now Amber Heard's team gets to put on their entire case. So I think the yeah. time, I think they have more than enough time. And and eight, it's not eight hours a day because there's lunch, there's objection, like there's things that happen during the day that doesn't count onto this time. So. And also, yeah, cross examinations of those witnesses are counted against Johnny's team and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Audio judge from really thinks there's like nine nine days left with an extra hour on each um for time for both parties yes rob audio from australia is not yet in it's exhibit 369 I'm not okay. seeing it yet though okay all right rob is looking at the exhibit list for us it's good stuff i hit the wrong button yeah <laughs> it's in there that's mm -hmm. good though Hey, Thomas Hogue, Dad, Aww. coming back at Aww. you. Alita is truly the best. <laughs> Love LawTube and all of you. This is the coming out party for LawTube. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. If you can't tell, oh, Dad's got it. big dreams for, for LawTube uh, <laughs> and for the future of media consumption. Uh, I love you, Dad. Thank you. Aw. Thanks, Mr. Hogue. <laughs> uh, Andreas Wallen, which was the best witness for Johnny so far? I like the police Johnny. officers and I like Johnny himself and Isaac, <laughs> you know, and, and, and if you to, to lose subs and make the, the chat mad, oh. I, I, I don't believe either one of them. Like, like, to be honest with you, I, I don't really believe Johnny, nor do I believe Amber. I okay. kind of am trying to figure out, cause I, I kind of looking at this as they're both liars and they're both going to say whatever they need to say to win their case. So for me, it's really important to have some type of cooperation from witnesses who are either unbiased or people who don't have an ax to grind. And that's the reason why I'm more on Johnny's side than I am on Amber's side, because I'm assuming they're going to make self-serving statements and try to play to the jury. But if you don't have something that's going to back it up, then it's just, it's, 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 it's worthless because I can't, you know, I'm no body language expert. I can't judge who's telling the truth. I don't know. Um, but right now, if you just talk about who, which, who's, whose story is cooperated by witnesses, by evidence, and by anything. Right now it's Johnny. 
And only thing that we got from Amber is this is what I'm saying has happened. Now that may change, which I'm assuming is going to change because they're putting on the case. But that's essentially what we got right now. Yeah. So the objective corroborators are your favorites. Yeah, like the police officers and the police officers really I think did the best. And I think the best witness, to be honest with you, was the the driving smoke. Oh, because yes. you know why? Because he would just kept it. There was no way anybody watched that witness and believed that he was not being yeah. honest or true. That's what sincerity looks like. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I don't like that I'm here. Leave me alone. I want to do Get my go about my business. Just just I didn't see nothing. I was in the I was in the next county. I was in the next country. I was away on vacation. <laughs> but what do you and when he came to see an Amber's face, he's like, I'm a three feet away from her. And she said she called me up for this bull crap. The dog is a dog. And he made me go what I was three feet away from her. She wasn't yeah. she had nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. And that was totally yeah. believable. Don't no ask me about her hair or her yeah. or her clothes or whatever. I'm looking at her eyes when I'm talking to her. This is what I do every day, okay? Yeah. I see people here. <laughs> they are real people. I'm a real person. I'm a people person. I I, I, I look at their eyes when I talk to them, okay? All right? Yeah. I would have seen something going on with her eyes there. <laughs> the most credible witness of the trial was that guy. Yeah. And then he drove right after it. Ish. Made you know, right, like, this guy. Right after. <laughs> after. Oh, right. During. During. Like I was <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing. Like I don't think I've ever laughed so hard. And just, and then to see Judge Ascarati look and say, uh, "Well, that's the first time I've seen that." <laughs> she was. She that's like the only too. commentary she's given. There's a first I, for everything. And I bet you the judge believed him too. He's like, "Yeah, this guy's believable." <laughs> You're absolutely right, Nate. There's no. I, it never crossed my mind that he's lying about anything. Uh, so there you go. Fantastic. Uh, I've, okay, that button, then that button. Uh, <laughs> nope, almost that button too. <laughs> <laughs> Mitomorph, apparently, AH's makeup artist came out against her and said she never covered any bruises and didn't see any either. It was her stylist. There's, okay. there's the makeup artist and then the stylist, and they have they do have divergent um accounts. And I'd want well, that narrative, right? Because I can imagine a scenario where the makeup artist goes first, then the stylist well, doesn't see anything. Well, is is it the makeup artist from the show? Because remember, there was a, there was there were there's a makeup artist who on the show that she said did all this stuff. Is that I, person I don't know. I don't know exactly. I think that's. I think the stylist was working for them regularly for Johnny and Amber both. Um, and and the 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 makeup artist. I don't know if the makeup artist was also regularly working for her, or if or if she was assigned to her by the show. Yeah, no, she she said specifically when she went on a James Corden the, the, that yeah. show that night, the makeup artist for the show had done all this stuff. Yeah. So that's why I was asking, is it is that person on the witness list? Because if that person saw those bruises, then obviously there you go. Would love folks, that. Folks in the chat, at least one person has said it's her personal makeup artist. Okay. That says okay. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Says yeah. Nothing, so nothing so same stuff. same level of credibility as the stylist. Who is also okay. the, her personal stylist? Who they they both saw her that day for the James Corden show. Not that's not looking good. All right, interesting. Uh, talk to Nick. His super chats are automated. I will talk to Nick. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are going to be so awesome, I will. I will talk to Nick. Uh, good advice. Uh, Denise from Canada. JD's mug is a tea. A lot, a lot of tea. We all know that is truth because Amber said so. Dr. Hughes will confirm. <laughs> He's enjoying right team. Back. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline Hagar with Game of Thrones. Let's love bomb Hoglaw with Super Chess. I said I didn't Ooh. recognize that phrase. <laughs> but you guys are doing it. I don't, I mean, I, I'm, I'm falling behind faster than I can do anything. Uh, I'm just going to stream for a little bit this morning. I, yeah. Famous, well, last, famous last words. Yeah, we started at eight o'clock, right? And this is like I have, I have utterly no experience with this kind of thing. <laughs> um, I am I'm already going to tell you since my I saw my wife leave to go to comic book day that uh, she'll be very proud of me and everything else. We we might have a conversation about me not being able to get in that car right then. Because I thought, hey, I'll squeeze it in before. <laughs> I'll squeeze it in before. No problems. No problems. I'm being smart today, guys. I'm being smart. I'm doing it at eight in the morning. Here we are. You got. No, you got. You got. She'll be you thrilled. Gotta, you got to tell her. You're like, babe. It's like I'm at a strip club and they're throwing twenties at me all night. So we got to go another three hours here. <laughs> not, not the best. I'm way not way to sure win you know how to with your with wife. With my wife. Yeah, I was gonna say, not the best way to win an argument with the wife. <laughs> no, my wife is here looking at me like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
no, no. You guys are so super generous. She'll be, she'll be thrilled about that. Uh, but it's, yeah. I mean, thank God it's not Mother's Day, or I'd be, I mean, I'd be <laughs> you'll be in trouble. I, you, yeah, you'd see sorry. someone come in, and I would just fall over live on stream. Uh, so, Geeky Stacy, so happy to have found this LawTube community. Adore you guys so much, and we'll continue to follow you guys far beyond this JD trial. Love from Australia, Blue Hearts for Alita. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Marie Louise Lubitsch, lots of law nerd love from Copenhagen, Denmark. Now, law nerd is Emily's folks, right? Yeah, the law nerds. Yep. Well, th thank you so much, Copenhagen. I love all these various areas. Keep, yeah, put those in here. That's that's fantastic to see. Uh, Damien Padilla, how would you compare this trial to other game lawsuits you post about? Yes. Um, game lawsuits mostly get settled, like almost all civil actions. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't know what to tell you. For the most part, they get settled. I did cover the Epic versus Apple trial, which was of course federal, uh, and so we we were playing. Uh, three levels of phone tag as there was a, I want to say a verge, a verge reporter that was then live tweeting and then doing summary articles. And then I was doing day by day summary videos. And I think I did pretty good analysis, but you've got like so many filters on that. Like just imagine mm -hmm. if somebody were watching Depp and Heard here and it's only what they decide to tweet is important that like makes it out. And that's more than you're going to get from just a summary article, but you lose granularity. Yeah. Not if if I could keep people's attention with two giant tech companies discussing antitrust law and battle of the experts that features, uh, you know, economic analysis, I absolutely would. We might give it a run sometime because the Ninth Circuit is going to be cameras up uh, for that appeal. Uh, but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it differs. This is this is more interesting to ordinary people, I think, because it's 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 characters, it's celebrities, it's emotions that we recognize. And I love antitrust law and I love talking about businesses strategizing for your dollars and your and your attention. Uh, this is more of the human experience. I think it's that human drama that is that is drawing people to it. Thank you for the super chat. Skew SME. Hi, Hogue. Hail from Malaysia. Hail you. Your stream time is just great for us here in Asia. Fantastic. Uh, DPAH trial is riveting and YouTubers are really milking the views. I had not yes. anticipated to milk them this much. You guys are fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. The, 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 because, you know, with any trial, though, every, there's so much interest in it with Rittenhouse. We all did something on Rittenhouse. And this is what we do. This is, this is you know, you want different perspectives. So, yeah. Yeah. No. And everybody's been super great here. So, you know, absolutely. Like, subscribe to everybody that comes on. Everybody involved in law, too, really. But definitely the people giving time here. Uh, you know, Rob, Nate, Alita. I'm going to work on getting their information. Certainly when this is archived, I don't I don't have a person in the chair uh, that Alita has, but I, I will make sure that it happens. Yeah, and I also want to say to the people, to the haters in the chat who keep saying there was no tears, there was a ruling. There was oh. a tear. I didn't need all tears. I just needed one tear. And we we got confirmation of a yeah. of a tear. You got a ruling for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Drew Bradley, a few pieces of damning evidence against Amber Heard featuring third parties like Kipper. Anyway, Johnny Depp can introduce those or reference them. Uh, no, we, we think that they agreed to not fight over the illegality of the recordings by saying it's only Depp and Heard. We, this is all behind the scenes. That's our best guess at what happened here. Uh, so they might be able to cut around them if the, if the evidence still makes some kind of cogent sense. We've seen that in a couple of clips that they've used. But I, they, I don't think they can just bring in the straight conversations. Uh, so that, that's, I, that's, I, that's where we think things are now. But I also think there's a way around it where they could get the recording in if they want to show her state of mind. Because I think she's okay. put that in issue, right? She's saying her state of mind was she was beaten up and all chaotic and laying on the floor and all this. And you could say, well, I'm not offering for the truth that, it, that she wasn't that. I'm offering it to show her state of mind after it. Somebody who was beat up and had all these injuries would their state of mind um, be this way? And hear I, I mean, all the people still, talking about it. So, are we still talking about Australia audio? Yeah, yeah, it would be that audio. So, defendants exhibit defendants and plaintiffs mutual exhibit three eighty is the it's called is titled Australia cleanup, and that's the oh. audio file from Australia three cleanup. Three eighty A is introduced, which I think essentially means that three eighty is coming in at some point. So, three eighty A is a clip. Yeah, the clip oh, of it's a clip from that. Yeah, it's yeah. Yes, that yes. Australia cleanup. So yeah, I'm imagining that them getting that little clip in. If I'm Johnny Depp's team, I'm getting the rest of it in. Completeness. I mean, I, how, how? Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I think that would be interesting because if it's as described, Nate, um, that would certainly be impactful um, for me. 
um, in saying that it doesn't it doesn't feel like anything you just described. And we already know that the timelines are just off. So we know like something's off. Uh, but if there. You, but quick question: If you catch her in one, does that mean everything she's saying is a lie? I I I think you can I, get to that point. I'd like to see I'd like to see a couple times. I actually usually don't think about Australia. I usually think about 2016 and then back to 2015 because I think they have pretty good strong. They have the police there. They have the report from the doctor that reviewed her for a concussion. And if there's no concussion, they have the tape uh, from the, the the show. It sounds like they have makeup or stylist people. I, I think if you run 2016 was effectively a hoax, and then the end of 2015 was effectively a hoax. I, I think then if you just cast doubt going backwards, I, I think if I'm thinking about that, depending on how it looks in practice, that might work for me. Like you, you've just established, like that definitely didn't happen. I go, okay, that definitely didn't happen. I go, okay. This probably didn't happen. I go, I feel like you're at preponderance levels. Like you, you, you've established, like we don't, we don't know what we can't, don't know because we can't prove the absence of everything on earth. But you've established, if you can win a couple of those like strongly, I feel like you can get credit, at least from me, uh, for, st for stuff that you can only get into like a middle area. Completely agree. Um, irritating 105. Hi, from Singapore. I love it. I love the discussions thus far. Thank you so much. Rolf Peterson, re-microscope. Can you possibly show Johnny Depp, new lover Camille Vasquez, flirting love and more? No, God help me. So Soy Ethan channel, court video, not triple X, thanks. No, it, there's there's a really cute moment where um, Vasquez tries to get up with her holding her phone. And yeah. Johnny Depp reaches over and like corrects the, or, or moves the cable so it doesn't get caught as she stands. Like there's the interactions that he has with his entire legal team, like just love it. It's I, so great. It, it's think, just, and they're so subtle and they look natural. If they don't look like they're put on. And that's like, that's exactly the way that he should be looking for the jury because yes. it's going to make an impact, even if it's not a conscious impact. Oh yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. It makes an impact on me. She, she, she looks like someone who's perfectly happy to be warm with Johnny. Johnny looks warm with her. I, I wouldn't go so far as flirting. Uh, but like that, that is impactful. This, this, this woman is, is fine with Johnny. And again, that's, that's not actually telling you any evidence about what we're talking about, but it's, you know, it's, it's something that you can take into account. I, I think she's going to be fire on cross the, the way the, her objections seem good. Every time we've heard from her, she's been really sharp. You know, I, I'm, I, I don't want to talk it up because we got trapped up in the last one. When that is it, right? Specialist, but <laughs> I feel the same way. I, you can go to the tape. Where even while we thought that would be what I do say something like, well, we've never seen Denison do cross X and his and his demeanor is like super chill. I wonder how it'll look. I think is, I think is what I say. I don't go so far as to say it. I don't think it'll work. Uh, but it's like I was watching. I was like, yeah, I guess that's kind of how I felt from the way he asked his initial questions. It would sound in cross X. He just doesn't. That's not he doesn't do a theatrical gear for that or, or anything like it. Uh, so very interesting. Uh, but, yeah, I think. It was it was me that originally said I don't know how Camille will do, and then Alita reminded me that she was the one in charge of the attack Amber Heard's like uh, story portion of the opening yeah. statements. I was like, oh, so yeah. she's got some yeah, fire. She she's got some fire in the belly. She well, does. This, but but let's be honest. If this is a case for two three years, she's probably practiced this cross a many times. Like you, this cross writes it itself, right? You it probably does. practice, 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 and just the only thing that would probably make you nervous is game that same day about to get up there and put it into and put it in the action. But I'm assuming she, she she's hearing that story. She knows every all, every bell to ring, and she's just waiting to get those guns out. And yeah. and the one thing I do like about Camille, she's very. Um, precise, but she's also very keen on the law. Like those hearsay objections were so razor sharp. I'm talking about. I, I've seen great, great objections before, but the way she was just making sure she she was objecting before the answer got in to stop the hearsay. That's there a was skill speed. That, that this you, is why Rob needs. wants to marry her. Yeah, she also <laughs> convinced. She also was effective in convincing the judge that hearsay was something that hearsay is not. Like there were some of those yes, that were just yes, clearly yes. not hearsay, but every time Amber started saying, and then she said, and it, it just objection. The judge was like, "All right, sustain, go on." I was like, "Dude, well, hey. part of it, and and part of it is is Elaine's fault for not fighting well enough to to protect her position too. That's that's the talent gap on that, and that's not. I I really don't have the same amount of trouble with the Elaine as some others do, uh, but that's I on do. that specific <laughs> issue, objections and objection counters. It's that it's that talent gap where yeah. Hey, first rule of law school, biggest thing you can learn, present confidence. It's going to get you some stuff. 
I mean, it's like that. That's what that's what she does. Every time she says it, your your initial reaction is she's probably right, and then that's that's your default. Um, but after, and, yeah, because after you win like four or five of them in a row, then the judge is pretty much confident that when you're saying objection, there's got to have some meat behind it, right? She's five times in a row. She's got she's got number six is going to be more likely, more likely, more likely. So, and I think that's exactly what Rob was saying. I think the judge just got it's it's like when the, when a witness is used to saying yes. Yes, yes, yes. You ask a question, you're saying yes to everything. And like, okay, yeah, it's exactly what I want you to do. And I also like, and I don't know if this matters all, uh, either. I also like that she doesn't usually do the layered objection. I, there's something, I know I was told that that was, that, that that's a good thing in certain aspects. Anytime you throw out like the four or or, or whatever, I'm like, uh, which one, which one do you want? And she's usually very targeted on, you know, it's hearsay or it's foundation or whatever. But the funny thing is she's done it just in different steps. When, when the question was asked, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was a question that was asked. And then she says, objection foundation. And then she won on that. And then she said, and then she asked it again or or in a slightly different way. And then she said, objection hearsay. And it was just like, oh, like no matter how you try to get out of this, you are not getting this in. She's like all these reasons why. And just, and but she just took it piece by piece. So yeah. it just completely dismantled uh, Elaine's ability to try to get this information in. Cause it was like, try this way, try this way, try this way. Nope, 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 nope. Blocked every time. And Elaine's do not we, a good defender. Do we right? think I'm going to get tackled by a bailiff if I try to slip her a love note on Monday? <laughs> yes. I, 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 yeah, I'll Maybe cover, her now, husband I'll too. <laughs> yeah, true. I'll, I'll probably get shot. <laughs> love, love Lauren, Virginia attorney gets uh, absolutely tackled in depth, in depth court proceedings. <laughs> As if there's not enough like wild it's craziness. Even, it's, in this case. And you know what's funny about this one? And the joke, it really is kind of funny. It's not, it's not that there's real traction there, but it is it's so cool to watch someone who's on their game like that. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just awesome to see. Trial attorneys of that caliber are, I mean, they're masters and it's fun to watch. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed. Everybody wants to watch greatness. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's part of that's part of the level of, like sports. You want to see crazy I, stuff. I I very much want to just become like i i'm i'm hoping that the cross examination is good enough that i can just become a a like no no withholdings just a complete camille stan after this like if her cross examination goes as well as i hope i will become like just like i was i said this before just like i became a, a Corey shirofsky stan after the gage grosquitz cross examination like this will make me into a, a camille vasquez stan for the rest of my life <laughs> so alita i have i have a mathematical problem uh oh! So in the time it takes me to answer a super chat, we get like three more. We're going, <laughs> we're, we're going backwards, pretty hardcore. Okay, do you want to do lightning round? Uh, no, no, this is this is fine. I don't. I'm not ready for a lightning round. I, I just want you to know that I'm extremely empathetic towards the position I've put you in for like a month solid. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I'm loving this reaction right now. Like, oh, you, this is this is this is life. Like you reacting and seeing you realize what you've done to Alita for the last month is <laughs> abused with super chats. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't 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 be happier. No, it's, Which, it's, 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 I'm not it's, complaining. No, no, it's really it's nice. <laughs> it's really, really awesome. Uh, um, we're gonna keep hold here all night. Listen, I unfortunately I gotta run. I gotta take my biscuits. daughter to a play date, but I will be back. Uh, you're gonna be still gonna be on. So I'll see I you guys think I might later. be. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna be ordering like hibachi benihana or something <laughs> really fancy for dinner, uh, so that so that my wife. I'm 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 here. I'm here for for a good while. <laughs> the the I, pets are fed. I've already taken Indy out. <laughs> uh -oh. I got to figure out. Uh, I, I'm going to order something. I do have a Mother's Day present coming, so uh, uh, that'll be good. We got, we got, we got safety plays here uh, for the Hogue marriage. Um, enjoy, enjoy the analysis. I'll see you guys in a little while. See you, Nate. See Absolutely. Nate. Go with, like and subscribe to his channel. He's fantastic. Um, Killer Sloth. Hey, Hogue. I just want you to know I really appreciate what you do over on Legal Bites. Thank you. You really helped me see in a different perspective from my Johnny Depp biases. So ignore what some of the chat says and stick to your guns. I have never abandoned my guns ever. <laughs> uh, so no, I will be sticking to where I come from on these things. I can only ever be sincere. It's the it's the commodity I have. Uh, otherwise, what's the point in listening to me? Uh, so course. absolutely, will do. Thank you so much for the super chat. Jill's views super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, Bronwyn Warwood. Question, does the jury get to look through published evidence and transcripts during the break or just their memories and thoughts? I don't think they get anything. I no, think they, they get during the breaks. Yep. Yeah. 
Memories and thoughts. That's it. Met Gone Girl Watch Party. Cheers from Prague, Czech Republic. <laughs> I actually Gone Girl Gone Girl soapy, but it's a good movie. Uh, no, so but I, I could I could do a Gone Girl like watch Alita's response when some of these things happen. Like just maybe I'll live tweet. Yeah, I, the funny part is, Rob, I have one scene particularly in mind that matches uh -huh. up with the descriptions of what uh -huh. we just heard, and I'm like, "Yep, she'll see yep. that." Yep. I think and maybe maybe I'll live tweet. I that would be just, great. Yeah. I will I will retweet your thread of live tweeting Gone Girl if you're if you're committed. <laughs> I'm gonna to that. so I'm gonna DM you like the timestamp, and when you get there, you need to just. Take your phone and throw a video on your face because I just want to see your jaw go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Freddie, Michael Voorhees, Alita, hook them horns. Sorry, hook ho, horns not blue. Hey, you know what? My mentor, one of my favorite lawyers on planet Earth, Texas law trained. So I got no there issues go. with Texas. I got no there issues go. with Texas. <laughs> Uh, David A. Hamilton, Jesus, you two are back at it already. I forced Alita to do this. Can't I, stop, I tried, won't stop. No, you didn't. I tried didn't. to tell her in DMs that she was under no uh, <laughs> obligation to come over. Take a nap. You're making me tired at 10 a.m. <laughs> uh, oh, we're only Can't at 10 a.m. Can't stop, won't stop. We live here now. We, we're we at live in YouTube. <laughs> we're only at 10 a.m. in Super Chat land. Yeah, Rob. Uh, so, you know, make a book shelf, build a house. <laughs> means you should be getting mine soon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you put in some? It's coming uh, Mary, up. Mary Brown, is there anyone on our witness list that were present for any of these events? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Alita's the, the captain of the, uh, the witness list, um, but would certainly be useful. So Wh Whitney, Whitney's on the list. Her her last name is no longer Heard. That's why some people might have missed her. It's Henriquez. Um, so, um, yeah, so she's on the list as, uh, as a witness in person. If she can be called, because she hasn't finished her deposition. Uh, there's a whole thing about that. Yeah. So Depp's team might actually keep her out. Um, or the scope uh, of her testimony will be limited. Yeah. Um, then there's uh, Rocky Pennington has kind of sort of been around. Like on May 21st, she was around there. Um, not necessarily seeing physical attacks or whatever that are alleged, but being there right before or right after. Um, she's by video deposition. Io Tillett was on the phone on May 21st with Amber. So Io can testify to what now, Io is, is gender fluid and I'm I'm not saying this to be like rude or anything. I think yeah. Io goes by he. Yeah, um, I, I guess that's what Chad has indicated at least. Okay, yes. So it's it's just because in the earlier testimony, like in the witness statements, people have referred to Io as she. So it it gets even more confusing with it's the temporality that. in court statements, right? It, it's it's not it's not a gendering issue. It, it's it's trying to talk about past facts in like the yeah. scenario that they were presented. I, I've seen exactly. it in other instances. It's it's yeah. difficult. Yeah, exactly. So um, trying to be as respectful as possible on on that note, but. Io is also supposed to be um, testifying by video deposition as well. Oh, okay, live link. Oh no, 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 video no, deposition. Depo. Oh. So okay. another one, another one that is one of her supposed friends that was. Yeah, she can't even right get her there friends in to zoom in. All right, weird. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not supposed to make any kind of an inference from that from the jury, but it's hard might. not to. Yeah, it's hard not to. Like, like. Like Johnny has people flying in from the UK. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one mistake I think they made is however they've presented the Rocky Amber breakup, and we know nothing about it. Uh, it's been presented as like a dark secret, like 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 There's what happened there. It. Like they they I would have got I think in retrospect they probably should have gotten in front of it even with something innocuous. We we disagreed and 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 Wait, fell off. Rocky Rocky and Amber were were they. Like no, no partners or just no, no, friendship. No, friends. Friendship deteriorated. Friends. Okay, friends. Yeah, just friends. But it's yeah. but it's all this kind of like one whisper of former friend Rocky Pennington and like you know this she was my best friend and it's like all this stuff's like okay yeah <laughs> yeah all right yeah all right no, I do agree I, if I had been an attorney working on their case I would have I would have wanted to have some kind of an explanation for the jury for why she's no longer good friends. Yeah, just, a, I mean, totally innocuous. It, it, right now it presents this kind of like, ooh, what kind of falling out was that? Yeah. Andy, the game maker, I think is related to somebody on this. He's my brother. <laughs> I'm I am outraged that you would have legal bites on your channel. <laughs> well, see, you joke, Andy. I'll, pro I'll probably get a comment or so on, on my channel that are like, how can you associate with X, Y, or Z? That, it happens no matter who you go on I get, with. yeah, I've got, I get those too. <laughs> <laughs> it, it matters no matter what. 
Yeah. Yeah. Darren Batten, honest opinion is always better than picking sides. Yep. Uh, I agree. Sometimes, sometimes at the end of this, you, 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 you'll, cho- you'll have chosen a side, uh, but I can only ever give you my, my honest take on these things. Definitely. Yep. Law and lumber. <laughs> it's so early, but never too early for virtual legality karaoke. Come on, Hogue, let's hear it. Virtual insanity. You know, people keep telling me to listen to that song. <clears throat> Uh, n- no, no. Although I will say every time last night and every time this morning, uh, that people were telling, uh, Alita or me or anybody else to, to take a break, I always would go take a break, come away with us to the city, go upstate. <laughs> that counts. That counts. Yeah. As, oh. That counts. There you go. Well to karaoke. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I was, I was doing that every time they said it. Nice. Um, nice. Nice. Uh, X Comer ZZZ in court. JD shows he is covering his head when he talks about being hit. AH shows a closed fist. Quite telling. Uh, maybe. I mean, you've heard some body people say that there's some things that are interesting about the way she tells her stories. Um, yeah. Just don't take that to the bank. Yeah. That's because that's, that's something that could be an indication, but don't don't let that hold too much weight for you. That's you know what was curious about when she was testifying to somebody that I, I didn't get a chance to ask you guys when it was happening. She what? said that he whacked me a lot. That's mm-hmm. a very weird descriptor. Like, not that he hit me or smacked me. It was like he whacked me. And I will tell you why I discounted her her, idiot, her idiosyncratic word usage is because it was so idiosyncratic, right? So she's got, we consummated our relationship. He bolts out of the, out of the room. Whack, to me, goes along with that kind of, well, to be frank, vernacular uh, of, of picking words that are not common usage um, to describe things that have happened. So I, I think it flew right past me that she used whack uh, multiple times uh, because I think I think if we were to go through her transcript, there's a number of places where she chooses like, if we imagine like a popular way of saying X, Y, or, uh, or Z, it's like seventh or 10th uh, for whatever it is that she's describing. Which is really stupid because Vasquez is going through that transcript and can recount all of those odd phrases and re-say them over and over again in front of the jury. Yeah, it, it sounds weird. There's no question about that. I kind of, I kind of want her to to go over the the Met Gala thing again because mm-hmm. the thing that stuck out to me about the Met Gala was not even her allegations of like being being you know smacked around or whatever and the dress that she wore and all that stuff. It was it was the part that stuck out to me about that was when she was like. It's this, you know, thing where it's a very expensive, you know, ball that that celebrities and other people go to. And then she just kind of, she tried to do what Johnny does, like in in humanizing himself, talking about how he owns an island, he which he does very effectively. But she tries to say like she said something like it's a thing, and it just it sounded like she was trying to be like I don't know, it's a really big mm-hmm. expensive thing that is not for the common people, and I got to go to it. But like the way that she said, it's like it fell so flat to be like she recognizes that it's ridiculous um, or that people will read it as ridiculous, but she doesn't know how to humanize herself for it. It was very strange. Yes. That, and that, that was the goal, right, is to establish that, oh, she's, she, you're, you're the common person being like, man, private it's island. A thing. Uh, Johnny, Johnny pulled that off very, very well. Yes. Amber failed entirely he didn't yes. he shouldn't be able to you know when you're talking about his contracts they're like here's 35 million guaranteed when, it, when it's all this kind of stuff it's like he he did better than her uh at humanizing and when he's the bigger star it's, it's or his, his island the testimony when he was testifying to his island was probably some of the most humanizing non-human things i've ever heard yes 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 yeah i i, I remember just just coming away from that just completely flabbergasted about how I was like, he has somehow made me completely accept the fact that he owns an Island and he's not some pompous a-hole who's rich, who like everyone wants to destroy because of his wealth. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I don't disagree that that appeared to happen. Um, Katarina Gedeka, someone who can make Buffy and Hamilton references while hyping up his friends and covering this mess of a case deserves all the hearts this is, this is before I just saying take, take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the streams. Thank thank you for the super chat. That is very generous of you. Thank you. Jared Vester. Hey, Hogue, just subscribed. Uh, Illy. Question. I love you. I don't know what it is. It, oh, it okay. says, I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Illy. This is, how, how Gen X can I get? I feel old. <laughs> question when it comes time for rebuttal could they have jd rebuttal uh, rebut amber's testimony 
They could. Uh, I think the, 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 what I'm hearing from the litigators is that it would be unwise to open yourself back up to cross when you've basically survived the process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anud Ibrahim just given me super chats. Thank you so much. Very appreciative. Shanti with a super sticker. Fantastic stuff. Parul Srivastava. Whitney's name is not there in the witness list? Question mark. Uh, Alita has said it is. I can I can share my screen and show you guys if you want. Yeah, give me with the screen. All right, let's do it. Uh, give me just one second here. Someday we'll we'll do the Guardian, but it might be seven p.m. You know, <laughs> We're going back. I had it might set be a goal already. I had set a goal in my head for what number I wanted to see there before I moved to the the last article. We have gone the wrong direction. Yeah, um, all right, so. I there we go. And oh, you got to move the super chat though. Or actually, all right, I'll just roll oh, up. Okay. All right. Here, no, 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 it's it's fine. Here, let me let me zoom in here. Whitney Enriquez, right here. Can you see my mouse? I can. There you, you got go. Your mouse up there, and then that yep. X means that X means this possible. means in person. Okay. So let me scroll all the way up. Yep, in person. In person. So if you yeah. notice, I mean, here's the other thing that people have have pointed out about her witness list. Johnny's had pretty much all in person or live via WebEx. All of these. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, surely her team knows that the depositions are hated by everyone. <laughs> One would like, think, right? Like, somewhat regardless of what they say, they're not they're not fun unless it's Alejandro. He can come back. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, anyhow. Well, that's all right. Cool. Cool. That's all. <laughs> All right, and I did it without removing you accidentally. So I'm hey. considering I'm considering <laughs> living sweetly questions. What happens if either party is found to be untruthful and consequences? If she claims further SV that took place inside the US, can it lead to additional court cases? Thanks. Well, I mean, I, certainly if she actually experienced them and they're within the statute of limitations, that kind of thing, that you can have different court cases against different people. But they would have uh, had to be after her, her relationship. It seems it. like, yeah, because it ends in uh, 2016, right? Yeah. If she alleged that he, he like somehow came over to her house in the middle of the night and did something. We're very unlikely to arrive at the end of this court case with a, we know this to be the truth and this is definitely the lies. We can feel like there's a preponderance. That's why the standard is that. Uh, but I strongly suspect this ends. And if Amber loses, she's going to go out with her PR team and say, this shows uh, the misogyny or injustice of the American justice system and, and, stick to her guns that men that. are protected mm -hmm. men are protected in this case and blah 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 by the system etc yeah we, we spoke about institutions and you saw it in action today uh you know without trying to say the same definite defaming statement you know <laughs> uh so yeah. Uh, yeah that's what i see happening um and, and the other direction too I, I don't think johnny would change his story if he lost he'd say you know the the, the the standard was high, but the, the world finally knows uh, who Amber Heard is. Exactly. Uh, Gina from Jax, what a wonderful Saturday surprise seeing you guys live this morning. Thank you for all that lawsuit is doing. <laughs> yep, you get to see us a lot. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. P-Dub, there's already inconsistencies. Some of the photos they use were used for different incidents in the UK trial. I have gotten a bunch of DMs that show photo differences and things like that. Will be interesting to see if uh, Ms. Vasquez brings that up. TV four to funked. Hogue talking over today's, taking over today's 12 hour stream. God, no, no. We're only a third of the way there. I can't believe we are. Uh, Woohoo, <laughs> lol. You guys are just going to make me read um, like internet slang. <laughs> Ruby Rudy, congrats on making it past 75,000 subs. Thank you so much. I've been a sub of Hogue since Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Thank you for being the gamer's lawyer. Thank you for following Virtual Legality for so long. That is awesome. Uh, Damien Padilla, ultimately this comes down to the jury. How do you think they are feeling such guesswork? I did like we got some whispers that they may be not responding to Amber looking directly at them. That would be interesting news. Um, uh, although, I, I mean, again, devil's advocate on that. It was hard. It was hard testimony. If you just think about it as true, it's hard to look at someone going through that, I think, as well. Um, so I could, I could see that, too. Um, thank you for the super chat. Hmm. Jo Joachim Bergman. Sorry if I killed your name. Is it not OD 
H A H started with I'm being sued for an op-ed I wrote. Also, what if any reason is there why they can't ask? Have you been physical with other people before in cross? Thanks for the content. <laughs> I like the what if any reason, by the way. What if any reason? Nicely, nicely played. The answer is, is that there are things that feel like they prove something that in terms of chain of facts don't actually prove that. And one of those is like propensity. Um, so if we're asking the question, did Amber hit Johnny in May of 2016, the fact that she was arrested for what could be a similar kind of thing in 2012 or whatever, I don't know the specifics on that, um, feels like it says yes, right? It feels like it. Uh, but it probably doesn't in terms of actually proving the events as they took place many, many years later. Uh, so the court's very careful with that. And the rules of evidence are very careful with that. But you might be able to get it in depending on various things. We've, you've seen the various panelists react to possible ways of getting it in for impeachment or um, uh, state of mind and, and, and things like that. So that's why. Um, and she is being sued for an op-ed she wrote. Uh, the title is in question, although I, I guess I did speak... Uh, I did do one piece of evidence that somebody sent me uh, out of the jury's ears and that the tweet, the tweet that she did to republish is not a naked link. It's not even kind of a naked link. It's like, I published this thing to speak out and to show, et cetera. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. If you were, if you were trying to have a tweet that said, this is a republishing, that's, that's probably the example you'd put in the book. Uh, so maybe, may, maybe they have to defend the sexual violence claim. And that's, that's one where, you know, one thing I'm sure of is Camille is going to go over that section of her testimony from Australia. Thank you for the super chat. Rustin Fettig, that is a, a Alita Blue Heart and a video game controller. Thank you so much. Rob, did we decide on yours? Do you, do you have an emoji yet? I don't know. I think uh, one of... One of Alita's mods suggested one at some point All with right. like a bearded dude. You gotta huh. go on Twitter because they're they are they are slowly assembling like the full law tube emoji list. Uh, yeah. Could be that or or there's also like a like a, a a hammer and like a saw or something like that that's like crossed together. That one would be a good one. I wanted like a bundle of wood, like you'd use in like silk. No, nope, no bundle of wood. Oh man. Oh oh, oh that's that's a veto on you. Well, <laughs> no, that's that's fair enough. You could veto those. You can veto the wood references, but I'm not the one to put lumber in my title, Rob. Uh, Ronan Angelicus. Great job, law tubers. Unbiased, professional commentary that is easy to understand is so hard to find these days. Also, seeing you all enjoying each other's company makes me feel warm inside. I, honestly, it's it's like a it's like an accident of history that we all like each other as much as we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Wrong button, but we're I haven't done that in like 10 in a row. So, yeah. Gina from Jax, what a wonderful Saturday surprise. Thank you for all that the, the LawTube community is doing. Hearts and claps. Thank you so much. Jordan Esquire, doesn't AH have live counterclaim for libel putting her character at issue? Why exclude evidence of past relationships and other character evidence? Uh, she doesn't have a counterclaim for libel from the, the court case. That's litigation privilege. Um, why exclude evidence? And I think I just talked about that. The, the, the notion is that they're more prejudicial they lead you down a path that feels right, but is not inherently right, uh, than probative, which is leading you to the facts as they actually happen. Head in the clouds. Where in the world are you and Alita located and why that location? How'd you start doing this? Alita and I might be an entire half a globe apart. I, I, you'd have to look. She, she is she is in parts far afield. <laughs> and, and Rob- She's in an un un undisclosed location. She is. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in Europe-ish. <laughs> That's yeah. what, I, uh, what I can say. <laughs> yeah. No, she's in Europe ish. Um, yeah. So yeah. every time the work she's doing for you, go subscribe to Legal Bites because if you do this math, like it is the dead middle of the night when she's doing this stuff uh, uh, during these streams, like the dead middle of the night. I mean, it, yeah, it is. I'm I'm not I'm not living on the time zone in which I live <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm very uh, much not. Um, I love it. I'm going to turn off my camera it? so I can finish this. It's yes, very messy right now. <laughs> Uh, how'd you start doing this? I started doing it because I think the, the story that I tell uh, is uh, it's November 2018. I'm a transactional attorney. I effectively had two mergers that were going to take up all my time through the end of the year. And if you're a transactional attorney, you know, end of quarters, end of years, big time, uh, get pushed into the next year, which means I had essentially reserved big swaths of time. Um, and, uh, and they both got pushed. And so I said, well, I have clients that are doing YouTube. I had kind of practiced with it. And I said, Let's give it a try. 
Uh, and virtual legality number one is about Fallout 76 and whether or not you can get a refund. And that's from, I think, November 27th, 2018. And then it just grows and metastasizes and becomes things you don't even recognize. And suddenly you're live streaming about Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard on a Saturday as soon as you wake up and you cannot catch up to the super chats that the ridiculously generous people are, are giving you. So I, I, you know, get on YouTube, find, find your bliss, find something that you believe in. Because I will say this. I, you know, it's, it's, it's a grind. I've, I've put out a lot of content. We have almost, a, I think we have more than a thousand videos uh, on the channel. Uh, I do videos um, almost every day. It depends on what I'm doing at the law firm, but I've worked on getting it farm to table in a way that I can fit in, uh, in, in my day. Uh, and I love doing it. Like that's the most important thing. I love doing it when there were 11 views and I love doing it now that we regularly get more than 5,000. Um, so uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Peggy Cole, congrats, LawTube community. It is wonderful to see a diverse platform where everybody gets along. Yeah, we save we save all the fights for the backstage. And be funny, <laughs> without shaming people, other like-minded communities should take note. I would love every community to take note because there's tons of stuff we disagree with each other on at like fundamental levels and we make it work. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yep. Roger Williams, as soon as Amber testified, I realized with a heavy heart that there would be no winners coming out of this except maybe a precedent. So opening statements, I said, oh, this is, is going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Um, yeah, it seems increasingly unlikely that uh, Johnny's just going to straight up lose um, in, in terms of court of public opinion and everything else. So whether or not there's a winner, I think, to me, rests a lot on what uh, Camille Vasquez does uh, in, in cross-examination of Amber Heard. Head bang tiger. I love your names. <laughs> uh, AH is the poster child for don't stick uh, uh, in. Yes, we Do know something. <laughs> Seriously, man, think with the big head before the small one. <laughs> Good life advice. Sword and scale. Hey, at Legal Bites, learned about you from Mercada. Oh, nice job stealing a simple audience. They are quite thirsty, Lal. Now, first of all, we know that that audience is still following Nick. All right, yeah. so we'll just this, start there. There's no Alita's, stealing any Alita's, audience away from Nick. Yeah, Alita's PG-13 to Nick's rated R. Yeah, and there's just a different there's just a different vibe, and honestly, I can't say that anyone in this community hates each other at all. No, not at all. Not there's at all. Zero, there is zero animosity between any of us. No, no, and everybody has their own flavor, and different people want to stream th different things. Absolutely works yeah. works great so far. If there's a civil <laughs> war, we'll have you pick sides. Yeah. Uh, Bubbles underscore Auntie. Thoughts on A.H. stating her P.A. Kate James drinking and being unreliable, yet A.H. employed her from 2012 to 2015. Well, uh, I don't it, I don't find that unbelievable. One, you can change in disposition. Two, sometimes good help is hard to find, uh, as it were. Uh, so I, but I it also know. is a very easy statement for her to make to try to discredit her testimony, too. That, that she could just throw that out there and there's really no way to verify it. I mean, I really didn't care because I found her credible. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And she was very upset with her at the end, right? I mean, like that's that's what. Oh, that's what from the it. beginning. I mean, yeah. she didn't want anything to do with this whole case, and she she did not want to have to talk about her at all because she was just like, if you really want to hear about her, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a text from mom. You're doing great. Hmm. Almost three thousand likes. Everyone hit the like button. We're at four point three thousand, which one tells you how far behind I am. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and two shows how great you guys are at liking and, and doing all the good stuff. Yeah. So thank you so much. I think I hit the wrong button there. Hey. Uh, 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 hmm. Milda Drea. Milda Drea. Thank you, Alita. Mm -hmm. Milda, Milda Drea star. I probably won't be around to see this. I apologize. Uh, but I'm so invested in all of you that after this trial, I'll still be looking for your LS. Awesome panel. Wish I could hear you pronounce my name. I used Alita. <laughs> I, Alita's my crutch on these things. She's so much better than it's, me. You know what it is? It's it's growing up with a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> Not a pint. Uh, Not a pint, but Alita. Can't shake a majeka. <clears throat> Not a pint. You come up with those. Really you come good. up with those. <laughs> Uh, Lance Mar, congrats, Hogan Alita. Just like Kurt and Hogue, I feel sick not believing Amber Heard. Doesn't doesn't feel great. Question one: How could both teams use this break to their advantage? Uh, question two: Predict fallout. I, I mean, Amber. If Amber casts a cloud over everything, um, and we just can't know, 
I think my internal biases are to effectively a- allow it as unknowable and, and call a zero on, on defamation. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think that's to me, I'm just talking about myself. If I'm sitting in the jury, it's smokescreen. It's just, it's just, everything's a mess. Who's gaslighting who? I don't know. Everything is wild and weird. I think is, is, is maybe the best thing they can pull off. You guys have any other opinions? I mean, you know, Johnny Depp's team can use this break to their advantage to, I mean, it allows the jury to sit with, with the, uh, direct examination and then to just come in hard on cross. Yeah. So really, really prepare their cross. And uh, I feel like they have a lot of time to do it. They do. Yeah. You hope they don't get in their own heads. I, I, I that's, think the, I, that's the only thing is, is I hope that they don't take too much time and overthink it. Yeah. Well, and, and that's why I said when I give the analogy, I think on your stream of um, football teams, you really do see teams come off the bye sometimes being like, well, we, they know we like to run, so we're going to pass over the top and then they, they lose. And it's like, oh yeah, we suck at that. <laughs> There's a reason why we were doing a lot of that before. Yep. <laughs> so you hope they don't get in their heads, but I don't think they will. Getting some rest will help. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just thinking, I was thinking, you know, one of, in one of those periods of time, I was like, I, don't, I wonder what Ben Chu's email looks like right now. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, For, you have no idea how much trials take out of you. Like you, the amount of adrenaline that you have running through your system, I, you will lose tons of weight. You will be de- constantly dehydrated. You will come out of there more exhausted than you could possibly imagine. And eating is an issue too. trying to eat in between because during, during the lunch recesses, you also are like working still, you're still doing stuff. You're still going. So it's like, you got to have systems in place for people to like bring you stuff on time and, and yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty brutal. Sounds hard. Fifi Ramon hit the like on the video peeps. Also. Hello, Alita. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Becca G with a super sticker. Thank you so much. Jordan Esquire, Amber Heard's counterclaim for libel puts her reputation at issue for purposes of damages. She opened the door for evidence of her past. 403 be damned. We can't say be damned. Uh, but I, I get you. I, I mean, I don't. I, it's the hoax. Like, they, they really focus the statements that they're arguing about to, did I commit a hoax? Uh, and especially in May of 2016. So I don't I don't think it put it in, in play. Sorry. Jacob Turnbaugh, if they can laugh joke while testifying, we can laugh while watching it. Life is a meme. Well, Johnny exactly. certainly laughed a bunch. Exactly. Exactly. I think there was only one time where I was like, don't smirk right there, Johnny. It was so it was sometime during the testimony. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, little old lady in the South. I was just hoping to get y'all's opinion. You know, you really, you, you, you got the name now. On, yeah. a bottle, on a bottle image, Amber used both for ECB and now Australia. Could that be a great thing for Johnny? What is ECB in this sentence? Oh, that's the the property. Eastern in Columbia LA. building. Columbia building. Yes. All right. Um, uh, I think maybe bottle image meaning the the cup, the Infinitum Nile cup, because people are saying that that the fact that that's on the the Coke table, that people are 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 saying that like, she's she's the only one that's ever been photographed carrying that around. So suggesting that she was the one that was there taking the photograph. She was the one that that set up the composition and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. Those are around the edges of the thing that I think are, are the most important in the case. So we'll see. Well, oh, like I they said, mean, some, oh. some folks are saying the bottle on, on the floor. The maker's mark or what was it? It was a, a wine bottle. A, a spilled oh. bottle of wine on on a on a on a wood flooring. See, that was something that I I I thought about, but didn't consciously it didn't consciously register. But now that people are asking about it, yeah, there was there was a a, a red wine spilled bottle on the floor in Australia, as was admitted. But I previously I had thought that all of those photos were from May twenty first, two thousand sixteen. So it's 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 strange. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that's what Amber's testimony's brought to the table is there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't seem to work with our timelines. And we're gonna need we're gonna need counsel to help us be told what just happened in terms of yeah. in terms of her story. Yeah. Phil Jones, I believe women always. Then there is Amber Heard. Cooper Lawrence's words, not mine, just to be clear, could not believe she actually admitted that. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, we didn't we didn't read that as as you um Oh. You taking that on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Raber 
Umfidor. What are the implications of the Moss statement? We think Potentially Kate Moss statement. coming in as a rebuttal witness at the end for a mic drop. Uh, Zikaz. Question, does any officer of the court monitor jury deliberations? Monitor? Not to be in, yeah, they're not allowed to be in the room, but there's a bailiff that stands outside in case they need anything. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Ian Paler, the working through disagreements are what makes it a think tank and not an echo chamber, in my opinion. Thank you. Ah, Absolutely. Awesome. That's that's a great compliment. Thank you. Lynn Pattison, good morning and thanks. Ah. That's very nice of you. It's afternoon. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Rob. <laughs> well, the morning is rising. I'm 53 and my bachelor's is in journalism. You kids make me want to study law. Awesome. Law is really interesting. Wall of Sound, have you guys heard the Australian audio tapes? It's clear the bottle injury is real, uh, says this person. I have not heard anything. I've heard effectively the opposite. Uh, so hopefully I think gets they, in and I, I think can they mean it. they mean the bottle yeah. injury to yeah. Johnny. We have too many, we have too many wild facts in this case, folks. <laughs> yeah. um, so thank and you. Rick is not allowed to hear anything that's not been introduced. So <laughs> Nate yeah. was walking a line and he yeah. knew it. <laughs> he was, he was. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, Phil Jones, I think JD's having to watch her rehearse is domestic <sighs> violence. Ouch. Jorge Vasquez, is it possible for JD to buy pirates from Disney? How much, <laughs> how much money do you think JD I don't has think compared he, to Disney? Yeah, I don't think he's that rich. <laughs> he gets paid from companies like that. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Riddles, Robjection! <laughs> For all the ladies in chat, if you need a hard as wood lawyer, Lord. breaking beds and building cases, Law and Lumber's your man. Love you, Rob. Smiley face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my, my, my. Alex oh, with Hey Bed Breaker, word. Rob. So, Rob, I just, I'm just telling you, you're going to get some chats. You're going to get some super thanks. Many are going to look like this. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren Schuler. You guys are awesome. What could the Kate Moss reference she dropped open up for a cross or rebuttal? She looks so happy. I, we think it's going to be something on, on the rebuttal, either from Kate Moss directly or trying to potentially get in some more past evidence. Whatever it is, Chu thinks he's pretty sure it's coming in. Yeah. Uh, Pandine Guardian. Great to see you taking on a new format, Hope. Uh, yeah. Accidentally. I like your double <laughs> advocate style. I haven't missed a second of the joint live stream with the crew. Love from Australia. I haven't missed a second. I've missed seconds. That is impressive. Um, and I'm, is. I'm sure Lita appreciates it. Of course I do. Absolutely. <laughs> I've, I've gotten people um, tagging me in like stories and stuff on Instagram, basically saying like, I'm addicted to this coverage. I need to, I need more. I need to know more. <laughs> I, did, I did get some <laughs> messages my in my DMs that are like, are you doing anything? Cause like they they said 10 days and I don't know about 10 days. Um, <laughs> so can you put some stuff up? I was like, yeah, we'll do, some, fix. <laughs> we'll do some headlines videos, people. I, this, this appears to be a format that works. We're reading articles that I like to do. I'm already, uh, I'm already reaching out to psychologists to have a, to have a, a, a stream on the psychology in this case, talking about the, the various disorders and stuff going on here. So awesome. I'm looking yeah. forward to learning on that stream. Thank you. <laughs> next. Me too. <laughs> Sword and Scale, working on a video debunking Joe's claims about the theory of relativity. <laughs> Any suggestions? Did, did Joe make did Joe go into physics on his on his channel? Yes, I think he said Einstein is wrong because oh, of reasons. He, I, Joe, I haven't watched. Me, Joe it. said what? Apparently, Joe uh, went against the Einstein's theory of relativity. So oh, I think my Mother's Day present has come. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, so yes, I think I can't remember exactly what his thesis was. I, I didn't get a chance to watch the video, but I just, as soon as I saw that he was going to try to like debunk Einstein, I was like, you sure you're qualified? Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that chat must've been interesting. I'm sure it was just entertaining as all hell. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. He comes in with the, he is so, he's such a kick. He comes yeah. in just flaming mad. <laughs> and then he gets it. He, it's like it's like he builds up, and he just needs to explode. And he explodes, and he's just then he's back to Joe. And you're like, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, he just needs to vent it all out, and then he's fine. And then he's just chill. <laughs> yep. Oh man, it was not. So hopefully it comes today because it's supposed to. <laughs> I'm in real trouble if that gift doesn't come today, folks. Oh no. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. 
Hula A, love you guys. Can they show the Dutch TV video as evidence where she claims she donated the money? Yes. We think so. Yes. Dawn W, just nice. for the buffy, it could be Bunny's reference on Legal Bite stream yesterday. Oh, I can yeah. I do deep cuts. It could <laughs> be bunnies. Kaylee Sains, Hogue, the ultimate wingman. Thank you. So glad to see LB supporting you today. Of course. We support each other. Love yeah. y'all. Thank you so much. Stony CC, any chance of videos analyzing evidence to testimony? P.S. Don't get excited. It's Australian dollars. <laughs> I'm excited for any uh, super yeah, chat. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Um, no. I, so in terms of this kind of stuff, uh, this is the, the media coverage is probably the angle I'm going to take, but there are so many good law tubers doing so many cool things, breaking beds for your pleasure, uh, <laughs> that kind of thing on the internet, uh, that they, they'll be doing more of that stuff. And then I'll pop in, uh, if they're invited all over the place, uh, because Tug does a great job at it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. True. Very true. Ashley Woods. I see you all as legal besties. Thank Aww. you for your dedication these past weeks. Thank you for the super chat. I, I think we all are friends. Yeah. Miss Pretty Bird, incredibly average, has audio tapes of JD and AH, AH in full. Check it out if you can. AH is nuts. Uh, I, this, this strikes me as something that I'll be either listening to at the trial or or in the postmortem. Yep. Ryan Nana, have you seen new Umbrella Guy vid about Amber's makeup artist exposing her? Can she now testify for Johnny Depp as a witness or can they use the info she said? I think her makeup artist is on the list. Okay. Well, also, um, now let me let me double check. Rob, here. let's say she came out of the woodwork. Um, yeah, would uh, you be able to introduce her as some kind of emergency basis if it just happened during the trial? Mm. Number thirty-eight on plaintiff's witness list is any witnesses necessary for rebuttal or impeachment. Yeah, but she'd have to. She if she raised it. Yeah, you know, because if she's going to testify to having to cover the makeup, then I think I could probably get her in there. It, the difficulty is trying to sell the judge that you didn't know that this is going to come up. Okay. Because it's kind of a special circumstance. Yeah, yeah. It's the, It should be the exception, not the rule. Okay. So. Awesome. That would have been my intuition, but I know better to answer questions I don't know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> Piper's Muse, at Rob. Yes, a legal mythbuster of sorts. It, it yes. did sound like that. That would be an awesome niche. You just build things and break them. Doesn't always have to be beds, Rob. All right. And I've I've gotten several questions from people in the chat about what I was eating earlier. It was a spicy chicken wrap. People I'm are sorry. very interested in all sorts of stuff, aren't they? It was Peggy delicious. Cole. It got messy at the end. That's why I had to cover the, the camera. <laughs> Kate Moss put out a public statement saying that JD never harmed her, which you know, could be a bench you fist pump. I think so. Matt H, PI defense attorney here from Texas and just passed the CA bar yesterday. That's a tough bar. Congrats. Congratulations. I know from experience that's a tough one. <laughs> Loving all the analysis and also Alita. Hook them. Hook them. I said I don't mind Texas. I'm not going to hook him. I'm not going to hook anything. <laughs> I will. Alita can hook him. Uh, LM, is it odd that JD has two hours more left than AH? I, I was surprised, uh, but uh, the rest of the panelists no, tell me it's, it's relatively no, common. I mean, it's, yeah, it's relatively common. Cross-examination will generally take about one and a half times what direct does because it takes longer to get information through that process. There you go. Alicia Lauren, yay, hi, Hogue. Went to bed watching you guys and waking up to you guys too. I can see how that could have happened. Uh, question... <laughs> Do the accusations on opening statements have to be addressed during the trial? Well, you hear me about writing checks, right? So it's it's not like it's illegal to not answer them, but you've written checks to the jury. The jury is going to evaluate whether you cash those checks. Thank you yeah. so much for your generosity. Yeah. Which is why, which is why putting Amber Heard on at this stage is so, in my opinion, such a bad call because right. she's writing checks. The better stage would have been to put but to put all of the, well, yeah, she's writing checks and she now has to make sure that there's money in the bank to cash them. And that's a lot harder when you don't know whether the evidence is going to come in. Yeah. Yeah. I can buy that. Definitely. <clears throat> Jackie Joe 15. Do you guys ever sleep? I did sleep. I slept. I think it was four and a half hours. <laughs> oh yeah. For me, it was about five. Uh, I'm going to get more tonight. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I literally woke up and I was like, I, I, it, it informed in my head how I wanted to present this. And then once, I don't know if it's the same with you, but once you have a creative notion and it's like, I'm not going back to sleep now anyway, I might as well yeah. go start doing it. 
Well, and also like this is so much fun that like I, when I got when I got Rick's DM, I was like, well, I was planning on just being in my athleisure wear and not wearing makeup today, but okay, yeah, let's do it. This is fun. I'm gonna want to hang out with my friends. <laughs> yeah, I well, I, I really appreciate it. I, I I I would not have blamed you at all if you're like Rick. God. <laughs> yeah, but it. you guys have all been there for me, so I've got to be there for you guys too. So. <laughs> Uh, Leet Kiko Vasquez objection completion on YT is pure fire. Uh, oh, compilation. I'm going to need yeah. that link. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a really fantastic thing that I want to go and watch. The Vasquez <laughs> objection compilation. Yes. <laughs> she was, she was a scalpel. There's no question about that. Thank yes. you for the super chat. Uh, Lee Vasquez. I am stuck with all of you guys, the best. Yay. I even take my phone to the shower. Can you please <laughs> listen to this audio of Amber and Johnny? I will after the trial. <laughs> Bill Jones, you do an SC after watching Alita. If like going from a Ferrari to a Yugo, you should let her drive. <laughs> totally no. fair. I accept all complaints, especially about the technical aspect. <laughs> Ferrari to a Yugo. All right. All right. I, so that, that came in at about 10.30 a.m. We were, we were we were fully in. I have no idea what buttons to hit to get things up, to move things around. Totally. Alita knows what she's doing, but thank you folks for sticking I've with had, me. I've had a little, bit, a little bit more experience leading up to the trial, at least, uh, to kind of get warmed up. To, thought I was to ready. That, warmed up to it. I've used Steam Yard before. I thought I was ready. Nope. <laughs> Dollhouse 11, question, will the elevator vids of JF, uh, Franco, and Musk be allowed in as evidence they have been admitted. They were they were verified. At least the, the Elon Musk one has. The Franco okay. one, not yet, but maybe okay. it will. All right. Yes, we, we saw Musk coming. We we think Musk, alleged Musk, uh, coming in through the, the service entrance. So, yeah. yeah. Bubbles, just wanted to say I love the Phoenix Wright references you make. It's one of my favorite series. So good. Objection! <laughs> I can do that. I, I think I've I think I've told this story. I've definitely told it on my channel here where I am. Nothing seems normal this morning. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, I uh, one of the things I do with my girls uh, is we do Phoenix Wright and I do all the voices. Uh, so yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day we'll put we'll put a case up on 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 the internets. Um, <laughs> LM at Rob building a case, shelving the case, sawing the evidence, polishing a case, nailing the evidence. Sanding the gavel or objects and objections. Some of those got all of those are great titles to videos. Yeah. All right, there you go. I love it. Bubblonia rising. It's a rotation hoe. Work your DPS video game references. I love them, folks. I'm getting better at this. I, I my error rate is down to like one out of ten. So we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Britt Cormier. Now that we are not on the LB channel, can I officially give her hell for being a Longhorn? I mean, I wouldn't bring it up, but that burnt orange as well. Burnt orange. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a gorgeous <laughs> color. <laughs> I love that Britt Cormier's background is burnt orange. I know. Um, it's it really is. funny. It's orange. <laughs> All right. Dad Hogue. Aww. Professionalism equals Joe saying to Rick, I am not yet persuaded, but your argument is strong enough that I won't posit that thesis again. Just amazing. Uh, so yeah, Joe and I were talking about how the uh, kitchen video works in practice, and and Joe essentially said, "I will think it over for some more from there," which is which is awesome, and Joe can well be right. I, I mean, I, it's just it, it's just me saying things, uh, but that is that is the best. Reason disagreement is how we grow. I think I say yeah. it all the time on this channel. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. uh, Jody Lewis, will the court address what appears to be Amber Heard taking a bump while on the stand? <laughs> love you all and happy to give Hogue some love. Uh, still, Team Booger. It's not going <laughs> to drop that. Uh, but uh, I don't think the court will address it. Will they? No. Do you think there's any chance the court will address it? No, that video is good for the TikTok and YouTube community, but that's about it. <laughs> Life lessons as well, folks. Uh, <laughs> yep. Mesotis. Regarding the eye contact of the jury, lawyer Chris Melcher said it is actually very awkward when the witness is recounting horrific stuff and trying to make eye contact to confirm if they respond. Yeah. I mean, it was awkward. I mean, we saw it be awkward. So definitely, definitely. Astrid S. with a super chat. Thank you so much. Ajit TV, I now know more about U.S. law than German law, and I learned that in school. 
<laughs> Much love, even though you guys make it hard to get my uni work done. <laughs> what can we say? We 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 like. Don't, you know what? Things. You know what I say about that. Don't let your school get in the way of your education. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> that's that's that sounds like a poster at the at the bottom of like Van Wilder or something. Yeah, I I didn't actually come up with that. I can't remember where it, it, it it's it is like a Van Wilder quote or something. Like it's it's like some kind of a movie quote that I remember hearing. I love about. it. Or maybe it's an Einstein quote actually. It, it's it, either Hollywood or Einstein. It's really me, the same let me, thing. Let me, let me let me Google that. Okay, go get it. Britt Cormier, question, does the fifth even apply to civil cases? I thought it was just capital cases. It doesn't apply to civil cases, but if there were still, uh, if there's still exposure, I, yeah, no. The fifth is not going to pop up in this case, so we can just- Tactically speaking, the Fifth Amendment doesn't apply because this is state litigation. It's actually the Virginia Constitutional Amendment that would apply. Mark Twain. Well, isn't the fifth, the fifth's going to be straight up incorporated by the 14th, no? It's incorporated by the 14th, but states states uh, amendments are more comprehensive, generally speaking. Got it. All right. It's, cool, cool. So, so the the quote that I said it's been attributed to Mark Twain, according to the Googles. I was going to say, but what quote hasn't? So yeah, we might have to dig True. deeper. Yeah. So <laughs> I will I will continue de uh, digging here. Susan Endlich, when did the essay allegations first come out? Wouldn't someone allege the most extreme abuse at the start of the TRO process? I actually don't, I don't think that popped into the uh, TRO as described. I, I'm having trouble tracking. This is a great question because I'm having trouble tracking the essay because it appears to pop in um, only, only in places. But yeah, there's so much of the story, you talk about incredibleness, is these horrific events way before she's married then a little bit before she's married, then just after she's married, then she stays for another year. And then the TRO doesn't appear to detail all of this stuff, or at least even substantial portions of it. Doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it feel iffy, right? That's at least to me. Lee Vasquez, sorry, here's the audio from Stevie J. Raw, new audio release, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. I will look at that link, but probably after the trial. So just a, just an update on the, the Mark Twain investigation. <laughs> According to the Center for Mark Twain Studies, uh -huh. um, it is uh, so that the, the quote that is a Mark Twain quote is, I have never let schooling interfere with my education. All right, we've Which got does, that it does It does sound like a Mark Twain thing to say. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. anyhow, All so right. I can put that to rest. <laughs> Thank you, Alita. <laughs> it was going to bother me. Hey, sure, I love it. Um <laughs> Krista Royce, how many rebuttal witnesses can JD's team have? I think it's time limited, not number limited, right? Time limited. Yep. Astrid S., I'd love to see the medical records for Amber Heard. If what she says is true, she must have seen a physician. Where are the records? I, I think that's a very common question. The answer is question. Amico cream. It yeah. made them go away. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think as described, this is why I say, like, if something actually did happen, she could have just burned herself with, like, exaggerative storytelling i mean I, I, there's, it's very it's impossible really for us to pull it apart <laughs> if she so. had played a a much more reasonable tone without all of these insane accusations and just just played it like like these are you know he hit me one too many times that would have been a a gray area case where it would have been very difficult yeah yeah misty clark you're the first sub i've done via legal bites via emily baker yeah more subs to come panel of legal bites Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Emily Love to it. Alita to Rick to the rest. <laughs> like and subscribe to Rob and Alita. Um, <laughs> and Rick Hogue. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you're here, yeah. I mean, hit your button. Uh, Carrie Di Pietro Moni, thoughts on Amber answering Cross honestly? You mean, is she going to be honest in her answers? Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's going to stick to her narrative. So, how do you feel we about her narrative? See. Yeah, that's why you that's, you know you talk about the Phoenix Wright references. I mean, that's that whole game is just trying to essentially establish how you break that chain by showing how one thing couldn't be true, and then watching that filter through, and then doing it again and again. Yeah. Emma Rain, hey, great to see you guys over here. Love. Looks like I have two hours to catch up on. We're almost and at five. More. Listen <laughs> to Australian audio after yesterday's live stream. I'll take things that never happened for a hundred, please. Mm. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Annette Brune, if you don't know, Hogue is Danish and means hawk. Hawk. Huh. I did not know that. 
yes, we we lose track a little bit in the the the, the north northern European area, but yes, that seems to track with what we know. So were okay. your family ancestors falconers? Might have been. I don't Could know. Be. I don't know. I, I'm I'm primarily Polish and Irish, uh, but the the name comes from somewhere in that area. Cam Thompson, love the reasonable minds. Mm, reasonable minds can differ. Uh, mm -hmm. Represented here to have Amber loop out during cross. I'd have lookalikes of Amber past relations sitting in the court. Oh my god. It's a very it's a very a few good men kind of kind of uh, scripting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Amber heard off script and wigging out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I could just wear a big t-shirt that says Camille Vasquez fan club and just sit right within view of Amber Heard. Rob, we all know you'd be doing that to sit within view of Camille Vasquez. <laughs> ben Chu fan club? Just sit there, just, yeah. Oh, I'm a Ben Chu stan, man. Especially after his opposition to the, to the motion. Yes. Yes, just seeing his, that fire come out of nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. His idiosyncrasies too. His his just his entire demeanor in that courtroom is so he, it's so settling. You just feel so yes. calm. Grandpa Ben yes. too. Yes. He just like he 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 seems like he is an absolute joy to work with. Like I would yeah. love to work with him at, in his firm because it just he seems like the kind of guy that's like like, okay, I'm going to take you under my wing, teach you everything that I know, and you're going to become a better lawyer as a result. Like, that's that's the vibe that I get from him. That's what he presents as. That is the truth. God knows what it is in reality, right? But, like, it, it feels like a team. They do the little huddles. They share the jelly beans. It's like, okay, <laughs> all right. Cool. Yeah. And, and and I think I think that's also like reflected on the fact that that they've they've spread the the responsibilities of cross and, and direct and objecting to so many so many associates at that firm too. It's just it just feels like there's so much like like cooperation and trust and and like just a good overall team vibe that you don't often see in a lot of legal working environments. <laughs> and high stakes ones, right? Yeah. I mean I, I I keep commenting on it on your streams, but like I love watching the research team. I love watching them. They're constantly yeah. buzzing around like yeah. these and handing over notes. Uh, and, and doing that kind of thing, I loved mm -hmm. it because that you've got to see it fully in practice during that uh, uh, the motion to dismiss stage because they clearly looked up the case that they got ref that, that Rottenborn referenced, and then he got him the note where he's able to say it doesn't <laughs> even stand for that, Your Honor. And it's like, and you know the, the blue book <laughs> that Vasquez kept bringing up there, yeah, that's uh, published by the Virginia Bar, and it's a guide to the rules of evidence. Every judge has that exact book behind there, and to the point where when we're making objections. And the judge sees that the book is on our desk. The judge will say page number, and we'll just flip to that page number and we'll argue over it. So oh, that, nice. the fact that Vasquez, who's a Massachusetts attorney, had that in her hands was a good sign. They're prepped. They're prepped. Duwani Prabhu, Hogue, so glad to catch you all here. In my opinion, you guys are sensitive towards SA and DV victims by empathizing and wishing them well. Alita says meme and gif. Correctly, Jeff. by the way. <laughs> Lol, Rob, please check Insta DM for name options. In case you want more, you got DMs coming at you. Uh, All right. But, uh, yes. I, Thank I finally you. opened Instagram for the first time after that criticism yesterday, and um, I was, I was, my fingers hurt after responding to some of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. KCM, question. Do you think JD's team didn't destroy Hughes on cross because they want to use her expert testimony against Amber Heard on closing? That is no such thing as mutual abuse. I mean, that is a, that was a useful part of, of what Hughes had to say for Jeff's, Depp's team, potentially. Uh, that that doesn't exist. We're going retaliatory or nothing. And then you pick a winner. Um, so maybe. I don't think it would have hurt to cross X or a little harder on some stuff. But, you know, reasonable minds can differ. Yep. There are many ways to strategize a trial. So Absolutely. And whoever loses is going to be rethinking them for a while. After that. <laughs> yeah, right. If if they win, it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Morag Ironside discrediting Dr. Kipper with suggestions. Love you all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amber Heard's been working to discredit Dr. D discredit Dr. Kipper. I mean, that's the Cohen g g gave away my information to him. That's the nightgown. I don't know why exactly, um, but that that is definitely in play. Uh, Jacqueline Purdue sounds like she's accusing JD of what she's done. Yeah, that's been posited. I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't know enough. I want to see what she's got in her case. Ooh, we're Sleepy under a Sleepy cat, Ada. Hello, cat. Aww. Super chat. 
Yeah, you said 100 because I'm not I'm not up to speed at all. I'm like hours behind, Alita. I have to go back in when you guys give a long answer, and then I'll go back up by 50. Oh, no. <laughs> Veronica Bertha, I do think they both were toxic, but JD got canceled and dragged to the dirt. Amber Heard did not. Hi to Alita and Rob, too. Yeah, they're definitely, Hi. I mean, it's a horrible relationship, right? Like, bare minimum. Even if things didn't rise to the level of abuse, this isn't a winning relationship. That's not, it's not good. It's not good. Um, so, absolutely. Thank you for the super chat. Sleepy Cat 8 is back. Hogue, since you have Rob here on live stream, you might have a matchmaking side business to open up to. I am leaving, <laughs> I am leaving that to Alita, uh, should she choose to pursue that. I'm not going to put Rob in that position here uh, on this channel. So... That's my promise to you, Rob. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have a, a, a dating live stream. <laughs> just kidding. Julia Sherman. I just, love, I just love that Alita sticker. just has so much fun with it. Yeah, yeah. it's great. <laughs> yes. Bare minimum, she's amused herself, isn't she? I have. I, I absolutely have. I was telling Mr. Bites, it was just it's just so funny. It cracks me up because I, I'm used to being on the receiving end of it, like when I go into onto Ricada's channel. And so, you know, the, the whole feet picks thing and all that kind of stuff. So I was just like, and I, I I joke about it there too. Like I just, you know, I'm I'm like I take it as a compliment and I'm I just I have fun with it. But it's just it's funny to see it reversed. <laughs> I can see that being true on Nick's channel, definitely. He 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 adored reading me the thing from the manifesto. He loved that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Giov Giovanni uh, Caralu. That's horrible. That's I. I'm coming back. Hang on. <laughs> Giovanni Caralu. I think it's Italian, in which case it would be Chiralo. We'll go with Alita. I'm a junior big law associate. Uh, both congratulations, and I'm very and sorry. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's amazing how different this world is from mine, and I can't thank you people enough for providing a window into this side of law. Well, I was in big law for uh, 12 years. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, got the brass ring, got the partnership, and the second that I was given equity partner, I decided on how I was going to plan to leave. Uh, so more power to you. That is a That is a tough life. It's often a lucrative life, but um, congratulations and thank you so much for the super chat. Absolutely, I, I have I have heard many stories like that that people said once I made partner, I realized this is not what I wanted. It was just very, it was very clarifying. It was actually an odd moment in like my career where I was like, it was essentially a goal I had set, and then I was did it great. I can say I was equity partner at, one, at the biggest law firm in Michigan, and now what? Right. Yeah. So. And to answer the question in the chat, what is big law? That's re referring to the the biggest law firms in the world. Often, a lot of times they're international firms, um, or sometimes just just big. They're big firms in in that they they employ a lot, a lot, a lot of lawyers, like a lot, hundreds a lot, of a lot lawyers, of lawyers, hundreds <laughs> of lawyers at least mm -hmm. representing the big the big corporations. I was doing transactions. That's you know that's where I got my mm -hmm. sea legs and up from under me doing like real mergers and acquisitions, big stuff, yeah. <clears throat> and um, big prices, right? Like like big billing. Yeah. Um, and big and big requests of your annual, yeah. uh, the, the, like number you, the number that you have to hit. You. Yeah. The number that you have to hit. Uh, Britt Cormier with Super Chat. The article at one point alluded that since JD was more famous, he had more power. It did allude to that. Mm -hmm. I really do not like those implications, nor do I. Will Smith is more famous than his wife. Are we really going to say he is the powerful one in that relationship? Nope. Bringing us back to pop culture. Yep. Uh, All yeah. All good points. All good I, points. It doesn't seem that way, does it? There are multiple forms of power. Just because one is obvious does not mean that other ones don't exist in the relationship. Absolutely. Uh, version 216, ICU registered nurse for 11 years here. I really tried to give Amber Heard the benefit of the doubt and believe her. Absolutely. I've seen thousands of various traumatic injuries throughout my career, and her evidence isn't congruent with her description. That's, I think a lot of us are having that trouble. Yeah. Disturbing. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for the super chat. Jenny's getting inky with it. <laughs> the pick and choose, re what picks were taken and contents or lack thereof in picks makes me wonder if Amber Heard may have been setting him up all along. Perhaps she married him in bad faith. See, the one thing I think is sincere is that the, that emotionality and that drama at the start. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't, it doesn't strike me as bad faith from the moment, but he, she was documenting a lot of stuff. Yeah. Rick, I have a question. Yes, do you want do you want Rob and myself to cover the next few super chats while you go and collect some? Because I'm I'm concerned that you might you might lose them if you don't lose them go entirely? back. And, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, great. Yes. Um, okay. So, yeah, I didn't know that could happen. Going. So this is great. Yeah, just in, just in case. So scroll scroll up as far as you can go and find them. Okay. Um, okay, Gio Rio says, as jurors, when not sure, wouldn't you be very anxious deciding after hearing such horrific things? Even the doubt of uh, the doubt of could someone could some be real? You are all awesome, uh, and <laughs> Hogue, Alita, and Rob uh, building <laughs> building a bed. <laughs> awesome. So you wouldn't, be, wouldn't you be very anxious emoji. deciding? Be bad emoji. So yeah, I can I can understand having having anxiety about making a decision like this, e even though you're you're in a lot of doubt as to the things that she's saying because of the fact that those are very serious allegations that she's making, like incredibly yeah. serious. So you they don't want to people to think to give them. They have to at least appear to give them the the thought process all the way through. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. That that's why I don't think that there's going to be a a very fast jury verdict in this case. Um, it's going to be at least, at least a, a day or two, maybe because I, I would anticipate that the folks on that jury panel are going to say, okay, there's some crazy stuff that's been alleged here. We, we need to make sure that we are feeling okay about this. Let's go through this. Let's go through each incident yeah. and, and talk about it. How do you guys feel about it? You know, like I, I can totally see that being the case. Mm -hmm. Um, because otherwise you'll get, you'll get completely destroyed by people, uh, in the media, like I can, I can see people being concerned about that. Yeah. You want to make it, make it look is not right. You want to make sure you give it the time and attention it, it requires. Yeah. Julia sugar barkers or sugar baker says Rob, Alita and Rick, you guys are delightful. Thank you. Um, why? Thank you. You can see it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, Indushri Rajan says, hi, love your commentary on Legal Bites. First time here. Question regarding the Australia audio, can partial transcripts be allowed in if they are being kept out because of others who are on the audio besides Amber Heard and JD? Thanks. Mm, realistically, no. <laughs> I, I mean, this particular court, as far as Fairfax is concerned, the, the evidence comes in in one fashion and it's it comes in an audio. That's the best evidence to what took place because it provides context for the words that you're hearing. So yep. I cannot see a transcript coming in at all. Yep. MSC LRHD says, do you think the see if the jury believes you audio influenced the reports of the jury not having eye contact with Amber Heard? I don't, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to know exactly what they're thinking, even if you're in the room with them. But for us, from our perspective, we don't even know what they look like. So it's even harder to know. But it could also be that they are just uncomfortable making eye contact with her when she's making, when she's, she's talking about these, these crazy accusations that, that she says that she went through. Yeah. Especially if you believe her. I mean, I could also see the reverse of that, which is, you know, if you're a juror and you're worried, you're going to laugh or something like because of the, the overwroughtness, you're just like, stay in control, man. You don't want to be the story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Indusha Rajan says, P.S. I subbed your channel too. Hey. Thank you. Awesome. Katie M says, there does seem to be an audio of what happened in Australia according, uh, recorded by Amber on the Average Guy site. Yep. Looks Indeed. like it. Everybody wants us to hear it. <laughs> the Jan Man, I can read the next one because I can see it here. Oh, there we go. Uh, says, why did Amber's sister not finish her deposition so she is not able to be a witness? So she apparently was feeling ill that day. And I guess halfway through she decided to leave and not come back. And I think that she had just finished being deposed by Amber Heard's lawyers. And it was, it, it was one of those things where it's like when it came time to be deposed by Johnny Depp's lawyers, she decided she wasn't feeling well enough. Um, or she, she, maybe not she decided if we want to be charitable, she was not feeling well enough according to what she was saying. Um, so uh, then after that, then when it came time to produce her again to, for a, a second deposition, Amber's attorneys argued, nope, you get one shot and that's it. One day, that's it. You can't, you can't, you can't bring her back for a second day because of rules. Even though that's not a fair shot if your attorneys didn't even get a chance to depose her themselves. So. For crying out loud, says no. I don't want you, or I didn't know you were going. You were doing a live stream. Yeah, right. neither did I. I swear <laughs> to God, I didn't know either. <laughs> Sometimes you just get the urge, you know. I... Um, 
Peggy Cole says, you should look at one of the pictures that was presented that it happened on a certain day, but there's a calendar in the background that has a different date showing thoughts. Yeah, yeah. There's it, It's like either January or February 2015. But it's like close in time to when it's supposed to be, isn't it? Like I have I trouble with that because my calendars in my house are all out of whack. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Pam Myers says, how's the matchmaking going, Alita? <laughs> I don't know, Rob. How's it going? I'm in my shop. <laughs> Erica Melzer says, from educational, professional, and personal experience, one can react to abuse without being the abuser. Fair. It's clear Amber Heard is using violence to manipulate and control JD. He is reacting in ugly seeming ways. Yeah. No one's really coming out looking particularly good here, right? Amy Spire says, I've been with you all the whole way during all of this. Can't wait to see what happens next. Also, we need a break. Why are you doing this, Rick? LOL. <laughs> I, first of all, the messaging I got was distinctly, we do not need a break uh, from the people that were, because I was going to do this on Monday and I'm, heck, I might still do one on Monday, uh, assuming we can, you know, make sure nobody's stepping on anybody's toes. Uh, but um, um, yeah, yeah, we do need a break. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if as Alita watches this number goes up, and, and <laughs> exactly how bad I was at uh, at this. Um, she's uh, she's. We might she's need to do a lightning round. Her life choices. <laughs> I said we might we might need a, a a lightning lightning round on this. Sure, sure, we could do that. <laughs> I gotta keep going. I'm not done. <laughs> Living sweetly says this this case is a dumpster fire. Thanks, Hoglaw and crew, for your intelligent and impartial views. It was a pleasure to do my weekly long distance run with you. God bless and stay healthy. You know, that's a great <laughs> comment because honestly, the first time I started getting into YouTube content and, and commentary in general was when I was training for my half marathon um, because you need something that you don't necessarily have to concentrate on like fully, but that's like real long, or at least yeah. for me. I know Alita can do a half marathon in like an hour. Uh, no, that's I, that's a, that's not true. No, it, it's very helpful to have something that you can kind of sort of listen to and that's interesting. Yeah. Which is why you guys are on when I'm in my shop sometimes and I'm just like, it's just you're talking to me. We're hanging out. <laughs> We're just hanging out. Just hanging Absolutely. out. GLJ Tiamo says, think Moss statement is different slash Moss. Oh, you got it? You're wait, caught wait, wait, up? Wait, we got it. We're done. Yes, we caught up. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'll still finish this one. Uh, Moss should be allowed in just because it became it came directly from Amber and not from the doctor. Your guys' thoughts. I think it really helps that it came from, from directly from Amber. Yeah. If there's anybody you can impeach and talk about, it's got to be the other party, right? Yep. So absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Now, Tiffany Hicks Brewer, thank you so much for the super sticker. We're going to pause. We're going to do my last article. So it's not just sitting there ready on oh the my. side. What'd you say? I said, oh my, what's the super chat up to now? Well, it's at 175 right now. We're going to talk about this article. Okay. And then we're going to come back. Uh, and you guys are fantastic. Um, and I really, really appreciate it. So this is working great. Uh, leave yeah. a comment in the description of the video about what you liked, what you didn't like about this format, about hanging out, anything else that we could change because we're gonna we're gonna work on this together, uh, everybody. But I am so actually thrilled about this, talking about these things, which I love, talking to my friends on LawTube, which I love, getting these great super chats, which I love. Um, you guys are you, you you guys are gonna make me emotional, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna stop talking about it. So there we go. <laughs> Just call it Saturday morning coffee. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see if I can get this back up. Fantastic. All right. So we got here the Guardian. I promised seemingly th three hours ago uh, we would look <laughs> at uh, across the pond a little bit. So we know in terms of background that Johnny Depp and the uh, periodicals in England uh, had a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, that seems to have borne itself out in the way this case is being treated in the places that I look. Doesn't mean there isn't somebody that's that's pro Johnny Depp on here. Uh, but England in particular, or the UK, uh, seems to be making articles that look like this. Uh, she's coming off looking good. The week Amber Heard finally spoke. Oh, God. <laughs> can't, Alita, you can't be out yet. I haven't gotten I'm there. Sorry. Uh <laughs> After okay. Next Actor and ex-wife of Johnny Depp took the stand in her defamation trial and made allegations of domestic and sexual abuse. Amber Heard was asked in court last week if she recognized the name Carly Simon. Soon after, her attorneys introduced an exhibit of a mirror that Johnny Depp had defaced in tight, punctuated script after severing part of his middle finger in what his former wife described as a drug and alcohol-induced 
blackout. First of all, just in terms of they, they don't have the same defamation laws. They don't have the First Amendment. But like this particular construction of this sentence, which, you know, is is Johnny Depp defaced, has defaced. OK, I think you're leaning on the fact that Amber Heard is answering a question about this, maybe. Um, then look at look at this description, Alita. Depp's note. note red. Depp's alleged note, maybe. Depp's note red. Nothing. <laughs> This is this is heavily in dispute. If you guys aren't following the trial, heavily it's a bold in dispute. Move. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Call Carly and also, Simon. also, yeah. I thought it said, "Call Carly Simon." She said, "It better, babe." It does say, it babe, babe yeah. not no, bye. The Guardian is nailing it. The Guardian is nailing all of this. <laughs> God, uh, right here, it definitely says, "Babe," which of course is somewhat incriminating on the Amber Hard side of thing because we have an audio where she says "babe" forty-five times. Yep. Uh, to, and I've to never Johnny heard Depp. that. Doesn't sound like a word that Johnny would use. No, Johnny goes. Johnny goes sweeter, or he goes very much not as sweet. I'll um, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> so yes, in fact, he does. But yeah, I, I was just just reading through some of these because I love doing this. This is actually what I was doing this morning anyway. I was like, Depp's note, really? Okay. Heard testified she wasn't familiar with Simon or her work. Already somewhat incredible. But Depp, one can reasonably speculate, was referring to "You're So Vain," Simon's 1972 hit. Doubling down. That's what Depp's referring to. His attorneys may take up the issue on cross-examination the week after next or the week after that. Anybody anybody think Amber Heard's got another four plus days of testimony in her? No? My stomach couldn't handle it. <laughs> I They're going slowly, Guardian, but they're in 2016 starting when they start back up. So yeah. no, 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 no. But I'm just, God. This, this, this is so interesting to me. And again, we're, we're looking at different countries, right? So I got it. Yeah, I back off the no first amendment, that kind of stuff, but still a general concept of freedom of press and freedom of speech and knowing what you can and can't say. That's, maybe that is like, a, like maybe just like using logic and reason that, that you, you know, certain facts and then other facts are in dispute coming out of a, of a out of a case. <laughs> you don't need to be a lawyer to commit so hard to this. Nobody, no, nobody has fully examined who wrote that and 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 why although the, the handwriting doesn't match uh ben I king is testifying that he thinks it's over the black and that it was waxy i mean we, we do have we do have things that suggest certain things about it certainly um and you can see that oh i think i think maybe the photo went away oh here it is yeah so they, they have the photo they show it to their to their readers um i don't actually remember seeing one with the handprints like this but maybe i'm just misremembering yeah that was um, the one that was showed in trial. Yeah, I, I thought you could read it more clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so apparently there's other photos that, that look a little bit different. Um, and maybe that's all I drew. Oh, I, oh, okay. Yes. So this is an interesting turn of phrase here. Just it, it, we, I, I love to talk about just choices that are, you know, technically accurate, the best kind of accurate, but also not, not good for coming to an understanding of these things. Outside of the proceedings, Heard's PR team have accused Depp of failing to take responsibility. Totally fine. They did that. Totally okay. So you might imagine that when they're describing Johnny Depp's team, they might also say PR team, spokesperson, spokesman, whatever it might be. A Depp flack countered. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> that Heard had delivered the performance of her life. This is, I mean, the, the Guardian may, may be a rag of some kind. In, in, you know in, the, uh, the Johnny Depp taking responsibility thing? Doesn't that make you, doesn't that remind you of Isaac Brooks' testimony? That that emotional outburst where it was like, she just, I just wanted to take responsibility. Yeah. Like that's what that makes me think of. And look, I didn't even pull everything out of there. So oh. just, a, just a short little, just a short little summary because I, 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 I this was one of those, I read about 25 of these cause I, I love doing that anyway. Um, this was one where it's literally like you, you jump on who's right, who's wrong. You jump on evidence that's in dispute. You call one side, just write in separate paragraphs. Oh, the PR folks and the flack. It's like, man, not even close, like not even, not even, not even close to like fair and balanced or, or, or unbiased or, or anything else. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. All right. Anybody, do, you, do either of you have any thoughts on this or, or, or you know, how this is presented or? It's comical. Yeah. It's comical is what it is. Yeah. And sad at the same time, because it's like, we should be able to rely on some, some journals, right? Some folks to be yeah. able to just and tell us, right? Hey, yeah, no, and, and you know, it's, it's their bent is clear. They 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 think Amber Heard is 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 telling the truth, and 
this is this is how you this is why I approach these as open minded as I can because when you get to that place, it's it's not hard to justify that this is how you should treat things, yeah. um, right? You get that kind of self justification of like, well, if, I mean, if Johnny Depp's a clear abuser and he's a lying liar himself, then you know report it this way. But it's not terribly helpful to your readership who understand that this is still uh, under advisement. This is still being disputed in a, in a court of law. So I mean, it's not even that they think. It's not even that they think that what she's saying is true. They they basically have all but concluded that what she's saying it. is verbatim true, and they don't even get what she's saying right. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It, 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 it's Depp's note. It's uh, you know here explaining why they can reasonably speculate, which is lawyer words. I mean, like that's what you would ordinarily use, but it, it's hard to imagine how you can reasonably speculate that Depp could know it. And you can't reasonably speculate that uh, the person that just testified to loving old mu music and old movies and old books and old poetry uh, wouldn't know a very, very, very famous song. Um, so this was actually one of those areas where I think she might've strained my, uh, my sense of credibility, like the most. <laughs> have you ever heard of Carly Simon? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that, that doesn't make yeah, sense to me. For everyone in the media that everyone in the media that could be watching these or has a critical view of any of the law tubers or whatever you're seeing, I dare you, I dare every one of you to go onto any one of these channels and debate any one of these individuals who have watched this trial on the facts of the trial, because you are going to get your butts handed to you. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, the one thing I won't do is I, I wouldn't commit to Depp's note or Hurd's note. I'd say I think it looks like Hurd's note. I think it does. Looks like lipstick. We got, we got. You know, yeah. evidence that suggests it's lipstick. It looks it like, looks a different like lady writing. writing. It, it looks like it looks like a woman's handwriting to me. Uh, it's you know, it, it makes sense as a response note uh, <laughs> to, to what to what Johnny's writing. Like it, that that narrative makes sense. I also don't understand why we're fighting about it that much because the narrative does make sense. But I, I did get some chats and some DMs where it's like she says she goes to sleep so she doesn't see this happen. So she has to say it isn't her. And I'm like, maybe that's I true. Maybe that's what happens in her story because I'm like, this is a stupid thing to fight about. Like that's a perfectly genteel insult. It's not abusive. It's a response to somebody writing in paint on your mirror. But I, I, I did forget because it's so incredible that she says she doesn't see any of this happen. She yeah, wakes is, up and her, his, his finger's gone. Is that how she testified in the UK trial to that incident? I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. Like so, it, it just, it feigns. It's just, it's impossible. It, it, there's no way that's credible. There's no, there's no way it's possible. Uh, it seems like it, it seems like it is not possible. I, I give it a crack herd team. Uh, but uh, as presented, Australia presents all sorts of problems. Like I don't, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for, for letting me do the last article there. I just wanted to make sure I got it done. Of course. Uh, Cause I had, did you capture had, all the new super chats? Well, no. Do you want me to and I okay. take over for a little bit while you go yeah. back? Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, back. yeah let's we'll go, go through these, these ones that don't have any any words in them. Tiffany Hicks yeah. Brewer, thank you for your super sticker. Joe Brums, thank you for your super chat. Terry Boyer, thank you for your super chat. Caleb Boardman, do you withhold the audio, see if they believe you, from cross-examination so Amber can't muddy it and so it hits harder than closing? What would you do? Yeah, I don't want her putting her words to it. I'm, I'm going to use that in closing, and her words will speak for themselves right there. True. True. I like it. Jonathan Dreyfus, tried to have your back last night with the proper GIF pronunciation. I haven't laid the foundation. Latu is great. Keep up the awesome work. Folks, I didn't see I've that coming up. I've discovered the problem with this system. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see that coming up. I'm, I... Even the ones that are th that I see coming up, I don't read them before I before I read them. It's Terry all right, Boyer. Alita. It's all right. Thank you for helping me. You can have your J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry Boyer says, as a DV survivor, I was triggered by JD's testimony, but not by AH's. AH's seemed fake, and I could not relate to her at all. Interesting. Your observations are consistent with several other people. It felt, yeah, they felt. And I'm very way. sorry for that. For that, and I hope you're better right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for the super chat. Victor Fung says the way Amber described the carpet reminded me of how I observed my towels on shrooms. Also reminded me of Russell Brand's Jeffrey scene. LOL. Um, the Jeffrey scene is that is that is that from um, get him to the get him to the Greek? 
where Russell Brand is like is like petting yeah. a carpeted wall. Okay, yeah, that's what that okay. is. I think I blanked out on that movie existing. So thank you. I, that's pulling. the only scene that I remember from it. Thank you for pulling it up. <laughs> Kelsey Bauckham says, I believe since the judge already overruled the last thing that opened the door, she should definitely let this one in since they did it again. I would have been curious to see her face when that testimony happened. Like if they had, if there was a camera on the judge, when that, when the second she said Kate Moss, that would have been interesting. Yeah. All right. Yes. Agreed. All right. So folks, um, I'll probably change the title eventually on this, but um, we've gotten through our articles. We've gotten through our headlines. I want to thank everybody who helped uh, work through that experiment fantastically. We have just about 200 super chats. Um, I'm going to go through them. Uh, Alita, Rob, you are not obligated to stay at all. Stay with me as long as you want. Absolutely. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we're going to be doing super chat hangout from here on out. Let's um, do it. So uh, uh, Kelsey Balcom, did we do this one or is this one? Yep. Yep. yep okay, just fantastic. got it. Did Thank you get you the, the two that just scrolled up? Did you catch capture those new no, ones? No, because I'm over here in the starred column. How do I do, ah, do I You know do what both? I do? What I do is I just go over to the starred one to click on the new one, and then I go back to live, and then just as it's – I see flashes of color, I star them as I'm reading this one. That's okay. how I capture it at the same time. All right. Thank you, Alita. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm over here on starred, and then I let them grow fat, and I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. That sounds like a plan. Uh, we can we can work on this stream yard. Do you do you also here. have the the YouTube version of the video up on another screen at the same time? I, I have one monitor, uh, but I do have it oh. layered so I can see that. Uh, okay. Because yeah. I say because what I think is I, I I also always pop out the chat so that no matter what tab on that screen I have open, I have this on a separate like mini tab. So that okay. I can also see the the colors coming up on there in case I'm on the starred tab, then I have that at the same time. Dual screens are very helpful for the, for these kinds of streams. Oh yes, I. <laughs> so, so many fact, chats for another and, screen. It's like, yeah. it's like uh, there you go. Okay. In fact, so. I'm 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 thinking of ways to upgrade my my computer my computer system to have a third screen. <laughs> One monitor, OMG. For everything. This is. <laughs> yeah yep. yeah that's that's really like you that that makes things very very difficult by only having one screen i've gotten very good at screen real estate folks in a, in, <laughs> in 15 plus years of corporate law uh but uh yes i, I clearly need a wraparound or, or multiple screens so i appreciate it uh we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can we're gonna we're yeah. gonna do the best no, we you're, can. Doing, you're doing great for for one screen you're doing amazing for one screen <laughs> all right bobby cat the t reference could be about mushrooms it could, but you'd have to explain that to us at some point, right? Yeah, I yeah. didn't get it. Yeah, completely missed it. Rob, what will your first video new channel be about? Tell the people, Rob. We're gonna debunk. Uh, we're gonna debunk Amber Heard's bed allegation that Johnny Depp broke the bed. There you go. Sounds like a plan. Overcraft. Hey, my girlfriend loves this. Hope she sees this. Aw. Thank you for the super chat. Morag Ironside T reference booze in coffee cup. Uh, said later in tits love you. <laughs> cool. I think it's TST. X. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not that good at those. Hank Hauser, could JD's attorney get prior DV in by asking Collins to read Dr. Karen's testimony about prior history? Dr. Collins said she would need more information to make a statement about this. Uh, Dr. Curry is who they Dr. mean. Dr. Curry. Interesting. Yeah. Hadn't thought about that possibility. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I mean, can you can you kind of self do that? I would need this information, and so now I can get well, it. Well, you you could because Dr. Curry heard all of. Um, she was there. Yeah, she was there. She heard Dr. Hughes' testimony. She could basically you could say, Dr. Curry, did you hear anything in Dr. Hughes' testimony that caused you concern? And Dr. Curry would say, presumably, yeah. When when Dr. Hughes referenced not seeing any history of Amber Heard domestic violence in Amber Heard uh, in Amber Heard's history that was inconsistent and that would have changed her conclusion in my opinion if she had known about this ah. okay well that might be interesting then hank hauser could be good point merck catching up on testimony both use flow very flowery language and embellishment but jd's conveyed emotional experience and ah seems mostly superficial so far i don't know that the floweriness uh is superficial i 
that actually struck me as a sincere way that she talks and, and sees things, but could be. I, I, I certainly think I had an easier time connecting with Johnny Depp even after the first couple hours where I'm like, what is going on uh, with, with this with this individual? So yeah. I think we all kind of feel that the Amber Heard's a little bit harder to connect to. That's, that's something that's very interesting is that uh, Johnny Depp's style, it took some time to get used to, but once you got used to it, you were locked in. With Amber Heard's style, the opposite happened. Yeah, it was immediately seemingly more sincere and, and you could understand it. And then it got weirder. Yeah, because the, the longer she talks, the more things don't add up. Yeah, I get that. I get yeah. that. I agree. Bluebird, didn't the makeup artist just oppose that the story was all fake? I saw on the Umbrella Guys channel. Could they use that in Cross? Love you guys. We think maybe. We think maybe. Didn't, yeah. Nicole asks, question, has the turd incident been brought up in Amber Heard's direct exam? No, we're not in 2016 yet. Didn't watch it completely. If yes, did she claim again it was her Yorkies? I think we can expect that. Um, but we haven't gotten to 2016 yet. That's what is what Johnny Depp's awesome. testimony? It's like their little, their little dogs or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, late night. It's from the morning. <laughs> Joe, can we talk about how she said he wrapped up pieces of steak in her torn up silk gown? Are there pictures of that? Sounds completely insane. So many bits and bobs of that testimony are like torn up gown. Something else. Stewardess testimony. I we called the police many times in 2014. No. Nope. What do you do? Freaky dog, as a licensed therapist, I frequently find myself trying to talk to the law tube stand and wishing I could join in. Oh. Yeah, that's so that's so nice. We're, we're, we're trying to get there on, on understanding that stuff. I know Alita's in, inviting people to come on and help explain it to us. Muriel Benz, have you guys heard about Kevin Costner calling out Amber Heard at the rap party in 2014 about her appearing naked in his trailer during filming Three Days to Kill? Yep. Didn't know all those details, but I did hear the rumor or, uh, or I guess statement from Kevin Costner. So, yeah. Yeah. 2014 would be after she and Johnny are together, though. Yep. Okay, interesting. Oh, I didn't make that connection. Yeah. Carmen S., I'm wondering who wrapped the finger in the tissue. Well, that's that's an interesting part of the story. We never got a lot of clarity there. I think one of the panelists, and I can't remember who, posited that there was um, paper all over the place, and maybe it landed in it. Um, but... Yeah, I think it's it's raised to call into question whether it was moved to a place that makes it look like Johnny Depp was holding the bar and got hit by a vodka bottle. We're going to get a lot more of that on cross. To each his own mask. Question, how did the outcome of this litigation affect the pending counter lawsuit? Could you please explain? Also, must check the incredibly average channel. Uh, this litigation is the counter lawsuit. Yep. Um, so you saw it a little bit with uh, Hughes talking about 2020 and how she was emotionally affected by the claims made by Adam Waldman. Those are pieces coming in to start hitting their elements of their counter lawsuit. Right. I'll be so, right back. Yeah, absolutely. Alina. Those will be happening at the same time. Um, I've hit too many buttons. Uh, Laura <laughs> Segova. Why would Amber Heard use the Kate Moss story when Ellen Barkin passed with Johnny Depp is more damaging? Uh, I don't know. I don't know Ellen Barkin's past with Johnny Depp or what Amber Heard knows about it. Um, so I can't speak to that one. Rob, do you know anything about that? No, not a clue. Honestly, I didn't know the Kate Moss stuff. So Yeah, neither did I. Neither did I. Sorry about that. Uh, but certainly, um, I would say that Amber Heard is not... <laughs> If she were just strategically telling her story, she's not maximizing all her opportunities. Um, so I guess that speaks well of her, maybe. Ryan Young, so happy to see you live on your channel, Hogue. Hogue Stan right here, but I'm so glad I could, uh, all of you on Legal Bites channel, meet, see. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Very nice for coming over at ridiculous hours in the morning. Although, you know, we're, we're not in the ridiculous hours of the morning anymore. Uh, Phil Jones, do you think Camille will ask Johnny to show Amber his finger to remind her of the abuse? No. Nope. Rob? Nope. <laughs> Not permissible. Okay. Uh, GLJ Tiamo, Ben King was paid by Disney. Not Depp. Can he be recalled? Re asked about the Australia recording if he knows it exists. How would Ben King get that recording in? I don't. He I don't couldn't know. authenticate the recording. I, mean, yeah, I don't know how possible. that would change it, things. 
if he if he was if someone else authenticated the recording and brought or recording and brought it in they could play it to ben king and he could describe what is happening as these things are going on if he's there yeah that makes sense so um let's see if i can hiya oh. uh that's just ridiculously generous of you and Very i don't generous. even know what to say um, so thank you so much. I never knew about the existence of law two before this trial. And now I'm subscribed to all of you guys. Do you guys think after the Kate Moss mentioned JD's team will be allowed to bring in Amber Heard's past relationship experience? She has a record of being violent towards her ex Tasha Von Ree. I think that's a possibility. I think Rob thinks that's a possibility. Even I'm like, can I, can I, can I do something about this? Can I make you just bigger? That doesn't help so much, but Hey Rob, this is, we're too I big. Mean, my, face is, my face is way too big in this format. We're, we're huge. This we're is, huge. That's yep. just a blank screen. Yep. We're, we're working yep. through it. Haya. Yep. Um, but in any event, I, I think that's what we think is going to happen and at least have Kate Moss testify as a rebuttal witness. Uh, whatever it is, we know Ben Chu's really excited about it. So he thinks it's very, very useful. And thank yeah. you so much for the generous super chat. Um, just did that one did that one you did you you did the backwards thing that was that was you made it like 30 though <laughs> thank thank you i appreciate it we're getting there living sweetly she claims to have been barefooted severely cut and bleeding yet in the australia audio she can be heard walking around with her shoes on that's what i hear i i, I hear the australia audio is uh pretty interesting for people looking for someone that just experienced what she described in her testimony um and yeah i mean I hope that they, if it is that convincing, I hope that they get it in uh, because it sounds like the jury needs to hear that kind of thing. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Callie and company, what really messes up her case is that even just the audio we heard in court makes her seem like the aggressor trying to force him to argue. It does. All the yeah. stuff that's been so far admitted really makes her sound like she's pressing on Johnny Depp. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they have more to introduce uh, that cuts the other direction. Pretty sure, pretty sure you skipped me, but I forgive you. Let's hit that one. I'm, I feel like I'm spinning plates. Um, Megan Coles, you can also hear her walking around in a pretty fast pace with shoes on, with her apparently sliced up feet. Yeah, same message. It, you guys, I, stop I trying gonna... to prejudice Hogue. He has not heard the Australia video, and he cannot hear it until it's brought in the trial. Simon Topper, pretty sure you skipped me, but I forgive you. If I did, I am so so sorry. Um, I am. I am absolutely trying to do my best. This is this is not the, the the tightest system that I thought it was when Alita made it look so effortless. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're working through it. I can't. I I couldn't be more thankful. Charlotte, Ben found the finger crumpled up in paper. Amber Heard said there was meat crumpled in her nightgown theory. Amber Heard hid his finger in the paper. I'm so confused by Australia. I'm not going to make any judgments of Australia. I have no idea what happened there. She says she didn't know anything about the finger. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Theory. I like I like it. You're putting pieces together. I don't know if they make sense, but that's that's half of how you solve video game mysteries in lawyer games. So you never know. You never know. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, dude, this one. Kern Grisdale, do you think closing statements will be more like measure of a man or drumhead? Kern, you're a nerd and I love you. Um, Measure of Man. Measure of Man is, of course, the famous Star Trek The Next Generation episode in which Captain Picard is forced to argue against Data's humanity. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, or for his humanity uh, while Riker fights against him and gives one of the best speeches in Star Trek Next Generation history. Drumhead is instead where things get out of control and effectively martial law and government uh, organizations uh, make a mountain out of a molehill. So I'm just bringing Rob up to speed in case he does. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for the explanation. That was fantastic. Those two episodes. So yeah, I am I, I am here for it. Um, Ezekiel Crow, Nate, I can't be, no, I didn't miss it by that much. That's, is that somebody, at, oh, Nate was back. Nate was back. Okay. Yeah. At Nate, what did you think when Amber said on the tape, did I do all this? Okay, so he's. this is Australia audio. These all sound like very damning indictments. Uh, but, but I haven't, I haven't heard it. So, uh, maybe Nate will tell you on his channel. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Big, big Z. 
My girlfriend and I found your show a week ago. Nonstop binge watching. Danny, if you see this, missing you lots. What a lovely message. Oh, Thank sweet. you for the super chat. The Zan Man. I heard that AH's sister can't be a witness because she did not finish her deposition. Do you know why she did not finish it? According to Alita, the story is that she said she felt sick when effectively she was going to be cross-examined. This is not uncommon. I would feel sick if I was about to be cross-examined too. But you don't generally leave the building. Um, so apparently if there's a problem there, Rob, you did suggest that there's a way to say you can only talk about certain issues potentially. Yeah. You can limit her testimony. Basically if, <clears throat> well, if they didn't get a chance to ask her any questions, then I think that the only way to get the only way to, to fix it is to not let her testify because, okay. but if they were able to ask her questions, I mean, Johnny Depp's attorneys, if Johnny Depp's attorneys were able to ask her questions, then you can limit her testimony to the subject matter where Johnny Depp's attorneys had the opportunity to examine her. Yeah. Okay. That makes total sense. But yeah, if, they, if she skipped it all, she sounds like she's out. We'll see. Mark, I thought Amber Heard's team was doing well on illegal issues. Technically true with mutual abuse violence. Yeah. But I think in the jury's mind, expert in Amber Heard's testimony now puts onus on Amber Heard to prove extensive her allegations. I, I think so too. I think there was a legal way of going and saying, Look, it's 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 technically true. It's mostly true. Toxic relationship. This is clearly not intended to just defame. Go forward. Now you've not you said he's a monster. I mean, you said the, the it's my world or his world. So I, I think it's all in or nothing. That's how I read it, at least. That one was not a long streak, Rob. Keep track for me. Uh, Cynthia Chandler. What happens if the jury can't reach a decision? That is a mistrial. Yep. Um, we get which, to do it all over again. Yeah, which means you drop it or you do it again. Um, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's so expensive. Maybe the story out there is good enough. I don't. I don't. I don't know. But Johnny certainly seems righteous in what he's seeking. So we'll see. We'll see. I think that. I think. I think a mistrial in hung jury is not and not an impossibility. Uh, Geeky Stacy Alejandro on TikTok is comedic gold. Is he on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing the recap of his the recap of his um, his testimony, which was just yeah, I I I need that in my life every day. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna. I'm now hitting mic volumes. Look at this. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> let's see, let's see, we'll see if we can balance Alita. I don't know. Uh, oh, am I, I too loud or something? That. No, I mean yeah, you're you're a little hot, but I I, I went and found a thing that I think lowered it. Okay. It could also be just be my mic gain. It, it, it has a tendency to wander and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like always having to adjust uh, it. Nana Tona. Hi from Germany. Love your coverage. Hard to watch you all until 3 a.m. yesterday, but enjoyed it. Question. Who will be the last side to talk in the closing argument? Johnny Depp. Depp. I'm sorry. It should be Amber's team, right? Mm -mm. Johnny Depp. Johnny Rebuttal. Depp. Second. All right. No, he goes first. Then Amber heard, and then he gets a rebuttal. Okay. Fantastic. That's going to be a day. Don't miss that day. Moira Rose, super sticker. Thank you so much. Ski Cal 95. Have you seen the Amber Heard sniff clip? I sure have. <laughs> Several times. I just, I just, I just laugh because we've gotten so many questions about that at this point. I, look, I'm not going to tell you it doesn't look suspicious. All right. I just think it's a booger. Yeah. Callie and company, in my opinion, he had reactive violence slash property damage, but the team was trying to keep both of them protected by this coming out. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could, I could totally get that. And I could see you coming to that conclusion. Zach Anderson, love from Wisconsin, Hogue, but it's time to give us back the Upper Peninsula. Uh, I love the Upper Peninsula. That is a beautiful country up there. So uh, Northern Michigan is the best if you haven't visited. Ron Fulner, part 1-2, back on day 10 or 11. Amber Heard, female lawyer, got aggressive on her cross. What rights do the witness guy have to stop talking? Yeah. Against, against the lawyer getting aggressive? Uh, no. You're up there. Um, yep. You're in the hot seat. It's one of the most painful places to be in the world. <laughs> uh, part 2 of 2, even if considered a hostile witness, don't they still have to be treated respectively? Love all y'all, by the way. Not really. I mean, to a certain extent, yes. You can't just just completely ad hominems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like there's a certain level of decorum that you have to keep, but 
by all means, put all of the pressure on them because that's part of the adversarial process. Yeah. I mean, for full on hostile witness, and if you got that, I mean, that's you're crossing them. When you see cross, that's a hostile witness. Melissa Weber, ultimately, for me, it comes down to the fact she never thought she would be questioned to have to justify her story. I do. I said this on your stream, Alita. I do think there's a certain amount of lock in from years of detail adding. Mm -hmm. um, and that 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 could have happened. I, I can I can see that happening when you get to the TRO. You said the lawyers have to do it. You put some stuff in the TRO then you then you get pressed. And then it's like oh, all this stuff happened. And I could, I could see detail. And I could see us arriving at this point in time from there. Yeah. Funky Monkey just saw a post about JD monitoring AH's sexualized filming projects, yet she filmed Magic Mike while they were together. Yep. And I've seen Magic Mike part two. <clears throat> or should I say XXL? She was in all these movies that I just have not seen. Or don't remember. I understand her you being, not seeing don't Magic her Mike. being in the movies. I don't remember her being in it either. I, I she's completely forgettable in every role that I've seen her in. But the first time I remember her is Drive Angry. Like, that's the very first time I remember seeing her. And I, I don't, did, that's not her first movie. Did you guys remember her in Zombieland? Because I didn't know she was in that. No. I didn't realize she was in it. I've seen it. No, she she did not stand out. Um. So, yeah. Uh. Thank you for the super chat. That's a good point. No. Ah. <laughs> that was Kelly and Company. What was that? That was 10, did you say? I think seven. Oh, seven. Her threats about evidence and people believing him was to keep him in check so he would fear being canceled more than clearing his name, which could potentially uh -huh. still cancel him. Yep. That's a viable theory. Katie M., one of you should get the guy from the Average Guy channel on the panel. Thanks, guys. Maybe. I have. I believe he's been in the courtroom for this for, for trial. So I don't think he can. to broadcast during... on YouTube from... Uh, from the courtroom yeah yeah just it's just a surreptitious cell phone <laughs> and that's when he got kicked out this is very exciting guys <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat uh destinene thank you for the super sticker love that name mm -hmm. cheryl 12 love all you guys nate no real tears <laughs> and i don't think you guys are going to see any real tears Nate's desperately trying to win that bet. I don't know. We might have to have an entirely separate like stream a to trial. adjudicate. I him. think at the at the very least he's discounted it to twenty five dollars because it took her a second day to get there. Oh yeah, we have to really go and parse. You know, I'll do some contractual analysis parsing that. The, the we original. Gotta, we got to go back to the original agreement. Was it? I mean, because it wasn't for real tears. He just said she was going to like lose it on the stand mm. and then she was going to cry. No, mm. we got him down to tears. We pegged him down on tears. Yeah, I think he committed to tears at the yeah, end of but, all things. Yeah, but tears, tears versus real tears, though. We did. Oh. I, I think we have seen tears, but whether or not that, that's linked to authentic emotion is another question. But I don't think, think that was part of the original tears? agreement. I think even when she was fully breaking down, it was it was it was strangely non tear filled. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Nate, Nate's just going to demand it. We're going to tell him he doesn't get his money. It's, it's going to be fine. <laughs> uh, Nazad uh, Amiri, thank you so much for the super chat. Ian Kelly, TUG, I think it's Umbrella Guy, has a video up regarding the December 15th incident. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the super chat. Moira Rose, thank you for the super sticker. Satu, hmm, this looks like Icelandic. Uh, just wanted to say hi from Finland. I was close. Uh, Satu Toivonen, just wanted to say hi from Finland just to make this live go on forever. <laughs> Paul Girak. I, I you understand think my pain. <laughs> I think I'm up to, I think I'm I, using Alita's flop between two menus as rapidly as possible uh, uh, system. I think I'm at least keeping the number as truthful and not just okay. lying to poor Alita. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia Guzman, I was bored because I wasn't going to watch Legal Bites today. And when I opened YouTube, you guys showed up. You made my day. Thank you. You know what? You made my day is one of the nicest things you could say to somebody. So thank you it very is. much. Uh, Cynthia, I keep coming back to Kurt's initial take. To not believe Amber Heard means you must believe in her abject evil. Good people, jury, may not want to do that. <sighs> I'm trying to come around to really confused, exaggerative personality, Dr. Curry analysis, because I just, I, it's, I, I, yeah, I have a rejection of, are you honestly like just straight on evil? 
Yeah, um, Cynthia, I would encourage you to go back and watch Kurt's take 24 hours after he made that statement. Oh, yeah. he does. He does wheel back on it. Yeah, because for him, for him, he said that he struggles with like identifying the emotion on a person, but then he's a very rule based person. So if there is someone like him on the jury, they're going to start looking for, okay, what, what else is objective here that I can compare this to? Like, what else is there here? And if there's nothing else, there's nothing else. That's, I mean, that's it, right? <laughs> I, it doesn't matter what I want to think if you don't, if, if you don't cash those checks. Thank you so much for the, for the super chat. Uh, Chelsea Nagy, hey, Hogue, have been loving your input on LB's channel. We have a lot of fun over there. The BitCast was a lot of fun to watch last week, and I'm glad to finally catch a stream on your channel. Keep being awesome. Sunglasses, happy face emoji. Thank you. <laughs> that is very nice of you to say. Cy Virus, T-Thing is from the Notting Hill movie. Could be. <laughs> I mean, God help us if it is. <laughs> For crying out loud, ugh, power went out. Did you see the Daily Mail headline where they compared Herd and Depp to olive oil and tattooed Popeye? Usual bias craziness. I didn't see that one. All right. Oh, my God. We'll add it to the list. We'll add it to That's the list. That's ridiculous. Jen Greenhall, there's audio already in where they talk about Australia that directly contradicts her, says he ran and hid from her. Ah, uh, sounds like. I want to hear it in trial. Uh, I think she's lying up Dr. Kipper giving her a nightgown. Maybe. Why did they bring up uh, bring in his alleged assault, but her DV is too prejudicial? Doesn't seem fair. <sighs> yeah, I mean, they were talking about news stories at the time, so it was in the news. Um, we don't have the same kind of testimony for news stories yet coming from Amber Heard's side, so it's not coming in that way so far. Uh, lying about the nightgown is definitely something that I have considered because it's so weird. Um, but yeah, it, it, why would she lie just to generally discredit Dr. Kipper, you think? Or at least it's a, it's a partial lie by omission. Let's say that Dr. Kipper's wife made the gift and it was, it was a gift from Dr. Kipper's wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she then like attributes it to Dr. Kipper. I, it, the entire thing just doesn't make sense. Just reframing it a bit, reframing it a bit could do that. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it's funny because I don't know if anybody's going to get the satisfaction they want. I want to be like, all right, I want to get to the end and you you flip over the book and you get to, you get the information about exactly what happened um, mm -hmm. as 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 the answer. And yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to get that. No, you you just, we just we just sit here and I just keep praying. Jesus, fix it. Jesus, fix it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's a bad scene. It's a bad scene. Simon Tupper, I love how Johnny Depp started his testimony speaking about the importance of not overacting. I'm not saying his testimony was nothing but acting. I think he's a born actor. I think he served her a master class. Suggesting that Johnny was was in his own uh, acting notes as well. I mean, I think anybody up there okay. is going to try to present the best face they can. So, yeah, yeah I don't I doubt think, it. I think he also seemed like he was consciously aware of the fact that people would be looking out for that too. So, you know, th there are multiple ways that, that you can look at that, at that whole scenario and 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 find different things from it because of that. It's like the whole, you know, friends, they don't know that we know that they know that we know that they know, <laughs> you know, you can get into a lot of like, a lot of like psychoanalysis of like, is he actually playing people or is he actually telling the truth? So you kind of have to just go with your gut at the end of the day. I think that's right. I think you, and so, you know, I, you hear me talk about vibes. I mean, I think that's, that's what they are. That's what they are. Callie and company, even if she goes with the narrative that they are paid by Depp on the plane, on the plane, they would have stopped him from beating her in order to protect him from a lawsuit. If he goes down, that's their check. True. Yeah, certainly as described, maybe. I, I'm, yeah. The, the or, plane, or, or the concern yeah. that like this is a story that can get out and damage him. Of course. Even if not a lawsuit, just a story. Well, that's, and that's part of like, you guys talk about it. Well, if her phone gets hacked and these kinds of things, like if there's anything else out there, it should have come out. It should have come out. Yeah. So difficult. Ezekiel Crow, play the Perry Mason theme when Vasquez does cross. <laughs> <laughs> I love old lawyer stuff. Chuck Strum, JD's lawyer on cross should look Amber in the eye and say, your honor, that was all BS. Turn, <laughs> say no questions and sit down. I mean, it's, it's like bold. Um, I think you got some opportunities to do more damage than that. So I think she's going to take them. <laughs> uh, you a Regmer on abuser can't hide aggression for long. JD had a clean, nonviolent relationship with all exes. There is no solid proof for DV. Alita uncivil. Nate, L&L. Hogue, you are better than Netflix. 
Love from Poland. Aww. That's nice of you to say. Stranger Things is coming back on. And then you can switch back. Stranger Things is good. Although I, I, I've, 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 I've lapsed on the last couple seasons. I mean, they haven't show. they haven't put out a season of Stranger Things in three and a half years. <laughs> I thought they did like a couple years ago. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, yeah, it, years ago. Uh, whatever it is, season three is yeah, years it's, ago. it's it's been it's been a while since I yeah maybe it was last season that I didn't finish. We'll see. Russians, uh, ice cream. Russians. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I didn't finish that <laughs> season. Okay. So so I'm not that far behind. <laughs> no. No. You can catch up. I think that I think the next season launches this month. I know these things because my oldest daughter adores Stranger Things adores oh. it so we've got we got a, a date to watch stranger things when, when it launches and and I, I have a i have another motive for for wanting to support it it's because the the, the parts that are supposedly occurring in russia were filmed in Lithuania. where hey all right <laughs> cool 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 so, yeah you know supporting their local film industry <laughs> with stranger things <laughs> yep Crisscross, what do you think about JD not looking at Amber Heard during her testimony? I think you could be oh. right either direction. I think it's a it's a Rorschach test about how you think it's going. Yes, that's a very good way to put it. Okay, let's see here. Jackie, Joe, 15, do you think Elaine will piss off the judge again during cross? I expect it will be more annoying than ever. <sighs> Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, I'm not asking about Amica cream. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be huffy. You know she'll be huffy. It's how she lives her life. Huffy. Yeah. Oh, yep. Pete's sake. <laughs> it should be. It should. Her last name should be not Elaine Bredehoft, but Elaine Bredehuff. Oh, Bredehoff. Oh, no. You're right though. <laughs> She's huffy. Well, I it's I just don't. I, this isn't doesn't matter as a person or even as a skill as a attorney. I just don't like that look. It's like, well, you know, you I don't win like some, you lose some. Just press on. Yeah. And um, and I do understand that so, with some judges, it, that is a strategy that can work if you continue arguing and you wear them down until they finally agree with you. I, I get that, that that can be a strategy. That doesn't seem to be the case here. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, all right. M Michael Gaunt, Hogue hosting, donation for you today. Thank you so much. Very generous. How aggressive do you think CV will be in cross? I think she will vary her range of styles as we go for a pretty extended cross examination. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she will be assertive but not aggressive. Yep. Yeah. No, I, the I way think I like to see it. I think that's right. <laughs> if the witness gives you an answer you know is a lie, can you approach them from different ways to try and force them to admit the truth, or is it an asked and answered scenario? Well, you know, when they say lie and you can you can prove it, that's when you get the give me exhibit whatever, or, give me transcript whatever. Or if they give you an answer that is that is pretty clearly BS. You can break down your question into sub elements that are basically like, so they, they kind of look ridiculous trying to fight against it, you know, to say like, well, you, you would agree that, you know, when you go, when you get to a stoplight, if the, if the light is red, you should stop. Right. You know, like, like, like simple, mm -hmm. simple questions like that, that like no one should really try to wriggle out of because it's, you just look stupid doing it or unreasonable doing it. So there's, there's, there's a way sometimes to break these into sub parts to like walk them into the ultimate question that you have for them. And then they just look stupid disagreeing. And I think that's a possibility you could do here. I mean, depending, uh, like I, I will be very interested to see how she handles it. Um, yeah. but I do think she seems extraordinarily competent. Yeah. Uh, Duana Probu, let's see who has the biggest smile on this panel. When I say Camille Vasquez, yes, Rob <laughs> tried to hide it, but it was Rob. Thank God I am country away. He is going to go Liam Neeson on me. Don't know who you are, but we'll find you. And I will. <laughs> I have certain skills. Samantha Desporte, as a woman, if I was being cavity searched, I would be kicking and trying to hit him with things. And she just stood there looking at lights. I, I don't I know mean, how anybody yeah, reacts to that. I would, I, would, I would hesitate before before making conclusions like that. And this is, this is exactly why women generally are not wanted by the prosecution on a DV jury um, because women will do, will do that. They'll say, I would have done something else. I would have fought back. I would have done X, Y, Z. That is maybe not necessarily fair to someone that was actually in that situation because the psychology of being in that situation sometimes is, is not exactly understandable until you've been in it. Like there are yeah. many reasons why you would be afraid to fight back as an example. 
you know, if you are afraid of this person, you're afraid of what else they might do to you. There's, there's all kinds of, of ways that they can manipulate you and control you in that kind of uh, a, a situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Zod Amiri, following this case daily through Alita's channel. Yes. Hey. What's the objection <laughs> against using uh, long crime streams since they show two cameras? Uh, they get a bit aggressive and testy with their DMCAs that are mostly BS. Uh, I, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't be speaking for you, Alita. I don't think you want the, even the potential problem. Yeah. No, that's that's exactly it. Is that they they just are too much of a risk in terms of taking down and, and not just not just getting a copyright claim that you can then like it's like the ad revenue just like goes to them and they keep your 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 video up. There were there have been many times with this trial and with other trials that Lawn Crime has decided, oh, you're using our stream, we will take down your video midstream. Uh, yeah, I've seen that happen. Definitely. That's the biggest so, fear because if you get, if you get a bogus copyright claim on something, you can just contest it. And then maybe the next day it'll get taken down or, you know, or they have 30 days to respond at some point it'll get taken down usually. Um, but even then it's like, it's not the end of the world sometimes if, if you don't get all that ad revenue, but I at least want my videos to be taken up without in, or left up without interruption. Yep, absolutely. It's just not worth it. And we've got good feeds. And yeah, it's all BS. It's all BS. But you, if you can avoid BS, you avoid BS. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Sell an IT bit. <laughs> you, 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 you knew what my reaction was? <laughs> I apologize. Joe's point on her face lighting up when talking about their memories was good. I wouldn't be that happy after a normal breakup. Totally fine. Joe and I had a, a conversation about that. Absolutely. Um, so I get that. I get that. <laughs> Alex, Amanda, this case really messes with the mind. I keep trying to twist the evidence to find some way that Amber Heard could be telling the truth. Too disturbing. Otherwise, I entirely agree with that. If anything, she's getting more than the benefit of the doubt from me. Um, and I still can't do it. So we'll see what they got for the rest of their case. <sighs> Rob, I need you here to stop me from hitting that button. Laura Smart, can Amber Heard choose to try and settle if she can and does? Do you think J uh, Johnny Depp would? Nope. No, no way chance. in chance would he. <laughs> no way in chance would he ever settle. That's probably the most unanimous sounding answer you're going to get today. Uh, I agree completely. Uh, no settlements. Sorry. She could try, though. She could. Uh, behind, behind closed doors. You'd, you'd, you'd yeah. have an NDA on that before you even thought about offering it. Uh, do you think Shady's lawyer should bring in a medical expert on rebuttal to explain how injuries heal over time to show her pictures make no sense? I don't know if you need to. Like, this is one of those things where the the common experience of the jurors, you know, every juror either has had or has known someone who's had a black eye. It yeah. Just, it just doesn't match. You've got the description of events. You've got the photo. You've got the appearance on the television show. I don't... I don't they do have some MDs on the witness list, however, so okay. it is possible. So they've got they've got Richard S. Gilbert, MD, by in-person testimony, and they've got Kimberly Ann Collins, MD, by in-person testimony. So I don't know what kind of MDs they are. Oh but yeah, then I would definitely yeah if they if they're on the list and if it, they have the chance during the rebuttal, I would. Okay. All right. So we think maybe. Could be maybe. <laughs> Could be Call maybe me maybe. Interesting. Huh? <laughs> Probably maybe. M <laughs> Came for the trial, stayed for the amazing people, love the respect and support, need regular streams after trial so I don't go through withdrawals. Well, I'm, I mean, the idea for this format was this can work with a lot of stories that the rest of LawTube is talking about mm -hmm. that we can otherwise talk about here. This is what I like to talk about, which is corporate messaging. You always want to be in what you otherwise like to do. So yeah, this, this will survive if you all keep liking it. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Nidhal McCormick, will the jury have access to all the statements, JD's ex-girlfriends, Amber Heard's makeup artists, et cetera, that didn't testify but made official statements? Uh, it has to be admitted, right? You need foundation? No, I don't know. Ask the litigators. Rob, Alita? You would need found. I mean, have access to all the statements. Hmm. N no, I don't yeah. see how those get in. They get access to the testimony they experience in person or the audio that gets played in court. Yeah. Yeah, when you hear them say admitted, that's what the jury gets. Mm -hmm. um, and if you didn't hear it, it's all kindling. Uh, thank you so much. Isa Mello, new sub, thanks to Legal Bites. Thank you, Alita, for bringing Isa Mello over to the channel. Yay. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. Corey Manning, Recourt Case Commentators on Twitch and YouTube. Is LawTube concerned with big media taking over this niche? No, we're better. With the Anderson Coopers, Ari Melbers of the world? No, we're better. Start this type of coverage on major networks? I don't. I can't speak for the rest of LawTube. I am the thing confident is, that our content is better. Yeah, I, I it, remember they have they have they have scripts or whatever written by by corporate people, you know, and so they are always going to be tied to a certain corporate line. We are free to say whatever the hell we want. Um, just as an example, um, oh gosh, Crystal and Sagar, um, they, they have, uh, breaking points on, on YouTube, the channel, they broke away from the Hills rising channel. And they used to be like commentators on there talking about all this kind of stuff until I, I don't know exactly what happened, but they, the two of them, they, they just broke away from the Hill, started their own YouTube channel. And now they're like free to say exactly what they want. And they're, they're doing very successfully. So it was actually kind of an opposite move for them moving away from corporate media to independent journalism and doing very well for themselves. Yeah. And not as big, of course, but like, that's what's happening in gaming. That's by far the biggest type of thing that's happening is you get your street cred at an IGN or a GameSpot or where have you, and then you get a following and then you go and take it to Patreon or Utreon, which we have, if you want to support our channel. Uh, but um, that you, you then set up and can control your business. You can control your brand. And that, that's really working for a lot of the media model right now. Um, so I, one, I mean, one of the reasons that this channel exists is that I was, uh, I was advising uh, a uh, company called Easy Allies uh, that started as a, a spinoff when game trailers was cut down uh, by Viacom CBS. Uh, and they went and did their own thing. Um, and are, I think they're the most successful Patreon or might be the most successful gaming Patreon. Um, you know, they have, they have a lot of subscribers. So. Definitely, it's a very interesting time for old guard, new guard, and uh, crowdfunding of things and all sorts of stuff. I mean, you're crowdfunding this channel right now because you guys are so generous. Um, so, yep. I mean, it's that's what's happening now, and it's it's super interesting. But yeah, I'm so you know I'm a corporate lawyer. I have a certain amount of confidence in my abilities. Uh, <laughs> we can take them. <laughs> Justin doesn't look at Hogue. You the best. Is the VOD of this going to be saved available? I just woke up. Well, I think that happens automatically. I mean, this is going straight to YouTube. So I think so, mm -hmm. but I'll be checking on it. Absolutely. That button, you tried to trick me, but I didn't do it. I smell <laughs> Rocky didn't get the pH, so maybe she bailed. Oh, the penthouse. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your acronym translation. I see how the, see, this is how, I see how the brain space works when I'm on the other side of this now. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, I got, it's a lot, I got nothing it's a lot easier to, to see it when you're not, when you're not in charge of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. Uh, Phil Jones, Dr. Strange, not really a spoiler. Scarlet Witch walks across broken, broken glass, bloody's foot and limps. Most powerful <laughs> in the MCU limps. Does Amber self heal? Wow. What a release date then. If there's a, if there's a woman walking on broken glass that releases Amber the Heard. day Amber Heard testifies to walking on broken glass. Amber Heard Man. has has ad adamantium lined bones and she yep. is the Wolverine and she has crazy healing powers. That's the only explanation for everything that happened to her, for her to have the injuries that she has. <laughs> <laughs> We're such nerds. Did you just switch? <laughs> you just whipped out Wolverine, adamantium and the healing factor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I grew up watching the X-Men cartoon. <laughs> Love it. Stayed in Marvel. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. GLG210, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, Soap and Clay. I read Josh Drew's deposition transcript last night. Wow, the lawyers were spicy. So many arguments and loads of snark. Is this how all depots go? Yep. Uh, sometimes. Not My all of them. I, well, maybe, okay, may, maybe in family law they do. I can see that. But when I've done depositions, like in employment litigation, for example, it's, it's way more chill, like way more chill. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite deposition trick um, that I'll use every now and then is when the deposition is really calm and getting to a place in the in the testimony that you really don't really want your client saying much. I table. will no, I'll throw I'll say in a very calm voice, um, counsel, I would appreciate if you would stop screaming at my client. Uh, it really is affecting how he's responding. Just so that when the transcript gets printed, it's just <laughs> written oh, God. in. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I've that done that work if, it, if it's a video deposition. <laughs> it's we don't do video depots. I mean, they're it's too expensive. Our clients don't. Okay. Yeah. 
I guess for for my for my cases where someone is suing their former employer, <laughs> that's uh, that's that's usually going to be a bit more. I do the the ingenuity there is impressive, Rob. It's <laughs> fantastic. Uh, Glake and Santos, good evening from London and the UK. I am serving PC here, and I'm really enjoying watching the case with you all. I've learned a lot about the U.S. law system. Thank you so much. Awesome. Colleen Kaufman, didn't Dr. Curry bring in the breakup of Amber and Rocky's friendship when she talked about Amber punching her ex-friend when they were out in public for no apparent reason? Did, did Dr. Curry? Uh, okay. I've had a lot of there days of have, testimony. There may have been didn't, a reference there. Okay. Wasn't there Amber Amber punching her sister? Wasn't that one? That was Isaac Baruch about how, how Whitney pretended to punch Amber and there was like a joke about it or something. Yeah, Isaac said that happened. Yeah. But they also said they can't find that video, right? Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what that's supposed to be about. Maybe that'll get clarified on in. All in right, Saito Kata, my bias says even if Amber Heard and Rocky fell out, if Johnny Depp was so horrific, she would appear to stand against him rather than for Amber Heard. May say more about me. That's a fair point. I mean, if he's a monster, monster, you would think that. So she yeah. she's boxed herself in by making him like a like a a monster, a thriller type character. Uh, Mr. Irish, doggo. Thank you. Uh, Delaney, T, thank you for the super sticker. I'm a veggie. As a straight guy, how the F <laughs> is Rob this hot? <laughs> here. Thanks, folks, for doing what you do. What do you each miss the most from the trial this weekend? I haven't had enough time to miss anything. This is, this is what I left off doing yesterday. Um, I, miss, I miss being comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, not feeling objectified <laughs> uh, uh it's good we're gonna leave it at that yeah no I think, I, think we, I think we're still talking about it so we're we're having fun snazzy trinkets jewelry could kevin costner be called to testify to how during 2014 she came into his trailer naked during amber heard and johnny depp's breakup alita he's not no. on the list right yeah yeah he's he's not he's not as far as i've seen so probably not Isaac Baruch's wholesome gabagool art. Fry drip hogue. Def gram worthy. Fur fur. Oh God. No for cap. real, for real. On oh, God, no cap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna they're gonna be clips of me saying internet speech. <laughs> and it's, gonna be like, it's gonna be like Illy. Someone just needs to make a whole segment of it. It's just Illy fur fur. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what can you do? What can you do? There should be a, there should also be clips of Alita when she gets delirious at like eleven p.m. Yeah, it's the yep. same level of humor. Yep. Well, hey, you know, I'm what sure there do? are. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I. I appreciate you guys are here because I, I, I would read it and be like, cool. Uh, <laughs> Mallory Miller is Johnny going to state his recollection of this horrible event? Johnny's done talking. Yep. Yep. I think so that's it referring didn't, it didn't to the blood path text. That's the problem. Two worlds. It didn't didn't exist in Johnny's testimony. It, at it, all. it really it really is the multiverse of madness. Yep. Peggy Cole, idea for Law and Lumber, do a video for L1 students to ask questions, then follow up with L2 and so on. Interesting, even if not a law student. Huh. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. I like it. Chloe T. A's broken NDA, wouldn't that imply at least intentionality? Could it be related to defamation? If not, what's the consequence of breaking an NDA? So that's a contract. And the consequence is if the other party wants to hold you uh, liable for the breach that you just committed. Didn't seem like that happened. Uh, so I don't actually think breaching a contract implies intentionality in terms of malice for defamation because people breach contracts all the time. Uh, that's, that's my position on it. I don't know if anybody else has a different opinion there. <laughs> I'll take your sign. So no. Screaming contests. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, anyone discuss that finger was on his dominant hand? That was part of his testimony. I wouldn't do that. I want a guitar. Uh, so we did discuss it, definitely. Yeah. Michael Gaunt, favorite part so far. CV, I'm going to object on hearsay. She does. That, that might be my favorite presentation of it, which is like, uh, just so we're clear, this line that we're going down, I'm, I'm going to object to this whole thing. <laughs> and then maybe, uh, but I haven't having, even laid a yeah. foundation yet. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that doesn't get you out of it. Doesn't get you out of here, say Elaine. 
It's so um, hearsay. So, yeah, no, very, very, very. She's. I like the way she objects, uh, and I know Rob does too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, RKN has anyone really been far? Even has decided to use. Even go want to do look more like pineapple. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Kali Basha from the Philippines. So happy to see Hogue convinced about JD's case. Yeah, it's a very strong case. I mean, it, it, defamation is tough, but it's a strong case. It makes me more confident that JD will win this. Shout out to Alita. I like seeing your fur babies during your, your streams. Me they're, too. They're everywhere. They like, they like to be seen. <laughs> Sadu Tovoinen feels phony to me when Johnny Depp mentions owning an island is weird. In my country, any middle class person can buy an island. Few people, lots of islands. I love that. Love, I love that super chat. Thank you. A few people, lots of islands. I'm going to go buy an island in Finland. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, Ginver, scales gavel one side, saw the other. Sure. Susan Snyder, happy face with stars. Take the show on the road. Would love to see you guys live at a venue somewhere waxing oily. <laughs> Seriously. Lottie buys out a hotel conference room somewhere. <laughs> And we have a blast. That would actually be a fun party, I think. <laughs> that actually would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Just to like hang out with like with like drinks all together and just like on a on like comfy chairs on a stage. <laughs> just yeah, throw up then everyone could ask questions to the panel and we can all yell at each other. We would we would, we would yell at each other. It would be fun. We would. It would be fun. Just all right, imagine well, Joe in person. Like I can't imagine many law tubers in person. Uh so yeah, but Joe's Joe's a good pick. It's like, yeah. Yeah, go to go Joe, Joe Person. I love it. Leticia M. Hogue. I was catching up on Legal Bites week four hangout and thought that you were so great that I went to your channel to see if you had new content and boom, you were there with the usual crew. So happy. Heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. It gives my heart warmth. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm a baby 902. Did I hear you guys say the Australia audio is coming in? That would be the most damaging evidence against Amber Heard. We don't know. We, we have no reason to believe one way or the other, but I'm very eager to hear it if it is presented in court, certainly. Happily retired. Question, is weed legal in California, London, Australia, and other locations mentioned? Nowadays, you get a citation if it's legal in the States. So that's actually a more complicated California, question. California, it's legal. I don't know about London and Australia. Do we know the years? I mean, like, there might be... California... I mean, my, my question for all that testimony was, does it matter? Like that's it, it. I'm wondering if the jury is looking at it, going, "What the? What? What are you making a big point of this for?" Yeah, 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 yeah. I like. Yeah, I, I like. I like. My favorite part is when Hoag says the emoji. I I think I've watched too many seasons of The Circle, um. So I have a tendency to read chat messages and text messages, uh, <laughs> like I have to say them to an invisible Netflix production assistant that is going to pretend to be a sentient computer. Winky so. face emoji. <laughs> Uh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Circle. Crazy. Love it. Uh, <laughs> things coming out now. Uh, yes. So. Uh, okay. I think I did that. Great. Uh, we're now on the positive side of, of bringing the number down. We're doing good. Good. We're making progress. <laughs> Tracy three found, watch the entire Rittenhouse trial with you all. Just want to congratulate you all on your success. Very well deserved. My 16 year old son has always had interest in going into law told him all about your channels. Thanks. I hope he is enjoying the streams because that is fantastic. Law is very, very interesting. Oh yeah. Many, many different ways to go about it. Emma Rain, Rob, is that a hammer and chisel? Chipping yeah, away yeah. the law. Cool, cool. I like that. Mike the Dad Crosby. Would there be any benefit to running a short cross? Hit a few main points, then focusing on rebuttals? I think she's got like a jillion main points, but I, I do think Rob has advocated that you go in and you do surgical strikes on each yep. rather than big yep. long. Yep. Long it just long. takes you a long, it takes you a long time to get to those points. That's the thing about cross. Like you have to ask a lot of questions to get to the point you're making. So don't focus on trying to get all the points. Just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. I find myself trying to play ahead of the game while we watch. It's like, where are we going? What, <laughs> what, what, what is, what is the goal? Um, sometimes it's, it's interesting. Sometimes it is disappointing. <laughs> it's like, what? No. Yep. That wasn't worth our time. <laughs> Rustin Fedig, Rob, how to get in touch. Virginia court history question. Um, can people DM you on your Instagram? Yeah, they've been doing that. 
right. Cool. I'll try to get that information in the description at some point. I apologize. I, I, I'm out of hands. <laughs> uh, TV4 defunct. Rob, I like your idea of splitting the two teams then debate. We'll come on your channel. Do it, Rob. Can we do it? To, can yeah. we dress up like in like really gaudy, like red and blue leotard type off outfits, like Battle of the Network stars, circa Oh, I don't Power. know. We should like at the, at the end of one of Alita's streams, we should kind of do a a roll the dice and divide the teams, okay, and pick the teams, and then on the next stream, we'll we'll actually have the little debate. Okay. I think that'd be All fun. right, I'm in. I, I'm I'm in. We'll have some fun. Totally worth it. I love <laughs> arguing with people. <laughs> Alicia Peterson, what team closes before jury instructions? I've been told by the litigators in the room and is Johnny Depp's team with his rebuttal closing. Yep. Helena T, how much time does jury have to make a decision? As uh, much as they need. Yeah, and, and, until the judge starts saying, how we doing? <laughs> 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 Fifi Ramon, have heard about this book from Jennifer Gray saying how jealous JD was when they were together. Also, what is the Kate Moss thing you guys mentioned? Yeah, the Jennifer Gray stuff, I did skip it, um, but there's a bunch of news media reporting on Jennifer Gray essentially saying Johnny Depp was jealous when they were together. It's long, long, They also long were together when ago. he was on 21 Jump Street. Yes. So he was in his 20s. That's a long time ago. That doesn't mean that he's a DV abuser kind of person. He also yeah. could have grown quite a bit since then. <laughs> I don't have, do, do people, anybody change their personalities between like their, their 20s and their 50s? I don't, I don't know. Does that happen? Uh, I mean, personal growth. A lot of people, a lot of people grow through their yeah, relationships they, and whatnot. Sarcasm. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll work yeah. on that tone. I'll, I'll emphasize the tone. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so that's your probative prejudicial, right? Cause you say, Oh, he was jealous. That backs Amber Heard up. It's like, well, it's really, really different time in his life. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. Bernard. Thanks guys. Appreciate all the great interpretations and explanations. The cup is a merch from his production company. That's right. That's the Nihil stuff. And you can see it in multiple interviews. There are likely dozens of not hundreds. Yeah. Thank you for the very generous super chat. Uh, and yeah, it, you know, trying to trace that to being specifically Amber's cup. I do think you can know that she appears to like use it. She uses it to try to hide the camera in the kitchen video. Uh, but I would be willing to bet they have that. I have, I have a number of these, uh, for instance. So, you know, we, we, we you get merch, you get branding, you have a number of them. Jackie G, would it be research if the jury tested Amica cream? I mean, they'd have to find yes. it first, right? Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. Don't do it. Please don't. Uh, yeah, that's just it's there's there's it's just like a science fair. You go into the jury room. There's just that set up with arnica. You try it out. See see how it works. Um, you know, just a little light. You punch you punch me in the face, and I'll use arnica cream and see if it goes away. <laughs> oh no, the jurors punched each other out again. Which actually, like that. <laughs> If it was during deliberations, that's not an impermissible way of of coming to a conclusion. Like like you could do like I said, you could you could use a Ouija board to come to a conclusion, and that is not improper. Like that's I mean, not a, that's not a grounds for overturning it. A funny thing about this in cro is in closing argument, it actually might be a pretty good argument to even suggest the jury. You know, I could suggest to you that you go back and one of you strike the other, put some Arnica cream on, and that's how fast we're supposed to believe that the swelling wasn't there. I could suggest it. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, don't commit assault in the jury room without good reason, potential prospective jurors. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, hey. Um, yeah. Good question. Thank you. Funny response is certainly Samara. Bit behind, but I do appreciate morning streams. It was the morning once. I clean at a hotel and I love listening as you all talk. Thank you all. I've learned so much. Aww, Thank you so much. Nice. Raber Umfenor, please, Gone Girl Watch Party. All start at the same time. Gone Girl's a good movie. I really like it. It's ridiculous, but I like it. Playcon Santos, Alita should replace Amber Heard on Aquaman. Are you interested in the role, Alita? No, I, I, oh. I don't have the acting abilities for it. <laughs> well, I mean, that didn't stop. Oh, no, I'm, I'm also. Sorry. Uh <laughs> Sorry. Uncle Bubba, did anyone else think it was funny when she said parakeet floor when she met parquet floor? Yeah, of course. I, I caught that one. Of course. Of course. Anna SES Super Sticker, thank you so much. Fifi Ramon, I am low-key crushing on Rob. My hubby concurs. So you got ah. multiple, multiple crushes in that household, Rob. <laughs> Doing it up style. <laughs> Helena T, I can't imagine the jury won't look the case up. I hope they, they might. Let's hope not. 
Mima, do our is morning. Does anyone else think the evidence pictures that Amber Heard brought are evidence from Johnny Depp's injuries in Australia from Ben King's phone? Waiting for Rob's YouTube. Um, I haven't seen anything to suggest that. Like yeah. there was, at least there was there was nothing that triggered that thought for me. No. But maybe someone else has thought that. No, I mean the the Ben Kings he the Ben King took the photos of like the kangaroos and like the walk up and stuff like that, right? I mean like that those were his, and then I, it was unclear what the rest were. So I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think I don't think evidence of JD's injuries. Stephanie Pushman, question: Do you think Amber Heard's lawyers are going to tell her to reel it back a bit, and she'll come back after the break, different exaggeration wise? She shouldn't. They shouldn't be giving those kinds of tips. Please, I love you guys so much. Been here since day one. Unhappy Aww. face, claps, black heart. <laughs> um, yeah, they, so they shouldn't be giving her any kind of advice about her testimony at all. Shouldn't be talking about her testimony at all. Number two, I also would not even recommend that change because you don't you don't want her to change anything. Consistency yeah. is the only thing that is going to help her right now. Yeah. Okay, I agree. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Yeah. Terry, me, Rob's shop is sus. Too clean. I don't know. He spent like half of the stream yesterday, like cleaning up from himself and like making sure everything looked good. Oh, there you go. There <laughs> There's you some go. clutter. You want some clutter? There you go. <laughs> it does look nice, man. That's a nice space. That does look nice. Thank you. Togs, aka Bay Two, Einstein is go go or gone gone. He said I could be wrong. See the electric universes. Lynn Pelkey, if jury does not come to a unanimous decision either way, is there another trial or does Johnny lose his libel suit? Well, he doesn't he could, win it. He could he could bring it again because it's a mistrial. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't win it, but he could come back. That's Look a lot of money, though. Depp versus That's her two. To. Legal boogaloo. Martin K, thought I'd continue binge watching Matlock for the 10 day break, then saw you kids streaming again. Have you? Hope you take Sunday off to spend with family. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. You deserve a break, coffee crisp, ketchup chips, and double doubles to all. They're a Canuck thing, eh? I, I, I eat Tim Hortons once a week, man. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan has a lot of Canadian crossover. Uh, Thomas Culp, come for the video game analysis. Stay for the Law Tube streams. Shout out to all of you for your excellent work. Also, don't miss Hogue on Sacred Symbols Plus, a PlayStation podcast. Hey. It's, an ad. it's an ad for my, I, I'm a contributor to Sacred Symbols. Um, which you know. Show. Which you know, because Colin was on your channel. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Destiny, Bites is a big fan. Both yeah. of you guys. Destin, 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 Rob mm -hmm. is de goat for having a page. No, not with vids and five thousand subs. Uh, is he up to five thousand now? Is Let's that see. legit? Let Could me be. see. You are at. I'm refreshing. Four point three seven. Go, go, go! Hit that like and subscribe button for Rob. Bare minimum. I think we just want to say that LawTube. Got a person with no content up <laughs> to 5,000 subscribers. All right? Go check it out. We know you want to be there when you get notified about his bed breaking video. So the only way you can do that is to go Watch like, Watch Rob break all the beds. <laughs> notify. Yeah. Alita is literally holding her side. Yeah, she is. I'm sorry. It's just too, it's just too funny. Let's continue. Yeah, so. <laughs> Absolutely. Apple Buddy 3 have been watching you all on Legal Bites. Wanted to share the love. Thank you for all the coverage. You all have made it easier for me to understand. Thank you so much. I'll play this game. Well, this same thing happened. Saw you before sleeping and woke up to you talking. It's so fun seeing friends just talk and answering the questions. I am so appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Surreal Kit. Should I buy Phoenix Wright to play with my five-year-old nephew? Also, the sitting up passed out Johnny picks looks like my dad falling asleep on his phone. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, like, I, I feel like I've seen I've seen photos of my dad falling asleep in front of the TV, like looking like that. He's also in his 80s, but even before he was in his 80s, my dad would do that. He just, he, you know, when he gets relaxed, he kind of passes out for a little bit. So surreal kit, Phoenix Wright is presented in a cartoon fashion in a mostly comedic style, but it does feature at its core brutal murders. Uh so uh it's up to you. Uh my 10-year-old loves it. Um, but sometimes while I'm doing the reading, I'm like, Ooh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but it's, uh, it's fantastically fun. It teaches logic. I, I think it really well, uh, because you're looking for contradictions in testimony. I, I couldn't recommend it more, but yeah, a little bit of content warning for five, I would say. Hmm. 
So thank you for the super chat. Stella Iris, hi, love to watch you guys. Greetings from Germany. Have you seen Popcorn Planet video where victims of domestic violence relate, react to Amber? They so not believe her. I've heard that. I have not seen the video. Uh, Terry Zizlechi. So just Zizlechi, Sh- I think. Zizlechi. Thank you. Doing okay. great, Hope. Went back and watched Ben's testimony. How can Amber Heard possibly reconcile the disparity on their respective testimony? Uh, they can't. One one world view or another. Britt Cormier, my burnt orange is from being a druid in WoW. You know the class that can do all things. Not being a filthy longhorn laughing my ass off. I was just making the observation. <laughs> <laughs> Simply simple question. Can you please consider doing a video discussing courtroom etiquette in detail? Food, drink, candy, clothing. Hi, Alita. Okay. Food, no. Drink, no. Candy, no. With some exceptions. Clothing, yes, please. Hi, Alita. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, sometimes alias. Thank you so much for the super chat. My wife just brought me a drink because she can hear my voice cracking. Uh, <laughs> Kinea Ndao, uh, Amber Heard's makeup artist, is number 23 on... Johnny Depp's witness list. Okay. Could come in. Uh, Nicole. Oh, uh, yeah. Boyd. Smith McMillan by video link can confirm. Okay. Fantastic. Why did Amber Heard's attorneys call a witness first? Who paid you $500 and not someone you don't have to pay to testify? And didn't Amber Heard's attorneys complain to JD's accountant that he was receiving $750? Everybody is always going to say, how much you know, are you paid? How much? Just in case the jury latches on to that as being the reason that you're biased. You are it's not being of, paid to testify. You are being t- paid for your time, yes. your time and professional experience. It is not yes. paid testimony. That's what attorneys do to try and deceive the jury into thinking that it is paid for testimony. Very well said. Michael Gaunt at work, a colleague was discussing one of my staff members and I didn't know if they knew about certain confidential details. So I found myself drawing info out of them like a cross <laughs> to know if I could discuss it with them. <laughs> this trial is in my head. Uh, uh, squinting, laughing emoji. Uh, so yeah, that's no, fantastic, isn't it? It's, 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 that, that is funny when with NDAs and things. It's like, what? What do you know? What? What do you already know? <laughs> Amber, my, uh, I, yeah. My niece, my niece discovered the word uh, foundation and hearsay, and we, I finally told her what that was. So she was grilling her nephew. You don't have a foundation for that. <laughs> Brother. You don't have a foundation for that. Or what's your foundation for that? It was just. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It should be on suicide watch. I hope not. Really. I sincerely hope not. Yeah. Tiffany Meschel, thank you for the super chat. Red signal. Amber Heard also ate something on the stand time stamped. I'll look at that one. I'll look at that one. I, I mean, it seems unlikely, but I mean, Probably not Team Booger on what she ate. So there we go. Uh, Susan Moore, thank you for the super sticker. Carice Heitzman, question. No one else bothered by her saying we had a Malbec or a wine <laughs> while also saying she became a level three sommelier. Kurt mentioned it too, live at the time. Uh, I, I, I wonder if she meant like, like we had a Malbec and in case doesn't anyone doesn't know, that means wine. I think there could be a possibility that that's what she meant. We had yeah, a Malbec or a wine, <laughs> you know, like Could that. Be explaining it. Yeah. 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 Maybe. I mean, it wasn't Kurt adamant that she's not a level three sommelier. I don't know levels of sommelier folks. I apologize. I know it takes a lot to get to the upper echelons of being a sommelier. Cause I've, I I've, consider I've, it a, a big win that I pronounced it correctly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you say close to pronouncing it correctly? What's the right pronunciation? Sommelier. I yield to Rob. For all your sum- sommelier needs, I promise <laughs> I'm coming back for family French time pronunciations. Time. My wife gave me an eye roll. Like, I, have, I have a wine cellar I built that, that holds oh. 400 bottles of wine. So, yeah. I well, love wine. Okay. I, I was so happy with my pronunciation. Look, I knew it didn't, it was not an R. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Meschel. Yay. I'm so happy. I saw Hogue on my homepage. I thought I'd see what you were all about. And the crew is here. Came from Bites. Sub to all. Thank you so much. Alita, you're a pathway to the rest of LawTube. 
Awesome. I love Sometime it. Sometime alias. Will the jury suffer from PTSD after all? That? <laughs> Probably. I will say when you think about like those articles that talk about like, um, like people going through and doing Facebook moderation and that kind of thing. Like there is some stuff that I wish I could unhear um, yeah. from this trial. Definitely. Courtney Green, in the previously released audio in Australia that Nate was talking about, A stated that she didn't mean to hurt him while speaking with Kipper. Sounds like a big deal audio. I hope we get to hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Barbora Odstrichklova. Pretty close. Close. Bar Bar yeah, Barbora Od Odstrichklova, I think. Oh, all right. Odstrichklova. But the, the, a lot of consonants at the, in the first half of that last name it makes it tough. Here from Legal Bites, love the content. Go Hogue. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I gave it the old college try on your name. No, you did well. Linda Powlin, thank at you. At least for I'm, I, I'm assuming I'm right. I, I could be Yeah, verify, too. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Powlin, thank you for the I'm speaker. an expert. <laughs> it's funny because I've been watching you for four weeks, and one of the things I've been thinking in my head is like, man, she's good at the names. <laughs> uh, Shab's inevitable, rotten born, objection hearsay. Uh, it's your own question. You don't want to answer. Does this happen often in court? Great talk all. Well, I think, I don't remember who it was on the panel, but He's yes, we've actually seen it because it's whenever they say strike after they've asked the question, strike that, I'll try again. That's what he did. He just freaked out. He just, he just used the wrong words for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Dinsmore, what do you think about the photo of the bruise on Amber's arm, meaning the iPhone model is two years old? Would Amber Heard really have an old version in 2013? I My my phone is well older than that. But I, if the question is, would Amber Heard? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that was ostensibly before she made it big, right? So maybe she was holding on to an older model as long as possible. Is two years an abnormally long time to hold on to a phone? I don't. No, I, 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 I two years is like my 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 aimed minimum for holding on to yeah. a phone. That's when I stop paying at all. Yeah, exactly. Phones are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They really are. I like to get those bonus years out of my cars and phones and be like, ha ha, no extra payments right now. Sweet. Um, Rob, can you give us a tour of your shop? By the way, Hogue, the hoses on the back are to suck out sawdust. Rob either has a container outside or an area where it collects. Huh. Um, you want to give a brief description of your space? I don't think you need to give a full tour. <laughs> As my super chats come in. <laughs> I have, I, well, so, dust extractor on the back corner, drum sander, drill press, router table, table saw, planer, band saw, air filter, miter cabinet. So that's the miter cabinet. That is uh, old kitchen cabinets that I milled down and repurposed and created the cabinet for the saw miter saw various nailers and other implements of destruction and then other stuff <laughs> those sure did sound like two awards didn't they folks thanks rob <laughs> <laughs> was that quick enough okay that was great it. Sonia Arana, I watched the depositions on incredibly average and I'm shocked by her attitude and her lawyer's rudeness. Is that typical of depositions? Been watching it all on Legal Bites and can't get enough. It's a style. Sound yeah, it sounds it's like one different style. styles. Definitely. Tara Strachan, thank you for the super chat. Hoga for Prez. Oh my, yeah. I, I'm sorry I didn't catch this earlier. It's very generous. Uh, you guys are unstoppable. Glad to see you sharing the love and all your channels growing for your hard, long work. I actually finally got first COVID. Sorry to hear that. Ooh. So you've been a welcome distraction while stuck at home healing up. Question, think you'll hang up practicing for law tubing. Uh, well, one, that's never at all been remotely a viable calculation uh, before. Uh, but no, I don't think so. I, I like the practice of law. Uh, but what I've said to people, especially when I started my Patreon, is look, uh, this is taking more time which I like out of my yeah. day than I thought it would. Um, and that's business development time. That's so legal practice is essentially, you know, doing work and finding work. Um, and so part of that time was coming out of that. And I said, well, if we're going to make this viable, I appreciate your support, that kind of thing. Uh, but um, no, I think I'm always going to at least practice a bit because I like doing it. I like people forming companies. I like people following their dreams and getting that kind of stuff out there. But thank you so much for the question. The really generous super chat. Uh, and the and the really kind words. J 
just because Amber Heard walked airport and sat 14 hours after cut feet and bottle. I mean, like so much of the testimony doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, like you don't, yes, she describes all of those events and then she flies with, that's Ben King that takes her home. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, no, I saw some scratch marks on my arm. I mean, that's what we got. Rayber Umfenauer, thanks for treating us all as friends. Great love. Thank you. Of course. Richard Freeman, Rob, would you use chainsaw disc on an angle grinder? Uh, that's a trick question. No way. <laughs> Rob, I can only read them, man. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's saying he's saying use a table saw blade on an angle grinder. Um, there's like memes about it. It's probably one of the deadliest things you could possibly do like you mm. create a uh, yeah. yeah all right all right chat don't don't try don't to do that to kill himself don't do that <laughs> uh okay uh Ruizy, i'd love lawyer gaming streams love seeing you all honestly that's where my heart lives uh so that might be something that i, I try to build up here because wouldn't it be fun wouldn't it be fun can you imagine like kurt losing a game in some horrible way that's good stuff. <laughs> that's good stuff so we'll, uh, I, we'll see. We'll see. I love games. I, I love games to death. So we will see. I think that'd be really fun. Hachi Mama, thank you for the super chat. Earn. Is it at all possible JD's teams can work in the recording from Australia? It's so incriminating against Amber Heard. Why can't they use it? Uh, Not only other voices so far as we think the big block, but they're going to try. If it's this useful, they're going to try. Dwani Prabhu for Rob. The Law Cabin. Law Table Talk. Law and beyond. Hachimama, <laughs> have you felt good bad guy energy on the different sides? Even the doctors, lawyers, and witnesses in even tone and appearance. Is that just me? No, it's not. I'm trying. I try to kill that a little bit um, because it's just personalities to some extent. But I think Johnny Depp's team, witnesses, choices, and everything else comes across as chiller, more friendly. I just, I just like them better. I feel, I feel like I would want to hang out with them after court. Yeah, well, I think Dr. Hughes versus Dr. Curry is like a good symbol of that. Um, in the same role for the two teams, yeah. the attorneys are a good symbol for that. You know, you think of Chu versus Rottenborn. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you're right. Rosie Allen, congrats on the growth of your channel. Thank you. Yay. And thank, thank Alita for the help there, definitely. My first ever well, super chat goes to you. You've got you've got your 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 good content from over the years, so not really because of me. Well, I, it it was ready, but you certainly <laughs> helped. I get, I give thanks to everybody involved in all this. I thank I Rob. Guess. I didn't know Rob three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first ever super chat goes to you. Love Law and Lumber's first video idea. I think we all do. We're all there for it. Uh, thumbs up to all the law tubers. Clap, Yay. clap, clap. J.A.K. Jimenez, do you think that the witness that a H team did did discredited old posts should be allowed back in? Heard team. You're talking about Gina Duters. Oh, I see. Uh -oh. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> yeah, because no. she admitted on the stand that she had seen yep. clips of testimony from the trial. I can tell you the judge was not happy about that, but. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's because she admitted that on the stand. And and now that I think back, I wonder if she meant that she had seen clips from the UK trial. If that's what she meant and she didn't have a chance to clarify that, then that would be another question. But I, I don't have any reason to suggest that she was talking about the UK trial because in context, it sounded like the question was, have you been, have you been, have you seen any testimony from this trial? Yeah. Yeah, it, it did. It sure did. Yeah. Amica Cream Merch asks Uncle Larry. Uh, no, no, I think I, I I always have to try to find what I want to do with my channel that works with like what I what I do. I think that the cool Mimi merch is properly found at Legal Bites. Um, <laughs> that's that's just, it's what I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what kind of merch I can do out of this kind of stuff. But no, I think the I think the Mimi stuff, I, I hand that over to Alita. Mughal VA, would it be reasonable that JD did do those injuries in the pictures, but because of Amber Heard exaggerating personality, she exaggerates it on the counts of the obvious. This is my biggest worry about just saying all your stuff goes in the trash. Um, 
I cannot tell. She did this. I cannot tell. Um, and so she's asking us to choose. I think it sounds incredible what she's offering. She, she could lose on that embellishment. And I don't think there's a way to prevent it. Headbang Tiger, Amber Heard's story is so egregious. I think Johnny has to win, even if it's a 5-2 into deliberation. I think the five will push hard to give it to JD. I mean, that, that, that's what that's what jury folks will tell you. But 12 Angry Men, you know, you just swing around. You ask to see the glasses. See the glasses again. Mm -hmm. um, and then you happen to have the same switch knife. You sure do, <laughs> right in the jury room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in I was in 12 Angry Men in high school. <laughs> uh, random male. My ex was BPD and BP. She acted just like Amber and went on alcohol would be very aggressive and violent, especially online. I'm very mm. sorry about that. Very sorry about that. Thank you for the super chat. Bread Boutillier. Great to see a Hogue stream and the crew coming over here. Congrats on 75,000. Hogue is the goat. It's very it's nice. True. Hogue very is nice. The goat. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, if the jury can't reach unanimity, do we get to know how many jurors were leaning towards Depp Heard? I don't, I don't believe know. so. I don't believe so. <clears throat> I think the, yeah, the judge just says they're questions. split. Yeah. Yeah. It leads to questions of like who said what and all kinds of. Hmm. Yeah. And then you've got possible doxing. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Although I'd want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Nonatona. Hi again, jury, not having eye contact with Amber Heard. Uh, so she not feel uncomfortable. It's okay. But she's scanning them with her eyes while telling her story. Uh, yeah, she's definitely checking for jury contact. I mean, that's happening. Um, I think that the part that weirds people out a little bit more is she seems to do it while she's in mid-sob uh, a couple but of times. Usually, but usually people that are that are revealing something very emotional and very vulnerable, they're not then going out of their way to make that content because they're feeling very vulnerable. The body language usually suggests they're going inside themselves and they're trying to just kind of get through it. She's trying to like convince someone to believe her. It has that look, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Uh, Keisha Delgado, QQ for Alita. Could you walk in heads after having gl glass cuts? Heads? In the Australian audio, you can hear... Amber Heard walking in heels. Heels. Hell no. No way. Not not the cuts that she's described. Wow. You can hear she's in heels that day? Yeah. Uh, Professor Heather just learned how to do this. You, you and me both. We're figuring out the button. <laughs> Love your guys' coverage. The island is where JD gets to actually be human. That's why it worked. Yeah, he described it very specifically as that. His, his his hideaway. Um, so yeah, definitely. Sonia Arana, she wrote the Carly Simon note to mock his band's cover of You're So Vain. Oh God, did the Hollywood Vampires cover You're So Vain? Man, if the Hollywood Vampires did cover You're So Vain, can you put Amber Heard at one of their concerts? <laughs> and by the way, I, someone in the chat just asked, you can hear someone in heels? Yes. Yes, you can. Heels, you can heels hear sound like heels. Clomp, 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 as opposed to like a soft step. Yeah. Heels sound like heels. Yep. Business shoes sound like business shoes. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can hear I can hear a, a bunch of those differences. Yep. And I don't I do not claim extra special authority. <laughs> Window to the soul. Hi from the UK. Would just like to clarify that the tabloids here do not represent us. Thanks, Law. Uh, yeah, I get that. I said immediately. I was like, ah, the Guardian could be whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah. Well, there is a market for them, right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, of course, of course. We've got our own, our own rags to worry oh, yeah. about. <laughs> well, I brought up the New York Post first. <laughs> it's Tawny M, thank you for the super chat. King of class, odd that both left and right wing media hates JD. There does seem to be a certain amount of unification there. Although, I, you know, the New York Post stuff, I think Nate described it as fairly right leaning. I don't pretend to know them. I don't read the New York Post. Uh, but... Um, I think it does go back to that financial sharing of parent uh, companies with the son more than anything else. Renee B, Gina Duters just posted a video of JD leaving the courthouse from inside his car, thanking supporters. We've seen a couple of those videos. People seem to be pretty pro Johnny outside the courthouse. And that also ranges across the political spectrum. The support of Johnny. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it does. I mean, it doesn't strike me like it should be a, a politically breaking story, but I've thought that about a lot of things <laughs> and it just breaks politically and I don't understand exactly why. Um, so that's that's interesting to know. Mm -hmm. Peggy Cole, do you think it's a good idea for JD's team in closing to bring up a timeline chart, but not show it until closing argument? I think that would help like reference it. Uh, I don't know. It's possible. It's I, I can see that confusing some jurors. Um, yeah. like, and wishing, and, and actually I can see some jurors kind of resenting them for not giving it to them earlier. Like this whole thing could use a timeline. I've got them in my head. Some of this stuff, because it's, it's in the spring of 14 and 15. I sometimes go, wait, which one is it? Uh, but yeah, like I, I almost would want that if they were going to do that, I almost would want them to create a timeline PowerPoint style as they go through their closing and then show the full summary in one timeline at the end so that it doesn't feel like, Oh, we've had this the whole time and we've never shown it to you. You know what I mean? Like, like build it yeah. in front of the jury. That's yeah. how I would want to see that. Yeah. That is so smart. That's good. That's good. That is a good idea. Now I hope that they do. Now I'm going to be disappointed if they don't do that. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Erica M question, non thirsty question for Rob. Okay. Rob. <laughs> Finally. What? Right. <laughs> Any local insight as to what's needed to get into the courtroom planning to visit from Cincy? What am I looking at logistically? I'm operating based on rumors and the rumors are that essentially at least one night people were gathered out beginning at 9 PM and actually staked out overnight. And that's what led to the sheriffs putting out the signs that said, you cannot start gathering until 1 AM that the first day of Amber Heard's testimony, the people that got in were there at three 30 in the morning. Second day was 3 AM. I have no clue how that's going to play after a week break whether this is going to be ramped up or calmed down. Um, so honestly, no clue, but I'll be there with my iPad, some movies saved and a chair with some coffee and a thermos. Are they all going to be Johnny Depp and Amber Heard movies? Actually, no, man, maybe pirates. <laughs> there you go. Pirates one through five. You, you could watch all of them in that time, right? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, probably. Oh my or God. Or maybe Gone Girl. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you're, you should have your movies themed. Definitely, Rob. Love it. BQ555, thoughts on Court TV coverage and commentary. So I've only been interacting lightly with them, and it was when one of their headlines was absolutely crazy and said that Johnny Depp admitted to a, a vodka fuel binge in which he cut his own finger off, uh, which is uh, not a terribly accurate way of describing uh, the events that he attested to. Um, so I haven't otherwise been following. Have either of you been following on court? Well, no, we've been covered in the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like you, I saw some limited stuff, mostly like right before trial began. Um, and it just seemed like, and I remember, I remember the, the one piece of commentary that I did see, there was some former prosecutor lady that was like, this is all about rich people problems. This is kind of a dumb case. I don't know why, but I guess if there's some celebrity to it and that's why people are watching it. And I was like, you're an idiot. You didn't do any yeah. research before you, you opened your yap about this case. Clearly. <laughs> Upset can a leader. Be... Funniest leader. <laughs> Close your can yap. I, can, I, can I be more, 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 more opinionated on that one? <laughs> I like that. I like, she, yeah, she was not impressed. Well, there's been a lot to be not impressed about by various coverages of this. That's why we, that's why I ostensibly did this video. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Akisu Yemi, coffee and law tube have become my favorite way to start the day. Smiley face emoji. Love that we're on Hoag's channel today. Let's all make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. By the way, last I checked, Rick is 1,500 subscribers away from 80K. Let's Ooh. do it, guys. If you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you can see more stuff like this. 80,000. That's a big number. Wow. That's that impressive. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Tarantula Ravenblood, Amber Heard filed the temporary restraining order on May 27th, Lily Rose Depp's birthday. From that day on, I've already, I've always felt she did this on purpose to be vindictive against JD and Lily Rose. And she said she fell in love with those kids. Not. I actually didn't realize that fact. So thank you for bringing it up. That is, that's not a good look. Lawson Sauce, Esquire. We should call sidebars parlay. We should. Also, Amber Heard should henceforth be called the Jabberwocky, or alternatively, the Bandersnatch. What say you? Well, if we were doing Jabberwocky, I would call her the Jabberwock because I like to be all fancy, like Lewis mm -hmm. Carroll. Uh, 
But I do like your uh, your notion of parlay. We can uh, talk about acquiescing to each other's demands and uh, yes. guidelines, not rules. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many, so many things. <laughs> Uh, Tony M, after he essayed her with the bottle with the severed finger, mind you, from destroying the phone and the wall, the bottle was put back on the desk where it was that morning to take the picture. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I still think they only implied that that was a similar bottle, but I, I hear you. Just John P, Rob with a hat transformed him into a Giga Chad. <laughs> Good job, Rob. <laughs> I love hats. I have a hat collection of like 30 or 40. There you go. I, I might like hats a little bit too. Don Leinhart, use these super chats to buy a second monitor. Yes. Or perhaps, perhaps that would require. I mean, it's it's a it's a whole thing about desk space and uh, you know things. This is you know we're we're trying to get up to a place where I put something on my wall I, to appease some of the people. I love <laughs> having a second monitor so much that when I was in California. And starting the first week of this trial, I knew I wasn't going to be able to live without it. So I bought a second monitor to keep at my parents' house. <laughs> I, all right. Okay. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh, I will take it under advisement, like the judge in the first count. Uh, Larry Potter, Oscar or Razzie for Amber's performance in the courtroom drama? Did she really quote the talented Mr. Ripley in her planned script or was that just a rumor? Don't think she quoted it. Had some similar concepts. I am actually neither on Oscar or Razzie. I think there are parts that uh, look like good acting and there are parts that feel false. So that's where I'm at on that. Fair. Uh, you know, you know this this person like gives, gives super chats, supports virtual legality. I've never had to pronounce their avatar name. Bad uh, as a hog. Yeah, I was going to say bad as a hog. Uh, oh, but, uh, bad but, as a hog is probably about right. Hey, hi, Legal Bites. <laughs> is that a witch I see in the background? Mm -hmm. A switch. Yes, also, Rick, is. are you? Uh, yeah. What's your favorite switch game, Alita? Uh, to be honest, I haven't played it in a while. But um, does Mr. Bites have I a guess... favorite switch game? What's that? Does Mr. Bites have a favorite switch game? Um, he also hasn't played his switch in a while. Although he brought his on our last trip together. Uh, okay. we, we usually, we have a tradition where when we, when we travel together and we end up eating in some restaurant, we try to pick like one of the nicer restaurants that we go to. We pull out yeah. the switch and we play a round of, of Mario Kart together in a fancy restaurant. <laughs> and then we have the waiter take a photo of us <laughs> after it's become our, a thing. Yeah. The closest I have to that is after our wedding, my wife and I, uh, got our pictures taken in a Wendy's, uh, in our full wedding regalia on our way oh. to, uh, the, the honeymoon, uh, because oh, nice. Yeah, back when we were dating, it was one of the we went to we went to Wendy's uh, mm -hmm. a lot because that was all we had in our town. Oh, yeah, Aww. yeah. So that was fun. That was a fun moment. But I like I like the idea of just playing out completely incongruent switch games yep. in in places that don't make sense. I like yep. that. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rick, are you aware of CBS bullying Angry Joe with DMCA takedowns? Yes, on his Halo stuff. It's on my list. Uh, so I always say that in comments and I, I get to a lot of it, but uh, the list has been working around some other stuff I've been doing. <laughs> uh, so yes, I do note that uh, and I'm going to look into it uh, when I'm next researching a video. Uh, Simon Tupper, pretty sure you skipped me, but I forgive you. I did that one. I don't think I skipped it twice, but I appreciate it. I'm sorry. Uh, Don Liner, Alita has help. Her secret background editor. I was, she's got the guy in the chair. Yep. You know, I don't. Uh, who contacts me in the middle of streams. That's uh, so really <laughs> funny. Um, Avani. Yeah, he asked artist. at one point, he was like, is it okay if I if I talk to people in the private chat about stuff? I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yep, yep. No, yeah, I think it started with, um, he. I think he was DMing me while it was live and asking for permission for clips. Ah, uh, okay, like, okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I, my, my likeness rights have been transmitted to the Legal Bites media uh, empire. Uh, so it's absolutely fine. An article in The Hollywood Reporter noted that her ex said Amber Heard was wrongfully accused because of a misinterpreted incident. So how does it help Johnny Depp? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's part of why it might not make sense to bring in in terms of you know, having it be impeached somehow. Um, but I don't I don't know the specifics. I know nothing about this other than the arrest that I've been told about. Um, so thank you, Avani, for the super chat. Katarina Pinho wanted to show some appreciation. Love from Portugal. Thank you so much. Amanda Lucero, Serenity. To Rob, you can make a vlog on how to make the bed as well. That actually is true. You could actually double Not up. Not sure that. how to take that one. No, I think that's legit. I think that's legit. That one doesn't have innuendo in it. 
like like the actual building of the bed. You oh, how to actually you build the bed? Yeah, make yeah, the bed. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could start a you start a thing where you're doing a little bit. He's so on guard about the whole bed yeah, metaphor. It's so uncomfortable. His eyebrows just go up. It, they said bed. No, I don't. I don't think that was innuendo. I, I got okay, a pretty good, good radar, I think. <laughs> Man, she's gonna do a follow up super chat. Says like, no, it was totally innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Pushman, do you think Amber's lawyers are happy with her exaggerating her story like that? No, not if it's not true. By the way, been here since the beginning. Love you guys. Something that didn't make it through, heart. Thank you so much. Gray Wolf, the Kate thing. Amber Heard said she never hit Johnny Depp before uh, that, but before she said she had hit him, and it's on a recording. Also, think it is why they got cheering. I don't know. J-Man Finest, as a philosophy ma major, measure of man is so deep in the problem of what makes a person. Love to see another person who loves that episode. Are you... I would argue that one of the reasons I became a lawyer was measure of a man. So there, there is no better Picard speech in uh, all of Star Trek The Next Generation, surely not in the show named after him. Uh, so measure a man, if you are interested at all in lawyers and trials and philosophy combined, that's the episode you want to watch in Star Trek The Next Generation. I love that we got two chats about that. Makes my day. Don Liner, will LawTube stream trial 2.0 if there's a mistrial? What do yes. you think, Don? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No hesitation whatsoever. Uh, yes, absolutely. Gecko Gamer, one of the big time, long time supporters of virtual legality. I've seen this case being compared a lot to OJ Simpson. Could you describe the similarities and differences? I think mostly people Not mean criminal. celebrity and level of interest in the culture. Yeah. Yeah. OJ's a murder <laughs> trial. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not a criminal trial. So no one is going to jail. Definitely not for murder. But, this but is it, one does, that... it does have a lot of blood and gore in it, and it does have a lot of salaciousness, and it does have celebrities. It has celebrity names. You're asking about, ooh, is Franco going to be in? Is Elon Musk so going to be in? So many bodily fluids. <laughs> there's, mm. there's, there's your merch. <laughs> <laughs> no. No one's going to buy that. <laughs> Put that on a mug. Um, yeah, yeah. So... That's what I think, right? You get the names up top, and then the case is actually as crazy as you'd want for those names, and you get it. You get to this, um, but no, it has nothing. No, OJ is more serious. OJ was longer, uh, but this is very long, and it's got a lot of details, and it's got a lot of stuff that's hard to believe. Yeah. Right? How could you not be interested in this? So, thank you for the question. Esgi Sumer, thank you so much for the super sticker. Water unleashed. Have to point out the Matrix glitch. When Salute comes back on stream, her outfit changes between one second and the next. Have to go to work. Yeah. It's because I, I got something on it. So I was like, I'll just put a new sweatshirt on. Oh, Salute. Did is you not catch that, that, Rick? No. Yep. <laughs> Salute? Sweatshirt changed. You know, I did, oh, I caught that she changed. I just didn't catch that salute was Alita. That's oh, all. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Rolando Lopez. Wouldn't Amber Heard's lawyers want to bring up evidence while she is describing what happened? Or is there a tactic to wait and show that evidence after cross? I mean, she had to bring up that photo when she mentioned that photo. Else I have completely discredited her testimony on that. Right? Yeah. Right. There, and there's no way of recovering from that. Because once, once a jury has made their mind up about something, changing their mind is really hard. Difficult. Yeah, and that's I the mean, other reason why I why I feel like it's a really poor strategy to try to say don't believe any of the witnesses that you've heard from yeah. up till now. Yeah, yeah. I immediately, yeah, I immediately said nah. So, Nanatona, twenty seven oh five. It's my birthday. Can't wait for it. May May twenty seventh. It's Europe. I'm on it. Thank you. Can't wait for it. It's gonna be a big day. Sarah Whitney, this is a yay for Hogue going live. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Courtney Waters, thank you for the super chat. Anna, y'all are nuts in the best way. Happy to support yeah. Rick. Yeah. We are nuts. Alita didn't know she was doing this today, folks. I've started no. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby and the Sun, could they call Kate Moss as a rebuttal witness? We sure yep. think so. Yep. Morag Ironside, Amber Heard said JD was putting booze in a mug, hence the tea reference. Yeah, I think that's implied, but why wouldn't you say that? Yeah, I why survived don't you say. I, he said he was detoxing from booze, but then he was drinking booze. 
Just say it. Yeah. Yeah. I survived both child abuse and DVDA. JD is abused, my opinion, triggered by JD, not Amber Heard at all. Love y'all. Very sorry to hear it. A lot of people are saying that. They are. Donna, thank you so much for the super chat. Living sweetly, Alejandro, FML. This are rich people problems. We the people, Alejandro for president. Don't call my name. Don't call my name. Alejandro. 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 Ale Alejandro. Thank Love you. It. I was going to read it like a robot, so I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Amanda That's Lefair, like me when I'm reading them on my channel. <laughs> Serenity to Hogue. Have you heard the video on Popcorn Planet channel? No. Where AH admits to hurting JD? Nope. Makes me so mad that they can't use that. We don't know. You know, we'll see. I understand why she told the jury that the doctor was messing with her phone and hit record. Sure. Okay. Trying to get out in front of it, you think? Okay, Amanda. I hope it comes in. I hope I get to listen to the thing. Susie, I thought lawyers had more exciting lives. LMAO, heart. No, no, no. The life of a lawyer is really not exciting. You do a lot of sitting at your desk. In front of I, I, I relayed well, this I story guess. on your channel, but my, my daughters came in at some time a couple of years ago and said, what do you think dad does? You sit in front of the computer and type things. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Sure. It's pretty accurate. Uh, bloody blah. Thanks for the coverage. Y'all, it's perfect to listen to while I work. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Larry Potter, she can't cry. According to someone who knows her here on YouTube, she has had too much Botox. Don't know about that, but I do know that she was seemingly reaching for tears and, and having some trouble. And I don't blame her for trying. Even if it's truthful, you want to present that emotionality to the jury. But it, it certainly looked like a struggle. Stony CC, if Amber Heard had been beaten so badly, wouldn't she have blood in her eyes? Looks too clear for me to be beaten how she described. Doesn't look like she described it, but I don't I don't want to just say it has to look one way or another. It just didn't right. look right. Donna, hi. Can Alita please check her DMs? And you guys answer the question. It was too long to put in a super chat. Uh, we will see. We will see. Mary Brown, you're such lawyers arguing about the definition of tears. Yes. We, he said plural. We don't know if there were plural. We have to look also, and see if there was a sincerity. Also, does he mean authentic check. tears or, yeah. or we, is synthetic okay? Was he limited to day one? We have yeah. some things that we have to go evaluate. Good luck winning an argument in this group. <laughs> We're just going to keep the money from Nate either way. Uh, Courtney Waters, Amber seemingly borrows plots from movies and even her assistant's SA story. Have you all found parallels with Michelle Carter's case and her obsession with Lee? I haven't been looking for parallels other than to note it has that fantastic quality, right? I mean, I, I don't, you don't have to be a modern movie television story connoisseur to realize that it has this script liked element. I don't so. know. How, how many views do you think Alita doing a reaction video to God Girl would get? Like even the day after report. Um, it's, it's so it... legal bites watches gone girl and it's just a camera focused on her and you can just barely hear the sound uh could could work you could you got an editor you just edit that into uh you know a 15 minute or <clears throat> you know it might not be a terrible idea uh <clears throat> matthew slingsby on the x i want across i wonder if elaine will not object much as when Vasquez has been objecting, it is as if a director is saying cut and Amber's sadness stops. <sighs> that emotionality does present an interesting quandary. Uh, I mean, Elaine's, Elaine's going to, during, you're talking about during Vasquez's cross? Yes. Elaine's going to object like hell. Like she's going to go crazy because <laughs> you have to, you have to protect your client, especially a client who's opened themselves that much, opened themselves up that much. She's going to try. We're going to see how it goes. Judge likes to sustain objections in general. So we'll see. Simply simple question. What is the title of the legal book that Rob referred to as the one used in court? And who publishes it? I apologize. I'm hearing impaired and I missed it. This is your rules it's of evidence book. Called a guide, to the, a, guide to the rules, a guide to the Rules of Evidence published by the Virginia State Bar. Is there a free copy of that available, Rob? There is not a free copy. If you go to Virginia CLE... Okay. Virginia, V-A-C-L-E dot org or dot com. One of those. They have it available. All right. Awesome. That is cool. I mean, I don't know if it is actually cool, but I do like rules of evidence. So there you go. <laughs> Tara, sorry if it's been asked. Have you guys seen the clip of Amber Heard on the stand? And it looks like she snorted something. Thoughts? Love you all's commentary. <laughs> Team Booger. I, I do have thoughts. <coughs> Team Booger. 
I think <laughs> I think she's trying to get something out of her nose. Jack Frost, since Amber Heard seems to be making crazier claims than before, can JD's team ask to introduce new evidence even though their list has already been submitted? I guess if there was something that was completely unknown. Yeah, I, don't know. I can. Let me check the, the evidence list. Um, my diffs. Yes. Okay. Tarantula right. Ravenblood. Everyone on LawTube inspires me to take my entertainment business degrees and upgrade to entertainment law. Any advice? Sounds like fun. Good, Good you money. Could, you could produce Cheers, help with the George Foreman grill, uh, work on Star Wars and Rocky. Um, oh my God. His whole long list. <laughs> Richard Marks. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 such, a, it's such a fun CV. Yeah. I know, so Seriously. many of those things you just mentioned. <laughs> hey, lawyers are needed all around. Somebody's got to write those contracts. Isn't that what he basically said? It's like, look, he's got talent here. You need housing over there. You need travel. Yeah. Debbie Joa A, I can't leave you out of the chat budget. One might feel sick when being deposed if one sister was expecting one to lie for them or be creative. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be a heck of a burden, right? If if the ask is essentially help me out, that, that would be yeah. tough. Lee Vasquez, Amber says in Australia, Johnny threw and record secretly with her phone, but in the audio, she never asked where her phone was. You can clearly hear that a recorder was sticking to something. She took it and left. I, I, I would love to hear this recording very soon. John Decker, is it true that JD's team has to disprove any type of abuse? Do the recording text prove abuse directed towards Amber Heard? Congratulations on 78,000. Yes, I think if, if, if we could just sit here and say Johnny De Depp abused in some form or fashion at some point in time, I don't think you can actually win your defamation case. But it's not that simple in reality. Kiki Stacy, almost 80,000, Rick. Smack that sub away. button, guys. Blue heart. 1,400. Let's do it. Let's do it. Crazy. Amanda Lucero, Serenity, also makes me mad that Amber Heard keeps mentioning Jerry Judge and he can't testify against her details. Alita, hi to your fur babies. Hi. Uh, yeah, it does. It did. It did seem very interesting that there were a couple of versions of the various stories that seemed like Jerry Judge would be a linchpin. I think I, while we were streaming, I said something like, hmm, that is a enormously convenient deceased witness uh, for some of the stories that she was saying. Definitely. Letha, Letha. So love how you guys cheer each other on with building each other's channels. Thank you. Amber Heard isn't showing up like she promised in her threats. Such ugliness. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Lots more Amber Heard to come. Beverly Alford, congrats on the channel, Hogue. Thanks for the smiles. Legal Bites, where are the fur babies? They're around, aren't they? One's right here. There's one right there. Law and Lumber, when's your first vid coming out? Love the concept. You have a notion when you're thinking, Rum? I'm going to try and get this thing filmed tonight and tomorrow, hopefully by the end of the weekend. Oh, I nice. have it, be mindful first video. I have no idea how to estimate the time it takes to make these things. I have a vision Longer in my than head, you think. and I imagine that that vision in my head is like hogged live streaming. Like, like <laughs> you have the idea of what's going to happen, and then it happens, and you're going and you look at Alita in a whole different light, and you're like, <laughs> I now understand so much more. So I, I'm going to have that reaction when I film that video. Understand. <laughs> I've thought for weeks that Alita is awesome. I think Alita is 300% more awesome than I originally thought. Yeah. So, yeah. most definitely. Uh, thank you. Steph Jack UK, most JDs, uh, uh, most of JD's exes have publicly supported JD. Why can't they be called as sort of character witnesses? Also, just wanted to say, really enjoying you and Legal Bites. Um, I, I, character witness. They, they had character witnesses. I think that they're picking and choosing what they want for strategy. I, I, are there any X's on his list? So, the, reason, the reason why is because they didn't really have, they weren't around at the time of this relationship, right? Like they weren't in his life. I mean, maybe maybe Vanessa kind of was through the kids, but, but aside from that, there's not really much that they could really testify to about his relationship with Amber. So mm. everything, so just how probative would their testimony be, even if it's like just character evidence, if if they haven't if they hadn't really seen him for a period of time, yeah, I, the one that surprises me is Vanessa, but maybe she just didn't have something strong to say either way. Um, so, yep. NGV AH team strategy testify for four more days. When cross comes, JD team will help you have been decimated by everyone quitting with PTSD. <laughs> just just the rest is Amber Heard. Just I'd be uh, so what do we tempted, have? So tempted to quit because of PTSD. 
Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what What's the time we have left, Your Honor? 21 hours? All right. We got 21 hours of Amber Heard. <laughs> huh? <What are> you... <laughs> Rob, Rob rejects the mere notion of it. Uh, okayest wife. Isaac's breakdown at the mm-hmm. end of his testimony seemed more heartfelt and real with emotion than all of Amber's testimony so far. I, I, I don't think I can disagree. Rename your name to bestest wife. You're not okayest at anything. <laughs> more to live for. Why does everything Rick says make so much sense to my brain? Thank you all for your amazing, informative, balanced input and analysis. Trifecta for the win. That is very nice of you to say. Thank you so because much. Because Rick, Rick is logical, smart, and he's coherent, and everyone should subscribe to his channel. Yes. Agreed. Rob, was that your first like straight up grift? I don't know. It might have been. <laughs> it's, I haven't it's heard you pretty do good. A, that we've, was we've very, very well. nice of you. That was very nice of you, Rob. I have not heard you do the YouTubers. You, God, we're, we're going to be Wait. like two months from now. And, and Rob is going to be uh, ending videos going, yo, 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 smash that like, y'all. That's how we get the subscribers <laughs> I, will, here. I, I can guarantee you to anyone who ever wants to watch my channel ever in the future, you will not be hearing me say smash that like button or anything like that. I, I, yeah, mm-hmm. What was Nate's one? What was Nate's one? That was It was like slap that like button like Chris Rock, I believe. Uh, like, yeah, like Will Smith hit uh, – or Will Smith that Will Smith that like button. That's what people have said. Too. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not that cool, guys. Uh, yeah. None, none of us are. You're gonna fit right in. Um, <laughs> let's see here. That was very nice of you to say. Ankin Dabrol. Amber seems to have pulled a lot of recent references. Weinstein, Epstein, Trump, Manson. This can't be a coincidence. Also, the one photo they did not show might be held for later for impact. It's a mistake to me if they held a photo right there. I noted it and I said, oh, you don't got anything. Next. Uh, And yeah, they're definitely using references. She's running an embellished pop culture kind of testimony. Uh, So I I don't know. We'll see how it plays. Uh, Twani Prabhu, I love how the Indian media is covering this. Very factual, using terms like alleged by Amber and headlines, etc. Hogue, add more countries to your review. Fair enough. I had no idea what the stream was going to look like. Uh, and we'll do we'll do headlines in different ways as we move forward. So I did, I think, five articles. Uh, and uh, that's like four too many uh, to get done while the sun is up. Uh, so no, we'll, 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 we will see how that. I will absolutely take that into account uh, and see if I can find some Indian articles. That sounds awesome. I love seeing how it is, is handling globally. That is, that is a great idea. Mm-hmm. Hope for Prez. I cannot believe my $100 super chat got skipped. I'm crying. <laughs> It didn't get skipped. I just didn't elevate it because I didn't see it. I just talked about that a little back ago. Don't cry. Don't cry. I just to talk about it. You are very, very nice and very generous. I'm just not as good as Alita of like saying, oh, that's that's a big one. And then doing like this <laughs> thing where it's different buttons. I'm I'm desperately worried as I hit all these buttons that I'm just going to say, like, leave the studio and like everything's gone. Um, Amanda Lucero, Hogue, you should watch that Pop and Planet video where he interviews JD's condo neighbor about Amber Heard, James Franco, Amber Heard's book, etc. Good interview. I think there really might be just a hog reacts to random stuff he didn't know while the trial was going on uh, <laughs> after after all this. Uh, Joshua Arbor, I would love to hear Rob's approach to an Amber Heard cross. Rob, got any ideas? Uh, with a guy, it's a little chal- it's a little more challenging. You'd probably have to go in there a little softer, but I would be pretty direct with it and honestly find a way to alienate Amber from the jury pretty quickly. Uh, find the most solid lie you have. Go after that. Hit that one. And then keep her jumping around the timeline so you confuse her as you're going through these things because she's going to mix stories up between the between the different things. Uh, that it does seem likely. She seemed to mix them up just going flat straight through the timeline, didn't she? Yep. And then uh, cut her off respectfully as she's answering because she's going to try and spin. I like it. I like your thesis. I like it BQ five 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 in on no non parties depositions. Please explain when happened. Oops. Anybody? In. Yeah, I should try to say I.O. Non, no non-party depots. Please explain what happened. I think I have to skip this one. If I can flag it later, I will do it. Uh, I apologize. I don't know what that means. Thank you for the super chat. Caroline, no question. Just want to thank you guys for your coverage of the trial. Very grateful. That's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Helena T, for psych of Cav Search, there are the three fundamentals of traumatic experience. Fight, flight, or freeze. You can fight 
uh, throw things or freeze and disassociate. Yeah, I, I think it's fair to yeah. say we, we can't judge it on, on just, like what we think somebody should do. Absolutely. Yeah. And a very true observation. Lauren B, can someone put uh, Veritaserum in, in the pumpkin juice? We almost got through it without a Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. man. It was seven hours and 16 minutes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's Alita would never record. stand for this seven hour mark up here for the first Harry Potter never. reference. Never. Uh, Helgi Finar, I think, I hope. Mm -hmm. R rumor has it Amber spoke about Rocky as her best at the time, meaning not anymore. Yes, that's what she said. Because Amber hit her and Rocky left her side. We have no idea what happened to them, I don't think. So that it's, it's presented as like a dark secret. Elizabeth Taylor, scientist here. One, Hogue, the amount of primary research misinterpreted by media is absurd. No mm -hmm. kidding. Mm -hmm. Two, I wish I had time to make chart comparing timelines reported in UK, testimony, audio, texts, and photos. Yeah, I, even the testimony alone would have like two different worlds. Then you get people interpreting it from there. Then from there, this is why I like this is why I like the headlines idea. Uh, so thank you so much. Absolutely. So much misinterpretation. Phil Jones, Disney is tanking. Elon buys while stock is down. Rehires Johnny Depp as Captain Jack. New management. Johnny agrees for a thousand alpacas. Makes Amber Heard the tour guide in Fantasyland. Well, as long as we're talking about Fantasyland, it sounds like it fits the bill. Yep. Although, although Musk and Depp, I, I wonder if they're like on any kind of decent terms after everything well, that happened. Wasn't there allegations that Amber did not treat Mr. Musk as respectfully as she should have? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there are. There are. But there was also some double dipping during the relationship, I think. Yeah. I don't know. There was a big line on the paper that said that there was no double dipping, Alita. I mean, I thought the, the testimony was rather clear there. No? So there's a line. You see yeah. the line there, counsel? The line. There was a line in the intimate, on the intimate relationships page. Yes, and no subheader saying friends, no. non non romantic. <laughs> I don't see another label there. Do you, Doctor? <laughs> that was a good remark. Uh, yeah, it sure was. Um, hey, Jill, Elaine seemed confused when she denied writing on the mirror. Thanks for the coverage, folks. Yeah, that was noted by the she panel. She was. She was. <laughs> that that was. And you what know did what? I say? Though I for, don't know. For anyone commenting about Elaine and her style. Her recovery right there tells you how good of an attorney she is. It, you had to be staring at her to catch that she missed that 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 threw her off. I, I will I will tell you flat out, I didn't notice. So that's good on everybody else. Absolutely. I did not notice until you guys brought it up. Simon Tupper, my reasoning for the actor comment, I do not believe Depp is making stuff up. A born actor is someone magnetic uh, magnetic and fascinating without trying too hard. It's subtle seduction, and it's the making of a great actor. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Well, I don't think there's any question Johnny Depp's a fantastic actor. Uh, so, yeah, he he uh, he drew that entire courtroom in and was joking with him when, they when he was responding to objections himself, uh, hearsay papers, and the rest. So, however you want to characterize that, he's got it there's there's no yeah. question and amber heard does not appear to uh so the far. volume the volume of his voice and this is something that's kind of funny from the law tube guys as well but the volume of his voice has all of us leaning a little bit closer and it's it's just that subtlety that like makes him so compelling like that stuff he was the first witness that made us all shut up <laughs> we were super quiet that was it is true it, it is true that, that was noticeable when it happened um, yep. But yeah, but it's, it's almost like he's a he's he's both weird and quiet and a logic puzzle because you're like, OK, you, you started this answer here. How are we getting to where you think an answer lives uh, to that question? <laughs> and he I mostly get did there. it. Yeah, yeah mostly. Uh, Jade Man Finest, do you think they they will bring in the makeup artist for rebuttal who stated that she was with her on the 16th yet did not see any bruising? Very possibly. Mm -hmm. Alita tells us she is on the list. Samantha Desporte, didn't Amber say her favorite color lipstick is red when she was talking about having to cover the busted lip? Did anyone else immediately think of the red lipstick on the mirror? I don't think there's any question she wrote that. Yeah. That, I, it's, that. it's the weirdest thing, but it's because she's committed to a story where she's asleep. I think. And why, so, and why talk about the red lipstick? Like, why highlight that, that you had to wear the red lipstick? That was massive, stupid move. Yeah. There's the details. It's all the also, details. 
Also, um, when Dr. Hughes was on there and she had red red nail polish, I was like, mm, reminding me of the red nail polish on the tissue. What a case. We got to We got. We, we I end hope. all this in May with a claimed, completely faked situation with red nail polish substituting for blood. Honestly, like, like I, um. Wearing red nail polish as one of the attorneys in courtrooms sometimes might be too much for 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 trial appearances as one of the attorneys. But on closing, I think if I'm Camille Vasquez, I would risk it. Just put the red nail polish on. Stand right I'd up. Wear a red, red, I'd wear a red blouse. blouse. A gray gray pantsuit, red blouse. Yeah, yeah. That'll... And then and then and then red nails. Just pop yep. the red nails. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all, you you litigators are devious. With the red lip, no trials, trials like that, man. It's they are, theater. they are theater. They really are. I, I actually have a trick where during these recesses, I have two notepads. Yeah. On one notepad, I will have written down completely useless things or something that is a red herring, and I will during a break, during a bathroom break, I'll leave that notepad out on my desk, and I'll come back, and depending on whether something comes up within the next five minutes or ten minutes. I will know whether my opposing party is being shady or not. Yeah, Rob, it would be unethical to look at that notepad. It would be. And it's a great way to find out if people are. Wow. I am both super impressed and somewhat frightened by uh, by the, the litigation uh, sausage making. Uh, it's, uh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, Zofia Gasha, question, what if Amber Heard contradicts herself during... During her own redirect, wouldn't be great. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't be a big win for the herd team. That would be what we would call the worst case scenario for Amber Heard. <laughs> you do wonder so many details. It's like, ah. how do you keep it straight? <laughs> Joey, do you think the judge being upset with Elaine and publicly striking Amber's testimony will have an effect on the jury at all? I mean, I think they noticed it was going poorly uh, in terms of objections and that kind of thing. I think the most, I, it, what I took away from it the most was that Amber herself was going off on tangents. I don't blame Elaine that much because um, Amber was just going in various directions and then there'd be a hearsay or whatever. And she tried to reel her in. I mean, she did. She did. Elaine did. I mean, she was flat out coaching her and that was fine to some extent because she was going to just keep doing that. Um, so, Rosie Bibby, I stopped watching about three hours ago. Sure, it's understandable. Surprised to see you still going strong. Here's a small bit of source from a crowd of one. Crowdsourcing of one. You're so nice. Hey. Thank you, there you go. Adam Costco, do you think it would have been a more winning strategy for Amber to confess she exaggerated the level of abuse, but still say Johnny hit her a few times? I mean, and ideally, you don't even have to say that, but presumably you're locked into prior testimony or depositions or things is to try to get out in front of that. I don't know. Maybe. If you look like you're trying to game it too much, that's not going to look good anyway. Um. I don't know. This certainly strains credibility as presented right now. Uh, Pedro Marquez, did you guys notice on those interactions between PR and AH's lawyer and Dr. Hughes on the Popcorn Planet video? Any comments on this? Not watching it yet. Might do comments on outside materials after the trial. Zosha, question. What if Amber, uh, somehow that one came back? It would be bad. Sometimes I hit wrong buttons. That is also no, I bad. Think, I think sometimes it comes through twice. Oh, okay. I've, I've noticed that in, in mine. And, yeah, and no pain receptors either, apparently. Uh, shrug emoji, shaking my head. I don't know why I act out the emojis. This is the value you can get <laughs> over here. Uh, Jiki's 101, CV is like a cat stalking prey when she objects. Uh, she, she seems lethal. She presents yes. lethality. Uh, JH, thank you for the super chat. Abby Lee, Alita, I sent you a link to a recording of them on Instagram. It's credible enough for him to win, but it's not in the trial. Excuse me. How is that so? Um, well, it's because I think I think the, the thing that, that's kind of tripping people up is you kind of have to follow the progression. Normally, the recordings should not be admitted at all, any of the recordings, the ones of Johnny and Amber, because in each of them, you undoubtedly have one person who does not know that they are being recorded. And so um, California recording laws mean that that should not come into evidence like that in California would not come into evidence. So the agreement that they, that they made in order to have some of these come in um, is that, that the two parties agreed that 
if the recording is just Johnny and Amber, then it can come in. So it's it's like they've they've kind of expanded an exception to the rule for allowing the other ones with Johnny and Amber, but I I think that they just were not willing to expand it far enough to allow recordings of all of these other individuals, and I think part Which of it is, is a consent issue. Doesn't make sense for the Australia one because the Australia recording would not be subject to California restrictions. It'd be subject to yeah. California restrictions or, well, or Australia restrictions, right? If right. Any. But Australia might also be a one party recording jurisdiction um but also they may have just decided we'll just make this decision across the board regardless of where it was recorded it's also possible yeah yeah just a flat stipulation yeah exactly yeah. just to, just to make things simpler because i i imagine they were going around in circles over this issue for a long time uh samia sanchez jd tim jd johnny depp time Tax for support. No further comments till end of trial. Will Kant to work on clearing JD name? Thoughts? Hmm. Will continue to work on clearing JD's yep. name? Yep. Definitely continue to work on clearing JD's JD name. JD team. Thanks Maybe. for the support. No further comments till end of trial. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So she, I think this is just saying that they they might have had a statement after the statement fight that says we're not ah, making any okay. more statements. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. We all worked through that together. Thank you, Samia. I think that's what this is saying. So I'll look for that. Um, and that, yeah, that would be interesting. I don't, I don't think it really wore terribly well on either side. Uh, so don't, don't do that councils. Don't, don't do that PR. Uh, so that would be, that would be good. I would actually like to hear that. I mean, the judge told you to shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Linda Poulin, you don't have to act when you're telling the truth. Kind of, but you are still focused on presenting yourself in a, you know, heck when we're on here, you're, trying to look at the camera and do various things. So I think when you've got $150 million on the line, I, you, you are concerned about how your truth is being told, I think. So yes, but the broad strokes, you don't have to worry quite as much if you're telling the truth. Yeah. Charlotte Webb, question, since this is civil, is Johnny Depp having to pay the court to hear the case? Thanks for making boring Saturday chores better. Uh, I mean, he, Rob, you tell me. He would have had to pay court fees to bring it. Yeah, and it I think it's like 380 bucks or something like that is the filing fee for this. Um, but the costs that he's incurring are in the attorneys, in the depositions, in the transcripts, and all the above. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a service the state provides. Virginian taxpayers can consider it well. well. <laughs> but if you if you do if you lose a jury trial and yeah. um, you actually have to pay for the jury. So whatever Jury's that time? nominal, whatever that nominal cost is, I don't remember what the cost is, but you have to pay for the jury. Because you could have waived it. Yep. The jury's time. Thank you, Hogue, for clarifying that. You are not paying for or paying the jury. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hogue the Prez, does jury deliberate over weekend and Memorial Day holiday until decision is made or does it, is that off? That's Virginia. What's the deal, Rob? That's, that's off. They're not. They're no weekends. Nope. They're going to come back on Tuesday. Okay. I was going to say it, it. It's dependent based on jurisdiction. I think. Yeah. Yep. So, and and woe to woe to the lawyer that suggests sequestering them over Memorial Day weekend. Seriously, you don't, you don't want them to know it was your side. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. You want to lose your case? Go ahead. Uh. A's Pretty Little Life. Sent you clip links to Twitter DMs, Hogue. I will check it out. I love it that you guys do that for me. Thank you. Salcantos, where can I find you all covering Rittenhouse? I think we'd all that be on, on Nick's stream. That was on Nick Ricada. So you can go to Ricada Law back from November. You can catch yep. us on there. He's He undoubtedly still has all those streams up. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you sort for like popular, you're going you're gonna to pop into Rittenhouse. Uh, mm -hmm. So definitely check it out. Coach Karen, enter at your own risk, Amica Cream test area. With, with oh, I see for the jurors. Sure, yeah. Yep. Like that's based on my company. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yep. Jennifer we got Mark. Amica Cream Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about Amica Cream. All of a sudden, all the jurors walk out, all seven of them. They all have black <laughs> eyes. <laughs> we had to a verdict in favor of Johnny Depp. You're on 20 minutes. <laughs> it didn't cover anything. <laughs> It didn't cover anything. <laughs> and then someone throws a compact across the courtroom. This is bullshit. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, these are these are dramatic endings to the case. I like it. I like it. Uh, Jennifer Marks, what would happen if Amber Heard and her legal team discussed her testimony during the break? Uh, I think Rob's current vote is there would be a monetary penalty unless it just really, really broke things. Yeah. Scorpion, Rob, hearts emoji, do gone girl, watch for first video. He's dreamy. Tongue out, wink emoji. <laughs> Thank you for elaborating on the emojis on that one, Hogue. <laughs> I got your back, Rob. Chris Martinez, I thought this week long break in the case, I would finally be productive, but you guys sent me back in on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Every time good work. I get out, yeah, they, me they too. bring me, me right too. back me in. <laughs> I'm having fun with you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Fred Migliorini. Uh, Fred Migliorini. Severance chips would solve the jury researching issue. Severance chips. Like chips in your phone that sever internet connection? Oh, is that a thing? I don't know. I'm speculating, <laughs> but it could be. I mean, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You just, uh, you're not allowed to look up anything at all. You're monitored by the court. Yeah. You also want to guarantee you're losing your case. Suggest yeah. that to the jury. It, I, I hope it's de minimis, but see, the jury's going to see some stuff. Uh, Connie Van Lu, thank you for the super sticker. Ines Sab Sabanovic, I'm so used to you guys. I'm going to miss you when this is when this is over. We're going to find never, a way. To it's stay. never going to be over. It's never going to be over. Hey, We're going to find a way to stay and hang out. We like of each other. Of course, too much. we'll find we'll find more 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 stuff to talk about. Five bags of popcorn. Please review the Tim Heidecker trial. Love you. Uh, I'll look into it. Parul. Srivastava, just heard the recordings of the Australia incident. Sounds like a bloodbath. You guys should definitely hear it. I hope to in the trial. B, I see Amber unaliving herself if JD wins and she wants to truly no. ruin his life. I, I, hope, I hope not. not. That's not, not okay. I no one, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no one needs that. For crying out loud, will there be one bed or varying bed types, Rob? How, are we doing multiple beds? I actually had thought about that as well. So we're going to do two different two different styles man we got spoiler alerts for your content here i tell you and what you're gonna get some wood guesses on what the bed is made of and i'm gonna try to replicate the exact wood and structure this is a good premise rob i'm looking forward to your channel um just make sure you can get it out sometime this week because it'll yeah. it'll it'll blow up but you you need you need time for for recording it for figuring out what you're gonna say obviously recording it editing it and then getting it out. So, because the render process, upload process, that all takes more time than you would think. Scorpion, <laughs> maybe sis got sick before Cross after having to lie on Johnny Depp. Lie, lie about Johnny Depp, I think. Yeah. Carolina F., content idea for next week. Explain Amber Heard witnesses and what they can bring to the table. Also possible rebuttal people for Johnny Depp and why them. That's more of a content mm -hmm. idea for Alita. But you never know. Okay. Okay. Allison White. Question. Many saying Johnny Depp should not have aired Dirty Laundry and that he is damaging himself by the suit. She would not have stopped. NDA in place. And she still wrote the op-ed. Your thoughts. I think it's a little bit unfair to say that you hurt yourself by challenging what would be an injustice if it's not true. Um, right? So I, I'm never going to... If if Amber Heard is lying and Johnny Depp is... Um, trying to defend himself with the legal tools at his disposal. I'm just not going to hold that against him, even if it winds up being a bigger deal uh, because of it. Mm -hmm. Bad TV, bad one. What is Foundation? Uh, it's an Isaac Asimov book about a set of future historians that can predict the outcomes of the human race in a far distant future. I thought it was a cosmetic that you put on on the underlayment of other makeup to actually mm -hmm. balance things out. Rob's answer. It's also, it's correct. also the structure upon which you build a house. I actually thought you were going to give the legitimate legal answer. <laughs> <laughs> foundation, foundation is how somebody knows something. Right. So the witness, you say to the witness, <laughs> no, well, yeah. what did the murder scene look like? And it's your first question. And you go, Oh, hold on. We have to establish who this person is, whether they're at the murder scene. How would they, they know what them. that looks like? How, how, how do we know that they can even answer that question? Basically is, is what that foundation objection gets at. Yeah, that's You've right. got to walk them back a few steps. We got to do some work. 
Uh, get that yeah. in the record. Yeah. Oh, if you had an editor, I'd say clip that because that was perfect. It's <laughs> a good sequence, huh? We'll put a, we can do a YouTube clip. I just have to find it. It's seven thirty four forty. No worries. <laughs> if my editor is watching, he 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 might he might want to clip it. <laughs> Wrong answers only. Lita's editor. I don't know how full up you on work you are. You want to try out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what? How about this? Send in super chats. We'll answer wrong answers only. <laughs> now that's a very specific stream. All right. The model of this is we're trying to going to answer humorously to anything that you ask us. Let's go. Got it. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry. I was just trying to catch some uh, stragglers there. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I believe about AH's testimony is the fact that JD was an extremely jealous boyfriend and husband. The texts also support that. Sorry, you don't have money. It's super chat. No worries. I try to highlight them when I see them. Thank you so much for the chat and involvement and engagement in the channel. Uh, Scorpion says, Rob, Ita uh, Italy, I believe. It Italy girl, red wine and whiskey. Sad face tear. I'm in California. Canada. <laughs> I don't get the flags. That's still <laughs> California. I think it's Italian slash Irish girl. Okay. Red wine and whiskey. I'm in Canada. I just, Alina, that's, that's a much better reading. I kind of said the things in order, uh, but like, a, but it's, like, it's like so an alien harder. on earth. It's so much harder when you're the one hosting because you're having to manage so many things all at once. So yeah, yeah, it, I, I get it. Place. And you're place. getting to about that hour where Alita starts getting goofy. Hey. 7.37, we're, we're almost there. I got, yep. I got, when I got up this morning, this is not what I saw happening. Uh, Marie Holman, you need to listen to Australia audio ASAP. Like right now. Stop and listen with all of us. Informed overload transcribes it. I cannot. He's, he's not allowed to. He but I appreciate, is not allowed to. I appreciate folks telling me there's good stuff there. I am interested. Dougie Fresh. Do you guys actually believe the jury is not going to look at stuff during this long break? Talk with friends. Guarantee you that they are. I am hopeful it is de minimis and not prejudicial to the process. But yes, there will be some stuff. I can just tell you, like, it, like if Mr. Bites were on the jury, he would be super anxious about not about like running into something. Like he would he would lock himself up with like a a, a book, like a real book in front of him, and not look at his phone ever. And he would be super anxious about it. Mr. Bites is also, forgive me for presuming, but military, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So he's pretty disciplined. Normal humans, yes. not that disciplined. I suppose. Uh, well, I, I, it's very impressive. It's like, I get it for the weekend. I think that's a struggle enough, but like 10 days, man. <laughs> also to Mr. Bites, if you're listening or if you're in passing, thank you for your service. We love you. <laughs> we love Mr. Bites. He's a video gamer. Yep. Supports yep. legal bites. It's good stuff. Yep. He's a good guy. I like good, him. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm very glad to, I'm very glad to hear keep, it. Prob probably keep him. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think I will. Okay. <laughs> you know what the answer to that's supposed to be? Yeah. Out back. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was, uh, that was a bad joke. Hassan Abu Zaid. <laughs> Anything to keep you awesome folks longer on the screen. That is very generous of you. Thank you. <laughs> Archmage Raven, assuming you had no outside info and evidence and were on the jury at this time, would you give the win to Johnny Depp at this point? This exact point? I don't have it's enough to remember her. It's not a fair I'm, I'm unwilling to give you a verdict. So, no, not me. I, would you guys award JD a win if the Amber Heard team just dropped everything? It's an inherently flawed question. <clears throat> and I don't mean that as any disrespect to the person who sent it because they were very generous in doing so. But it's not fair for us to make a judgment at this point at all to either party. We just don't have enough info. I want more of that sweet, sweet information. I do. Uh, but thank you so much for the super chat. Tara Strachan, is each side limited in time for questions? Yeah, we got a, we got like a, I don't know, like scoreboard from the judge the other day. So they're both in the 20 hours or so left in, in variations of that. Bonnie T, question two. Uh, nightgown in Australia, same as doctor gift? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Depp passes out Amber Heard trash. Ha Trash's house blames JD in Australia. Maybe. Amber Heard causes Jason Momoa divorce. Amber Heard energy vampire, witch or Satanist? 
Okay, so that was escalating. That escalated nicely. I think the last one is supposed to have an R between the O and the E. Ah, I see. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yes. Uh, I don't know the answer to any of those questions, uh, but there's I think certainly the last, a lot of- The last several questions especially are totally speculative and there's zero information coming out of this trial to suggest anything yay or nay on those questions. <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> The Australian audio has some arguably damning stuff, but everyone is judging it based on a video which uses speech bubbles to ID speakers and makes assumptions about noises. Amber stomps off. Totally fair. This is this is Amber. why you get these reports. Like I get the report that, oh, Amber had a dog out the window. It's like it's like a cuddly little dog yep. this on, the, on the window. This is also why the transcript question was not allowing transcripts. That's why transcripts are not allowed because audio provides context. Transcripts do not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... We'll hear it or we won't in the trial, but I'll definitely check it out at some point. Definitely. Uh, uh, Christiane, uh, who are you going to believe your lying eyes or St. Amber? She does present herself very innocent. <laughs> Living sweetly, I feel great concern for her child's well-being, given her abusive behaviors, volatility, lack of restraint and judgment. Can or will the authorities get involved to ensure the child's safety, etc.? Not based on this trial, I don't think. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we all hope for the best for her child. No question. And to anyone in the chat, do not contact anybody about anything, period. Like that's, that is, people suggested that before. No, 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 no. CPS, no. Don't contact them. If you don't have firsthand knowledge of abuse, stay out of it. Yep. Agreed. I concur. Agreed. Edta, super sticker. Thank you so much. Lori Lights, Hughes wrote IPV from Johnny on her paperwork. Wasn't that, that was a good point from Dennison. When questioned, said nothing from Amber Heard's childhood crossed it, uh, caused it. Have you ever heard of any psychologist discounting childhood trauma? She kind of added it back in. There, there were good points in that cross-exam that are like, that document is clearly based on the fact that you've already determined she has PTSD. And I'm not saying that's illegitimate. She says that. Hughes says that, that she'd already decided that. And then the CAPS-5 comes <laughs> in seemingly to counter um, the, the name escapes me, the psychologist, Dr. Curry's uh, from, from the depths team, but yeah, I, it was not a great document and Dennison did a good job pointing it out. Carol Ann R I'm a DV victim and I could barely lift my head up in court. It's humiliating. Sad mm. face. I hear you. Very I'm, sorry. I'm very yeah. sorry. Isaac Baruch is wholesome. Gabagool art. Hogue, could you walk in heels at all? Ooh, $200 super chat to get Hogue to walk in heels. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to take my word for it. My camera's just facing my chair. Um, no, I I, uh, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. I think I'd fall over. Thank you for the question. <laughs> Danger UXO, what would be all of your strategies if you were cross-examining Amber Heard? We got Rob's. Thanks, love, yep. everyone's channel and commentary. I I think what's really necessary is to attack a specific incident and then and then, and then go from there. So I think the one thing that I definitely really agree with Rob on is I think what he's, he's, he said something like, pick your best lie, like pick, pick your strongest thing that you can blow a hole open in. And I think that's, I would, I would hammer that because I don't think you're ever going to get to every possible thing she says is, has to be false. So you have to establish that she's yeah. prone to falseness and then kind of have that fire back at everything else that she says. Yeah. I would, I would either, I would either start with the strongest ones and go from there or or have some some form of a ramp up where you end with your strongest ones. Yeah, that makes sense too. That makes sense those, too. Yeah. I mean, I'd be interested if I could see her going along with me somehow. I mean, she 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 clearly thinks very highly of herself. She's I mean, prone. Like, she's prone to speaking out of turn. Yeah. Um, so it, yeah. it's the bookend rule: start mm -hmm. strong, end strong. Yeah. 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 People remember beginnings and endings. You all have mm -hmm. a saying for that. It's like primacy and recency. <laughs> That's how I feel about movie reviews. So, you know, makes and sense to the, me. The Shirovsky, the Shirovsky cross, cross was, that was it to a T. I mean, it was yep. perfect. That last, yes. that last sentence, the last question. Yep. Yep. Jeremy Moore, thoughts on Amber Heard's team anticipating Johnny Depp's team objecting to the abuse picks due to the metadata epic fail on Amber Heard's team when they didn't? Uh, I guess. When, when, when Vasquez just is like, we're cool. Send them in. <laughs> no, those those also. I don't. I think some of the more controversial ones are not yet in. Mm. <clears throat> the more controversial ones are from that May. The and Alita, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're from the twenty, the May twenty first, the birthday incident. 
all those photos are the ones that are really the questionable ones. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So they might not have been surprised by that. Certainly, I, Vasquez was almost eager to put the bed photo in. <laughs> oh, we're cool. We're cool, Your Honor. Send it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, and Rob also, Morton, it's, it's signals surprise to the... guest witness. <laughs> that's right. No, but, but it also signals to the jury we don't care about this. This is, this is, you're going to see, this doesn't prove anything. Yeah, we're totally fine with it. Last of the Yahoos, what if any thoughts do you have on if Amber Heard first established the healing? She has had in the last six years made her testimony more compelling. Thumbs up, Rob. Uh, she first established like really good healing powers. I mean, if she first talked about how her injuries healed, uh, uh, I don't know. I've it, always still... healed very quickly from injuries. Um, maybe. Could help. Yeah. Maybe it's the emotional stuff too. Because the thing is, the healing can have two meanings here. The healing can be that she has physically healed and therefore you wouldn't see anything, or emotionally, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. JD, oh, thank you for all your gaming news coverage. Journals and gaming media spin so much, and the clarity you provide helps us all. That's the dream. I just want more and better information out there, folks. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Samantha Desporte, is there an evidence list? I must see crying, happy, laughing face. There is. All right. On the Fairfax County website. Um, I'll, I'll link to the Fairfax County um, website here. Perfect. Skytron. You see a broken nose for at least over one week and the holes are clogged up for at least more than one day. She was on James Corden the next evening. Yep. Quest questioning fingers on chin. Love and respect. Yeah. Heart. How did you get that emoji? Do you have like a, is there like a, a you want, do you have a list next to you? <laughs> Wait, what? She, he, wants said, the, have, he wants to question that, or something. Have you never used that emoji? No, I've never described that emoji. Oh, <clears throat> I would, I would call that chin stroking emoji. But I didn't have to look at it to like, I, I'm this far away. I can't see the emoji. Okay. The ho goes. Fingers crushing on chin. I'm like instantly going, that's the emoji. <laughs> like I said, I love the circle. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I think you're absolutely right. A lot of questionable stuff about that timeline. And a live stream roulette. Good motivation for subbing. Thank you. Exactly. Bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> Amber Heard testified she felt a square-shaped bottle inserted into her V after she saw the pick of the liquor bottles and then added that she didn't realize it until the pick was submitted two days ago. I think that's exploding smiley head emoji times three. Uh, hang on one second. If you could talk on that. Mm -hmm. uh, that entire testimony made me really uncomfortable. Like all of it. Because it just, I, I couldn't. Yeah. And if there are women on the jury, I don't know how they process that testimony. Yeah, that's super hard. I did get a note from uh, my co-counsel here in Hogue House uh, who says that the proper description of that emoji with the with the chin is, hmm. <laughs> the um, hmm the fact emoji. that co-counsel is coming in with notes, love to Mrs. Hogue. Yeah. Mrs. Hogue's pretty rad. She's pretty <laughs> cool. I like Mrs. Hogue. Oh, I'm, I'm getting notes from... Oh, okay. I have a note from my, my co-counsel. Are we going to hang out? I was looking forward to Mac and Cheesies. <laughs> uh, you are more than welcome to, Alita. We're making good headway, but we still got a little bit. So okay. if okay. Mr. Bites I, needs Mac I and I think I might, I might need to dip out and finally spend some time with Mr. Bites. <laughs> I, you did more Mr. than Bites, Mr. Bites, kudos on delivering the note, dude. Great move. Great move. <laughs> you did. It was like perfect timing, too. <laughs> yep. We got, right. got co-counsel and notes all over the place. Alita. <laughs> Uh, Legal Bites is where you should find her. We're going to be doing Johnny Depp. She's going to be doing more stuff this week. She's going to be probably bouncing around law tube. I, I, I don't know what she's got in store for us. It's going to be great. She's one of the best forces on YouTube, period, on the internet, period. Please do check out her channel if you haven't already. I suspect many of you that are already here have. Uh, but like, subscribe over there. Go enjoy Mac and Cheese and your husband, who you barely see because of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. 
Uh, and thank you so, so much for coming on for as long as you did. I yeah, never, I, of course. it's almost eight hours. I never planned on any of this. So thank you so much. Same. I remember thinking, I was like, oh, am I going to make it if I'm like an hour late? <laughs> I, w- I, I was like the same. I thought, well, maybe I'll go an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, no, thanks so much for having me. And thanks so much for coming on to my channel, both of you guys so much over the last few weeks. Um, and, um, tomorrow I think, I think good logic was planning on having a live stream. I don't know if he realized it was mother's day. So if that changes, I don't know, but otherwise I'm planning to be on his channel for that too. So, um, anyhow, yeah, I will, I'll see you guys later. Fantastic. Good note, All Mr. Right, Bites. All right. Mac and cheese, yeah. mac and cheese. Yep. yep. <laughs> Bye guys. Goodbye. All right, Rob, you're stuck with me. Yep. But we're making good headway. You got it. I'm not, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see what we got here. Just did bing bong. Thank you so much. Window to the soul. Amber heard it was the most savage beating you could ever imagine. I can prove it. Shows a picture of a table. Hmm. Emoji. Yeah. There was yep. a little bit of that going on. Definitely. Yep. Erica Korea, you can get a dual monitor arm when you get a second screen if your monitors are compatible. Saves a lot of desk space. Also love the channel. All right. I will look into reformations of the whole space. All right, folks? Yep. I, will, I will do my best. Johnny Jack, ho, get an ultra wide monitor and use your current as chat. I heard you first on Sacred Symbols and glad to hear your comments on the trial. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're talking all about PlayStation stuff at Sacred Symbols. Enjoy daily gaming. There's a character in Project Zomboid that teaches carp vids. He talks about breaking his bed. Pretty cute. There's lore built in that carpenters are love, I think. Oh, so, thank you. It's very interesting. <laughs> uh mr cut and paste to add to the crazy town narrative leaving australia she buys a couple uh, self-help book also the bottle was maker's mark with that cut red plastic and we got hmms we got crazies we got uh, monocle face uh so yeah i mean her testimony immediately goes i'm looking to you know fix the marriage or whatever it's like uh, after that story, i didn't catch the self-help book testimony but that's interesting yeah dougie fresh beginning of closing Jesse Smollett faked a hate crime to further his career. Amber Heard is the sequel with a rap added to it. Do not fall for it. Boom, case over. Ooh, not bad. Thank you, Fresh. There, well, you go. Well, there you go. Ryan Mark Camilleri. Hogue, you are a Trekkie. Nice, Trekkie myself. Well, <clears throat> a fairly narrow one. I love the I love the next generation. Don't much love the modern stuff uh, as much. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Measure of man, nothing better. Phil Jones. I read tea is good for detox. Can they call Kate Moss if she has been following yet one witness removed because of it? So Kate Moss, I think, is on the witness list for rebuttal. Tea probably is good for detox. Tea is awesome. Um, and then a witness was potentially removed. I think that might be Whitney. Um, but... No, the witness, they're they're talking about um, uh, Gina Duders, who was, who was taken out of the courtroom when she was mid-testimony. And they're trying to imply that Kate Moss could have been observing this. And oh. would be somehow biased in one way or the other. I, I, I can't imagine if the scope of Kate Moss's testimony is that limited. I don't see how her watching any of this can impact the testimony itself. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, we don't quite know why Ben is so excited, but he was so excited. I mean, there's no question yep. about that. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, co-gamer, didn't the O.J. Simpson trial also have a car chase that was televised across the country? I've only heard about it via uh, later TV programs while I was young. Oh, yeah. Oh, as, as a sports fan, us. as a sports fan, we got the white Bronco chase essentially during the NBA finals. The slowest, uh, the slowest car chase in all of history. Yeah, but we, we did. It was and, and at that point, especially those like finals games, championship games, like very, very popular. And like everybody saw it at once. It was one of those like zeitgeist type things. Uh, I don't even know if you could replicate that. Maybe with a Super Bowl chase. Uh, but yeah, it was big, big, big deal. Like all anybody talked about all summer. Uh, Genie one four five nine hundred. Love the streams. Love. Can't wait for Law Tube karaoke or any game stream. Please get excited about that. Any game stream. I, I'm not hosting Law Tube karaoke. Maybe I'll leave that to Rob. I, mean, <laughs> I need a better. I need a better microphone. Like I'm. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Dealey Mew, I asked about this last night. Media is wild right now. Flabber's still gassy. Glad you're going over these. Totally is. That's why I wanted to talk about them. I love that stuff. Maybe I'll do this maybe uh, once a week. Um, yeah, and I got your Flabber still gassed comment this time. Rob got it this time. 
I did. Thank Third you. Third time to charm. You. Awesome. <laughs> Amanda Lucero, Serenity, lol, it is a real chat. If he's making a video of breaking the bed, he should make one of making it. Yep, absolutely. Michael Thomas, have jury duty the last week of trial. Glad the courthouse has Wi-Fi so I can stream you all while I wait. I, man, I got stripped of everything when I was getting uh, prepped for jury duty. Please sure no case is as interesting as this. I'm pretty sure? Yeah, probably true. Probably true. I wasn't allowed to have a cell phone in the, wait, in the waiting room. Uh, Sarah Oakley, question Rob, gavel for logo? Do you have a lathe? Love you all. Lathe yep. is in the, lathe is in the uh, to be acquired. The question is where I put it. And no gavel for logo. We're still working on that one. All right. James, Amber Heard testified about never using MDMA and said she was hazy about how JD injured his finger, yet the Oz audio disproves both. Perjury? I don't think she said she never used MDMA. Um, she just implies that she's very innocent in her substance abuse. Uh, she's definitely hazy about how JD injured his finger, but haziness, probably not perjury. She's also probably lying about some aspects of that. KTB, if Johnny Depp loses, one can abuse partner until other defends themselves, then legally destroy their life with accusations of abuse. That shouldn't be legal. Yeah, you could potentially you are, that framework. Yep, you're correct. Anna D, hi, why is this trial public and live? So the court systems themselves get to decide when and how they're made public. All trials in the United States are public. Uh, it's just a matter of um, uh, whether or not they're broadcast to you. And I believe, if I'm remembering Alita correctly, the argument for this particular trial was that it would have had too many people that wanted to go to it. And so it yeah. should be broadcast out into the world. Yeah, correct. Joanne, these lives are giving me life. Aspiring law student here, awesome. Thank you for this. Love you all. Hearts, peas. Rob's hotness is a chef's kiss on every live. Pink heart emoji. Thanks, Rob, for adding to this channel's hotness. You are welcome. Thank you. Freddie, you Freddie Michael Voorhees. As a non-Trekkie, despite owning the box set of the original movies and Mama being a Trekkie, sorry, Ma, even I know Measure of a Man, and it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, watch Measure of a Man. If you take nothing else away from this, this chat, Measure of a Man, absolutely. Holy heck, you're still going. Respect and rewatching. I, yeah. Michael Sanger, respectfully requesting you guys step up your game, asking how can you not be interested in this and not having checked out the uh, the Australia audio. Amber Heard Priors makes you look much worse than you are. Not allowed to. He has to <laughs> view this as if he is the jury. You know what? You want to ask about the Amber Heard Australia audio? Go to Alita. Ask her. I think she's heard it. But Rick cannot watch this stuff. He's not allowed to. This is the value I add. Is, is by reminding folks what is not in the trial. Yes. <laughs> yes, and we, we actually we actually need this. As the panel, we actually need this to be able to comment on what we're seeing given his perspective. So please stop pressuring him to do things that he, the trial has not done. I will watch it afterwards. I will watch it afterwards. I think it's very interesting that so many people are adamant about it. It must be pretty cool. <laughs> I got my microphone is already tipping over here. Um, JD, hi guys, another chat for you. If JD wins, what then? Does that affect his case in Europe at all? Can he appeal? We don't know the mm. UK court system. I don't think so. This is a separate case. It's a separate statement. It's a separate defamation action. Um, if JD wins, I, I think he, he wants to do some more movies and he can go into Hollywood and say, I won. Don't know for sure, uh, but he would at least have that on his, uh, on his CV. He'd have a certain amount of uh, resolution. For what what was it what was a trying time? Does everybody gonna believe him one way or the other? No. Even whatever the court says. So that's what he's looking for, I think, is to clear his name. Don Lionheart, if the Washington Post headline is attributed to Amber Heard, doesn't that require SA to be proven, not just DV, maybe DV for other claims, but title specifically says SA. Yes. Yes. If the title is brought in against Amber Heard, she has to prove uh that Johnny essayed. So yep. that's a problem. Taylor Patton, what are the chances a makeup artist testified as an expert witness? I'm an MUA and would love to be able to testify to this type of info in court. All other MUAs I know think she's lying. Very interesting. So technically speaking, as a litigator, any anyone can qualify as an expert if the subject matter you're testifying is something that the court considers to be something where someone can amass an expertise. 
Um, so there could be a, technically speaking, a, an expert qualified in uh, makeup or in that type of thing. I, I don't know, but then that may, that you could impeach that, uh, that expert's credibility as an expert because there's so many various techniques. I'm very curious about this though. I, I, yeah, yeah. Great point. Great point. And they're leaning hard on makeup. So how they're going to establish it and how we're going to take it when we hear it is, is very interesting to see. Yeah. Jen Blotti, I'm a clerk of the court and I recommend all of your channels to my judge yesterday. I think he will love your analysis. Thank you so much. Ooh, That's awesome. Hopefully not Fairfax. <laughs> you worried you're going to be seen on this? Mm, no, but if I get in court and one of those things say, Mr. Morton, do you Could you Lumber, please the bench. Yeah, would you care to comment on something you said on your channel yesterday? Uh, no, Judge. I plead the. I have no pleading. Just please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Greenhall, trial day eight four fifty seven on legal bites. She admits he ran and hid in Australia uh, in response to you wanting to hear it in evidence. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. There's a lot of evidence in there. So yeah. if that's the clip that's in there, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for flagging it. Veronica Brunner, AH needs to learn the KISS method. Certainly, if she's telling the uh, story, she is not correct. keeping it simple. Correct. Samantha Lerner, incredibly average, has very well-researched videos on JDAH and IO that he has been posting for years. Sets a great timeline. Love the content, guys. Yeah, it sounds like there's really good resources for a lot of people, and I will definitely check it out after the trial. Cheryl Day, yesterday you discussed mineral spirits. I think they use to clean paintbrushes, not drink. We talked about bottles of mineral spirits, but yeah, uh, totally yeah, fair. Totally correct. Fair. Mineral spirits are used to clean paintbrushes, um, and they, yeah. Cameron Phillips, poetic that Amber Heard filed a TRO May twenty seventh, and uh, CIs arg is May twenty seventh. Oh, closing arguments is May twenty seventh. Yeah, poetic, definitely poetic. Peggy Cole suggested for Mert since you already endorsed tea. Is that mineral spirits you got? Mineral spirit. Nice. Make a tea mug with a reference. I like it. I like tea. I think I have mugs in my store. I think they say whole glaw. <laughs> it's not very Mimi. Uh, Danny Sharanos, thumbs up and subs, people. Great coverage. Love from the UK. Thank you so much. Michael Sanger, Vanessa Paradis. Statement in support of JD. Avail on Nick Wallace's website from UK trial. Again, up your game. I'm not checking on stuff I don't see in the trial. I'm sorry. Betsy Vondersek, as an abuse survivor, I'm extremely interested in this trial. If Amber Heard has been as abused as she says, it's not in a way that I would consider her credible, not from my perspective. I think that's what a lot of people are dealing with as we watch her. Cy Virus, Amber definitely sniffing some Coke on the stand. She's hiding it in her sleeves along with tissue, no booger. So Team Coke exists. It would surprise the heck out of me in court, okay? Like the heck out of me. Sheila Ellis, it's... Amber Heard's responses of insignificant details like the writing in red on the mirror, Carly Simon, that makes it even more difficult to believe her, playing too innocent. I, I agree entirely. There's no admissions that even don't matter. Uh, I'll play this game. Uh, there's a website, official UK trial, too much words, but if you can go through it, go for it. Interesting verdict at the AF. Absolutely. Charlotte Montague, I hate watching Hogue realizing people like AH are in the world. This is fair. But after yeah. following this for years, it needs to be over and JD needs justice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it feels that way a little bit. Bing bong, bing bong. In the UK testimony, Amber Heard didn't admit to anything. Something as trite as throwing up was an X, which doesn't really ruin her believability. Bizarre. Trite as throwing up was an example, uh, which didn't really ruin her believability. Yeah, well, I caught that in this trial. There's like so many obvious places to say, well, you were <laughs> you were on drugs too. You, you, you did these kinds of things where you could absolutely keep your story, your narrative, your testimony, but also say, I'm not Saint Amber. So, yeah. Kimberly Affleck, my first college business law class convinced me to major in fisheries biology. Thank you for making law so interesting again for the Alliance. Kimberly Affleck, natural resources, policy administration, forestry major. Wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, Britt Cormier, after the trial, I just want to know if the jury counted the number of times AH went into power save mode during sidebars. I keep thinking they need to upgrade the batteries on those older 86 Android models. 
Yeah, benefit of the doubt. She definitely went to conserve energy whenever she wasn't testifying. Um, yep. but yeah, it looked odd. And looked Britt, odd. love the spicy comment. Great. <laughs> Jane Benjamin, so glad to find you so I can feed my addiction while doing some gardening. You all are a hard habit to break. Thank you so much. Rose Tyler, loving all of the Law Tube streams. Derby Day here in the birthplace of, birthplace of Johnny Depp. I didn't actually realize that today. Rooting for Happy Jack to win, of course, I believe Johnny. Mad 8, could you imagine going back and reliving Kyle Rittenhouse? Uh, no, it's, a, it's such an emotional and draining uh, trial. That, was, that one was hard. This one is weird. That one is hard. Yeah. Michelle Roberts, agreeing with the Amber Heard analysis, pre-victim of domestic abuse, really struggling to understand how anyone can be so vile as to fake this. Just hoping the jury does see through the BS, it's a definite worry. It seems like just so beyond the pale, if, yeah. if, it's, if it's all lies. Sage Forensics 22, MM covered your so vain, featuring Johnny Depp in 2012. Uh, Amber Heard said Marilyn Manson was playing that morning in Australia, right? No way she doesn't know the song. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp were dating by 2013. Rum Diary was 2009. Strains credulity. Sure does. I. She knows who Carly Simon is. Come on. Really? <laughs> Jake Bishop, I'm using that notepad trick. This is why you're my favorite. Yes. Mostly Dad, what did it for me was that looking into his eyes to see the man behind the monster culminating in the eyes, his eyes were black hysterics. Truthful stories don't usually have metaphors and foreshadowing. <clears throat> yeah, it's very poetic, very flowery minded, right? So far as so that as a witness on the stand, you could tell the panel when we were streaming that are like, what do you mean you can't see him? Because you're just not used to thinking of testimony that way. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, very, very flowery. Oliver, what if Amber constantly breaks down during cross to run the time out possible? Just block time by just being non-responsive. I think the judge would nudge. She won't. She, the judge will take a break. The judge, will say, the judge, if she becomes too histrionic or too emotional, the judge will look over and say, Ms. Heard, do you need a break? Which is, one, a hint to cut it down. And two, if you actually do need a break, take a break, recompose yourself, but you're expected to be composed when you come back. Enya, and then the makeup company sues Amber Heard for, for death or equivalent, defamation. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. The makeup, the makeup part of this will be interesting. Cynthia Guzman, guys, let's do a screaming about the Gone Girl movie and Amber Heard story. Uh, oh, yeah? When Alita watches that, I like I want to see the reaction because she hasn't seen it, so he can't give too much away. No, but, we didn't say anything. Oh, M G, she is going to lose it. The Neil Patrick Harris stuff is gonna is gonna come up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, oh, I didn't mean to didn't mean to click on that. Pawnerd, I'm glad you're all still there. I had to take a break and watch Gone Girl. <laughs> Somebody left. Watch Gone Girl. Yeah. Came back. You're right. There's too much similarity for my comfort. By the way, another survivor here who doesn't really buy her stories. I'm sorry to hear that. I think a lot of people are having trouble. Yeah. Plana T, you were doing so good stopping my trial withdrawal. Thank you. Uh, this is the one I think. I, Manasa VK, the only thing I believe about Amber Heard's testimony is the fact that JD was an extremely jealous boyfriend, husband. The text also sort of support that. Okay, so I read this one. Sorry yep. about that. Beardo DK, if loser pays for the jury time, wouldn't it be logical for the jury to vote in favor of Amber Heard so they get their pay uh oh in the on the understanding that amber heard doesn't have the money judge that does <laughs> uh it's not the a jury, lot of money for the jury the, yeah the jury cost is not that significant amber heard can afford it tanya b can johnny be prosecuted in australia for sexual assault with her statement here in the u.s i mean any kind of law enforcement because people have come in and said they don't have a statute of limitations for this kind of thing in australia and i i, I can't speak to that any kind of law enforcement is going to need probable cause and evidence and things like that. Uh, so I don't think so, but I don't know. I can't speak for Australia. True affinity. What the F watch severance best shown in a long time. So that's about severance chips. Okay. Okay. Not, that's Apple TV. I don't have Apple TV, so I can only have so many streaming services at once. <laughs> you have made your point emphatically. I will now watch severance. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly dead. Other side of the coin, Hogue. I find it evil that men, including former cop and Marine, would stand by while a woman is being beaten, can't conceive of it. Right. I, I mean, I don't conceive of it either. That's that's why I find it to be 
uh, incredible. Difficult, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ben, the LP student. Hi, all. You guys make me very excited to get into the legal field. Where can I get a Hoglaw hat? Thanks to you all. I am working on that. These were prototypes from when Hoglaw started in 2016. Uh, so I didn't actually ever merchandise these things, but people have really asked about the hat. Yeah, uh, I want one. I'm going to see what I can do. See what I can do. Might not be identical. I'll start wearing the new ones. <laughs> 70 Pushman, CA is California. Guess I'm from Cali. Sorry. Sorry. I don't get the flags. I just get like little little letters uh, in this version. So uh, Monique Seidel, uh, I, I DM'd you the foundation clip on Twitter. I will definitely check it out. Karen Burke, I am so late to the party here. Thank you for your generous super chat. But I would be remiss if I didn't give Hogue some money for all his wonderful insights and asides on legal bites. I adore your regular channel too. When do any of you sleep? I, I mean, I literally slept for four and a half hours, said, hey, I know what I want to do this morning. Uh, and you know, now it's almost the end of what will be my work day. Uh, so I can't thank you guys enough for doing all of this. So it's, uh, it's yeah. very awesome. See, Amazon, Rob, you seem to just have settled right into law tube so quickly. Love to see it. Uh, LY Hogue, thank God, goodness, you have videos because 10 days is too long. Crying emojis. I need answers. Thank you so yeah. much. And you're completely right. This, this community is, it's honestly, it's like logging on and talking with friends. That's what it is. We love you. You're going to be awesome. Shells, thank you so much for the super chat. Tin Lee, Amica, Amber's Miraculous Injury Curing Anal Cream. Thank you. Nice correction. <laughs> Alicia Peterson, look up McMillan's pleading, please. Thank you. Okay. Objectionable Law Ashley D. Harrison. In law now, but ex-high school college debater, so very used to arguments with time limits, this topic is extremely fun to delve in if you want to talk. Okay. Fantastic. I did debate in college. Uh, yeah. It's good stuff. Roketsu86, don't know when you will get to this comment, but Hogue, your response to the foundation question is why I followed you for so long. Because I'm a super nerd. An answer with Isaac Asimov. <laughs> Asimov is one of the greats. Also, hi, Alina. Someone, someone pull that clip. <laughs> Uh, Becky, a, why can't you listen to the tape? She says seven drugs she took. Love you guys. We'll see if they get it in, but it's the tapes well, that are and, dicey. And to people, to people who haven't followed this, Rick started this trial without any prior knowledge of Amber Heard or any of this case. And he has processed the information at, as it has been delivered to the jury. So his perspective is as if he is sitting on the jury, but as a lawyer, him going through this trial listening to this information you can actually watch and in progression watch how he has viewed all of this and his his changed opinions along the way he cannot look at outside influences if he wants to continue in this vein like where he can at the very end of the trial he can say honestly this is what i believe based on what i saw so please stop suggesting that he watch outside stuff if you do want to suggest it your chat is appreciated. We'll write down a list and he'll do a ton of videos where we'll all grill him, <laughs> make him watch the video, and we'll say, you see, this is what we were talking about the whole time. So thank you for the thank super Thank you, chat. Rob. But yeah. Writing checks for videos. <laughs> thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. And if you are interested in being uh, one of the first to be notified of Rob's very first video, uh, please do go like and subscribe to Law & Lumber as it stands right now. We don't know if that title is going to last. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been sticking. All right. We're getting pretty close to committed. Like I said, you're going to want to commit to your name before that video goes up. I know. But getting a lawyer <laughs> to commit to anything, oof, tough. <laughs> and I'm based on the dousing of Purple Hearts, I, it's going so fast I can't actually see the chat. But is, am I safe be... to assume that Emily Baker is, is rolling She's around be back. She's got to be backstage. <laughs> She's not. She's not backstage. She's not. Okay. I don't She's blame anybody. Chat. I don't blame anybody for not wanting to necessarily be backstage because uh, you might not be ready for camera. You might not be doing anything like that. But I think she rolled into chat, uh, yep. if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so um, thank you, Emily. There she is. Five purple hearts from Emily D. Baker saying there hi. Go. There I got to go. tell you, Emily, this stuff is harder than you all make it look. You guys are masters. I'm Go very... subscribe to Emily D. Baker, one of the hardest working and one of the nicest people that you will run into on YouTube. Go like and subscribe to Emily. She just hit 300,000 subscribers. Who can even believe that? Insane. That is that is three Michigan stadiums that she talks to when she talks. How crazy is that? Look at all the purple hearts. Yep. 
Purple's my favorite color, oddly enough. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Love. That's why I, Emily Baker, I love her hair. It's my favorite. You know, I'm impressed world. by her professionalism and, of course, her analysis, but I might be most professed by her emoji marketing. Solid. Solid. <laughs> She's yeah. got good emoji marketing game, don't you? Yep. I think she can, she, at some point in time, she can probably, like, take that copyright away from Apple, like, for that that purple of that purple, purple hearts emoji. now belong to emily baker yeah they've just been they now are hers i love it no thanks for saying hi emily i appreciate it i appreciate it all right we're we're, we're, we're down to brass tacks on the uh on the uh i have to i have to pluck the super chats out of seas of purple hearts <laughs> <laughs> what a fan base you have emily what a visual though I have to pluck super chats out of the seas of purple hearts. Uh, I can't even hit this one. The purple hearts are coming so fast. I can't even click <laughs> on, this, on this chat. It's like uh, it's like some kind of uh, Twitch game here. I'm going to start broadcasting me trying to hit chats while Emily Baker is in the house. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by, Emily. You're the best. You are the best. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, we're coming, we're coming down to the end of things. Gecko Gamer, is there anyone in LawTube who covers historic trials? I, the closest might be Kurt at Uncivil Law. I know he handles all sorts of academic stuff. Uh, a lot of times we are focused on stuff that's going to hit, um, search terms and what's modern and, and talking about things that people are interested in that moment. Um, I've also done things like on Wickard v. Filburn and some other more historic stuff on my channel. Uh, but I don't know that anybody does it as their bread and butter. Uh, there is a CLE and a guy runs it and every single year it's called trials of the century. Um, and non-lawyers can attend CLEs if you're ever interested in that stuff. If you like trial tactics, this guy runs the best CLE I've ever seen. And I will go every single year to watch it because he changed the trials up, but he goes through historic trials and the various steps the lawyers make along the way. So high recommend. That is awesome. Yeah. We're, we're, we're in, uh, we're in the process of seeing if we can't get some virtual legalities. Um, but fully certified credit. So let's do it. We're, we're, we're working on it. We are working on it. Okay. And I think we're caught up. I have to scroll through a lot of purple hearts. Uh, make sure we don't miss anybody. All right. Rain 432. First AH lie to attack. Donations claim, but not made. Demonstrates clearly a pattern of falsehood, but stays clear of attacking IPV claims. Could be. If you wanted to like roll in somewhat slowly, I, I definitely think it'll come up because it's super useful for showing someone that's willing to lie in the media for her personal benefit. Yeah. I think um, you actually start elsewhere because that one, you actually want to start with a lie that is the heart of her allegations. Okay. So yeah. I'd buy that. Definitely. Uh, you don't want to look like you're wasting the jury's time. Um, but I do like that. The donation thing. Yeah. The media that's coming up. That is, they oh, have her gosh, yeah. rights on that. Yep. Completely. Uh, Geeky Stacy, thoughts on Amber Heard team repeatedly bringing up Manson? Boogeyman. He's like a like ghost. Freaking hate it. I mean, I understand why they do it because it works, but I don't like it. Yeah, he is a he is a ghost out there. So it's it's wild. It's it's, uh, it's wild. I I thought we were going to get more info, honestly, when when we were in Australia and they were going to talk about things, but no, it's all just rumors, innuendo. I mean. The judge has clearly given them a little bit of rope, like has said, like, look, you can bring it up because there's something, but it's it's clear they're testing how much rope they have. Is this accurate? Is this is it Emily Baker's birthday? Is, can somebody confirm in chat? Maybe Emily. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Happy birthday, Emily, if that's true. Yeah. Or else that's just always your birthday, because I think people are always telling me it's your birthday. So maybe it's just a it's a part of your audience. Either way, Who knows? happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, yes, happy birthday to you. Is it, Rob is itching to get karaoke law tube together. It's going to um, happen. <laughs> Uh, too many of us start randomly singing. Yeah, definitely. Emily says, thanks chat. Loves these conversations. Love seeing law tube grow. It's because of people like you, Emily. Thank you so much. Whether it's your internet birthday or your real birthday. <laughs> Happy uh, either. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Circling back to the child question from Living Sweetly, in no way do I convey an idea directly or indirectly for anyone to contact any authorities. No, no. Thank you. I don't think you yep. do. I, we, I, didn't, I didn't suggest you did. 
it's just we want to make sure the rest of the chat doesn't perceive that. Yeah, no, absolutely. My question is based on understanding if the information divulged in the trial automatically affects other areas. Yeah, so to be clear, yeah, that's a preemptive strike. It is not about the comment and your substance within it. Uh, it's just, you know, what we see doing this trial is people going and uh, bombing the WebMD reviews of Dr. Hughes and, and things like that. We don't want to escalate, especially into, you know, forces that, uh, you know, take people away and, 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 yeah. and have weapons and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it it's not a direct connection um, to CBS or anything like that. Uh, and yeah, I hope, I hope her daughter is well treated. Definitely. Uh, Lexi Autumn Stabs, question for you all. If you could be involved with or cover live stream or any case past or present, what would it be and why? Ooh, any case? Man, I mean, I really do think live streaming OJ at the time would have been wild. Uh, I watched a lot of it. Um, oh, have you heard? Have you heard some of the secret? Have some of the secrets behind that one about how they got him to con how they convinced the attorney to make him try the glove on? Uh, no, maybe I don't know. I I think the last I even thought about it was like they did the they did the American Crime Story, uh, which no. was pretty cool. Yeah. Just All right. I'm looking at that. Drop a super chat with the question, and I'll answer it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. No, I think I think that'd be I think that would be interesting. I'd also like some economic stuff. You know, I'd, I'd like to go see the Lochner court decide its stuff, Wickard v. Filburn, that kind of thing. But I'm an economics guy. Uh, PFUS, I want to see a lawyer's review of the Google privacy policy. You're in luck. Welcome to virtual legality. There's a video on that. Uh, type in Google into the search box for this channel. You'll see me going over all sorts of privacy policies because that's how we roll here in virtual legality. I, I can't tell if that video would scare the hell out of me or I don't know how <laughs> I'd react to it. I've gone over the terms of service for Facebook, for Google, for Twitch, for Twitter. Um, generally speaking, when they make a change and the internet's freaking out to either assuage their fears or say, oh no, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have a link for Mike to join? Uh, is Mike not in the main LawTube DMs? I don't know how to get Mike the information because I went through Alita. I'm so sorry, Mike. I think the LawTube DMs need to be revised because LawTube has grown. I think that's right. I don't think they've been revised in a while. Uh, so I'm sorry about that, Mike. We'll get more people in. We can do a uh, LawTube OJ stream, says uh, Emily. Uh, there's so much info on that case. Yeah, it would be fun. Oh, Emily. God, I, I want to go pick your brain and I have a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, that trial was awesome. Rob's in. So much that people don't know. I am so sorry, Mike. We're going to be wrapping up pretty soon anyway, but I definitely would have brought you in. Uh, I don't, I have, I'm spinning too many plates. <laughs> uh, but anybody that has access to the law, uh, the, the law tube DMs and has access to Mike as well, if you want to help that, that's what Alita did earlier. I just, I can't, I can't do too many things. I, I apologize. Uh, Emily and Alita are both very, very good at spinning plates. I am mediocre at best so far. David A. Hamilton, Screaming Voice, M.A., Meatloaf, M.A. There, now y'all can keep talking to us. <laughs> Zara Zefert, hmm, equals suspicious doubting. Something's not adding up. Yep, yep. Simply Simple, please remind Rob to turn on the super thanks feature when he posts his first video. I, he has to have some kind of like de minimis, uh, like I don't know if it's hours viewed or, or what, but do check that if out, Rob. It'll be, if, it's it'll be a, if it's a de minimis number of followers, you guys have kind of crushed that one. <laughs> yeah, do check out for Super Thet. That'll be under your monetization tab on your main channel settings. Peggy Wagner, thank you so much for the super chat. Jennifer O, oh, there are photos from the Don Rickles party taken the day after the Met Gala and first broken nose. Amber Heard looks flawless. Yeah, that'll start to add up if they can introduce that kind of thing. Objectionable law, Ashley D. Harrison, ex-debater, prior NSA agent. My goodness. So we can talk timed argumentation or metadata collection, well-versed in both. Enjoy your content very much. Thank you. That is very generous of you. Uh, NGV, Nate streaming in five hours. Goodbye, sleep and social life. Is that what Nate said? Good. Good for Nate. Maybe I'll pop in. Thomas Lang, thank you so much for the super chat. All good. During discovery, JD submitted a signed declaration from Samantha McMillan, who spent the day preparing her for her James Corden appearance. Uh, okay. I mean, you Lawyer you still Mike. Yeah, you'd still have to get that in there, definitely. Are so you finding your mic? I'm, yeah, I'm dropping him a DM in Instagram. Okay, Rob's going to try to get you to uh, there, uh, lawyer Mike. Uh, Emily says you need a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours to turn the monetization button right now. Oh, you got to go get those watch hours from your bed video. Yep. 
that probably Emily is probably now like what bed video, and I'm like, oh, don't, don't be oh, uh, Rob's gonna make beds and then break beds as his introduction to YouTube. That was terrible, Rick. I don't like you cool. right now. <laughs> no, 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 see, yeah, no. yeah. We're Look. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually as a woodworker we are gonna disprove um, what Amber Heard testified to as far as the bed allegation, and it's gonna be pretty clearly disproven from a scientific, mechanical, and woodworker's perspective. Rob has decided to skip straight to the automatically viral video. Uh, and I, I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a smashing success. Yeah, puns. I love it. Uh, oh, what? It's a good pun. Don't it is a good pun. Me. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, for crying out loud, Rob, have you listened to the Australian audio recordings? Mm, smiley face. Part of them, yes. Aqua six six six. When the trial is over, please look at all the info that wasn't in evidence on a live stream. Would love to see your reaction. Love the panel. I think it sounds like a great idea. I am likely to do it. Uh, you J Tube. Hey Hog. Emily is in the chat. I can. I'm still seeing purple hearts. Still seeing purple hearts. Uh, oh, and I finally hit the wrong button. That was like ninety in a row. <laughs> um, oh, it, uh, it went away. CJ, the boss, new TMZ article about how JD fans are making false statements, coke, movie quote, pose, and need to stop. Clear slant towards a Amber Heard and their coverage. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't. See, the Twitter stuff was it seems false on the on the Ripley uh, quotes. So, yeah, I mean, that's the way Internet zeitgeist kind of work, is that they uh, enhance things beyond credibility. I mean, you're seeing that from the parties here, too. Kara Lee 501, people are trying to process Amber Heard's test without considering testimony without considering BPD. Well, because she put up in her case that she doesn't have it. So how do we how do we look at that? Right? And I did drop the DM to Mike. So if he's in backstage or if you see him backstage, yeah, he has. If it. he pops in, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll add him. I'll add him here at the end of all things, Mr. Frodo. Uh Amber Heard gives you YouTube herpes. Thanks, commenter. Oh, that Who is, is the something <laughs> who is the jury more likely to believe in the end ain't that the question uh i right now i'd be leaning towards johnny depp but i still want to see amber heard present the rest of her case joanne ideas on what doors amber heard is open with direct i.e uh, dv stuff from her past presumably p.s here from legal bites and new sub thank you so much rob can't wait for your channel youtube needs your beauty uh slanted face looking to the right heart size thank you I know you love that. Uh, yeah, I, we think that they might have opened doors to pass testimony on that stuff yeah. and to Kate Moss in particular right now. Uh, Castile Eldridge, I'm drinking tea from my Hoaglaw mug right now. Already has a Hoaglaw mug. That's very cool. Thank you so much. Awesome. Wait, I'm not supposed to do that one anymore. I'm a child of the 80s, so <laughs> I don't... I do that with This is not good, right? You know what? That one's fake, so I... You're, I I believe in you, Rob. I Jonathan Bott, uh, broken to redeemed title for Rob series of fixing things on his channel. Broken to redeemed. Not bad. Hmm. Nola, Lala, Hogue, Worf, or Data. Data. It's the, the easiest, easiest Star Trek question ever. Thank you. I like Worf, but he's basically there to make aliens look strong. David A. Hamilton, uh, sommelier, equals wine sniffer. Now I think she's guilty. Ink Park, D2 player, that's Destiny 2. Thoughts on Sony buying Bungie, great work. Uh, you could definitely search this channel for the word Bungie. You'll get uh, the initial analysis of the merger announcement. Uh, and I think there's about five videos about that, including one this week. That is in respect of various reports saying, oh, the FTC is opening a probe on the Bungie deal. Not quite as hyperbolic as all that. So do, do check those out. I think you'll be happy. Alicia Peterson, McMillan, read the JD case. She's the makeup artist. Fantastic. Yeah. I think there's a good shot that's coming in. Sangber, thank you for the super chat. Jonathan Bott, hashtag Boogergate. Absolutely. I'm on Team Booger. Sanger B, Hogue, Rob, you are two of my favorites. Big love. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Jessamine, could Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, pop up as a rebuttal witness since Amber Heard kept bringing her up to bolster her own case? I think she's eligible to be one, but I think Johnny Depp has indicated strongly he doesn't want the kids yeah, in this. He doesn't at all. want them there. He's not going to call them. Amanda Lucero, Serenity. If Hogue is the eyes of the jury, why the headlines? 
the, the headlines are talking about the trial. I'm, I'm not bringing in the headlines that are about like Jennifer Gray and things, right? And, and my attachment to the information is essentially de minimis, just like I'm hoping for for the jury. Like I can't do these streams for four weeks and not hear people. I shouldn't know Australia audio exists to the extent that you guys have told me, right? Yeah. So I just say that essentially is discounted to zero for me because I would want to hear it anyway in terms of evaluating it myself. And I can keep that out. I can keep that separate. But I don't think I could if I listened to it and evaluated it. So yeah. there we go. And Hogue Hog is also, he's a trained attorney. He knows how to disassociate or to actually disconnect from evidence that he hasn't heard. So I do trust that his assessment is spot on. As I'm far trying. As what he's seen. I am trying. Uh, Veronica Brunner, uh, AH, I keep saying ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh -huh. Amber Heard saying on the stand, she took nothing on the stand. If that, if they can put in the snip of audio of her listing what she did take, what could happen? Um, I don't, I don't think her testimony was quite as clear as she was never taking anything as some other people seem to have read it as. Uh, yeah, but I didn't, put them, I didn't get that one. You'd, you'd put them against each other to, to try to impeach. Uh, Jersey Ann Charles, totally appreciate wanting to be impartial and not listening to the Australia tape, but honestly, you're already influenced by all of your legal collaborators. True. Uh, and laughing face, laughing face, loving you guys heart. Yeah. I just view it as de minimis. Um, rather we'd be taking another step. So it's, it's not pure. It's as close as we can reasonably get while still talking about things. Also, uh, he can yell back at us. Well, so I could say it's not in the trial. Uh, Penelope. Pamela Thoris, there's a 2012 Billboard article saying Marilyn Manson and JD are collaborating on a cover of Carly Simon's You're So Vain. Seems like a pretty targeted takedown of uh, of Johnny, but who knows? Dwani Prabhu, the thirst Rob's getting for DeBed vid, it will go viral. Bro, please take Amica Cream with you on the 16th. Amber Heard spots you after that viral vid. Can do a live demo for the jury. Just watching, just finished watching Gone Girl. OMG. Maybe I can put Amica cream on the bed after I break it to pieces. <laughs> Hopper, I tripped over a coffee table, face first into a banister and split my forehead open. Bruise from my forehead, nose to under my cheekbones. Bruises lasted a week and a half. Black, <sighs> blue, green, yellow, lovely look. And yeah, I think that's what people are reacting to in part on this is it just didn't follow with what she was describing. Mackenzie Carter Cameron. Hey, friends, congrats, Hogue, on your newest channel milestones. Crazy, right? Can't wait to watch your new channel, Rob. FYI, Johnny Depp did file an appeal in the UK and was unsuccessful. Yeah, right off the right off the verdict. Makes sense. Uh, Alalia, uh, Alaya, let's do Gone Girl Party after JD wins. You single, Rob? SD Trekkie Girl, love the Next Generation references. I Borg is my favorite. Great one. Love your law perspective and nerd love. Thank you. Sorry, I froze for that last comment. What was yeah, that? yeah, you just just. Don't move. It's like T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Sineda S. Psychology in Seattle YouTuber does a great breakdown on the psych experts. You can see his frustration with Herd's expert. Yeah, I think he was on. I think we talked to him. Uh, so we're. Uh, uh, I will definitely look at it. It's very interesting. Samantha Gurley. Rob, your first video should be a live stream of LawTube Karaoke. Hearts. Love you guys in this community. Rob, how are you single? Can someone go over OG Notesbook and comment on it with his trial? Who's OG? Is that the original? So, oh, OJ's notebook. I bet it's OJ. Ooh, that'd be fun. That's a That's good video I, idea. Yeah. And no, I can't live stream immediately. Oh, with YouTube's uh, rules? Yeah. Yeah. He has to prove that he's not uh, a uh, bot. bot. I'm not a bot. You can <laughs> see. Hi. I have no proof of this. This is an excellent video stream. Uh, Scorpion, <laughs> if Kate comes to the stand, do they establish Amber Heard's statement on the stand to her first? What do they ask her? Uh, yeah, well, they'd establish who she is first and how she would know anything. And then they'd say, you know, there's these other stuff uh, that's been said. What uh, you would, you would be countering what Amber Heard has said with what she says. Gio Rio, I started building the Lego Star Wars Millennium Falcon at the beginning of the stream with you guys on the side. I just finished the build. That's a heck of a build. It was a great time, guys. Video game. Mike's in the back. Mike's in the back. Hey, Mike. Hello, hello. Right I, just, I just popped in to say hi. Thanks. Uh, thanks for whoever sent me the link. I, it, the, the more important thing is that we just established communication. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's Rob. So no, I have to get, a, a, I, I realize Thank I you, only Rob. put the link through the, the main DMs and like some of the additions for the trial haven't, we haven't like filtered that. So it's all gone through Alita. So I apologize, Mike. 
Oh, no, no problem at all. That's, <laughs> that's very cool. You've been on for, for all day? Uh, eight and a half hours so far. Mike, I woke up and I saw the alert and I was like, huh, I'll send a super chat to give contribution. And then all of a sudden, Alita sent me a link and I've <laughs> apparently been on since then. <laughs> You got to admit it's fun, and you sort of got to make hate while the sun shines, I mean, you know? I did start drinking, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you know, we, we've had Nate on, we've had Rob on, we've had Alita on, we've had you on, Mike, so. Th that's this, cool. It, may, it makes a fun stream. This was an experiment yeah. that I thought was going to be about an hour and a half. Uh, I did it at <laughs> 8 in the morning on a Saturday to check how these buttons all work, and the entire community came out. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Just, I, I, I had a lazy day. And, I, and Mike. You know, and then I'm going Mike, for some naughty adventures. Mike, the look of panic, the look of panic on Hogue's face when he was trying to manage the super chat. And then and then also the look that also mirrored panic and then realization that this is what Alita has been doing when we've just been yeah. talking and not letting her stop. Yeah, and she's good. The poor innocence of Hogue's face just going. Oh. <laughs> I, I what can't are you I, do with this. Yeah. I cannot. You started a playing. channel? What? You started a channel, Rob? Uh, apparently, yeah. We'll just prop some videos I, now while, while while the while the getting's good. You, you'll you'll get monetized see. real quick. Well, hang on. I don't have a single video yet. Let me. Well, see. I haven't checked this. Let me see. Not a single video yet, but four thousand six hundred subscribers. Oh my god! We put out some content. The power of LawTube. He's gonna have five thousand subscribers when his first video launches. Well, and we're gonna we're gonna debunk the bread the the break in the bed theory. That's the I, th I think you should, no. I think you kick it off with woodworking. I think that you get is the way out, and and you no. make some cool stuff. No, Mike, were you, you were you on stream last night? No, like <laughs> I I actually assembled the bed and like broke it and showed how it would actually break <laughs> if it was consistent with Heard's testimony. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. It was just that back really in was. the corner, like Thor hammering on uh, on, on little beds. So he's gonna do that on the video. I, we we think it's gonna be very successful. Yeah, or uh, hell, just just chop that part and load it up there. No one's gonna, you know, stop you. Mm. That'd be a good opening video. I think he's gonna come at it with it. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab some of these because this is way harder. Yeah, than hey, I hey, 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 Hogue, you grab Mike and I'll chat. You're good. <laughs> chat away. We're all so, we're all good. Chat yeah, away. no, I just I actually kind of want to like assemble it because the way I did it last night was an example. But I actually, because I know what happens is the second I put a video out there that says debunks, um, the trolls are going to come in and be like, you didn't really do it this way. And I actually want to debunk it because when I heard her testify to that, mm -hmm. I got I got upset because I'm going, that's not how the bed would break. Right. It's not. It just doesn't it doesn't match. It's yep. physically that is not how the bed would break if that fight happened the way she testified to it. Yep. So, no, I, I th that would that would be a good uh, good starting video. Th this this uh, this will be fun for you, but it it uh, it it worms into your life, doesn't it, Rick? I uh, yeah. yeah. As, he spent, as he dropped eight hours on it today. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing that I said to, to Rob was, you know, I, I I I built this channel when I had a couple deals fall through, um, and I had and I had slotted the time for it. Right. And uh, I said, all right, well, let's try this because I had some clients that were doing it. And I, I really wanted to know, like, what kind of analytics they were getting, how the interaction with the platform works, because they were having issues with it, as we all now know. Uh, but, um, yeah, as it went on, I was like, oh, OK, so this is getting, you know, it's, it, there, there are people watching that there's subscribers coming and there's people following it. Uh, and, I, and you just start spending more and more time on it. Yeah. Uh, and then and then you're like, well, as an investment, as a lawyer, you're like, well, this is probably the stupid, stupidest possible thing. I could do if I'm trying to like maximize uh, keeping the lights on for the family, feeding the kids, that kind of thing. Um, but I, I enjoy it. The, interacting with the community is so much fun, yeah. uh, and uh, and you know, creating something that you can be proud of and, and adding to the good communication, the good information. Oh, out absolutely. There. I feel I feel so strongly about uh, that. It's it's very satisfying to do um, when. Uh, uh, when when you want to do it, like, there are, there are some days where it's like, okay, so uh, we got to make sure we haven't done anything in three days. We got to make sure we put something up on the channel. Oops. Uh -huh. I imagine uh, Mike would get a kick out of the idea for the the my when I do actually get a live stream, we're gonna do it's gonna we're, we're gonna call it before the bench. We're gonna divide Law Tube up into teams. Oh no! And we're gonna debate. We're gonna have super chats come in with questions. 
and we're going to debate between teams and then we're going to have the super we're going to have the chat vote on who wins the debate uh i think i think that will be uh a big a big hit i, okay, I like yeah. that plan we'll all yell at each other again <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I went too far. So we'll, we'll, we'll it's see. funny we do it now. Like everybody gets along and is cool. Like uh, on a latest stream or whatever, we'll just we'll just like just for lack of controversy, someone will just say something th that they don't even believe, just just to get the party started. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. We're attorneys. We can't help it. Yeah, like hang on, green starburst or uh, red starburst. <laughs> it's like, and then fight. <laughs> All right, so I did my best there. I think I totally screwed up something. So if I miss you and I, I didn't mean to, please do just flag it for me. Uh, but I, uh, I'm figuring this out. This is way more ridiculous to keep track of than it, it really should be. I want to, I want to go in there and change some of the way this is set up. But Hopper, question: Rob, didn't Kardashian admit in an interview that they they told OJ not to take his arthritis med so his hand would be swollen? Oh, they did all kinds of stuff, but that's not the real trick. The real trick is is what the lawyer pulled. Another super chat, and that asked that question directly, and I might answer it. <laughs> Rob is very specific. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Uh, okay, good. Thank you for the super chat. Doom Metal Daryl, I'm a niche metalhead who listens to bands nobody's heard of. Don't really know who Carly Simon is, and I'm old, so it is possible. Okay. I don't disagree that it's it, that it's possible. I just don't buy it. Yeah, I don't either. It's it's before her time. Yeah, but she's quoting from stuff. She's you know they're talking about Bogart movies, and he, she's talking about old blues music and the music they shared together, uh, and then poetry. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. She it was just it was just her saying whatever, just affirming whatever he said, and then he took the oh, I, it's it's funny how naive he is. I I see it because he's a superstar, and nobody ever tells him anything. I think he's a nice guy. I don't think he's a dumb guy. But you can just see that the effect of living in that bubble. No one ever tells him anything. And, he, and you end up naive. That's it. On Frey, yes, Rob saw that broken bed and started yelling at the screen. There's no effing way that the bed would break that way. <laughs> I had to walk away from the PC at that point. Utter disbelief. This is my other woodworker in the chat. Love it. <laughs> uh, Chris, Charles, Rob, stop rubbing your red cheek. Try Amica cream. <laughs> Shingle scar. Oh. Orange sunshine. Could Rob use the bandsaw and cut a cake or a couple of muffins? I can do that. <laughs> Anna, that how did he do it, Rob? Lol. Okay. How did he do it? So the lawyer, I'm off screen for a second because I have to plug something in. Um, in that trial, uh, lawyer for, let me orient myself. OJ's lawyer came and told the prosecutor. The prosecutor at that point in time was a junior prosecutor. They had met the night before and they had talked about whether or not to try and use the glove or have him put the glove on. They didn't need it. There were only, I think, five gloves in circulation in the world and they had the receipt that showed he purchased it. So they didn't need the testimony. And they decided as a group of prosecutors that they were not going to try to put have him put the glove on because it's all risk, no reward. Um, he's an actor, allegedly. Um, and then basically any number of things can go wrong in that moment that you want to have control over it. Well, the defense attorney at that point in time, during one of the breaks, walks over to the prosecutor and says, I can't believe you. And you, um, let me see, this is your channel. Uh, I can't believe you, you effing <laughs> P word. If you don't have him put that glove on, I'm going to. Now, what that junior prosecutor didn't realize in that moment is that the defense attorney had no reason to have his client put the glove on. There's nothing to be gained by having his own client do that. It's self-serving. It's not going to do anything to the jury. But when the prosecutor hasn't put it on, different result. So anyways, the jury gets brought in after this. You can see the prosecutor as he's moving up to the podium. He's a little bit nervous and anxious. And he says, you know, judge, before we bring the jury in, I want to have the defendant put, uh, put the, try to put the glove on. Um, and the judge says, OK, well, they get caught up in a secondary motion. The jury ends up walking in and then OJ's on the stand. The prosecutor sees the jury in, in, the, in the box and then gets caught up kind of in where he is and kind of like blanks out and forgets and then makes that famous blunder of having him put the glove on. Yeah. And that resulted in the, uh, the, the crab claw and then the jamming it in the glove and then him looking and turning to the jury like i can't and, <laughs> I, know, and I remember that, that 
that one blunder, that one blunder led to one of the best closing arguments of all time by delivered by an attorney. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Well, it, it, it did. It tied it all up nicely and, get, and gave it a good tagline, but uh, he was going to be acquitted anyway. You slice it. That, ju- that jury was not convicting him. You don't think? No. That trial, that trial, it, it, Emily DeBaker, hey, if you're still in the chat or if you're hearing this anywhere, um, do a live stream and we can pull that thing apart. That thing was crazy. Yeah, that 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 case that case was lost at jury selection. Uh, there there was no way with the star power, and you, and you have to look at it in the context of the times, and uh, in that it, in that time frame with that with with that star power there and the elements at play, he was not going to be convicted. The end of story. It was lost at prosecutor selection. She had never tried, never tried, not even a murder case. She had never tried a criminal case. Ouch. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember the the most striking thing to me is in closing argument they said, "Well, I know this is a really hard decision to make." Uh, I was a prosecutor for six freaking months. I never n- never uttered that phrase in my life. You you never say that. You say this, this is a clear case. This guy is guilty. You never think say it's oh this is a close call to a jury on a criminal prosecution. That's yep. insanity. You you put it in the mind reasonable doubt. It's it was yep. that that trial was that was a and the fact that whatever channel decided they wanted to do a, a series on that and play the prosecution as as being brilliant and smart in this effing joke. Yep. It uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I can disagree. Uh, but I did love the you know the dramatizations uh, of uh, of the case. I, I would I would like to break down the Scopes Monkey trial, but yeah, you know, I mean that's that's way that's way too nerdy and before everyone's time. I don't know. We can do uh, we can do historic reenactments or uh, maybe alternative histories about uh, which ways it could have gone. Alternative histories. Alternative to history. convince people. I want to do, um, I want to do the bed breaking reenactment. Do you? <laughs> Apparently, gonna set off a lot of people in the chat. You know, you are sorry. I'm just, I'm just gathering here. Uh, but we are almost, we are almost set. But this is cool. Like, as a creator, I watch you doing this because, like, this happens to me too. Like, you have something, okay, so this trial's going on, and like, now you have to grow. You're like, I've never dealt with anything on this volume before, no, but now you have. House. You, you learned a lot today. Emily says she's happy to. I've talked to the OJ prosecutors and we've done training on it. She had tried cases as a Los Angeles district attorney. So, all right. Uh, we've got just just under 20 left, I think. Um, uh, Modri uh, Kapushnik. Great stream today. Nice to have you as company for most of the day. Big up for the length and great check name reading. I'm sure that wasn't accurate just then. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thomas Lang, since AH and JD are on time constraints, if one side uses all their time before closings, will they be able to have a closing statement? I, Based on what the judge said, I think the closing statements are separate uh, from the, the putting on the case. Can't guarantee it, though, but I think everybody gets a closing. Uh, catastrophe, I saw something about an open-the-door policy. Is it safe to say Amber Heard mentioning Kate Moss falls into that category as well as the 09 arrest for hitting Tasia? Sorry, not sure if discussed earlier. So open the door in this case is the various panelists saying... There's a reason it can come in that isn't just, hey, she hits people uh, because that's not going to fly uh, in, in court. And sorry, this one's covering you up, Mike. I haven't mastered that no. either. No, that's uh, all right. It's all, it's all learning here and the experiment that's nine hours long. Um, it's all good. So, I basically have my jammies on here. Yeah, good good stuff. Uh, so that's that's not a policy. It's a reason why evidence can come in that, it, that makes it not uh, – that it's more – probative than prejudicial. It has more of a reason to establish what we're trying to establish in this court case than just being there to say, look, she hits people. Uh, and Mike, are, are you sure it's not the nightgown that Dr. Kipper gave you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Orange sunshine. Could Rob use a band song, cut a cake or a couple muffins? We did hit that one, but I, I did some copying over and I wanted to be better safe than sorry. So uh, we got, yes, Rob saw that broken bed and started yelling at the screen. <laughs> It just that crossed that crossed Rob's line. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Michelle Roberts, what are you drinking today, Rob? Uh, it's actually a beer that me and my friends brewed. So no, no. A, cool. yeah, I have a buddy of mine who um, brews beer and distills whiskey. So 
he and I will get together every like weekend or so and we'll brew a batch and throw it in a keg and throw it in the kegerator. Ah, that's awesome. Joanne, sending this to keep you guys on with us all Saturday. My wife is just going to knock me out and, uh, and drag me from the room. It has already been all Saturday. Uh, Caroline, she said she hadn't taken MDMA since the Russia flight, but nurse said she admitted to have to her to have taken some at Coachella. It's in the nurse's notes. I see. Okay. The nurse notes references. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't think she's entirely truthful about what she's taken and when. I mean, we see that in her testimony, which shouldn't necessarily matter, shouldn't make the case completely. And yet it's still odd. She, she doesn't, she clearly doesn't want to take responsibility for certain, certain. Yeah, things. but it's death by a thousand cuts. She lies in a lot of places she doesn't need to. Exactly. Leah and Homer, what are witness statements used for? I've read a lot of them from this case and many of them seem to contain a lot of hearsay. Rob, what are witness statements for? Witness statements are part of the discovery process. They actually don't serve any purpose in court because you can't use the physical statement itself unless the witness starts saying something contrary to that. <laughs> so it's something that we gather as a, as a, a throughout the discovery process to essentially give us an understanding of what the witness is, is supposed to stay on, say on the stand. It's like proto evidence. Lisa yeah, sure. RN three seventeen. Does Rob have an Etsy store? <laughs> Rob, you put nope. little mallets together in uh, Etsy. Maybe. Uh... No, but he does have an OnlyFans. Oh, Mike, I'm going to murder you, Rob. <laughs> Rob is going to kill you, Mike. Yeah, you're definitely. Oh, uh, Samantha Gurley, myth busting law too would be amazing. I think you're getting that a little bit from Rob. Yeah, seriously. Nine on a dime. Opinion on how the case is going? Pretty well for Johnny Depp. We'll see what Amber Heard's got. Thoughts on inside courtroom saying women jurors seem to be buying Amber's story. I hadn't seen that. I hadn't seen anybody say that to me yet. That, that would be interesting. Your I hadn't seen that specifically, but I've, I've seen like other videos and stuff and when it, where it just, you know, where women are discussing it. And as and from what I've seen, I'm not saying it's a fair sample. Women are not buying it. Okay. Yeah, it would be very, very interesting. Um, your experience with jurors looks versus their actual verdicts. Can Johnny be charged now with sex assault? I don't think that's a very likely outcome of all of this. So, but Mike can answer the one on the jury's looks versus verdict. Yeah, please do. What's that? Uh, the jury, do you have the experience jury, with the how difference you, yeah. in how you, yeah, how a jury is looking? Like when you're, if you're just evaluating and trying to say, oh, they're into it, they're oh, not yeah. into it. And how they give their verdict? Uh, you do have a sense, like I, I handle plaintiffs' case. If they're not tall, if they're not looking at you, or in the, and they look nasty, that's a bad sign. No, no two ways about it. When they come out after deliberating, you, you're sitting at counsel table, and they'll, they'll bring the jury, and you're standing up. They'll bring the jury in. If they won't look at you, they're finding for your opposition. Mm. That's clear. But we haven't we haven't seen that yet, and we haven't seen the jurors. Having said that, jurors jury surprise me all the time like you'll you'll i'll have one that's just like giving me the stink eye the whole trial and then afterwards i pull the jury and they're like oh i love you and i and i was buying everything you, you were you were saying and you're like i didn't expect that and you're like oh i wanted i wanted to strike her but i was out i was out of uh you know challenges this is this is why i love judges this is why i love bench trials because it's it you you know what you're getting you have experience bench trial, you have a real good sense as you go Yep. You, you have a real good sense which way the judge is leaning the whole time. Yep. Hang on. I got it. So here you go, Rob. Oh, God, Emily. You're gonna... <laughs> Emily, Emily, stop encouraging the chat. Please stop <laughs> encouraging the chat. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> uh, uh, Emily Baker is stirring up trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, oh God, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, Beauty by K. I find it odd that Amber Heard said she didn't know much about Johnny Depp, but somehow knew the story about Kate Moss in the stairs. Fair enough. There's all sorts of indications she she knew more about Johnny Depp than she said. Rob, you cheated my question. Tell us the story. I thought I think he, I think he told the story. I did tell the story. That was the story he had. Yeah. Uh, Simon Tupper said to say that I felt more real empathy towards Isaac Baruch when he cried for ten seconds than Amber when it appeared she was sobbing uncontrollably. Yeah. 
because it was sincere. An actual assessment. Yep. Yes, because you're not because you're not a robot, and you you connected with an actual legitimate human emotion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Who got pushed to the edge and actually emoted effectively Mm -hmm. to the jury? Becky, hey, hoax. Sorry, I asked about the tape. Didn't know your jury. No, 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 no. Totally fine. Totally fine. I. I, It's just that that was the best way for me to participate in legal bite streams. Period. Which was uh, try to not bring anything extra to the table and and react as the stuff comes in. Uh, and that's that's what's given you the the me reacting to the Johnny Depp redirect with those audios that I had never heard before and going God. <laughs> yep, and it's so been that's- an invaluable addition, which is why you should like and subscribe to Hogue's channel. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're pushing eighty, buddy. Uh, I heard that. I can't, you know, again with the buttons, it's like I don't even know where I would monitor. Yeah, that while I'm he's at seventy-eight eight right now. So twelve hundred people. So come on, guys. That's not long. That's not Rob, fun. sorry about my last chat. I remember that blunder as well. Sure. All right. So we are technically able to go back here. I think Emily's been stirring up trouble for my numbers as well. Uh, so I have to go back before all these other super chats and just try to sit here. Can, can, like can the chat throw some like thirst traps at Mike? Like just, just. Yeah. Just yeah. Give Mike back. some. Rob has been putting up with it all day. I oh, have. Yeah. <laughs> all day pounding the bed like oh my gosh yeah as i said rob you opened yourself up to some of these uh but you have been dealing with it all day <laughs> because i made an analysis of how a bed would break yeah but you talk I about mean, breaking no, bed with, your, with your channel named about lumber i mean you're yeah i mean it's the internet man yeah. law, <laughs> Cindy law, Jackson. Lays the, law lays the lumber no yeah. mm. Cindy Jackson, I live in California. They needed to try the case in Brentwood or Orange County or San Diego. I think this is about OJ. The jury pool would be entirely different. Thanks for all you do. Enjoy all of you on Legal Bites. Thank you so much. That's to Mike's point and entirely correct. Here's Emily rolling around. This is when I said I only had 20 super chats left to, to finish <laughs> oh, off. Yeah. Draw. Look, look at that. That's that's a dunk. A dunk just came yeah. in. <laughs> She's she is just very nicely trolling your stream. Yes, very nicely, very nice. She's like an assassin in the shadows. Uh, yeah, it's it's very nice. Zach Krish, hey guys, my question got deleted on Alita's feed, but I was wondering if you were Amber's counsel, would you advise against the perfect angel narrative she was trying to spin? Yes, 100%. yes, 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 because she doesn't fit it. It was horrible. Yeah, no, I would I would a thousand percent go a different direction. It actually surprised me because Johnny Depp was so effective in. I have all these faults. These are some pretty bad faults. Um, and I'm still a human being that deserves sympathy. Like they did yeah. such a better job with that. Yep. Uh, and I, Amber Heard, I, I, you can be there. You can say, hey, I take drugs. Maybe I take drugs too much. I drink wine, whatever. Whatever it is, just not this kind of innocent person whose shadow descends upon and then speaks in metaphor. Um, I so, agree. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Emily. How long can we keep the stream going, chat? <laughs> You're, no you're, clue, Emily. You are very kind. You really are getting it now. Now you know what, Emily. Bring here's, the pain. Here's one. Hogue response. has done this. Hogue has done this to Alita, like for the past four weeks. So Emily, bring the pain. Come on. <laughs> All right, Mama. Thank you so much for the super chat. No tax, good tax. I'm an amateur wood turner and CPA. I want to be the accountant version of Rob when I grow up, but I doubt anyone cares to watch Tax Tube. Well, um, you'd have a mountain to climb to get to that entertaining level on that. But honestly, if you got there, I would watch Tax Tube. Oh, never grow up. Never grow up. That's no, 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 no. I got a bunch of like crazy tax protester videos, pseudo lawyers. They're hilarious. Uh, just just react to them as a, as, a, as a tax guru. Believe me, that'll get views. <laughs> you got to find an angle, but you can do it with tax. Trust me. You know, we'll just we'll just give that a little bit more screen time. Um Joanne, Rob needs a nightgown from Dr. Kipper for his OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Okay. Mm. Uh, Carolia Grace, Rob, you plan to attend court in the next two weeks? Yeah, I want to be there on Monday. Um, and if anyone is planning on cutting the line or being there before me, if you can save my spot, hold a big sign up that says Rob, that'd be awesome. I'm hoping to be there around 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning. The fact that you would need a little help on that is crazy. Uh, that is wild. 2.30 or 3. 
Uh, Malapropist, who could who would win if it were a Klingon court or a Ferengi court? <laughs> well, the Klingon court is really dependent on whether you think Johnny or uh, uh, Amber engage in mutual combat. Uh, who you think you would take in that particular in, in that particular fight? Uh, the Ferengi court uh, would go to Johnny because they're just going to take whoever pays them the most. It's it's, it's money based bribery justice. Thank you. I appreciate you guys all really just trying to exploit fully my nerdiness uh, throughout the last uh, <laughs> the last fantastic. nine hours. I I have learned so much, and I'm going to go watch some of these things. Maybe go watch Measure of a Man. Seriously, you won't regret it. Okay. Measure of a Man, Star Trek Next Generation, you won't regret it at all. Okay, I can do that one. Just one episode, 40 minutes. Amanda Lucero, Serenity, Rob's next video, what is the hardest wood so your bed won't break? <laughs> I love that Mike is getting this fresh and like has not seen any of this. <laughs> Oh, cross uh, Amber Heard. Yeah, I, I mean, this is a this is a dream come true. She's lied a bunch. She's had a bunch. She's given a bunch of testimony that's not consistent with any other evidence in the case. And you have ten days to sit around and highlight that crap and just and just do it. I, I would a bullet point down. I would make her relive the whole thing. I would. Yep. I would see that I would not take the tech that they're going to take. They're going to have uh, the the female prosecutor. Although she can go after her. that was that's part of their that thought. Was my point? Yes. That was, yes, they want the optics. They don't want a guy doing it. I would say, I don't care. She's that bad. I'm doing it. I'm going after her. You, you, there's a way to do it. You got to calibrate it right. So you have to be yeah. careful. But there's a way to do it and just and just rip the guts out of her without without looking mean. There, we, there, have, we have all said assertive, not aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You you can just you you can just sit there and do it, and you do it with volume because she's been lying for for tons, and you just sit there and make her eat it all day long, and she will snap and fight back and show herself. I yep. guarantee it. Yep, a hundred percent. That that is the witness that does that. Yep, Mike. Yes, we'll see if it happens. That would be a big deal, certainly. We're just going to let this one speak for itself, Rob. I'm not going to read this one out loud. Thank you, Orange Sunshine, for the super chat. Good God. Welcome to YouTube, Rob. <laughs> here's, here's, here's a nice chat comment from uh, this the, the early hours of the morn. <laughs> uh, Vinyl MPL, can we qualify the Amber Heard defense strategy as a Chewbacca defense? Also, I don't have the feeling it is a sure success for JD. It is not a sure success for JD. No. A, lot of, a lot of space to just say I believe her. A lot of space. Yep. Legal yep. standard, very difficult. Yeah, yeah, they've got a much harder case. They're doing well overall, but it's they've just got a lot more to do than heard. I'm gonna have to add like a thirst to the title of of this video or something. So, uh, Michelle Roberts, thank you for the super chat. Claudia makes faces. I think Amber Heard just put Vic's vapor rub in a Kleenex to get the tears coming on day two. Could have been something like that. Certainly, I'm still Team Booger, but absolutely could have been that. <laughs> Uh, Mike, does, Mike doesn't know that. You have to say it's either Team Coke, Team Booger, or Team. What was the other one? It's like uh, it, it would be like uh, acid. Uh, not 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 the, the drug, onion. The onion. Thing. Cry. Yeah. Right. Right. Team, right. It's cry. Team, cry. Team, cry team, over that Coke part. Coke. She's capable of any of it. I, I. You know. I think. I think Coke is a bold move in in court with with a video camera on you. Bold yeah, but Mike, if you had to commit to either, I mean, Mike, if you had to commit to Team Onion, Team Coke, or Team Booger, which one are you committing to? Onion. Okay. okay. You think she's doing a little extra, putting up, putting a little stuff on the ball before she pitches it to yeah, the. I, uh, I, to yeah, I don't think anything's by accident, but I, I, I don't, I don't think she's quite dumb enough to bring the legal substance in front of a judge. Fair enough. Close. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was uh, sorry about that. KM, your experience with juries and AH style testimony. Uh, I, I am the wrong person to ask as an on litigator. A, Have you dealt with an Amber Heard type person? That's a Mike question. I'm a bench trial yeah. guy. Mike's a jury trial guy. Yeah, there. Um, yeah, I've, I've got one set next week actually, so I have to, I have to tamp it down a little bit tonight. But um, th th that's that. Juries are going to be just as skeptical as us. As a rule, I mean, it depends on the person. But I, if I, if I represented Amber Heard, I would be losing my mind watching that testimony, saying that is that is not going well. Nobody's buying that. It's not credible. That, that's my thought. I, I would too. I would too. Certainly. 
Uh, we got they're, full, they're going so fast. I'm trying to grab these things. It's, uh, uh, we got, of course, Emily Baker, uh, Classione, three purple hearts for Emily. Ethan Allen, advice for an undergrad student interested, but maybe a little scared to pursue law school. Also, how do you find the field of law that's right for you? Run like uh, so I, I was an economics uh, undergrad. I always wanted to do transactions. I wanted to bring people together. I didn't want to fight in open court. So you, you find that direction. Like the big first split is like transactions and litigation. Um, and then and then you go from there because there's specialties upon specialties upon specialties, a lot of which you can only really figure out what they do on a day to day basis by engaging with that a little bit. In terms yeah. of being scared, if you feel like it's it's the right place for you and you're going to and you have a love for these kinds of questions, don't don't be scared. Law school is one of my favorite times in life. Um, you just got to get into a zone of, 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 of study. But if you find this fulfilling, I really think it's very likely you're going to find that kind of thing. fulfilling. You know, life. that's a fair point. If you if you are watching us for entertainment, you probably should go to law school. <laughs> yeah, and if, and if you have and if you have questions about it, you know you can, dude, reach out. It, this is the thing, reach out. We're happy to talk about it. We love mm -hmm. this experience. We love what we do. Um, we're attorneys for a reason. So yeah. And then as far as how you find the field of law that's right for you, you don't actually know. Some people have it like right at the beginning, and they know that's what they want to do. Other people fall into it. I fell into domestic relations litigation because it turned out I was I was good at it. I was good at understanding these problems, comprehending, and then handling them and helping people get to that other side. Some people are great at transactional work. You just don't know. So don't focus on the field of law. Focus on whether you like the idea of practicing law. I'd say the vast majority of attorneys figure it out clerking the summer of their of their first and second year because then you are really getting a taste of what it is state's attorney's office a law firm something like that you're going to get a real sense of what that job is like for the long, first time as long as you give the caveat some summer associates are getting are getting the gilded treatment oh yeah uh, at, oh, at yeah. many a law firm yeah uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tax yeah, they are. versus well, you didn't say that one. Tax versus sovereign. That was Emily. That was, yeah, no, that was. I was just putting that up because you're saying, oh, tax, tax tube. Yeah, you do some tax versus uh, sovereign citizens, and I mean, uh, talk, Runkle, talk about, Runkle's got sovereign citizens covered, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves that kind of stuff. He loves that kind of stuff. Those guys are uh, nuts. TZ one eighty found Amber so hard to watch. I had to take a break. NGV conspiracy theory movie quote snowflake etc. Rumors were started by Amber Heard. New PR to discredit the internet. Oh, snow, snow, Coke rumors. Um, yeah, that's we're, we're in four-dimensional chess territory, but that's yeah. an interesting theory, right? Get people to jump on stupid stuff. That Ripley thing yeah. is wrong. Uh, this, the Coke thing is wrong to make it look like the internet is wrong-headed and uh, you can discredit them. The internet uh, bad. See how that plays. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting theory. Law 266, can Law 2 play a legal game together like Debatable? Also loved you all. Yeah, if you haven't been here for nine hours, <laughs> one of my current pending ideas for what would be a fun stream, I don't know, once a month or something like that with Law 2 is, is essentially lawyers playing games. I love games. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, we look at business and law questions through the prism of the, the stuff you already like. Very often video games. You see the logo for virtual legality uh, is a little, a little court made out of a game controller. Um, so that's, that is what this channel is about. And I have to get logistics together and think through how I want to do it, but I think it makes a lot of sense. So your request is well noted. And if you're uh, not a gamer, I'll be on there. We're going to do side bets. Side bets. I love it. We could do games. We could do side bets. I think just trivia teams would be fun yeah. with this crew. All sorts of good yeah. stuff. Like Stephanie Joe Ho. Will, Joe will yell at his, uh, Joe will yell at his screen within the next two minutes. And that's going to be a side bet for $50. And we'll see how that happens. There you go. Stephanie Hogue, tell Mrs. Hogue, thank you for letting us borrow you so much for this trial. I very much hope she's listening uh, because I'm, I'm going to have to apologize pretty profusely. Uh, but but thank you guys so much uh, for making this possible. Now, Stephanie uh, is Mrs. Hogue, correct? No, this is not no. my wife. This no, is, no. Is this somebody else randomly and period? Is this somebody else randomly? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Mrs. Hogue is a boss. Mrs. Hogue came in with uh, water to give oh, to her she, husband because heard the voice crack, brought food, brought, food, <laughs> brought notes. She's been a champ. Go, Mrs. Hogue. We love you. We do love Mrs. Hogue. Aww. More me than the rest of you, but we all love you. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> no. 
Absolutely. I, I, I do hope she hears it. We have another one. Not that one. <laughs> Winston, Don't do that one. Winston, shout out to Mrs. Hogue for letting you abandon all your plans for the day. Yep, that's 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 how it happened. It happened. Um, JMG2216. Rob, save me a spot at the courthouse. I'll drive from Virginia Beach. I'm from Fairfax. I will do my best, man. I who knows? I will see who you can get in. And and it starts Monday, not not next week, but the Monday after or Tuesday after. Correct. So so Mike, the um last week, Amber's first day of trial, apparently people were staying outside of the courthouse from 9 p.m. Like they tried to camp out. Um and that led to the sheriff's office putting out signs that said, You cannot congregate until 1 a.m. You know, if you do, we're gonna cite you and arrest you. Uh, so, yeah, 1 a.m. is the start time for the line, apparently. Um, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> but if you if you get in there, you, I mean, you can't you can't uh, you can't have a camera or anything, obviously. So, no, but I did. I'm trying to get Alita to send me with like, like, come up with something that I can wear. Uh, like uh, a big blue shirt that says legal bites or, you know, I've made the comment like team Vasquez. Well, mm -hmm. we all know why, but team <laughs> Vasquez um, uh -huh. and just like sit there and not troll Amber Heard. I don't want to troll anybody. That's a bad thing to say. What yeah. I want to say is I'm going to wave at the law tube. If I'm in there, and right. you guys will see me. I, I think you, I think you got to start with your new channel name. What, what is the name of your new channel? I think we're going with law and lumber. Law and Lumber. Like and subscribe. New videos coming pretty soon, we think. about uh... Mike, you like or hate? I like it. I absolutely love it. No, because it's 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 fun. I mean, it sort of puts two things together, and they make sense for you. I think it works, definitely. Uh, Joanne, she's calling out of work to stand in line with Rob. Sly oh face, God. hard eyes face. Sly face? It's sly. Is that what that actually says? No, no, I, no it's sly face. Okay. It's, I say the emojis, Rob. How long have you been here? I know. I, well, I mean, I don't, but I, the sly face was one I hadn't heard you say before. Oh, yes. I well, I think I said, uh, like, like looking to the right emoji was, like, the, the last one. Uh, for crying out loud, Rob's blonde number, hard eye face, and Mike's PJs giving us lumberjack vibes. Kiss heart face. It's been a hard live stream to watch. Crying, laughing. Joking, loving you all. So much fun to watch. I just love reading these things. Thank you for crying out loud. We keep going the wrong direction, gentlemen. Uh, Veronica Brunner, what happens is she goes crazy in the, if if she goes crazy on the stand or in the courtroom in general. Uh, well, I think you heard Rob say uh, the judge would try to, to calm her down, look for a break. I, she has to answer the questions put before her. Yeah, you got to finish the question. Yep. I mean, I don't think you'll get a like a dramatic lifetime, you know, sobbing breakdown. You know, they march out of court and 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 win immediately, but I, I think she'll just do poorly. Yeah, and then it'll end. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer D. How to cross Amber Heard as a male attorney? Speak softly and carry a big old evidence stick, and don't let her flap her lips. Yes, but also you you can't just do the speak softly thing. You actually have to be assertive. You have to make it clear that you're in control. When she starts going off the rails, you have to make it clear. No, no, no. You follow my questions. I'm asking them. I need you to answer them, please, and thank you. Yep. Yep. You sort of have to get get a, a reserve of good, goodwill up. You you almost have to let her be nasty first. Yep. Then you can take the gloves off and go after it. But but she, but that's not a problem because she will be nasty. Hmm? And if he asks the right questions, you know she'll be nasty because she'll hate him. But yes, the right questions, but nicely, just to start. Well, we're going to see a female attorney take it on. I think uh, I think she's going to do well. Uh, John Fowler, do you think Johnny Depp's side has the pretty psychiatrist and pretty attorney, so that makes jurors will find them more attractive than Amber Heard? They may give them more credibility to the pretty girl. No chance. Uh, no, no they weren't hired for that no. purpose. And, and if you if you paid attention to that to, to Thursday, no. Vasquez was on fire. She was great. I loved it. Uh, finally, a trial attorney showed up to this to this trial. Like everything we've seen before, I have been very critical of the litigators in this until I heard Vasquez coming out with fire. So no, it ain't because she's pretty. It's because she's smart as hell. 
yeah, no, it's, it's, it, yeah, it, she's clearly good. Clearly good. Samantha Desporte, I have been here for the whole nine hours. So have I. Hashtag <laughs> addicted kissy face. Thank you, Samantha. I appreciate it. Jonathan Bott, I like buffing the wood as he dances too. I'm just sexy breaking beds and taking names. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan Bott. All good. Rob, still like building your case for a channel name. Hogue, thoughts on the Netflix password crackdown? I let my parents use my account. Uh, Netflix so, is going through some stuff, okay? There might be a Netflix video on the channel this week uh, for the, the the stockholders lawsuit because I'm, I'm intensely interested Netflix in is done. We're going to uh, use building the case as a, as a yeah, we're going to use building the case to document a, a trial. Yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to document a trial. We're going to basically start with the foundations. We're going to lay out the plan. We're going to lay out the cuts. And then we're going to start building the case from the bottom up. And we're going to walk through a trial as we're doing it. I think that sounds great. I watched that. Amanda Lucero Serenity, there's a TikTok where she has an aluminum can that she hides from a sheriff in the court. It could be water. It looks like a Coors Light screw top. I mean, I, are you effing kidding me? I no, can't, there's no chance. I, I, <laughs> I, I I know that her her testimony has some credibility issues. I don't think she's doing cocaine and just slipping in drinks. But I, hey, you know what? Let's see. Roma Ramesh, what are the best intimidating tactics you've used in a courtroom? If Camille is chosen to intimidate Amber, uh, I sh was she chosen to intimidate Amber? I ship Rob and Camille. So does Rob. <laughs> uh, Mike, what, what do you do to intimidate? witnesses uh well you, you don't really need to intimidate them you just have the goods one one of the things you can do to just to just shake them up is come in with your stack your stack of papers this high with it all all tabbed and everything and they just know you're loaded for bear and they're like oh yeah. god this is gonna suck i have you to just admit, do, you just do this yeah <laughs> i have to admit as a as an infrequent trial observer I do enjoy the now I, I have associated this with a bunch of different witnesses, the, the scramble when they say something and then it's like, bring me the transcript from this. Like they say it to their table and then the, the witness goes, uh, well, you know, <laughs> it's not a scramble. Hogue. It's yeah. not a scramble. It's, uh, the courtroom is theater and it's the most fun place to ever play. You get to <laughs> dance around, you get to do all kinds of things and you get to, I mean, it is theater. It's honestly, it's, I was going to be a swivel chair attorney mm -hmm. until I stood up in court for the first time. And then it was just done. You got it the, you got, done. you got the high, you go after the, the litigation. bug. The bug is when you hear your, it's not the, there's something egocentric about it a little bit, but sure. you walk up to the podium and you speak into that microphone and you, all of a sudden I remember the exact moment. Like I speak in the microphone and I said, good morning, your honor, uh, Rob Morton for the uh, debtor. And all of a sudden, I hear the speakers in the courtroom, like, say the mm -hmm. same thing I just said. And I did, like, one of these. And I was like, oh, yes, I am, I am actually here. You're on and stage. You're scared. You're scared. Like, you cannot believe. And you're shaking. And you, you're trying to, like, hold a pen, but you can't. Um, and you start delivering argument. And the judge... Almost every judge that sees a young litigator, to all those in the chat that ever want to be attorneys, if a judge sees a young litigator out there, um, the good ones will always say, um, like something like, "Miss Morton, you were saying, would you like to continue?" Like they they will they will help you. They are there to help you. And when you get that boost, man, there's no better feeling in the whole wide world. There, yeah. it, it is so cool to be there. In that I, I moment. forgot about that. You're right. When you first started, I mean, I'm, I'm past it. I'm not nervous anymore, but yeah, you know, you're the first couple of years when you're doing, and it's sort of when you go, I remember being nervous going in on a court call just to stand in front of the judge on a routine matter, like the first couple of weeks. I got past that. Uh, a jury used to give me butterflies. It doesn't now, but, uh, but it is exciting. It is interesting. Yeah. You do feel engaged. Different you're all yep. in. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't have litigation experience, but I definitely remember before regulatory boards. Uh, and I, there's a, I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Scrubs, um, but one of the reasons I like it as one of my favorite sitcoms of all time is that first year of Scrubs matched up, give or take. It was, it was I, I was a little older, uh, matched up pretty good with um, 
uh, my first year as an associate and they do such a good job in that that's medical obviously mm -hmm. of like just how out of your place you are completely but oh, yeah. everybody expects you to understand what's going on like i, I remember and and you just no feel problem. like you can't you do you weren't trained for this in law school you weren't and and it's and it's you know you're you're, you're the senior partner says check for red flags and and you go to the document and you're like what the hell does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have uh, any experience to know what a red flag is. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen one of these before. Uh, I had so my like, first trial one week into, I had my first trial one week in to my first job out of law school. Mm -hmm. wow. And it was, it, it, it was, it was with an attorney who is no longer practicing, but it was trial by fire. Um, some of the best litigators in the world, they are those they are the trial by fire guys they are the ones that just they get it it becomes something and they just they fight they just fight you just go for it yeah i, I think i think that's it I, I remember the first time they had a document in front of me and it had millions in the um you know whatever the the, the spend line and i was like you 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 trust me with negotiating these these contracts uh but yeah it's, it's a little bit it, it's a little bit different you know 17 years later <laughs> Yeah, but now at our age, we're on the other side of it, and you have an associate doing something. They're like looking at you, like you trust me. We're like, I don't feel like doing it. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has to have their first. Everyone has to have their first. Yep. But yeah, the beginning is scary. It is scary. Yeah. Well, the best thing I ever did was disclosure schedules for big mergers because you get to see so many documents. Um, Ooh, that's got to be cool. I. Uh, it's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Jessamine is a survivor of DV. I do not buy Amber Heard's testimony at all. Johnny Depp seems like the victim here. I get that. I've I've, I've heard many people say that. We're Danny, sorry about your story. Yeah, That's, absolutely. Yeah. Hope you're doing better. As woman and victim, be worried about jury composition. Can see male jury being very recalcitrant to call female victim a liar, especially in Me Too era. I tell you, I have that. I have that feeling. In my opinion, women would have far easier time calling BS thoughts. Um, yeah. TYSM. Thank you so much, I think. Um, yeah, I, I have, I'm, I'm on video saying, man, I feel like a shit for saying I think that she's lying. Uh, because they're such heinous lies if they're lies, right? Um, so I, I get you. I get you completely. Darla Sharp, Amber Heard would have... Experience with blotting nose and face to not mess up makeup. My theory was weird nostril swab. Great group dynamic. Keep it coming. Yeah, that's to me, that's team booger. Like, I think she's working with their nose. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> Bika Strinar. Hogue, Hogue, I know you don't want it, but I'm pretty sure that some people are going to start pushing team booger merch on you. Team booger. <laughs> It'll be, uh, it'll be like uh, Revenge of the Nerd stuff. Uh, you don't want uh, any part of that. Radar, objectively, who is the better lawyer is better legal firm? I think both sides have good lawyers. Sometimes sometimes one side has better facts. Uh, and, and I think you're seeing that play out a little bit. Um, Rotten Board has like, been good. Yeah. Rotten Board's tend, been good. Sorry, I, I think Rotten Board's a good attorney. I think he is. Um, I tend to like the Chu style more and the, and the people that are coming with his team. I just like it more, but I think they're both good teams. Definitely. I, I just like people who don't do this think think, what are the best firms? And there are some differences in firms, but generally speaking, it's not really the firm. It's uh, especially if they're big. If you have, if you have 500, it's like, what what five attorneys do you have working on the project? Are they the good ones or are they the, the backbenchers in the firm? It makes a big difference. Yeah, I mean, it, it, law, practice of law, even at a large firm, even in big law, is tremendously siloed. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I worked in big law, it was, it was the three of us, you know, doing doing venture capital stuff around, you know, Southeast Michigan, that kind of thing. Um, so absolutely. Couldn't set it better myself, Mike. Brad TN, why are some depositions played in court versus the witness being present? Uh, witnesses said they don't want to come and subpoenas got too hard and they said the depositions were okay. Is that is that a good, good enough summary? Yeah. <laughs> Geeky Stacy, LawTube has this Aussie Nocturnal. Much love. Smiley face heart. Thank you. Numbers. Do you think they avoided being harsh so that they could save their credibility with the jury for going hard on Amber? I think it, I'm thinking it's increasingly likely that if they know what Amber was going to sound like, that Hughes doesn't matter at all. She's very hard to take seriously as you didn't pick up on any kind of exaggerative qualities to this yeah. person. Okay. <laughs> Joanne, just applied for fall 22. Any advice for PT stud heart? I think that's law. 
practice area. Practice area. Yeah, I'm going with practice area. <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. Except, except area doesn't start with T. Practice practice has a T in it. <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Well, I, I like her exactly too. Yeah, she's she's going to law school, right? You know what? Watch trial. It's fun. It honestly it's a lot of fun. And what you get to see is you get to see some application of law to fact. And honestly, I not to be self-serving, but watch these types of streams. And I don't care who it is. Nate the Lawyer, Emily B. Baker, um, Hogue, Mike. I, I don't care who it is you watch. Mm -hmm. But watching real attorneys break down what's happening in a courtroom is a massive benefit. Because you actually get to understand what you're seeing. And then you get to hear a little explanation of the rule behind it. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's funny you say that. Part time so not PT stud. I got a correction here from Joanne. Part-time student. Ah, part-time part student. Part -time student. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Same thing. It's the same answer. Right, right. But the, you know, it's funny you say that. I, I never thought about it till this moment. I wish I could have seen all of our channels when I was a first-year law student. I, I know that sounds self-endorsing, but it's true. I really wish I would have had the guys uh, ahead of me but making YouTube channels. I, I would have watched all of it. Because you could learn a ton that way. No, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to age myself. I'm not going to say that out loud. Um, I'm getting older, um, <laughs> and even now, I am after the law tube stuff. I am going back and looking for old trials just to just to rewatch them, just to see what the lawyers are doing. And it's amazing how, look, when you love it, you love it. When you love law, you love it, and you're not going to let it go. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Simply simple question. Who is your favorite Star Trek captain? Jean-Luc Picard, Catherine Janeway, or Jonathan Archer, and why? Uh, the answer to that is Jean-Luc Picard. Rob, who's your favorite captain? I'm not sure why Kirk didn't make it on the list. <laughs> I don't. Rob? I mean, Jean-Luc Picard, I, I got did. Enough. Like, that, yeah? that is you back see these in my two? age. You see these two? They're backing away. They're backing I away mean, from the Star Trek stuff. John Luke Picard, I do know John Luke obvious Picard. best. Yep. I, I literally yep. never watched the show. Never. Obvious best. Diplomat. All right, Mike, you have to go watch Measure of a Man before we next talk. One episode of Star Trek The Next Generation about law. It's a, it's a, oh, it's a legal the episode. You're holding me that. Yep. yep. All right. Measure All right. of a Man. Measure, measure of, man. of a Man. Measure of a Man. One episode. That's it. Okay. Uh, you'll love it. You will love it. Uh, so yeah, Picard's easy answer. Uh, I like Jonathan Archer's brashness, Catherine Janeway. I never quite got over asking for coffee from a nebula. Uh, and John Luke Picard's <laughs> obvious best. Thank you. God, I like I Lola. It. My son is a junior here in Fairfax, Virginia. Wants to be a lawyer and work in climate change and environmental. Hopes to go to Georgetown. Any advice for him? Stick with it. Those are great dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stick with it. Yeah, yeah it's Reach out. If, the, if he wants a conversation, I'm around. I'm happy to help. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Georgetown is a good choice for uh, regulatory facing stuff. Definitely. Uh, do I hit the wrong one? Sorry. Renee B. Amber Heard lies are like, and exaggerations are like threads. Uh, one isn't going to hurt you that bad, but put enough together, it can kill you. Yeah, exaggerations. <laughs> kind of. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and then, because I, I did click on this. Uh, did you see the vid of Amber Heard passing Johnny Depp, leaving the stand on Thursday? Watch Johnny Depp shudder while Amber Heard overreacts. I was told about that. I actually have to go find that clip because that's that's totally eligible for me to see. I just I, um, I just I, I just haven't seen it yet. Renee Rogers, can you do a deep dive on venture capital, private equity, hedge fund, limited partner agreements? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, it wasn't for me. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's that's a horse, but that's that's him. <laughs> LPAs on, hurt my brain. I know what to look for to parse, carry percentage, and clawback, but man, the rest of it, crazy eyes, knocked out symbol. Hey! Oh, there you oh. go. Yeah. Talk dirty transactional law to me, Come on, right. baby. Get it? Yeah, get I, can get do, it. I can do limited partnership agreements. Yeah. Uh, Give me numbers, baby. We'll see, uh, <laughs> we'll see if uh, I can make that work within the, the, the uh, YouTube algorithm. Uh, but that's fine. If you if you are interested, I did a 10-part series on a game development agreement where I went through each section and talked through how the agreement worked together uh, and uh, how publishing rights work, how license rights work, royalties, identification, reps and warranties, uh, as it's just kind of a baseline for understanding a contract, really. Um, so that's pretty cool. But maybe. LPAs are wacky. They're all constructed by tax. So, all right. Thank you so much. That's great. 
All right. Uh, well, I, I guess, thanks for for uh, thanks for ha- ha- having me on. Thanks for sending me the link, and I'm I'm gonna I'm looking forward to you you, to what you put out in your channel. Yeah, Rob's Everybody gonna get Rick over eighty. He's he's got to be there if not by now. I don't. Oh yeah, yet. I'm trying to get him there. We're trying. <laughs> oh, killing it, killing it, Mike. We backed up so much, Rob. You do not have to stay any longer than you want to. How far do we back up? Just uh, I not, I stopped up. starring them because we were so close to finishing, and then Emily took over. I think for the most part. Oh, so um, Emily killed you? Uh, well, uh, yes. Yeah. No, in, in the best way. In the best way. Uh, what does it say about me that I enjoy hanging out with you guys better than my real friends? I appreciate how humble you all are and genuinely seem to care about each other's success. Well, hopefully you have humble friends that are fun too. Uh, but that real friends are less cool than us. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we, we have fun here and we're very glad that you enjoy our company. Um, I'm sure my wife would enjoy my company as well. I'm getting ready for that conversation. Streaming addict, search the true gadfly on TikTok. You won't regret it. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, C. Lackmoon, question, thoughts on Tom Girardi scandal slash money stolen? I don't recognize that one. I don't know. I don't know who Tom Girardi is. Is that, could that be, is that related to Johnny Depp or am I being asked something completely separate? No, Tom Girardi is a different person, but I don't know the scandal. So Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to keep up for more info. Mike, what are you drinking? We don't know. We will never know what Mike was drinking. We will never know. I'm we very sorry, Elizabeth Martinez. Because he leaves before we can tell. Stephanie Hogue, Mrs. Hogue, correction. Sorry, used to my spelling. Who can blame you? <laughs> no, no. My wife is an absolute superstar on this. Uh, so never, never could have expected any of this. Lauren B, count me in to Rob Road Trip from Newport News, Virginia. Rob, you're going to have a squadron. Yeah, trying we're going to gonna have a party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tina Marie, what happens if Amber Heard is caught discussing testimony? Uh, it's hard to catch her discussing testimony, I think, because anything would probably be subtle. But if you had God's honest proof, Rob says, they'd, they'd be doing their damnedest to not mistrial the thing. Is that about right, Rob? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Savannah Rogers, Rob, check out the real Laura B on Twitter. She's been on LawTube and she goes and stands in line and waits every day. I think she's been on Legal Bites. I think so too. I, I have watched her channel. I think she's paying someone to stand in line for her because I didn't see her when I went. And if she if she wants to disprove me, she can send a super chat and disprove me. Laura, Rob is Laura, practicing. Laura, did, Laura did you tell B, Rob is you. practicing? Doing great stuff. I love it. Sorry, that wasn't disparaging. <laughs> no, I love it. Rob, Rob is practicing on my channel here for... How how to how to segue into uh, into uh, answer questions and things? I love it. For crying out loud, Barlow is now claiming that Amber Heard has tremendous amount of physical evidence, much of which the court is not allowing her to admit. Hmm. Uh, what now? Yeah, you saw that in Amber Heard's team statement. That's they're, they're trying like hell to keep all this good evidence out. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the narratives they're going with. If they get to the end and lose, it's going to be the hideous misogynistic legal system prevented her from putting forth the evidence that proved her claims. I think that's part of it. Ken, thank you so much for this uh, super chat. Forgot what they were called. That's the hour we're in. <laughs> Lady Dingo, use Amica on my hemorrhoids. Fixed. Fell from 20-foot building. Fixed. Head on car crash. Fixed. Kangaroo kicked my face. Fixed. Amica, miracle cream. It's a good copy. Zach Anderson, just finished Ricada's stream from last night. You all are still here. Sebastian, please investigate, have smiles with somewhat drunk, this devil message, money, 24 hour go-go. If that was a sentence, I can't quite read emoji that way. You see how it comes out in my brain. Uh, yeah, so. I, yeah. I, did, did I skip you? I don't think I skipped you, did I? If I skipped you, please flag it for me. I'm doing my darndest. Hoagie just skipped my question, did I? Ask again. Sorry. Khan, first time doing this chat thing. Really enjoying you and Legal Bites. As for Rob, love his logic and his voice. Love from London. Thank you so much. Natalie, Natalia Vertigo, LawTube plays Sequester. We could have all sorts of fun games over here. Tin Lee, Rob, a puny channel name. Rob in Wood and Law. Emily D. Baker confirming about the litigatory experience. It's like being on a stage. We got... Cheers for Scrubs references. Realistically, the best sitcom of all time. 
when AH is crossed, I bet she won't look at the jury. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. Uh, John Fowler, I didn't mean to imply that they sacrificed quality in the attorney or the psychiatrist. Sure. They certainly got the best, but I think the choice of pretty ladies over old men was strategic. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to say because we got Camille Vasquez, who's clearly a very talented litigator, is the one that found or knew already of uh, Dr. Curry. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it could be an enhancement kind of thing, but it, they were not picked for that purpose. Definitely. Definitely not. Uh, Maynell, human body doesn't lie. Amber Heard inhaled isn't how her body acted. Rob, I can spin that wheel and looks either like a CD or a buzzsaw. Yeah. Okay. So that's against team booger. I can't parse out which way the direction the nostrils went. We're getting into uh, we're getting into Zapruder film type analysis. Uh, Kuya G sixty eight was looking up Benchu and Camille Vasquez's profile on their law firm's website. This law firm is huge. Can you explain how a law firm is organized? What are partners, associates, etc.? Well, law firms are not a monolith in terms of how they are organized. But broadly speaking, you join a law firm and you're an associate, a junior associate, generally speaking, and you go up the ladder. And there can be variations on what you're called: senior associate. Sometimes you're called non equity partners. Uh, and then you go up to equity partners. So partners in law means that you actually own the company together. And that can be parsed out just like you own stock in a corporation. And so everybody's trying to go get an ownership stake in a big lucrative firm because that's that's where you get the yachts uh, and 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 the big time uh, payments from, from a lawyer's uh, perspective. Um, I think you might have heard me if you were here with us for the nine and a half hours. I said, you know, when I became an equity partner at the firm I was at, very happy to do it. Achieved that goal and immediately started planning for a different life because I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, so um, that's the basics. Associates at the bottom, doing all the work. Partners gathering up all the work uh, and getting clients uh, and, and making the most money. And I'm trying cases. Act, yeah. Yeah. Hogue, you accidentally skipped my last question because Rob disturbed. Dis sad face. Uh, just I, I'm looking out for your name. I, if I, I skipped it, I will, I will try to get the context correct um, here. I, uh, <clears throat> I apologize for that. I'm sorry, Anna. Jen Bellotti, while all the Rob comments are hilarious, give Rob a break. This would be an issue if a chick was caught, talked to about that. Love you guys. I don't care. I got thick skin, baby. We're teasing. We're teasing. Freddie Michael Voorhees, can we get a Mike Rob beard off? See which one grows more fantastically. I have Vegas bets. Now, there's a side bet for you, Rob. Oh, there's a side bet, yeah. <laughs> can Australian audio be used now that all witnesses have testified? Uh, all witnesses that were in that audio? No, that, we're not collecting consents, I don't believe, uh, for that audio. We'll see if they can get it in somehow. Cynthia, off with your shirts and show the battle scars, boys. Rob, 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 they want yours, Rob. <coughs> Sorry, Rob. Rob is not going to just dance for you, folks. No. No. no, Joanne, application for Rob to be my mentor from Jersey. I about part time law school. He, he has he has said, you know, get in touch. Uh, Blotty Block can team Johnny Depp bring a drug dog in to stare at Amber Heard. No, JMK. Oh, no, I hit the wrong one. Anna, it says, yeah, you made me remember my first day of internship five minutes in and was delivering a baby. Love that yeah. rush. Yep. Learn by yep. doing, yep. says the first episode of Scrubs. Amber Heard gave YouTube herpes. Thank you again. Apparently, lawyer Elaine sat on Amber's Amica cream and Johnson's no more tears formula, etc. No wonder everyone seems grumpy. Joanne, you are all amazing. Appreciate all your advice. Thank you. Oh, we got people going for Picard, Cisco, Kirk. A lot of good talking here. I, he likes Picard. I knew it. Yeah. John Luke Picard is the best. Thank you, Jasmine. Good confirmation. Picard is the best. Better living through diplomacy. Living sweetly. I bet that Amber Heard's true colors will show if the Johnny Depp team keeps interrupting, correcting, and or saying anything that she perceives as dismissive and not being validated as unique. Get under her skin. I yep. certainly think that's going to be the mission statement. Yep. Mike and, I dis Mike and I agree on that one, too. Anton Ivanov, you should all react to Don't Be a Lawyer song from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. You can find it on YouTube. Great work. I've watched that. Watch that. Parul Srivastava, you guys are doing a great job. There's a South Korean drama named Hyena about two rival attorneys. Do watch it if you haven't already. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. I will see if I can find that. Some of my best friends are rival attorneys. So, yeah, like we square off in court, but that's not who we are. 
it's, it's, a, it's a limited pool that knows the job and, and the stresses that go with it, certainly. Sleepy Cat Ada, question, are most lawyers in courtroom pretty stylish? They look like the way they do on TV. How does dressing for style influence jury? Like if someone looks very expensive, they might think that person must be a snob. Yeah, it can come into play. Um, I, uh, it depends on what you're practicing. It depends on what court you're in. It depends on who clients are. Uh, I know plenty of schlubby litigators that do very specific things, and that's totally fine for the courts that they represent in. Yep. Sum it up. It's theater and you play for the scene that you're cast in. Ms. Jane Bronte, do you watch any law themed TV and movies favorites? Well, you heard, you've heard my favorite in science fiction land, Measure of a Man, a number of times here. I tend to not watch them. Uh, I tend to, if he gets a little too far afield from anything that makes remotest amount of sense to me, uh, it's not, it doesn't work as a narrative. So I tend to not watch them so much. Uh, but, uh, we talked about 12 Angry Men, the film on Legal Bite Stream. We've talked about Measure of a Man. Start there. If we wind up still talking at some yep. point, uh, those are good starting places, and I'll come up with some more. Yep. Uh, question for all your most embarrassing court stories. I no. Know. I don't go to court and no from Rob. So thank you, I Richard. Mean, I mean, I've got to, I've got, uh, yeah, no, oh, gosh, I got to think. I got to think. I don't know. I'll think All right, we'll it. see if something pops into Rob's head uh, that is totally kosher for putting on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Lucero, Serenity, watching Picard makes me feel old. I do not like the Picard show. That is not Jean-Luc Picard. We can talk about it in the next stream uh, when I when I get off from this one. Uh, Marie V. Sands, I don't even know what you all have done to me. I'm in Spain. I'm a pediatrician, and I can't count all the hours I've been watching you while I've been with COVID. I'm very sorry to hear it. I don't want to go back to work. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Neither Thank do I, for, my dear. Neither do I. I don't Thank you for go either. hanging out with us. Uh, Hope learned how to start a stream. Not so much how to end it. Yeah. Well. Yes. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> Karen W. The jury, according to Twitter, is six men, four Asian, two white, and three women. One Asian, one black, and one white. But it's Twitter, so <clears throat> who knows? I've heard variations of mostly men, some women. There's like numbers all over the place. You'd think we could nail that down. Uh, as a specific, but yeah, it's 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 something like that. Uh, a generic account of the age that my grandparents just retired before OJ trial. They were glued to court TV for the whole trial. Now I know what they were on about. You guys always fit, and I cannot acquit. It's a good reference. It's a good reference. Uh, Marie Holman, Tom Girardi, Aaron Brockovich, attorney, funneled hundreds of millions from his firm not paying lion, air yeah. orphan, family members, plane crash, and others. Husband of a real wife, a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Okay. So... Emily Thank D. Baker, or Emily D. Baker, or anyone else who is in her chat. Um, I'm a bankruptcy attorney. I've followed that a little bit. Okay. If Emily ever wants to talk about it. I'm happy because that BK, that bankruptcy is nuts. And I'm happy to go through all the pleadings. Like, love it. The craziness. Absolute craziness. That sounds like a good connection. Absolutely. Nordic aliens from the Pleiades. Amber, Amber Heard's strategy seems to be convincing the jury they will be, be or seem like criminals if they find in favor of a monster like Johnny Depp. Just make it so outrageous. Yeah, it could be. That, 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 that does hold a bit of water. James Morris. Hogue, you mentioned red flags. What's a red flag? Right? That's what I asked the partners, and they said figure it out. Uh, so you're supposed to uh, read documents. If you're doing a red flag review, you're not doing line by line. You're not doing revisions. If you're looking for things that look weird. Hey, in this particular license agreement that's otherwise just for waste disposal, you accidentally sold all your intellectual property to the other company. Hmm. Things to note uh, when you're entering into a contract. But as a first year associate, heck, even as like a third year associate, you haven't seen every possible market term on the planet Earth. And so everything looks like either always a red flag or not, because you don't know what to base your assumption on. That's the expertise that you actually gather. That's, that's, that's what you get practicing, transactionally at least. Dr. Jody Riek, enjoying commentary from you all as I've been grading undergraduate and graduate papers all day. I hope they're doing well. Team Booger, it's making the process much more enjoyable. Thank you so much. <laughs> Christy Prozenchik, are there any negative consequences for the lawyers on the losing team? No, I think everybody's yeah. acquitting themselves well. I think everybody's uh, profile is going to go up from this. And is that, are we, is that, oh, no, more. Uh, Marie-Louise Lubitsch. Have been here since the beginning of the stream, and it's been an absolute joy, by the way. Emily D. Baker is covering the Tom Girardi case extensively. All right, great. All right, so you should definitely yeah. check in yeah. with Emily Baker. Rob should probably check in with Emily Baker. That sounds like exactly her cup of tea. Maybe I'll go watch. 
uh, because it sounds interesting. Definitely. Uh, Lady Dingo, Rob sent me basswood, sick of boarding it online. Bass, what is basswood? Basswood's a hardwood. It's great for carving. Um, it's a pain in the butt to find right now because they're not really milling it very much. So unfortunately, I don't have any local resources. I wish I could. If I did, I would, but I'm sorry. C. Latchman, Girardi did the 2018 Boeing crash in Aaron Brockovich. Okay, thank you. And skimmed money from his law firm. Apparently. Appy, I watched the podcast you co-host when you mentioned it with Legal Bites. I wanted to know if it would be on tomorrow since it's Mother's Day. Picard is the best captain. Yes, I'm streaming for multiple hours tomorrow with the BitCast. I uh, I owe my wife a great deal. Oh, ho. Oh, <laughs> Do I need to send flowers? I feel like I, I'm move. working on it. I'm, I'm hopeful that the Mother's Day present came. Uh, Elaine Berenger, is there much difference between military law and civil law? Thanks, guys. So yes, yes, massive difference, <laughs> huge difference. Uh, yes, you waive a certain amount of rights in military yeah. tribunals, especially with domestic relations. Um, JAG versus civil is crazy, crazy, crazy. If you are in the military and you are going through any of this stuff, talk to retired military attorneys. They advertise it that way. Find them um, because JAG is something and military code, something that we do not know. Like, I I know very little of it. So, nothing outside of the JAG television program, and I doubt it, its veracity. So, oh, I'm getting a note from co counsel. Please wrap it up. We love no, you. Please wrap it up. The Mother's Day gift has arrived, and it is fabulous. I took care of you, right? Yes. Thumbs up. We're going to survive this. It's good. Um, We're going to live. So, I just saw Inez question and it was essentially what practice would you what would you do if you weren't doing the one you're in um do you have any thoughts i asked you what else would you practice in law if not your current choice or other career sorry about that any i really am sincerely rob what do you think honestly i i would do criminal <clears throat> part of the thing is like um and with rittenhouse and with various other trials that i've followed the criminal whether or not they're guilty they still have rights that they just have they have those rights and it does not give the state the ability or the right to trample on them and honestly the state is this big machine that has unlimited funding and i'm always a little guy kind of person and yeah. whether or not they are guilty or innocent they deserve to have the trial and they deserve to have the facts proven that prove them guilty and i am there to make sure the state meets that burden i if i were to delve into anything that's what I want to do. You know, Dad Hogue um, often waxes philosophic about his days as a public defender uh, and how much he he enjoyed that work. Uh, and that's uh, you sounded you sounded just like my dad right there, Rob. It's good stuff. Um, right. I should answer that question as well, though. Um, yeah, you know, I, when I was coming out of law school, I was actually offered two jobs almost simultaneously, which is a great problem to have. One was in mergers and acquisitions, venture capital, and one was in antitrust. Uh, and uh, realistically antitrust advice and counsel, but also, you know, quasi litigation. Uh, and that's what I would do. Uh, I, I love that kind of stuff. It's really interesting. It's all economics based. Um, and, uh, that would have been fascinating to me. So I'm very sorry. I missed that question. Uh, I am, I, I think I've done okay, uh, but I think I've also super, super cool question, by the way. And we're going to hang on to that one. Like I'm going to hang on to that one for the next time that we're all as a panel. Um, because that's one that I think every lawyer that you have watched on LawTube is going to have a different answer and you're going to get a really good understanding of that lawyer on a deeper level. That's a great idea, Rob. Hogue, did your lizard or any other pet sit patient next to you all day while you stream? I think my daughter would kill me if I took ownership of Loki. Uh, the bearded dragon is hers, uh, but uh, and it lives across the house, uh, but I have heard no complaints about the bearded dragon as of yet. KDM, Rob, are you going to try to go into court? He has said he is going to try. Uh, we're going to see how that goes for him. Brian S. Love the channel. Thanks for all the insight. Happy to find Alita, Rob, etc. Is Legal Eagle part of LawTube? No. Legal Eagle is his own entity and a very, very popular one. He does a lot of cool stuff on YouTube, um, uh, but he is not he is not in our DMs. He's been invited by Alita, uh, but uh, he's pretty big. He's pretty big time. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see if we'll get Legal Eagle on at some point. Heather, Rob, if they called you as a rebuttal witness against a bed breaking test, a bed, Breaking testimony, would you do it? 
If you were called by Johnny Depp's team to present your video findings, would you do it? Uh, let me think long and hard. Sure. <laughs> Cavalier, thank you for the super chat. Mackenzie Carter Cameron, are you and Rob following the Alec Murdoch scandal in South Carolina? I've been very disappointed in the mainstream media's coverage of it. New content. Rob, I've you seen know some that? of it. I've seen okay. some of it. The Murdoch family down there is a little, it's, it's kind of crazy suspicious. Oh, all, all right. Of it, all of it. Um, I don't no, know. I have it. not followed it. I think if you are to follow it, you've got to go back. I think at least five, six years, check and correct me. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Maybe, you know, Nate likes that stuff too. So who knows? Absolutely. Bogey 34, Robin 4.69 thousand giggity. You see how I read that though? I got your back. I did. I did. Yep. Bernhard, if Amber Heard does not produce the digital evidence as ordered by the court, can they move to a default judgment in favor of Johnny? I think whatever's mm -hmm. happening with the evidence has been sorted. Whether or not it's their satisfaction, I don't know. <laughs> Auto Patch, check out Woody's Wood Shop in Wilmington, North Carolina for the best hardwood supply. Fair enough. Oh my God. That's that's it. <sighs> Folks, at just under the 10 hour mark, I can't believe how great y'all are. This has been a fantastic stream. Uh, and I'm going to get these super chats that are kind of going to come in here after I've said that's it, because that's how this works. I've, I've been around long enough to know that. But first and foremost, I want to thank Rob, who's been here damn near every minute, uh, doing his thing, talking into camera, answering questions for no reason but to be a buddy to LawTube and hang out here with y'all. Um, and so please do go check out his channel. I will add links uh, in the description uh, as soon as I can. And I'll try to have those preloaded essentially uh, for, for future streams. If we do that, please leave a comment to this video. Uh, let me know how you like this format uh, in terms of headline stuff. It doesn't have to be a 10 hour super chat fiesta every time. Uh, but I am looking for ways to engage with the community more and more. And you guys are fantastic and generous and awesome. Um, so please do uh, leave their, your comments. Uh, anything you might want to do. I might uh, in the future uh, essentially open it up to having uh, you know recommended headlines to look at. Um, from, from major media to kind of discuss with myself, if I'm just the only one here or the panel, uh, et cetera. But, um, I love this kind of stuff. I love these conversations. It's super fun. Definitely going to have to work on the time because I can't do this to my wife, uh, uh, every random Saturday. She wasn't expecting this at all. It's not fair to her, but we will, we will make it work because I had a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, please do go check out Rob's channel. He's fantastic. He's been such a great addition. Rob, you have such a great personality. Uh, and it's, it's great to have you around and you fit in so terribly well. So thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Hogue. Yeah. And, and to your chat, to everyone who's still hanging around or watching this video. Um, if you want to see a, uh, Rick Hogue does a reaction to evidence he did not hear at the trial, which by gauge of all of your super chats, you want it. Rick has been fantastic. He's the best hype man in the whole world, period. End of story. There, there just doesn't exist someone like him. Um, like, subscribe, and if you want to see that post-trial reaction, um, leave some love in the comments. And you can actually, I think you can now donate via comments. So Yeah, we got super so, thanks. Yeah, so so put some super thanks in there to to fund that endeavor. Because I want to see Rick reacting to that Australia video or audio, and I know you guys do too. It sounds like a fun stream, definitely, doesn't it? Uh, so thank you so much, Rob. I'm going to hit these last super chats. Uh, and, and I'm going to cut it off at some point in the next like two minutes. So get them in. Uh, it's last call. Alicia Peterson, aren't you impressed with the longevity of JD's employees? I am. I have noted that. Clearly somebody who uh, who gets along with the folks that he uh, he hires. Joanne, do either of you know attorneys who started late? I'm nervous to start law school at 30. Some people tell me that it's too old to be successful. Uh, I mentored uh, an associate that was older than me. Um, so that would have been, they would have been like 32, 33. Uh, and I think they're, I think they're successful at the firm I used to work at. Uh, so if you feel it, if you feel like that's the direction you want to go, yeah, no, age is no barrier. Yeah, go for it. hundred percent. Uh, Sadokata, will, can we hear about the agreements regarding admittance of evidence after the case? Probably not. Probably not. Like maybe in a tell all or something, uh, but probably not. Chicken head, PK Neely, what would I do if Amber Heard was your client? Wait, hold on. What's up, co-counsel? Uh, just hang on one sec, Rob.
Okay, great. Uh, Co-counsel, Mrs. Hogue, the great Mrs. Hogue, says to Joanne, she is older than you, and she is remaking her entire career, and you should absolutely do it. Dude, Mrs. Hogue, you are a lady boss, and I effing love you. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it. She is the best. Uh, what would I do if Amber Heard was your client? I don't know what you would do if Amber Heard was my client. Would I let her run wild? Love the show. Uh, if, the, if the question is, what would I do? I, I don't know what she's like behind the scenes. So it's, it's really hard to answer because you're trying to figure out what you can frame, how she's going to go. You, you've, you've mock interviewed her before. You know what her depositions are. And yet you're still in court. And, and Elaine is clearly, you know, getting dragged around, uh, dragging a, tire, a tiger by the tail. Um, so it's a difficult job. I, I really think yep. Elaine did a pretty good, pretty good job on her. I do too. Uh, best phrase, best phrase that comes to mind. Batter up, buttercup. Yeah. yeah. Just, Erica G. Yes to reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it. I think Rob makes a good pitch. Chickenhead PK Neely. Love from the rainforest. Absolutely awesome. Sounding six. Thank you for the super chat. Dave Andros. Found you guys on Legal Bites. Keep up the great work. And I'm going to leave you off with Mel DJ. Love to Mrs. Hogue. Absolutely. See you all later. Like and subscribe. We've got Mrs. Hogue. I love you. Team Mrs. Hogue forever from Joanne. That's the real last chat. Goodbye, everyone.